Chapter 526 Fighting for Zhang Tuohai Damn it! There's a red light! This guy is the target of the bounty! The leader of the white bear group stared in disbelief, with eyes the size of copper bells, and snorted loudly, like a bull seeing red cloth. At this time, in the eyes of the leader of the white bear regiment, Zhang Tuohai and his multifunctional armored vehicles were not enemies, but a pile of shiny and movable gold. No, gold is not enough to measure Zhang Tuohai's value. As long as you kill Zhang Tuohai, you can get a chance for the game system to realize your wish. Maybe even get out of this damn survival game. If only he could leave, he would be willing to hang out in this precarious game. Here, it is possible that the scenery is endless today, but it may be exposed in the wilderness tomorrow. This was the case with the previous leader of the White Bear group. Ha! What a blessing from God! Reload the shells and kill him for me! The leader of the White Bear group said excitedly. I understand. But boss, if you can get out of the game, don't forget me. You must bring me with you. His deputy said as he loaded the shells nearby. Don't worry. As long as we can kill this guy, it will be your benefit. The leader of the White Bear group drew a pie casually. He has already decided that his wish is to return to the real world with a large amount of money and supplies. And spend the rest of his life comfortably. As for other people, what does it matter to him? Just as the leader of the White Bear Regiment adjusted the angle of the cannon. Other players in the airship also spotted Zhang Tuohai with a red light in the corner. No one is stupid. Everyone invariably guessed the fact that they were actually in the same airship as Zhang Tuohai. These people were immediately overjoyed. They all adjusted the weapons in their hands. Preparing to kill Zhang Tuohai together. The goal of these people is very simple. They work together to deal damage. Even if they can't get the first hit, they may still be able to drink some soup with some support. Of course, not everyone is aiming their guns at Zhang Tuohai. Some players with quick thinking directly pointed their guns at the players in front of them. Boom! The rear armor plate of the leader of the White Bear Regiment's Panther tank was hit by an 88mm cannon. The entire rear armor plate collapsed. And a large number of cracks appeared in the shell behind the armor plate. It looked like another attack could completely break through the armor. The leader of the White Bear Regiment was stunned when he saw that his tank was suddenly attacked from behind. He turned around and cursed. Kim Jong Min, how did you aim so accurately? How did you hit me? Ha ha. There is only one goal. Everyone wants it. The only way is to kill you. Goodbye. Jean Jung Min waved his hand. Come on. Kill the white bears first. As for who will be the target, we each have to rely on our abilities. Many players who were far away from Zhang to a high heard Jean Jing Min's words and pointed their weapons at the people of the white bear group in front and opened fire. Some of them went crazy and killed anyone who stood in front of them with artillery fire, intending to wipe out all competitors. There is no way. There is only one Zong Tuohai. And each of them wants a reward. The small airship space suddenly became a mess. A bunch of idiots! Seeing the chaos inside the airship, Jean Jungin sneered. This is exactly what she wants to see. As long as the situation is chaotic, she will have a chance. She quietly aimed the 88mm cannon at Zhang Tuohai and prepared to take advantage of the chaos to attack. You guys should fight for it slowly. I will be the one who can finally get out of here. She slammed the launch button in her hand. Boom! The 88mm artillery shell shot out and headed towards Zhang Tuohai. However, just when the 88mm artillery shell was about to hit Zhang Tuohai's car, the Panther tank of the leader of the White Bear Regiment suddenly accelerated and blocked the front of Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle, blocking the shell. Boom! The Panther tank side armor shattered and debris flew everywhere. You bastard! Why are you blocking my shells? Jean Jungman cursed through gritted teeth. Hey, of course, I won't let you kill the target. The target belongs to me. No one can kill him except me. The leader of the white bear group said proudly. Asshole, since you want to die so much, then I will help you. Jean jung -in said bitterly. Come on, who is afraid of whom? The leader of the white bear group was unwilling to be outdone. Looking at this lively scene, Zhang Tuohai sighed and didn't know what to say. Could it be that in the eyes of these people, I was just a helpless doll in order to compete for the right to kill. He actually started fighting within himself. Although this situation is very beneficial to him, it still feels like it is disrespectful to him. Zhang Tuohai looked at the situation around him, snorted coldly, picked up the loudspeaker and said, Please stop fighting. You are not qualified to kill me. Hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, the leader of the White Bear Regiment smiled disdainfully. What are you thinking about? I'm not qualified to kill you. Look at the people here. There are at least 20 vehicles with artillery. 
each person can be drowned by spitting. You? And this is still high in the sky. There is no place to run. Let me tell you. You are dead today. Just be obedient and become a stepping stone for my return. Really? Then I'll take the first step. If you have the ability, you can chase me. John Tuhai said, suddenly shifting into reverse gear. And the multifunctional armored vehicle retreated rapidly and hit the wall of the pod. The walls of the airship pod are not strong, except for a few supporting steel frames. In order to reduce the weight, many areas are made of wood, and even only a layer of iron is hung. There may be no problem with normal use, but it will definitely not be able to withstand the full impact of an armored vehicle. Boom! A large hole was made in the wall of the airship pod, and the multifunctional armored vehicle flew out. Grass! Seeing the armored vehicle falling out, the leader of the White Bear Regiment cursed angrily and quickly drove the vehicle to the side of the airship. He wanted to poke his head to see what was going on outside. But the wind outside was so strong that he couldn't open his eyes. Other players who were fighting also noticed the situation here. Seize fire one after another. And focused their attention here. You loser! Why did you let him run away? Jean Jungman rushed over angrily and asked. Who knew this guy could actually come up with such a method? The leader of the White Bear group also had a look of helplessness on his face. Hack! Damn guy! He actually fell to death by himself. It's such a waste. You might as well let me kill him. What else? Let me leave here and waste this opportunity. This guy is so selfish. Humph. Anyway, you were closest to him. If you let him go, you have the greatest responsibility. Tell me, how are you going to compensate me for my losses? Jean jung Min had a messy attitude. Yes, compensate us. Other players also stood by Jean jung Min's side. They can see clearly that the White Bear group is now very powerful. If they don't stick together, they may be troubled by the White Bear group one by one. Compensation? You broke my armor. And I haven't asked you to compensate me yet. Stop talking nonsense to me. Otherwise, if you have the guts, get off the airship and compete again. The leader of the White Bear group was not willing to be outdone. At this moment, the airship suddenly began to stall and fell rapidly. Chapter 527 Red Name Mark Damn. What happened? Why is the airship falling? Someone asked in a panic. It must be you idiots who accidentally punctured the helium balloon above. The leader of the white bear group said angrily. What should we do? Someone asked. How do I know what to do? Just leave it to fate and pray to God that the airship can make an emergency landing safely. Otherwise, we will just wait to be thrown to death together. The leader of the white bear group said angrily. Uh-huh. You are a stupid bear and you still don't admit it. You can't solve it. But I can. Jean Jungman rolled his eyes and suddenly said with a smile. Oh, what can you do? As long as we can go back alive. The grudges between us will be wiped out. The leader of the White Bear group's eyes were full of excitement. Who wants to die if he can live? Get out of the way. Don't get in my way. Jean Jungman said. After everyone heard this, they immediately retreated a lot and gave up the venue to Jean Jungman. It's easy to face this situation. My fix is... Duh, duh, duh. Kim Jongmin fiercely raised his anti-aircraft machine gun and fired at the top of the pod. The 12.7mm bullet instantly penetrated the ceiling of the pod and hit the helium balloon above. Although there are a large number of compartments in the helium balloon. And enough reserve buoyancy is prepared. It will not crash even if three or four compartments are broken. However, this could not withstand Kim Jongmin's strafing fire. A large number of compartments were broken. The buoyancy was rapidly reduced. And the airship's descent speed accelerated rapidly. And it was about to crash. Kim jong Min, Are you crazy? Why are you using a helium balloon? Do you want to die with us? The leader of the White Bear group asked angrily. Ha ha. Die together? As you can imagine. I won't die with you idiots. This is an insult to me. It's you who die. So I won't accompany you. Goodbye. Jean jong Min sneered. Stepped on the accelerator and rushed out of the big hole made by Zhang Tuohai, and then pressed a button fiercely, the four parachutes popped out instantly, and the car with Jean Jungman slowly floated downward. Why does this guy have a parachute? It's not fair! The leader of the White Bear group roared angrily. He wanted to take revenge on Kim Jongmin and cut him into pieces. However, now that the airship was falling rapidly, he could not even maintain his balance, let alone take revenge on Kim Jongmin. I can only keep falling with anger and unwillingness. Humph. You are a bunch of idiots who can even let go of the meat in their mouths. Let's use the supplies you have to make up for my losses. 
Jean Jungmin looked at the rapidly falling airship and said coldly, Hey, I didn't expect that there was a guy with a parachute. He was so lucky. Just when Jean Jingmin's attention was focused on the falling airship, a sound suddenly sounded above his head. Who is it? Jean Jungmin was shocked and immediately looked up to check. She turned her head in the direction of the sound and found that above and to her left, an armored vehicle was suspended in the air. The armored vehicle had a unique shape, with two rotors sticking out from it, like a Seahawk helicopter. You? You didn't fall to death. Jean Jungmin looked at the familiar armored vehicle and recognized it at a glance. This was their target. Zhang Tuoha. How could I fall to death? But when it comes to you, you will fall to death soon. Zhang Tuohai said as he set up the 1130 close in defense gun. Don't do anything. Let's discuss anything. These are all misunderstandings. I can compensate for your losses. As long as you set the conditions. I can agree. Jean Jungin said eagerly. At this time, all her wealth and life depended on the four parachutes. If they were damaged by Zhang Tuohai, she would be like those in the white bear group and fall into a puddle of flesh. That's not what she wants. She still wants to go back alive. She doesn't want to die. For this, she can do anything. Ha ha. From the moment you shot me, everything was doomed. Let's get on the road. Zhang Tuohai pressed the button. Da da da. The 1130 close and defense gun spit out blue flames. And hundreds of bullets hit Kim Jong Min's four parachutes. Although these parachutes have protective functions, even if they are hit several times, their performance will not be affected. Even if one or even two are damaged, an emergency landing can still be achieved. However, Zhang Tuohai directly smashed all four parachutes into sieves. Ah! Along with Jin Jingmin's scream, her car fell rapidly. The direction in which she fell was the direction in which the airship fell. They actually fell together. It seems that I don't have to search hard anymore. Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly, and drove the multifunctional armored vehicle towards the direction where everyone landed. After a while, John Tuohai found the crashed wreckage on a plane. As expected, these people fell from a height of more than a thousand meters and turned directly into a pile of rotten flesh. Without any suspense. Quickly, dismantle all the cars here and leave as soon as you're done. You can't stay here for too long. John Tuohai released 001 and the brigade's self-propelled machines and said, a group of self-propelled machines began to dismantle the car wreckage left by Kim Jong-min and the White Bear convoy. Just as Zhang Tuohai was directing the cleaning of the scene, a private message suddenly came in. Zhang Tuohai saw that it was actually a letter from Song Shaokong. Boss is mighty! Congratulations to boss on your great success! What victory is achieved? Zhang Tuohai was surprised. You accomplished the feat of 20 kills. It was spread on regional channels. Didn't you know? Song Shaokong said. Did it spread on the regional channel? John Tuohai quickly opened the regional channel. When he went in, John Tuohai's nose was so angry that he was crooked. It turned out that Moriarty not only issued a reward mission against him, but even changed the obituary. All the players who were killed by his airbags or parachutes were placed on his head. The content of the obituary column was also changed to XX player was killed by John Tuohai. As for the killing method, there is no mention at all. At the same time, because he completed the feat of 20 kills, his body was put with the LV-1 red name mark. LV-1 red name mark. The mark person reports coordinates every 6 hours. The attack power is increased by 50%. And the explosion rate of players killed is increased by 100%. After being killed, there is a 100% chance that a learned blueprint will be randomly exploded. Level LV-2 is unlocked after killing 200 players. Note, this mark is only valid in this world. This aggravates the conflict between me and those players. Zhang Tuohai looked at the red name mark and his eyes flickered. This red name mark reports coordinates every six hours to improve players' ability to find him. There is a 100% probability of randomly dropping a learned blueprint, which strengthens the courage of those greedy players. Needless to say, there are good things about him. With this effect, those greedy players will definitely work harder to find him and increasing his explosion rate against players is an attempt to arouse his murderous intention and actively expand the conflict with players. It seems that this Moriarty has put in a lot of effort to kill me. Zhang Tuohai touched his chin and sneered. Chapter 528 Hunting Alliance Zhang Tuohai read the description of the red name Mark twice, increased his attack and explosion rate, and also increased his own explosion rate. It was a double-edged sword. Isn't this a disguised murder book? Moreover, this thing can be upgraded. To level up, you need to hunt players. 
This thing not only increases the motivation of players to hunt him, but also increases his motivation to hunt players, provoking a confrontation between Zhang Tuohai and the players in terms of interests. It seems that Moriarty still put a lot of thought into this. Zhang Tuohai touched his chin and secretly wrote down this section. He secretly swore that if he had the chance to meet Moriarty in the future, he would make him look good. However, how to take revenge on Moriarty will be a matter later. The problem Zhang Tuohai needs to face now is how to spend these seven days and get rid of these players who want to hunt him. Zhang Tuohai flipped through the regional channel and found that the discussion there was divided into two large parts. Before the announcement of 20 Super Gods was released, everyone's discussion focused on who is Zhang Tuohai? Why is the game system chasing this person? Also, why is the game system so kind and starts giving benefits to players? Can we provide more benefits like this? However, when Zhang Tuohai's 20 game kill streak came out, the original joking discussions disappeared, and many players began to really pay attention. They felt that it was no accident that Zhang Tuohai was on the hunting list of the game system by himself, whose strength cannot be underestimated and deserves their attention. Awesome! He actually completed 20 consecutive kills in such a short period of time. How awesome is this? Even if it is 20 pigs, it will take a while. Have you noticed that the time of death of these people is very close? I suspect that Zhang Tuohai has some kind of high-energy weapon that can destroy a large area. Otherwise, it is impossible to explain how these people were killed continuously in a short period of time. Of, if you ask me, it's better to give up. He can kill so many people in such a short period of time. This guy is not easy to deal with. If you're scared, just say so. Anyway, I'm going to give it a try. If I have a chance to quit, who knows when the next encounter will be. I'll give it a try no matter what. Count me in. I want to try too. Add me one. If you want to participate, please join my small group. Don't post on the regional channel to avoid being snooped by the guy. You reminded me. I also want to form a hunting alliance. Whoever wants to join will share intelligence and kill according to their own abilities. The Bounty Hunter Alliance is recruiting. Only strong players. The strongest team is recruiting. Only beautiful players. Male players are welcome. What are your plans? Zhang Tuohai sent a private message to Song Xiaokong. Of course I'm helping the boss to find out the information. Those players were in the apocalyptic world and failed in the confrontation mission with the boss. I think they are destined to fail this time. Song Xiaokong said with a smile. I still trust Song Xiaokong and Zhang Tuohai. The last time he was in the apocalyptic wasteland, he did the task of confronting most players escorting Lilith to the Holy Mountain. At that time, Song Xiaokong provided him with a lot of inside information about the opposing players. Several important assembly points and ambush times were also leaked to Zhang Tuohai by Song Xiaokong. Okay, your mission this time is the same as last time. But be careful not to expose your identity. Zhang Tuohai said, after thinking about it, Zhang Tuohai sent Song Xiaokong a protective suit bought from a vending machine. Although this protective suit is not as powerful as the third generation special warfare suit developed by United Pharmaceuticals, its filtering function as a protective suit is still very reliable. It can perfectly resist the current concentration of viruses in the air and can also resist a certain degree of nuclear radiation and acid corrosion. It is considered a pretty good piece of equipment. Seeing the protective clothing in his hand, Song Xiaokong's eyes were filled with light. Boss, you actually still have such a good thing in your hand? This is absolutely priceless. Especially if it matches this world. It will definitely sell for a sky-high price. Do you still have it in your hand? Let me hype it up. At least it can be sold 10 times. Not 20 times the price. Song Xiaokong said excitedly. No. Even if I get this bad thing, I will never sell it out. Zhang Tuohai said with a sneer. He has decided that this world will never sell even one useful thing to those players since those players and he have become enemies in terms of interests. Why do they still keep their enemies? He hopes that all those players will be killed by the virus. That would be interesting. Oh, okay. San Xiaokong was a little disappointed when he heard Zhang Tuohai rejected her proposal. However, she could also understand Zhang Tuohai's thoughts. The opponent was going to kill her, so there was no point in selling equipment to support the enemy. However, her peddler's instinct kicked in again and she always felt a pity when she saw such a good thing and couldn't resell it for a high price. Your current mission is to inquire about information. Expand your circle of friends and get into the other party's senior management as much as possible. I can also give you some weapons that are not a threat to me to sell to expand your influence. Of course, 
You may also if I give you some stuffed items to sell. There will be room for you to use them. As Jiang Tuohai spoke, he sent a batch of steam machine guns over. These gadgets are basically no threat to him. And they can be sold just right. On the one hand, they can expand San Shukong's influence. And on the other hand, they can occupy the resources of other players. Killing two birds with one stone. I understand. After hearing Zhang Tuhai's words, San Shukong became full of energy again and went to sell a large number of steam machine guns. San Shukong left. And Su Qi's private message also came in. Brother Zhang, you are so powerful. You killed 20 people in a row. How did you do that? Zhang Tuhai replied with an emoticon of counting money. Don't be stingy. I joined an organization of the Predator Alliance. This is the member list. Please pay attention to the people on it. I will notify you of any actions. Also, remember my sister's car model? A yellow beetle. Ten million don't get hurt by mistake. Su Chi warned. Zhang Tuohai's strength had already left a deep impression on Su Chi's heart. The confrontation mission back then was similar to what it is now. Didn't Zhang Tuohai also win? She didn't believe that this improvised team of players could beat Zhang Tuohai. Rather than being with these players, it is better to sell it back and deepen the relationship with Zhang Tuohai. Thank you very much. These are two special medicines. If you have cold symptoms, take them as soon as possible. Don't delay. Otherwise they will easily mutate. After the mutation, they will look like zombies. Zhang Tuohai returned two special potions with his backhand. Since Su Chi showed his goodwill, he couldn't help but express that special medicines that could be continuously produced were a good choice. Looking at the continuous maturation of special medicine materials in the high-end ecological park, Zhang Tuohai had a plan in his mind. Perhaps he could use special medicines to bribe some high-level players and play some counterintuitive schemes to make them interact with each other. Massacre. He himself sat firmly on the Diaoyu Islands. However, if this plan is to be implemented, a lot of details still need to be filled in. And some careful planning is required. Chapter 529 A Big Fish Where to go next? John Tuohai looked around intently. The surrounding area is a wilderness with no trace of human beings. He guessed that if they came to this world normally, the airship would definitely land at a normal landing point and then give them some hints on what they should do next. However, he crash-landed in the wilderness and completely lost his normal start. Don't know what to do either. There is not even half a road. John Tuohai looked around, preparing to find a point to enter the world. Suddenly, he saw a signal bomb rising in the distance. The flare exploded in the sky, scattering red, white, and blue colors. Whose signal flare is this? The color of the rally signal is actually a surrender flag. Isn't this too unlucky? Jean Tuohai complained secretly, and then drove in the direction of the signal flare. Anyway, he has nothing to do now, so he just went to join in the fun. Now, except for a few familiar people, every player in the area is an enemy. There is no unjust, false, or wrongful conviction. However, Zhang Tuohai activated the infrared blocker while driving. Although at this stage, the probability of encountering a player with an infrared detector is not high. Zhang Tuohai still prepared according to the highest standards, and he used his full strength to fight the lion against the rabbit. The multipurpose armored vehicle passed through a forest, crossed a two-meter wide stream, and stopped at the edge of the forest. Two hundred meters away, there was an open space with several cars parked in the open space. Several players wearing body armor were gathering together to smoke. They all had a white bear pattern painted on their body armor. And they looked like they were members of the white bear group. Are they from the white bear group again? It was the white bear group who started the conflict on the airship. And now we are encountering another member of the white bear group. It seems that you guys and I really have a bad bond. Zhang Tuohai turned off the car, stopped in the middle of two big trees, and observed quietly. Anyway, these guys looked like they were waiting for someone so he would wait a little longer and try to catch them all. More than half an hour later, just when Zhang Tuohai was getting impatient, the sound of an engine came from the distance. A Cavalier Type 15 drove over from a distance. When it rushed out of the woods, it was unknown whether it was intentional or not, and it directly broke a small tree as thick as an arm. When several players gathered in the open space saw the Knight 15, they immediately threw the eyes in their hands and crushed them under their feet, and their bodies straightened involuntarily. The door of the Cavalier 15 opened a gap. A woman wearing Martin boots walked slowly out of the car. The woman was wearing a tight black leather jacket, a pistol hanging from her waist, and a gas mask hanging on her face. But it was hard to tell what model it was. Behind her, 
stood a woman wearing similar attire. However, the man was carrying two M16S on his back and followed the woman in Martin boots like a bodyguard. Deputy Captain, you are here. Several players immediately saluted the woman in Martin boots. That guy me show is dead. Now, I have taken over the position of captain. Don't you guys want to watch the channels in the company? The woman in Martin boots was obviously a little angry. What? Captain Mishu is dead? These players really didn't pay attention to the team channel. They were all members of the team leader Mishio. Mishio would talk to them privately about anything. As time went by, they got used to this behavior and developed it. I don't have the habit of watching the team channel. They have always been like this without any problems. Unexpectedly, something suddenly happened this time. They quickly opened the team channel and saw that Mishio's name had a black frame and his avatar turned gray. They looked at the information on the team channel and then believed the woman's words. Seeing the look of several people, the woman wearing Martin boots also became angry for a while. She is the deputy leader of the White Bear Regiment, so she naturally knows what kind of character these people are. It's all the mess left by former team leader Michio, and I have to clean it up slowly. Okay, put this aside. Why don't you wear a gas mask? Don't tell me. You didn't even read the prompts of the game system. Don't you know there are a lot of viruses in the air? The woman in Martin boots asked angrily. Although she doesn't like these subordinates, now that she has assumed the position of leader, these people have become tools in her hands and must display their due value and cannot be damaged casually because of such small things. I know. But the ceiling of our car is not good. And we got infected after entering. Moreover, we only have a slight runny nose and a little itchy throat. There are no special problems. We estimate that the virus is not very toxic. If it is so strong, the game system will definitely not block our way of survival. It will block everyone immediately. Besides, there are special medicines. With special medicines, what kind of virus should we be afraid of? The leading player sniffed as he spoke, looking nonchalant. They are all ordinary players. They have no prompt system and have not entered this world in advance. After seeing the information about United Pharmaceutical, they really don't know how powerful the alpha virus is. They just mentioned it through the game system and don't even know the name of the virus. Moreover, after seeing the special medicine, I thought it was a material that could be obtained normally. So I didn't take it too seriously. You? Seeing the nonchalant looks of these players, the woman in Martin Boots knew that these people didn't really regard themselves as the leader of the group. She silently wrote the names of these people in a small notebook. Anyone who entered this notebook would be treated as if they were a fourth-class horse. If they were to die, they would be candidates for the first echelon. Huh? Since you have made your choice, let's do it. This meeting point has been cancelled. We have formed an alliance with the Boxer Motorcade and will go directly to the Boxer Motorcade camp to assemble. We will act together when we get there. Everyone else has been notified. You are the only ones who have to make a trip in person. So hurry up and follow me. After that, he went straight back to his car. The bodyguard also got back into the car, started the car, turned around and drove in the direction he came from. When the players saw this, they also drove after him. Their conversation was naturally overheard by Zhang Tuohai in the distance. I didn't expect that this time I actually caught a big fish. Zhang Tuohai rubbed his hands. He originally wanted to kill these people now but he didn't expect that he could follow them to the opponent's assembly point by mistake. If we can close this rally point, I think there should be a lot of gains. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai became more and more excited and followed quietly in a multi-purpose armored vehicle. Chapter 530 The Weird Camp Zhang Tuohai originally thought that he would arrive at the assembly point of the White Bear Group and the Boxer Team soon. But I didn't expect that this follow-up would last more than three hours. Moreover, the whole journey was not on the road, but in the wilderness. Even if we met a highway on the way, we would cross it directly without any intention of stopping. The most interesting thing is that the convoy also changed its direction several times. Obviously, the leading woman in Martin Boots had a map, or some sort of location, on her body. Otherwise, it wouldn't be like this. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai slowed down the car a little more and increased the distance to prevent him from following too close and being discovered by the other party. It was not until noon that everyone arrived near a camp. Seeing this camp, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but take a breath of air. The camp was surrounded by alloy metal walls, more than two meters high, with brackets and railings on them. A high-level and flat machine gun was installed every 10 meters. On the outside of the metal wall is a trench 5 meters wide and 2 meters deep, with many sharp nail boards inserted into the trench. 
On the opposite side of the trench was a large pile of steel dragon teeth and sharp nail boards. Even in front of the automatic gate, there are two steel barriers. The entire camp looked impregnable. Seeing the state of the camp, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but frown. It's not like he's never seen a convoy camp before. Usually, when a convoy is encamping while on the road, it usually just uses relatively sturdy vehicles to block out the enemy. The only thing that pays attention to is setting up roadblocks at key locations, usually made of wood or stone. Not iron at all. Not to mention digging such a wide and deep trench. Not only is it time-consuming and labor-intensive, it is also difficult to do without professional construction machinery. Judging from the watertight layout of this camp, it seems that it is meant to be maintained for a long time. What are these guys going to do? Hold on for a long time? Stop searching for supplies? Stop moving forward? How did they make this choice? Is there any inside information? Or is Moriarty playing some new tricks? Suspicions arose in Zong to a high's heart. The woman in Martin Boots led the group of people into the camp. And the automatic gate slowly closed. Peace returned to the camp. That's kind of interesting. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and sent a private message to Su Qi. How is the situation of your alliance? Are there any new actions? No. Everyone has only formed an alliance in name. Except for a few people in the water group. Enjoying how to make wishes after completing the task. There are no substantive opinions. It feels like just adding a salted fish group. Which is of no use at all. No. I plan to look at it again. And if there is no more substantive content tonight, I will change the group. Su Chi said with some dissatisfaction. Zhang Tuohai also sent the same message to other friends. Song Shakong said that she had not received any special news. The group she joined was developed into a material exchange group. The sales of those steam machine guns were very good. A big customer bought more than 200 of them and ordered a large number of them. Bullets. And also asked for more machine guns and bullets. The other party even said that they would pay a 30% premium to purchase them. She did not dare to agree and wanted to ask Zhang Tuohai for his opinion. You want to buy a lot of machine guns? What are you doing? Zhang Tuohai touched his chin and began to think. Although normal players can also stockpile weapons, the number of them is limited. Moreover, when players buy weapons, they usually aim at weapons that can deal with tanks, such as RPG rockets, recoilless rifles, or other similar products. After all, players are each other's biggest competitors. No one would spend so much effort on machine guns. A vehicle is usually equipped with one or two. Now suddenly someone wants to purchase steam machine guns in large quantities. There is nothing fishy about it. Zhang Tuohai doesn't believe it. By the way, who is the person who bought the machine gun from you? Zhang Tuohai suddenly asked. He's a player on the boxer team. He's said to be the vice captain. Song Xiaofang said. Boxer motorcade? The woman wearing Martin Booth said that the White Bear Group and Boxer Motorcade have formed an alliance and gathered together at the Boxer Motorcade Camp. So, the camp in front of us is the Boxer Motorcade Camp. The camp is set up to be impregnable, and a large number of machine guns are purchased. What on earth is this Boxer Convoy going to do? Zhang Tuohai's mind changed rapidly. He was sure that this Boxer team was definitely planning something. And they must have a unique source of information. If that's the case then this camp is really worth exploring. Zhang Tuohai looked at the camp in the distance with a cold light in his eyes. Sell them as many machine guns as they want. But the price is 50% higher and the performance is stronger. Now I am the only one who can supply such large quantities. In addition, try to integrate with them and ask around. They have so many weapons. What on earth are they for? Zhang Tuohai said, Although I know the last one is a bit difficult. How will you know the effect if you don't try it? What if it succeeds? Okay, I understand what to do. Song Shakong closed the private message. Zhang Tuohai asked other friends, but no one heard any special news. As for chasing Zhang Tuohai, the group that Zhao Wanwan joined was the most active. It is said that a player got an identity card from a supply box and could use the resources of a force here to find Zhang Tuohai. However, the guy didn't mention the name of the force and kept it hidden. After other players in the group heard the news, they were both envious and jealous. They frantically searched for the supply box, hoping to get a similar identity card. Is there such a thing? Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but raise his eyebrows after hearing the news. It seems that the local indigenous people also have a lot of weight. Otherwise, there is no need for the game system to come up with such an identity card. Unfortunately, he has almost never been on the road since arriving here, and he has never even seen half of the supply box. 
It seems that after we deal with this place, we still have to go for a walk on the highway for a while. Zhang Tuohai thought to himself. After seeing that the door was closed and no one came out, Zhang Tuohai quietly walked around the camp. The camp is quite large. According to Zhang Tuohai's estimate, it is at least the size of a football field. It can easily park dozens of cars inside. Moreover, the camp is almost surrounded by the same layout, with high walls and trenches, without any blind spots. After walking around, Zhang Tuohai discovered that there were more machine guns on the wall. Originally, there was a machine gun every 10 meters, but now there is one every 5 meters, doubling the density. The newly added machine guns are all steam machine guns. As expected, this boxer convoy is used to increase the defense of this camp. However, what are they planning to do by building such a camp? Zhang Tuohai was thinking in his mind. At this moment, he suddenly saw a hoisting machine hoisting an infrared headlight to the steel exterior wall. After several players installed the infrared headlights, they turned on the headlights and swept around. Chapter 531, Sneak Attack on the Camp Is there such a thing? Seeing the infrared headlights sweeping towards him, Zhang Tuohai quickly moved the car back a little. In addition to increasing the night vision effect, this new type of infrared headlight also comes with an infrared detection function, which can show the temperature difference in the scanning area and then outline a situation map. Although the one in the opponent's hands doesn't seem to be the most advanced, it can still monitor whether there are intruding humans or vehicles within a kilometer range around the camp. If John Tuohai had been swept away like this a few days ago, I'm afraid his whereabouts would really be exposed. However, John Tuohai already had an infrared shield. After turning it on, it directly blocked the heat source and blended into the surrounding environment. He disappeared from the other party's infrared display. In addition, coupled with the effect of chameleon camouflage, John Tuohai's multi-purpose armored vehicle looks like an inconspicuous tree in the jungle at this time. Just like a phantom tank, it will not arouse suspicion at all. The infrared headlights were repeatedly scanned twice on the multi-purpose armored vehicle, but no problems were found. Seeing that this level of security equipment was actually installed in the camp, John Tuohai became more and more certain that there was something wrong with the camp. He secretly flew a hand-thrown drone for aerial reconnaissance. This low, small and slow target is a blind spot for most radar detection methods. Due to its small size and slow speed, it can easily be identified as a bird and ignored. Of course, in John Tuohai's original world, the latest models of air defense radars could already effectively identify these small drones. However, they are all large-scale professional equipment or at least professional radar vehicles. Zhang Tuohai didn't believe that anyone on the opposite side would have weapons of this level, because many times it's not necessary. To be honest, Zhang Tuohai was a little surprised that the other party could bring out this kind of infrared detector. The sound of the hand-thrown drone was very low, and most of the people guarding the wall in the camp gathered together in twos and threes to smoke. They glanced at the surrounding situation and never thought that someone would sneak in from above. Reconnaissance. The drone flew in so easily. When he saw the photos transmitted by the drone from above on the spherical screen, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but take a breath of air. It turned out that the defense of this camp was far from as simple as it seemed. Behind the steel wall, there was a trench up to 5 meters wide. Behind the trench was a parapet with many machine guns and even some recoilless rifles mounted on it. Two suspension bridges were erected on the trench, and the suspension bridges had to be lowered to allow vehicles to pass. However, at this time, the suspension bridge was pulled up high and was completely impassable. After this level of positions is the central area of the camp, the parking lot. In the parking lot, the usual defensive formation of heavy vehicles surrounding the outside and auxiliary vehicles staying inside is still maintained. Zhang Tuohai counted and found that there were 55 cars in total, including 42 with the Boxer Team logo and 13 with the White Bear Team. The most powerful looking ones are the two Panther Class main battle tanks which even have reactive armor mounted on them. There are 11 armored vehicles, and the rest are various Land Rovers, Hummers, RVs, and the like. These vehicles were equipped with anti-aircraft machine guns, and some even carried giant searchlights. It seems that even preparations for night venting are in place. However, no one was seen on duty at this time. At the core of the fleet is a black sports car that looks like the Batmobile. It is low and weird, and looks nondescript in the fleet. The woman's Knight 15 in Martin Boots was parked next to the vehicle. It looks like this should be the car of the boxer team captain. Zhang Tuohai nodded and asked Xiao Ai to set the attack coordinates. When attacking later, he would first paralyze the surrounding cars. In this way, 
The car surrounded in the middle would become turtles in the urn and be trapped to death. Inside? That's right. Zhang Tuohai is going to try to attack this camp. He wanted to know why the other party worked so hard to run such a camp. There is definitely some inside information. In fact, what Zhang Tuohai fears most is that these people are setting up some conspiracy against him. After all, the fatwa created by Moriarty was so terrifying that it directly pushed him to the opposition of all players. Now, except for a few individuals, all players are enemies by default in Zhang Tuohai's eyes. Zhang Tuohai silently estimated the strength comparison between the two sides. The opponent has a total of 55 vehicles, and the Adaz missiles on one of its weapon positions are quadruple mounted. In other words, he can launch 8 Adaz missiles in one strike. It takes about 7 rounds of attacks to destroy all 55 vehicles. The opponent has a certain number of anti-aircraft weapons. But ordinary anti-aircraft weapons are useless against missiles. Closed defense weapons must be equipped with a closed defense system. Zhang Tuohai didn't see anything like this either. Technically speaking, Zhang Tuohai had no problem killing this camp. Zhang Tuohai originally wanted to wait until night before taking action. In that case, the night would be dark and windy, and the opponent's field of vision would be further limited, and his advantage would be maximized. However, Zhang Tuohai looked at the time and saw that it was only noon. If he waited for the evening, it would be almost equivalent to wasting an entire afternoon. Although, there is no task in this world that must be completed within a specified time. However, Zhang Tuohai still didn't want to waste too much time in this camp. Classmate Xiao Yai, be ready to attack. The attack will begin in five minutes. Zhang Tuohai was gearing up and getting ready. Five minutes later, Adadaz missile shot out, crossed the high steel wall, and flew towards the central parking lot. Has something passed? A few people smoking around the city wall felt as if something was flying over their heads. And they couldn't help but look up. At this time, the eight Adaz missiles were already rushing towards their respective targets under the guidance of the drone. Boom. 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 A series of explosions sounded. Zhang Tuohai's first round of attack targets were the two Black Panther-class main battle tanks and six armored vehicles. Although the two Panther-class main battle tanks were equipped with reactive armor, the Adaz missiles attacked from the top. That's the weakest point and no one would put reactive armor on the top of the turret. The missile directly penetrated the roof and exploded in the cockpit. The violent explosion directly lifted the tank's turret out. The rest of the armored vehicles also met a similar fate. One of them was the most unlucky. It directly detonated the ammunition depot, causing a violent explosion. It directly affected several parked vehicles nearby, causing serious secondary damage. The result was not even worse than an Adaz missile. Chapter 532 The Missile Turned a Corner enemy attack. At the same time as the first round of missiles struck, those on the city wall raised the alarm. Unfortunately, their alarm was set too late, and the alarm and explosion sounded almost at the same time. Maybe he didn't make a plan, or maybe he didn't expect someone to raid so soon. Anyway, as soon as the explosion happened, the whole camp was in chaos. Some players quickly came to the machine gun position, trying to find the direction of the enemy. Some quickly ran in the direction of their cars trying to drive the cars away from the danger zone. Some drove their cars, and tried to break into the camp gate and escape. In short, the players in the camp were running around like headless flies. It turned out to be a ragtag group of people. So I feel more relieved. While Zong Tuohai was observing the situation in the camp through a drone, he calmly asked Xiao Ai to load the missiles, and carry out the second round of attacks. As for the Hellfire anti-tank missiles and cornet missiles, they are always ready to be launched to deal with emergencies. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. The second round of Adaz missiles struck again. The players guarding the outer wall also discovered the direction of the attack, aimed their machine guns in the general direction and started firing. However, the distance between the two is too far. In addition, the multi-purpose armored vehicle wears chameleon camouflage. It is unknown how many shots this kind of blind strafing can hit. Even if it hits, with the armor thickness of a multi-purpose armored vehicle, Bullets from a mere steam machine gun cannot break through the defense at all. Zhang Tuohai would never sell weapons that could harm him. In the second round, Adaz hit several cars again, blasting them into scrap. There was an Adaz missile among them, and Zhang Tuohai deliberately deflected it, directly blowing up a suspension bridge far away from his direction. Without the drawbridge, the 5-meter-wide anti-tank trenches would instead become their own fences, except for large armored vehicles and tanks with long tracks. Almost all the remaining vehicles could not cross the 5 meter wide anti tank ditch. Of course, Zhang Tuohai did not completely block their way out. In that case, 
these people would jump over the wall in a hurry. Who knows what would happen? Zhang Tuohai also left them the only escape route. He still understands the strategy of surrounding three and missing one. Seeing that a suspension bridge was blown to pieces. The players in the car couldn't sit still and crowded towards the only remaining suspension bridge. For fear of being trapped on this isolated island. However, at normal speed, it would take more than 50 vehicles about 10 minutes to pass this bridge one after another. However, at this time, everyone wanted to escape quickly, and they huddled together for a while. No one refused to retreat, but no one could leave. The bridge was crowded with people. Seeing the situation below, Zhang Tuohai was not in a hurry to deal with them, but instead used firepower to deal with the vehicles that were lagging behind. A car was set off with fireworks by an Adaz missile. Hearing the explosion behind them, the players panicked even more. Push forward harder. However, the more crowded it becomes, the harder it is to get through. In order to get out of the way, a super touring car cruelly stepped on the accelerator to the bottom and knocked a Humvee on the other side that was trying to get out of the way into the anti-tank ditch. After the super RV crashed into the road, just as he was about to get on the bridge, a Hummer suddenly rushed up from the diagonal and set up a machine gun to shoot at the cab of the RV. Those who beat us! The White Bear Group! Are you going to leave? Fish them out for us and compensate for the losses. Or I will beat you to death. How dare the idiots of the White Bear Group use guns? Brothers, kill them. Maybe the people outside are attracted by them and kill them. The Super Turing car did not show any weakness. Two shooting holes were opened in the huge car at the back. And two machine guns stretched out and fired continuously. This time, it directly aroused the anger of both parties. Originally, the White Bear Group and the Boxer Racing Team were equal alliances. But the leader of the White Bear Group and a group of elites were killed by Zhang Tuohai on the airship. As a result, the White Bear Group's strength was greatly damaged, and the balance of the alliance was broken. The Boxer Racing Team considered itself strong, powerful, wanting to overwhelm the White Bears. The players of the White Bear Group had no choice but to endure due to lack of strength. Normally, they would forget about it. But now, at the critical moment of escaping, their suppressed anger could no longer be controlled. They picked up the guys and opened fire on the players in the boxer team. The players in the boxer team were not weak, and they fired back one after another. For a moment, gunfire rang out everywhere in the camp, and the two groups caused more casualties to each other than to Zhang Tuohai. This scene made Zhang Tuohai dumbfounded outside. He never expected that the other party would start fighting among themselves. And the two parties started fighting. And it was extremely fierce. Even RPGs are used. Zhang Tuohai once wondered if this was a ruse to deceive him. However, seeing the obituaries floating by on the regional channel told him that it was all true. This man is really a strange creature. Zhang Tuohai shook his head and ordered Xiao Yai to continue attacking. There are eight Adaz missiles. Five used to deal with a boxer convoy. And three used to deal with a white bear regiment. After two rounds of attacks, there were only six still intact cars left on the field. That includes the Batmobile. So smooth? Zhang Tuohai didn't expect that the attack on the camp would go so smoothly. It was much easier than planned. He can't mess around anymore. He can't kill them all. He has to leave one or two to ask about the situation. After thinking about it, Zhang Tuohai launched five Adaz missiles, aiming at the remaining five cars, leaving the Batmobile behind and preparing to ask about the situation. However, the Batmobile suddenly retracted its four tires and popped out four nozzles. These nozzles spurted out flames and the Batmobile actually flew up. Damn it! You can still fly! This guy wants to run away! Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai immediately launched an Adaz missile. At this time, even if you don't ask about the situation, you can't let the other person go. Otherwise, if you give the other party a chance to leak your information, it will not be so easy to launch a sneak attack. It was originally a sure thing, but something unexpected happened. The Adaz missile landed near the Batmobile and turned inexplicably. There were no decoys. No chaff. Nothing. The missile just took an inexplicable turn. Passed by the Batmobile. The missile malfunctioned? Zhang Tuohai fired two Adaz missiles directly. One on the left and one on the right. Towards the Batmobile. However, just as the two missiles were about to hit the Batmobile, they made an inexplicable detour. Flew past the car body. And exploded in the air. Chapter 533. Moriarty did something good? How so? Zhang Tuohai was shocked when he saw several attacks failing one after another. Adaz missiles are his main attack weapon. But several consecutive attacks have been ineffective, which shows that the opponent definitely has the means to counter this weapon. Why does this guy have such a thing? 
Is it another trap arranged by Moriarty? A guess arose in Zhang Tuohai's mind. Got to try. Zhang Tuohai activated cornet missiles and hellfire missiles again. Of these two missiles, one is thermal imaging guidance and the other is semi-active laser guidance. Zhang Tuohai does not believe that this guy can defend against all guidance systems. Whizzing. Two missiles flew towards the Batmobile in the sky one after the other. However, just like the Adez missile, when it was about to approach the Batmobile, it turned around and then exploded in the air. At this time, the flying car had slowly flown into the air less than a hundred meters in front of Zhang Tuohai. Raise your hands and surrender. I know you are inside. Don't try to resist. My power is not something you can imagine or match. I can give you a chance to surrender to me. A somewhat arrogant voice came from the Batmobile. Surrender? Huh? I'm afraid I will be beaten into a sieve as soon as I go out. Right. Zhang Tuohai showed a disdainful smile at the corner of his mouth. Now, there is a reward hanging on his body. And anyone who kills him will be able to realize a wish. Zhang Tuohai doesn't believe that anyone can resist this temptation. Since missiles don't work, let's try using clothes and defense guns. Zhang Tuohai changed the weapon to a 1130 close range anti cannon, pointed it at the Batmobile in the air, and pulled the trigger. Da da da. A series of 30 mm close range anti cannon rounds were fired at the Batmobile. Although the diameter of the shells of the close and defense artillery is only 30 mm, its lethality is not weak at all especially the ultra-high speed results in its extremely high density. A square meter of area may be hit by hundreds or even thousands of artillery shells. Even the smallest amount of homogeneous steel armor can be worn through with force. However, the Batmobile in the air remained suspended in place. Motionless, the dense shells hit the Batmobile, making a ping-pong-pong-pong sound. But the Batmobile was unscathed. Ha! The owner of the Batmobile laughed when he saw the scene. I have level 7 armor. It is not something that your mere close-range defense cannons can break through. Surrender honestly. This is mine. This is the last chance for you. Otherwise, I will be rude. In the Batmobile, a guy with a metal ring on his bald head said in a cold tone, his eyes full of ferocious light. He glanced at the jungle, feeling a little anxious in his heart, and whispered, Come out quickly. Come out quickly. Damn guy. Why don't you come out yet? At this time, he was a little depressed. His car was not his own, but was given to him by Moriarty through special means. However, because there was a problem with the origin and the level was too high, in order to pass the inspection, Moriarty deliberately dismantled all the weapons and then passed the inspection. The owner of the Batmobile needs to use other means to trap and kill Zong to a high. If it weren't for this, the owner of the Batmobile wouldn't have to go to such trouble at all. And Zhang to a high could be eliminated with one missile. At this time, the patience of the owner of the Batmobile has been exhausted. His eyes are full of ferocity. Although Zhang Tuohai cannot hurt him, he constantly challenges his majesty, which makes his patience exhausted. He has already thought of 10,000 ways to deal with Zhang Tuohai. I can't wait to catch Zhang Tuohai immediately and cut his body into thousands of pieces to relieve the hatred in my heart. However, just as he thought of this, he suddenly felt a sharp pain in his chest. He looked down and saw that there was a big hole in his chest and the edges were scorched. There is also a round hole as thick as an arm on the car in front, with an edge as smooth as a mirror. How? How could it be possible? The owner of the Batmobile looked in disbelief. His car is a level 7 vehicle given by Lord Moriarty. Although it has no weapons, it is equipped with level 7 armor and various anti-missile equipment. In this world, no one should be able to kill him. What is this? What happened? However, he was afraid that he would never get the news he wanted. His eyelids became heavier and heavier, and the scenery in front of him became blurred. Scenes of his previous life passed before his eyes, like a revolving lantern. Plop. The Batmobile's owner slumped in his seat. The Batmobile's engine was also penetrated by lasers, gradually lost power, and fell from the sky to the ground, stirring up bursts of dust. Awesome. Zhang Tuohai's eyes were filled with excitement when he saw the fallen Batmobile. The laser is indeed an 8th level vehicle mounted weapon. It can easily deal with enemies that cannot be dealt with by missiles. It has almost no shortcomings except that it is greatly affected by the weather and consumes a lot of energy. Zhang Tuohai immediately drove over. At this time, the Batmobile had fallen to the ground, creating a large crater. Looking at the Batmobile that fell to the ground, Zhang Tuohai hesitated. If it had been any other car, he would have dismantled it immediately. However, this car is obviously very advanced. And even ordinary missiles can't hit it. 
Zhang Tuohai wondered if he could put this car away and use it as a spare car. In the event that his car was blown up, he still had a spare car to use, escaped with his life, and had a chance to make a comeback. Moreover, with its solid armor, ability to evade missiles, and vertical takeoff and landing, it looks like a special escape vehicle. If the car is dismantled, Zhang Tuohai will have a chance to dismantle the missile evading accessory. However, there is a chance. What if it cannot be dismantled? Isn't that blood loss? Therefore, Zhang Tuohai hesitated. However, at this moment, the prompt system popped up. Leap level decomposition and dismantling of vehicles have a 100% probability of obtaining a blueprint. This car is a level 7 car that has been modified by Moriarty. If affected, you can get 100% of the car parts. In addition, there is positioning inside the car. Moriarty can use the positioning system to know the location of the vehicle at any time. And can even control the car to a certain extent. Sure enough, it's this guy Moriarty. A look of anger rose on John Tuai's face. And he guessed that all this might have something to do with Moriarty. And he was right. Since this thing has a backdoor left by Moriarty, John Takumi doesn't dare to leave it. What if Moriarty controls this car to attack him secretly? However, Moriarty did another good thing unintentionally. That is, after the car was modified by Moriarty, 100% of the obtained drawings became ready-made car parts. This would save him the trouble of saving parts. Does anyone know what parts are needed for level 7 cars? Will it take the year of the monkey and the month of the horse to get it all together? 001. Dismantle this thing for me. John Tuohai released more than a dozen self-propelled machines and surrounded the Batmobile. The sound of a chainsaw rang. Chapter 534 Electronic Countermeasure System It has to be said that level 7 cars are extremely sturdy. Under normal circumstances, it only takes about 5 minutes to dismantle an ordinary Hummer. As for this level 7 car, it took 50 minutes to open the door. It may also be because there is a big gap between self-propelled machinery and level 7 vehicles. If these self-propelled machines are upgraded with level 7 metal, the disassembly speed will definitely increase a lot. This is why Zhang Tuohai beat the car owner to death. Otherwise, the other party would have run away long ago. After opening the door, the next thing is much easier. Zhang Tuohai took the lead in entering the car and rummaging around. The interior of this Batmobile has not been modified at all. And the interior space is about the same as that of a normal car. Even smaller because of the shorter body. However, the car is full of various displays. And the driver's seat is full of various buttons. Lying in the driver's seat was the body of a bald man. Wearing a black special combat uniform. With a shiny metal ring on his head and some antennas on it. Out of curiosity, Zhang Tuohai took it in his hand. Mind control headband by releasing electromagnetic waves. The people around you are gradually hypnotized. And finally achieve the effect of obeying your words. The weaker the will. The stronger the effect. Initial control period, 30 days. This thing isn't of much use. John Tuohai looked at the description of this ring and felt it was a bit useless. The effect of this thing is really good. But the cycle is too long. It actually takes 30 days. If this effect were placed in his original world, it would be unbelievable. However, this is a world of survival. The world changes every seven days. A large number of players die every day. It is estimated that the player will die before it takes effect. By the time the initial control was completed, it actually took more than four worlds. And the cucumber vegetables had already gone cold. Extremely tasteless. However, the effect of this thing was indeed a bit unbelievable. Zhang Tuohai was reluctant to throw it away. So he had to put it away and prepare to have Lilith reincarnate and study it to see if there was any improvement value. After putting away the headband, Zhang Tuohai found another drawing from the opponent's body. In addition to various reference objects, there is only a red X mark marked in one place on the drawing. I don't know what it means. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and decided to visit this place. The things that can be kept close to this guy are certainly not simple. And they might be some backup that Moriarty left behind in this world. After confirming that there was nothing else useful on the body, Zhang Tuohai asked 001 to bring a flamethrower to burn the other party's body to ashes. To deal with an enemy of this level, it is not enough to turn the opponent into a corpse. At least, the opponent must be crushed to ashes. In the world of fantasy fairy tales, the opponent must even be completely destroyed, so as to save the chance of resurrecting from the dead and then causing other enemies. What the hell is happening? After disposing of the body, Zhang Tuohai continued to search the car. There isn't much space in the car. And there aren't too many things. 
Zhang Tuohai found a gold-plated single-barrel shotgun and a gold-plated M500 in the back seat of the car. It looks very noble, but it is of no use. Zhang Tuohai picked them up one by one and didn't find any special attributes. The pure collection significance is greater than the actual significance. In the back seat of the car, Zhang Tuohai also found some cans and water, but there was nothing much to say. Under the seat, Zhang Tuohai found a drawing of a single-barrel 23mm machine gun. Zhang Tuohai didn't like the power of this thing, so he had no choice but to sell it. However, in this world, we are all enemies, so let's wait and see. After searching around and confirming that nothing was missing, Zhang Tuohai let the self-propelled machine continue to dismantle the Batmobile. After more than an hour, numerous self-propelled machines finally dismantled the Batmobile. Beyond all the chrome, there's a huge piece of machinery. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the machine, and a line of information immediately appeared in his eyes. Super Electronic Countermeasures System Version 2.0 Level 7 Automotive Accessories Consisting of Radio Frequency Jammers Radar Warnings Universal Missile Warnings Chaff Infrared Interference Diffusers Fiber Optic Decoy Diffusers Electromagnetic Wave Jammers Laser Countermeasures Systems Etc. of Optoelectronic and Electronic Countermeasures Systems It can effectively interfere with infrared guided missiles and laser guided missiles, causing them to lose target lock. There is a certain probability of directly burning the guidance components inside the missile, and a very low probability of modifying the parameter target inside the missile. It also has a powerful interference effect on equipment, such as drones. It can conduct certain electronic warfare, conduct electromagnetic interference, suppress enemy radio communications, and interfere with radar. Note, since the equipment is obtained through a leapfrog kill, the equipment qualification is automatically obtained, and the level restrictions can be ignored. Looking at the line of comments, Zhang Tuohai was stunned. No wonder all the missiles of his own were useless against the opponent's Batmobile. It turned out that it was equipped with this kind of thing. With this thing. Even if you fight for a whole day, I'm afraid not a single missile will hit the opponent. It is indeed a level 7 accessory. And the effect is truly terrifying. However, Zhang Tuohai was also very lucky that he had obtained a level 8 laser transmitter in advance and killed the opponent while he was not paying attention. Speaking of which, this level 8 laser transmitter was also a gift from Moriarty. Counting the micro-nuclear reactor. Moriarty had given him three items in succession. If Moriarty hadn't always wanted to kill him, he would have wanted to thank this good man in person. Zhang Tuohai hurriedly asked Xiao Ai to drive the multi-purpose armored vehicle to the machine. A robotic arm popped out and touched the machine. Installable equipment found. Super Electronic Countermeasure System version 2.0. Would you like to load it? Certainly. Zhang Tuohai immediately clicked yes. A white light flashed and the machine disappeared. Zhang Tuohai immediately ran back to the car. At this time, there were some more subscreens on the edge of the spherical screen, displaying various data. There were also some more buttons on the console, which looked a lot more complicated. Great! From now on, I can also ignore those infrared-guided and laser-guided missiles. Zhang Tuohai's eyes were filled with excitement. Now, he has too many enemies, and he only dares to act cautiously. If you are beaten by a group of opponents, you may really get angry on the spot. Now with this thing, coupled with a closed defense system, the defense of his car has reached a new level. He can also be more relaxed in his actions, and some bold plans can be implemented. However, what makes Zhang Tuohai more regretful is that the opponent's vertical takeoff and landing system has not been dismantled. If he had that thing, his car might be able to eject directly. What's more regrettable is that he accidentally beat the car owner to death and failed to ask this guy what the purpose of building a camp here was. Now, the only clue left is to find this map from the opponent's arms. Zhang Tuohai put the drawings on the table and said to classmate Xiao Ai, Start towards this position. Chapter 535 Underground Space Multipurpose armored vehicles rumbled across the wilderness. Because, if you want to reach the location marked on the map, you have to go through a large circle by road, and visual inspection may take more than 10 hours. In order to save time, Zhang Tuohai decided to go directly through the wilderness to reach the target location. He had already seen it when he came last time. There were no monsters in the wilderness yet. Now that the virus has just broken out, there may not be any scary guys born in the wilderness. Therefore, the wilderness is not a big problem now. However, if a few days pass, Zhang Tuohai may have to consider it. Zhang Tuohai was driving rapidly in the wilderness, but his behavior made other players complain endlessly. After being marked with a red name, 
Zhang Tuohai's coordinates will be broadcast every six hours. Those players all had a small map on their screens, marking their location and the marked location of Zhang Tuohai. The minimap is completely black, and only the places passed by the player will be lit up. This can make those players miserable. They each tried to approach Zhang Tuohai along the road, but found themselves walking further and further away. If they wanted to get closer, they had to go off the road and into the wilderness. However, the problem is that the location of Zhang Tuohai displayed on the map is not real time and is only updated every six hours. By the time they arrive, Zhang Tuohai is no longer here. By then, Zhang Tuohai has returned to the road. So they can, it's a big loss. Those players gnashed their teeth and wandered on the road while guessing the direction Zhang Tuohai was heading and preparing to intercept him. For a moment, the channel was filled with voices complaining about how the game system was too stingy. It only reported its location once every six hours. Why not have a real-time positioning system? In that case, they could easily know the direction of Zhang Tuohai's movement and set up an ambush in advance. Of course, their complaints were in their own small groups, and Zhang Tuohai couldn't even see them. However, even if he saw it, Zhang Tuohai wouldn't take it seriously. It's also located in real time. Why don't you tell me that I will send it to your door for you to kill? Thousands of people are chasing one person, and they have to locate him in real time. Can he have a face? Zhang Tuohai glanced at his red name tag information, and his experience at this time had risen to LV1, 126 out of 200. Every bit of experience represents a player's life. If you kill more than 80 players, you will be upgraded to LV2. By then, I don't know what new changes will happen. Although Zhang Tuohai was riding fast along the way and did not dare to waste time. It was already night when Zhang Tuohai arrived at the location marked on the map. A farm appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. An endless white wooden fence. A huge farm gate. A two-story wooden house. Stables. Cow sheets. And grape fields. Behind the house is a large maple forest. With a heated swimming pool next to it. And a standard vacation farm. Classmate Xiao Ai. Look at the map. Are you sure this is here? Zhang Tuohai walked around the farm and didn't find any difference between this farm and ordinary farms. If this spot hadn't been marked on the map, he wouldn't have stopped to take a look even if he passed by. Commander, I have confirmed twice that it is indeed here. There is no deviation. Classmate Xiao Yai said decisively. Well, in that case, let's go in and take a look. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and drove directly into the farm. He believed that the drawings carried by a guy who could drive a Class 7 car were definitely not ordinary items. And there might be some big secret hidden here. The multi-purpose armored vehicle slowly drove into the farm. Zhang Tuohai first checked the cow sheet and horse stable, but found nothing strange, and finally came to the two-story wooden house. Pushing open the cabin, Zhang Tuohai walked in. After walking in, there was a space similar to a living room, with a circle of sofas, a large TV, and thick carpets. However, Zhang Tuohai always felt that this living room was a bit strangeness. After scanning it carefully, he noticed something strange. That is, the wall facing him is too clean. There were more or less decorations hanging on the other two walls. However, the wall opposite him was extremely clean, with nothing at all, which seemed a bit incongruous. It's a bit strange. Zhang Tuohai walked over and knocked lightly, making a hollow sound. However, this doesn't mean anything. Maybe there is an accessory room, like a utility room connected to the back. But doubt is enough. Zhang Tuohai took out a gasoline-powered saw and sawed at the wooden wall. Stab. After an inch of depth, the gas-powered saw encountered strong resistance and even sparks. With steel behind it, there is indeed something. Zhang Tuohai felt very excited. This time, he found a hidden room without using the prompt system. Zhang Tuohai returned to the car and called several self-propelled machines to start demolishing the wall. They can dismantle level 7 vehicles like the Batmobile. Not to mention a mere wall. With three clicks and two clicks, an entire wooden wall was demolished. It turns out that behind the wooden wall, there is a steel door, with the transmission shaft and other items well hidden. The wooden wall can also be opened by lifting. No wonder there is no pendant designed. It turns out that it is for fear of being blocked. Open this door for me, Zhang Tuohai said. Several self-propelled machines began to take action. What surprised Zhang Tuohai was that the door was very thick, with a thickness of 30 centimeters. It also contained some titanium alloy. It could almost be used as the outer door of a nuclear war shelter. What on earth is this place that is so well protected? Seeing such a heavy door, Zhang Tuohai became excited. 
wherever a door of this level can be used. There must be good things inside. Zhang Tuohai called in a few more self-propelled machines and sped up the process of dismantling the door. Within five minutes, the entire door was dismantled into metal ingots. A wide passage was revealed behind the gate, seven or eight meters wide and more than four meters high. A long corridor continued to extend toward the distance in a slope manner. Zhang Tuohai looked down. The corridor was dark, and he didn't know where it led. At this moment, there was a roar from below the corridor, as if something was coming. A 30-man rapid reaction force is approaching in the corridor, with a total of seven Humvees and two assault guns. Distance 2,000 meters. 30 people? Two assault guns? A look of disdain flashed in Zhang Tuohai's eyes. He was about to use missiles to fight back. However, he looked at the surrounding tunnels and was afraid that the missiles would blow up the tunnels. That would be difficult. Done. In such a small area, using missiles is not a good choice. Do you mean to print them out and solve them? Or should we change to a more suitable weapon? Zhang Tuohai was thinking about it. And suddenly his eyes lit up. He immediately jumped back into the car and took out two individual cloud explosive bombs. Chapter 536 Full Channel Blocking Quick Reaction Force Let's see if we can outrun individual cloud bombs faster. Zhang Tuohai set up a single cloud explosive bomb and pulled the trigger into the passage. Whoosh. Crackle. The cloud explosive bombs of the individual soldiers shot out and exploded in the passage. A bright fireball exploded in the passage and then quickly extinguished. The explosion of the individual cloud bomb is not very powerful and the sound is not loud. But the aluminum magnesium mixed fuel inside can burn out the oxygen in the entire channel in a very short period of time. The entire passage has become a restricted area for life. Not only are people losing oxygen and unable to breathe, but their cars are also stalled because they have lost combustion oxygen. If it is a wilderness, the enemy protection measures are taken properly, and the surrounding air is quickly filled. There may be a glimmer of hope, but here is the passage. The entire channel is filled with hot carbon dioxide, which expands due to overheating. This carbon dioxide surges around in large amounts, which results in oxygen being unable to flow in for a while which greatly increases the time for the enemy to suffocate. By the time the oxygen in the passage was enough for people to breathe, the enemies inside had already been suffocated for a long time. Zhang Tuohai asked classmate Xiao Yai to break down the door and drive in the multi-purpose armored vehicle. At this time, according to detection, the passage is ready for people to pass. Zhang Tuohai immediately jumped into the car and rushed towards the passage. After driving less than a thousand meters, Zhang Tuohai discovered several cars parked in the passage. At the front of the line was a Humvee, followed by two assault guns, and then several more Humvees. The members of the Humvee were all lying in their positions, holding onto their necks with both hands. Some even tore their throats directly, but there was still no oxygen to be inhaled. It can be seen that when these people died, the tragic situation. Zhang Tuohai looked at the dead people and prepared to move forward. He didn't know how many people were waiting for him at the end of the passage. If he stopped here to dismantle the vehicle, it would give the other party more time to prepare. Just when Zhang Tuohai was about to leave, he suddenly discovered a problem. That is, the two people who died in the Hummer were exactly the same. Twins or clones? Zhang Tuohai quickly drove to the Hummers behind to check. All the people on the Humvees have the same face. Is this a biochemical base? Zhang Tuohai became more curious and drove the armored vehicle forward at a faster speed. The passage does not go straight forward, but spirals downward. After three consecutive turns, the prompt system suddenly popped up. A guardhouse is found 1,000 meters ahead. The opponent is organizing a defense line and is ready to receive a single cloud bomb attack. These guys also have individual cloud bombs? Zhang Tuohai was shocked. How desperate a person must be to keep a weapon like a cloud explosive bomb in the passage. Are you preparing to die with the enemy? Zhang Tuohai break quickly and then activated the protection system. Boom! An individual cloud burst projectile was launched onto the armored vehicle. The white aluminum magnesium mixture was burning. The temperature in the channel increased rapidly. The oxygen was consumed rapidly. And an oxygen vacuum area was formed in a section of the space. However, in order to wade through water and lurk in seawater areas, Zhang Tuai's car had all the gaps filled up. And it was almost difficult for the aluminum magnesium mixed solvent outside to burn in. And there is a high-end ecological park in his car so there is no shortage of oxygen. A single cloudburst bomb could hardly cause any harm to him, but he still decided to put on a show at their expense. Zhang Tuohai huddled motionless in the car. A moment later, a group of people wearing special combat uniforms came out of the darkness and surrounded the car 
in an encircling formation. The leader waved his hand, and a group of special forces personnel wearing breathing masks immediately rushed forward with weapons in hand. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai immediately activated the 1130 close and defense gun. Seeing the weapons popping out, the surrounding special forces personnel immediately knew they had been tricked and were about to run away. However, this is a passage and there are no obstacles at all. The 1130 close and defense gun has an extremely high rate of fire, making it impossible for normal people to avoid it. Da da da. A series of bullets swept through, and the special forces in the passage were beaten into pieces. As soon as Zhang Tuohai heard the gunfire, Zhang Tuohai jumped out of the car and took off the breathing masks on those people's faces. As expected, these people all had identical faces and were all clones. Sure enough, there is a problem. Let's go in and take a look. Zhang Tuohai jumped into the car and accelerated towards the inside. Zhang Tuohai is sure that there is definitely something good in it. As the car went in, clones wearing special combat uniforms jumped out from time to time on both sides of the road to intercept and kill them. Some of these people are holding anti-tank grenades. Some are holding rocket grenades. And some are holding anti-tank guns. Anyway, they are all kinds of targeted equipment. And there are almost no duplicates. However, in front of the prompt system, it was not enough to watch. And Zhang Tuohai killed them all from a distance. Looking at the increasingly advanced and targeted weapons, Zhang Tuohai was sure that the other party must have communication equipment. Otherwise, the information would not be transmitted at all. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai directly turned on the electronic countermeasure system, turned on full channel blocking, and interfered with the channel radio signals. This is the most advanced method he can use to attack communications, and it is also the only method. If the other party is using wired communication, then there is nothing he can do. What is shocking is that when Zhang Tuohai activated all channel jamming, the attack miraculously stopped. Could it be a scam? Are you setting up an ambush? Seeing that the effect was so good, Zhang Tuohai felt a little unsure. He slowed down with some worry and carefully checked the surrounding situation. When passing a corner, Zhang Tuohai suddenly saw a guard room. The guard room was half open, and a figure was wandering around. Is there anyone? Zhang Tuohai subconsciously aimed the 1130 close range anti cannon at this guy. When he was about to attack, Zhang Tuohai shouted, Stop! He always felt that the guy in front of him was a bit strange. Zhang Tuohai leaned over and gently opened the door of the guard room with a robotic arm. The scene inside shocked Zhang Tuohai. It turns out that at this moment, the inside of the guard room can be described as a chaotic dance of demons. One clone was walking in circles. Another was constantly getting up and sitting down on the chair. And one was filling the magazine with bullets. But the magazine was obviously full. But he still repeated this action. And there was even one he continued to drink coffee. Even though the coffee had overflowed. He still looked at it quietly. With no intention of stopping. Everyone was doing the same repetitive movements. Going on and on. Turning a deaf ear to his arrival. Chapter 537 Packing Information What are these people doing? Seeing the looks of these people. Zhang Tuohai felt as if he was watching a constantly looping animated picture. If the coffee from the coffee machine hadn't flowed to the ground. Zhang Tuohai looked at these people for a while and finally determined that these people were not making fun of him. He found that the movements of these people were all accurate. And all their movements were as if they had been measured with a ruler. Without any deviation at all. Even if it is a sneak attack. It is not done like this. The probability of failure is too high. On the contrary. They are like a group of robots that have lost control. Faithfully executing the last order. Wait! Robot? Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up. Could there be someone controlling these clones? Shall I? Please turn off the jammer for a second and then turn it back on. Zhang Tuohai said. Clear! Shall I turned off the electronic warfare system. And the clones immediately rushed towards Zhang Tuohai. The loaded clone immediately clicked the magazine and pulled the trigger on the armored vehicle. Upon seeing this, Classmate Xiao Ai immediately activated the electronic warfare system. And all the clones maintained their last forward motion. He rushed to the side of Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle and kept running forward. Looking very funny. The clone who fired the gun kept pulling the trigger after running out of bullets. As if he didn't even realize that there were no bullets. As expected, it is controlled by wireless channels. Zhang Tuohai's heart moved. If this is the case, then as long as he turns on the electronic warfare system. Wouldn't he be able to push it here? If I had known, I would have opened it earlier. Zhang Tuohai controlled the 1130 close and defense gun to kill these clones. Then jumped out of the car and entered the guard room. 
This guard room is similar to the one Zhang Tuahai has seen before. It is a circle of sofas, plus a weapons cabinet and a coffee machine. There are no extraneous furnishings. Zhang Tuahai casually opened the weapons cabinet which was full of various submachine guns and assault rifles. Below were four Phoenix rockets and a grenade launcher. The weapons and equipment are pretty good. Zhang Tuohai wandered around and drove forward after finding nothing new. Zhang Tuohai passed seven or eight more guard rooms along the way. There were more than ten people in each guard room, wearing the same special combat uniforms. But the weapons in the weapon cabinets were getting more and more advanced. By the time they arrived at the tenth guard room, Zhang Tuohai could already see the over-frequency electromagnetic gun in the weapons cabinet. Under the cabinet, Zhang Tuohai also found a tomahawk missile. If this thing was activated, not to mention his armored vehicle, even the entire passage would explode and collapse. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help wiping a cold sweat when he saw this thing. Thank you for getting the electronic warfare system. If these guys activate this thing, we will be in trouble. Zhang Tuohai carefully removed the tomahawk missile and brought it back to the car. These clones couldn't control such a powerful weapon. So it would be better for him to control it himself. After passing through 10 guard rooms in a row, after turning a corner, Zhang Tuohai's front suddenly became clear. In front of the passage is a bright area, smooth and tidy, with metal instruments everywhere, like a laboratory. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai was about to move forward when a prompt popped up from the system. Be careful. There is a laser emitter ahead. Zhang Tuohai was frightened when he heard this, and immediately looked ahead carefully. After a careful search, the laser emitter was found on the wall of the passage ahead. In a short passage of 10 meters, 18 laser emitters were placed. Four of them even blocked the passage into five equal parts. Is this your plan to play Gujian with me? Zhang Tuohai felt a little scared. If he hadn't noticed these things and drove over recklessly, he might have been sliced sausage by these laser emitters. The biggest advantage of this thing is that it is concealed. Once exposed, there is nothing to fear. Zhang Tuohai activated the 1130 machine cannon and exploded these laser emitters one by one. After checking the passage again to confirm that there were no traps, Zhang Tuohai drove over in a multi-purpose armored vehicle. After passing through the passage, Zhang Tuohai entered a huge laboratory. There are various machines placed everywhere in the laboratory, and various data and models are displayed on the display screen. In the center, there is a huge LCD screen and an avatar that is half metal and half human face appears on the screen. An electronically synthesized neutral voice sounded. Leave immediately. Intruder, you are entering the private territory of United Pharmaceuticals. Please leave immediately. Otherwise, we will evict you by force. Expulsion by force? Isn't that what you just did? John Tuohai chuckled. It turns out that this is a joint pharmaceutical company. I said how could there be these things here? Since it is a joint pharmaceutical company, it is not surprising. Okay, don't talk to me about any official talk. The outside has become a wasteland, and United Pharmaceutical has also shrunk. If I guess correctly, your place should have been abandoned. Otherwise, there wouldn't be only some empty ones left. Brain clones. Take out valuable things and show them to me. If it satisfies me, I will leave directly. If it does not satisfy me, I will destroy this place and then loot it again. Should I keep myself or keep the secret? And then I will dig it out. And you can make your own decision. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. Of course. In order to prove the authenticity of my words. I can do an experiment for you to see first. 001. Following Zhang Tuohai's words. 001 walked out of the car. Came to a machine. Cut the machine directly. And then reduced it into metal ingots and metal parts. How's it going? Have you thought about it? I don't think you need much time. Right. For someone of your level. You should be able to calculate the gain and loss ratio within 0.01 seconds. Zhang Tuohai asked from the side. Well, it is indeed more profitable to believe your words. This is the information that United Pharmaceutical stores here. You can pack it up and leave. The neutral voice said and listed a long list of information on the electronic screen. Zhang Tuohai took a look and saw that they were all data and research materials on various human clones, as well as research on radio-controlled human cloning. It seems that this is a laboratory specializing in cloning and related experiments. Zhang Tuohai directly packed these materials on a hard drive and took them away, preparing to use them for Lilith's research. Maybe he can also create his own clone army in the future. This alone is not enough. Open the warehouse and let me see if there is anything valuable. Zhang Tuohai put the hard drive away and said calmly, Chapter 538, 
hunting for treasures in the garbage heap. The woman on the screen glanced at Zhang Tuohai, was silent for two seconds, and then said, Greedy human being, I hope you can keep your promise, get what you need, and leave here. Don't worry, I'm the most trustworthy person. I always do business with integrity. There are no old people or children in the survival game. And I never use shoddy goods. I'll tell you it's garbage. But you still have to buy it. Tens of thousands of items have been sold with no returns. Anyone who wants to return them will die. And he has been praised by countless women as an extremely good person. Received countless good person cards. Zhang Tuohai said, patting his chest. It can be seen from your demeanor and tone that what you said is true. However, I always feel that something is not quite right. The woman on the big screen said coldly. But now, I can only choose to believe you. The woman on the big screen said, opening a metal door to reveal a warehouse. Here are the various test products and sample machines stored here. You can choose some of the ones you think are most useful and take them away. This is the most valuable part of the materials in this laboratory. If you don't like it, then I don't have it either. What can we do? Seeing the warehouse full of various machines. Zhang Tuohai felt like a mouse that had fallen into a rice vat, rubbing his hands together. I'm so embarrassed. Although he said he was embarrassed, his movements were not slow at all. Before he could finish the last word, he had already rushed into the warehouse. The greedy carbon-based bipedal mammal. The woman on the screen looked at Zhang Tuohai's back with a look of disgust. Zhang Tuohai didn't hear these words. He was happily picking things in the warehouse. He touched left and right, checking to see if there was anything suitable for him to take away. Facing him, he saw a huge, coffin-like metal box. The upper half is transparent. The lower half is metal. And the inside is white soft lining. It looks like a coffin. What is this? An alloy coffin? Can it be put in and cremated automatically? Or can it be launched directly into space? Zhang Tuohai looked at the metal box curiously. Advanced medical cabin, level 5 general accessories, which can conduct a comprehensive examination of the patient's body can automatically perform most surgeries. Poisoning treatment comes with most of the serum, emergency rescue, and some common diseases, and can clone patients to cut organs, skin, and limbs are transplanted. When the patient's life is in danger and the medical cabin cannot provide effective treatment, automatic emergency cooling forces the patient into hibernation mode so that the patient can be transferred for treatment. Good stuff. Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up when he saw the instructions in the medical cabin. This thing is equivalent to a fully automatic multifunctional doctor. As long as it is not killed on the spot, even broken limbs can be repaired or cloned and retransplanted. Although this thing cannot directly improve his direct combat ability, it can greatly improve his survivability. With this thing, he can have some fun on many occasions, as long as he doesn't get beaten to death on the spot. Moreover, this thing is also a universal accessory for level 5 vehicles. After installation, it can be used to make upgrade conditions which is simply killing two birds with one stone. Zhang Tuohai immediately asked classmate Xiao Ai to drive over and load the high-end medical cabin. After getting something useful, Zhang Tuohai became more interested and continued to pick it up in the warehouse. Zhang Tuohai found a cardboard box filled with vacuum-packed cylindrical objects. What's this? Zhang Tuohai curiously picked up one and examined it. Magic Individual Soldier Energy Bar Individual Soldier Ration In order to enrich the taste of soldiers, United Pharmaceuticals specially developed a compound flavor energy bar and packaged it in a unified package. You will never know the energy bar in your hand until you take a bite. What does it taste like? It is said that United Medicine has studied a total of 666 flavors. Note, the researcher who led this project was shot in the dark the next day after distributing energy bars to combat troops for experience. After the investigators tasted the energy bars, they acquitted the shooting soldier and sealed the energy bars completely here marking them as dangerous goods. After reading the above description, Zhang Tuohai didn't know what to say. It's just an energy bar, an emergency ration. In order to meet nutritional needs, it certainly cannot satisfy taste needs. He has bought several of these in his original world. To be honest, it's just a little bit of work, not as evil as what is posted on the internet. These guys are just spoiled. No matter how unpalatable they are, they won't be blackmailed. Zhang Tuohai casually tore open an energy bar and took a bite. Then, his face turned green. Although the game system has indicated that the taste of this thing is very rich, he never expected that it would be so rich. The energy bar in his hand actually smelled like booger. Zhang Tuohai almost vomited on the spot. Is this an energy bar or a murder weapon? 
How can any emergency food be made with this kind of taste? No wonder he was shot in the dark. Are these people too weird? If the inventor hadn't been dead, Zhang Tuai would have wanted to tie the opponent to the missile and launch it. I wouldn't have been able to come up with this kind of invention without suffering from cerebral thrombosis for 10 years. The most ridiculous thing is that this thing has actually been developed. Are the people at United Medicine having nothing to do? Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai remembered that United Pharmaceuticals used missiles to release viruses around the world. With these abnormal brain circuits, it seems possible to do such a thing. Zhang Tuohai originally wanted to throw away these gadgets, but he raised his hands in the air and put them down again. He won't eat this stuff, but he can sell it. Anyway, he happened to hate this generation of players in this area, so he left it to them to digest. You can also earn some W. Thinking about it, Zhang Tuohai felt that his whole body was filled with the glory of humanity. In this post-apocalyptic world where food is in short supply, as an enemy, he actually generously takes out part of his own poor food reserves, half a warehouse, and a cold storage, and distributes them to those enemies. What kind of spirit is this? If this year's Chung Xian award is not awarded to him, we will be sorry for the box of energy bars he sold. After putting away a box of energy bars, Zhang Tuohai continued to rummage. Kanjurian braised herring. 100-inch touchscreen TV. Refrigerator that can heat food. Glass that never transmits light. A clock that tells the time when you tap it. Looking at these useless things, Zhang Tuohai felt his head growl. He didn't know whether it was because United Pharmaceuticals R&D funds were so deceitful, or because these researchers were just too idle, and actually invented so many useless rubbish. He even suspected that Manuel Gung had traveled to this world in advance and served as the head of United Pharmaceutical. Researcher. Otherwise, it would be really unexplainable that there would be so many useless gadgets in the warehouse of a research base. Just when John Tuahai thought that the warehouse was full of useless things, a huge canvas appeared in front of him. Chapter 539 Individual Tomahawk Missile What's in here? John Tuahai curiously opened the canvas. Placed inside are a total of 12 Tomahawk missiles, all installed in launch tubes. There is also a launch controller, which is only the size of a tablet computer. A line of explanation appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. Individual Tomahawk Missile A Tomahawk Missile developed by United Pharmaceuticals that can be launched by an individual soldier. It simplifies the launch process. It is an integrated design and can be used by one person. The power and range are not reduced. But in the end due to weight, it was too heavy and could not be moved by a single soldier. So the research was declared a failure and was stored in a warehouse. This, Zhang Tuohai didn't know what to say when he saw this improved invention. Although there are various types of tomahawk missiles, even the smallest one is more than 5 meters long. Moreover, even the closest range of this thing is as high as 400 kilometers. He really can't imagine what a single soldier would do with this thing. Wouldn't it be enough to just get a launch vehicle? These United Pharmaceutical Researchers must have some brains to study this kind of thing. Or, it is used to defraud funds. However, it doesn't matter for what purpose the researchers of United Pharmaceutical developed this thing. Zhang Tuohai discovered that he can use this thing completely. Although he can't control this thing himself, he can leave it to Xiao Ai to use. Moreover, the specifications of this thing can be regarded as an individual weapon. It does not need to occupy the vehicle weapon slot. It can be set up and fired through the hatch on the top. The most important thing is that this thing is powerful enough. One can destroy a building, even if it is used to fight Godzilla. With this thing, if he encounters something at the level of a coin again, he can solve it with just one shot of the battle axe. Is it still worth the trouble to use it? Zhang Tuohai excitedly put these modified Tomahawk missiles into the car. Although these are non-renewable missiles, there are only 12 of them, and they are gone after being fired. But they have also truly improved his combat effectiveness and added a means of dealing with the enemy. It's quite a harvest. With two important gains, Zhang Tuohai regained his confidence and started plundering the warehouse. As a result, he found that he was happy too early and he underestimated the ability of researchers like United Pharmaceuticals to develop waste products. How to evaluate these things? Zhang Tuohai felt that as long as these things could be of some use, they would not be useless at all. The fact that these things were thrown here and not moved away is enough to prove the value of these things. It was Zhang Tuohai's luck to be able to dig out two useful things. However, Zhang Tuohai did not let go of even the garbage and moved it all back to the car. When Lilith is reincarnated and comes back, let her see if there is any value in transformation. If it really doesn't work, you can still use it to dismantle it into raw materials. Anyway, you won't lose money. After cleaning up the things, 
Zhang Tuohai found a book in a corner. He picked it up curiously. The title of the book is Grant's Research Notes. Zhang Tuohai opened it and looked through it slowly. This notebook is a diary used by a researcher named Grant to record his ideas and research and development ideas. It records many machines that he thinks are wonderful. From the notes, we can know that Mr. Grant is a very creative designer. These things in the warehouse were all researched by Mr. Grant. And that is only a small part of them. The rest are too shocking. So that the brainless senior management felt that it was unreliable and rejected his plan as a financial liar. In his notes, Grant felt that those high-level officials were all pig-brained and could not appreciate the advanced nature of his equipment. He must find someone who could appreciate him and build all these equipment. Zhang Tuohai flipped through his notes and put them away, preparing to read them as a joke book. It has to be said that Mr. Grant's imagination is not big enough to be called a brain. He has a brain in the hole. However, if the process of making these things can be recorded as a video, I believe it will be very interesting. With full harvest, Zhang Tuohai returned to the hall with satisfaction. Well, I've taken away what I think is valuable. Thank you for your generosity. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. The woman on the screen looked at the empty warehouse and opened her mouth, not knowing what to say. In its logic, there seems to be no countermeasure to deal with this situation. The woman was down for five seconds, and then she said helplessly, Since you have collected the items, please keep your promise and leave here. Don't worry. As long as you don't bother me, I won't cause trouble for you. Zhang Tuohai said, driving towards the passage from which he came. Zhang Tuohai had no intention of dealing with this artificial intelligence-like thing. Anyway, he was abandoned here by United Pharmaceuticals to guard the broken man. He has no hatred to death. So there is no need to beat him to death. If you have to take action, you are very likely to encounter a desperate counterattack from the opponent. Not worth it. However, Zhang Tuohai dare not remove the blockage of all channels for the time being. At least until he leaves the area. Zhang Tuohai headed all the way outside. And soon he saw the exit. Just when Zhang Tuohai was about to speed up and rush out, the prompt system suddenly popped up. Attention! There is a large group of players outside ambushing near the door. Please be cautious. Huh? Has a player come here? Zhang Tuohai was curious and opened the regional channel to take a look. He found that because he had been delayed here for too long, the game system once again reported his location, which led to some nearby players following his lead. Found it here. I actually managed to catch up here, and my nose is pretty sharp. Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly and threw a small hand thrown drone. The small drone flew out and began to investigate the surrounding situation. There was no one inside the two story building. But outside, there were three vehicles, an assault gun, and two modified tanks. The caliber of the guns reached about 105 millimeters, and the long muzzles extended from the window. He came in and aimed at the exit. If he dared to go out, he would be attacked head on. These guys actually learned how to ambush. Zhang Tuohai sneered and continued to observe the terrain. In addition to the three vehicles that went out to ambush around the house, there was a second line of defense consisting of 20 vehicles. Each vehicle was equipped with at least one recoilless rifle and was very well armed. On the outermost perimeter was a completely black tank. When he saw the shape of the tank clearly, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but gasp. It turned out to be an M2A1 main battle tank. Chapter 540 Gustav M2A1 main battle tank? Zhang Tuohai's expression changed when he saw the tank outside. In his original world, this thing was the most powerful among active tanks except for those fantasy vehicles that are still under development or only exist in PPT. The M2A1 can be said to be the well-deserved king of land warfare and has few opponents. This group of players is not weak. There are more than 20 vehicles in total. It looks like they need to be dealt with well. Zhang Tuohai thought to himself. Zhang Tuohai was thinking about how to kill the players outside. And the players outside were also thinking about how to kill Zhang Tuohai. A pair of brothers in the assault gun were discussing in a low voice. Brother. Do you think that guy is really here? The younger brother lay on the lookout and looked curiously. Mr. Gustav has already said that that guy must be inside. He has tools in his hand that can lock down wanted criminals. There should be no mistake. The elder brother thought for a while and said. But, can we guys really beat that guy? That guy has killed more than a hundred players. He is like a devil. Can we guys really beat him? My brother was still very uneasy. It's definitely no problem if you can beat them. My brother lit up a cigarette and said. Those players were killed mainly because their strength was too low. I heard that before they were killed. They were still purchasing a large number of machine guns. 
Even the machine gun level, we didn't all have the weapons together. So it's not surprising that they were destroyed. On the contrary, we have the strongest force in the entire region. Mr. Gustav has the King of Land War tanks. And our assault guns have been modified twice and have armor-piercing projectiles. It shouldn't be a problem to deal with that guy. In my opinion, we the one who needs ideas is not the hunted Zong Tuohai, but our companions. The elder brother spat out an eye socket and said calmly, Companions? Aren't they our teammates? We will form a team to hunt the target and then divide the spoils equally. The younger brother asked doubtfully, Oh, evenly divided? How is it possible? There is only one wish, and it cannot be shared at all. If I guess correctly, after killing that target, it will be the time for us to hunt each other. Be careful when you stay for a while, and shoot a cannonball, then immediately turn around and rush out of the encirclement. Don't hold back on those guys. Kill everyone you see, especially the two modified tanks. They are our biggest enemies. If we rush out directly, there may be a way for us to survive. Understood. The younger brother nodded, stuffed an armor-piercing bullet into the muzzle, and waited for the attack to begin. At this moment, a sharp whistling sound suddenly came from the passage. What sound? The younger brother asked curiously. My brother used to be an armored soldier. When he heard the voice, his expression suddenly changed. Quick! Reverse the car and release the bait! Upon hearing this, the younger brother immediately pulled the joystick and pressed the button to release the decoy bomb. However, it was too late. And a DAS missile hit the top of the assault gun from the air. Boom! An explosion nearly overturned the assault gun. And the barrel flew straight out, smashing a wall of the wooden house. When the two modified tanks nearby saw what was happening, they knew something was wrong and immediately prepared to fire, destroying the passage and burying Zhang to a high in the passage. However, before they could take action, two Adaz missiles hit their turrets one after another. One hit the connection part of the turret, and the turret flew away directly. Another missile directly penetrated the top hatch, hit the ammunition compartment, and caused a sudden explosion. The entire tank directly turned into an orange-red mushroom cloud and disappeared from the spot. Fire! Seeing that the first wave of ambush players were all killed, Gustav didn't look good, but this was what he expected. In his plan, there was a follow-up plan after the first round of ambush players were killed. He even informed the corresponding players of the plan. Execute Plan B! Gustav picked up the walkie-talkie and said. However, all that came from the walkie-talkie was the buzzing sound of electricity which could not convey the message at all. The signal was blocked? How did it happen? Did the guy just launch an electromagnetic interference bomb? Or did he have electromagnetic interference equipment? These things were not on the list given by Mr. Moriarty. Could it be that he sent it from this underground base? Did you get it newly? It seems that there are still a lot of good things in this underground base. After killing this guy later, I have to go down and take a look after dealing with these guys around. Gustav thought to himself. Although the other players around did not hear Gustav's order, they were not fools. After seeing the two tanks and an assault gun in the first row being killed, they immediately launched an, okay, attack. All kinds of artillery and machine guns greeted the cabin. In the blink of an eye, the entire cabin was shattered into pieces. All kinds of broken wood flew into the sky, and smoke and dust rose more than three feet high. The entire firepower lasted for 30 seconds before it gradually subsided. Even though it only lasted for 30 seconds, this was a full-strength strike equivalent to the firepower of nearly a tank battalion. At this time, the area around the cabin had turned into ruins. Not to mention the cabin. Even the passage leading to the underground had collapsed. Without an excavator, there was no way to get inside. This guy should be dead. Right. No one can survive in the face of this kind of firepower. Someone said. But, why is there no notification that the task has been completed? Someone was curious. Maybe it was done by someone else. I don't know which guy got lucky. Who completed the task? Please report your number. According to the previous agreement, the profits should be divided among everyone. However, after shouting for a long time, no one answered. Is there someone who wants to take the reward for himself? This is not authentic. Don't think that I can't find you if you hide and don't talk. There must be a prompt in the regional system. I just need to take a look. Damn it! That guy is not dead. One player shouted in shock. What? Not dead? How is that possible? That's the firepower of a tank battalion. How can one vehicle withstand it? Not even an M2A1. People in the same vehicle said in disbelief. If you don't believe me, see for yourself. 
the man said and pulled the reverse lever. Run quickly. We are no match for him. Let's retreat quickly. However, when he woke up, it was too late. Ada Daz's missile shot out from the smoke, hitting the eight nearest cars and blowing them up directly. When the remaining vehicles saw this, some continued to fire wildly, while others pulled the reverse lever and retreated rapidly, preparing to escape from here. However, in less than 10 seconds, eight more Adaz missiles plus a Hellfire were fired out, shooting towards the surrounding vehicles. The M2A1 main battle tank was even assigned two Adaz missiles, plus a Hellfire missile. A piece of Hellfire. Chapter 541 Gustav Cannon. Boom. Boom. A series of explosions sounded. The smoke and dust from the explosion rose, and the surrounding area was like the air in Delhi in winter. Only shadows could be seen five meters away. Zhang Tuohai looked around and saw that a car was blown to pieces. The remaining cars also began to turn around and flee, losing the courage to continue fighting. Zhang Tuohai nodded with satisfaction. Sure enough, we have arrived in the era of missiles. Those artillery pieces are outdated and should be swept into the trash heap of history. Facing modern anti-tank missiles, those artillery can only be defeated. However, at this moment, the smoke cleared, and a black M2A1 main battle tank parked in front of it, motionless. From the outside, there seemed to be no damage. Only a few reactive armors exploded at the location where the missile had just hit, which was harmless. You're not injured? Zhang Tuohai was startled and quickly prepared to add another blow. However, both Adaz and Hellfire were shot out, and it still took more than 10 seconds to reload. Only Cornet was left on standby. Missile. Under normal circumstances, Zhang Tuohai does not want to use Cornet missiles. What he got is a finished product. Now there are only four rounds left. Every time you use one, you will lose one. Normally, he prefers to use Ada, which has no quantity limit. Here in Hellfire. However, I can no longer care about that much at this time. Zhang Tuohai pressed the button, and a Cornet missile flew out of the launch tube, under the guidance of the drone. It directly hit the area where the reactive armor was blown away. This should be able to break through the defense. Right. Zhang Tuohai secretly thought that the Cornet missile's penetration depth into homogeneous steel armor is up to 1.2 meters, which is enough to deal with more than 90% of tanks. Even in reality, even the M2A1 could not withstand a direct shot from the Cornet missile. However, a shocking scene occurred. After the Cornet missile hit the armor of the M2A1, it exploded instantly. However, it only left a dent and did not break the armor at all. What's going on? Zhang Tuohai was horrified. He never expected that the opponent's armor was so thick that even the cornet couldn't do anything. Ha ha ha! At this time, a voice of laughter came from the M2A1 main battle tank opposite. Don't waste your efforts. This vehicle of mine has been specially modified and used modified depleted uranium armor and depleted uranium armor piercing projectiles. You are so cold war it's better to throw the period stuff into the garbage heap. Thank you for helping me get rid of this garbage. To express my gratitude, I promise to let you go without any pain. As Gustav said, the main gun was already aimed at the front armor of the armored vehicle. There was a boom of artillery, and a depleted uranium armor-piercing projectile hit the front armor of the armored vehicle. A burst of smoke rose from the explosion, and the front armor was dented. Then, the armor-piercing bullet flew out and fell to the ground, with fragments scattered everywhere. Gustav's smile froze on his face, and the situation was very embarrassing for a time. The two vehicles exchanged blows, and neither could do anything to hit the other. It was like a battleship bombardment in the era of giant ships and cannons. If the attack level is maintained at this level, neither side will be able to break through the other's defense within a short time. Zhang Tuohai saw that the opponent's armor-piercing bullets did not penetrate his armor. His face softened. He wiped a cold sweat and became confident. There was no way. After all, the opponent used the famous depleted uranium bomb. Even if it couldn't be killed, it could cause cancer. Even the loader was hit by such a dangerous thing. It was impossible to say that he wasn't afraid. Now, seeing the level of depleted uranium bombs at this level, he felt relieved. It doesn't matter if you are famous. Isn't it still something you can't do to yourself? However, Zhang Tuohai was relieved. But Gustav was no longer calm. He had just boasted about his awesomeness and was beaten back. This was really humiliating. He was breathing heavily through his nose like an angry bull. Don't think that you can sit back and relax just because you can block depleted uranium bullets. Let me show you how powerful a real artillery can be. Gustav said as he pressed a button. The main turret slid back, 
and a thick muzzle protruded from the car and was aimed at Zhang Tuohai. Seeing the muzzle, Zhang Tuohai became Spartan. The muzzle was 800 millimeters thick, and it looked like the bloody mouth of a giant beast trying to devour itself. What the hell is this? Did he really move the Gustav cannon onto the car? Isn't that a train cannon? It also requires special rails and the coordinated operation of 200 people. Why did he directly hit the car? Zhang Tuohai was shocked. He knew the reputation of the Gustav cannon very well. It overturned the fortress with one shot. An armor-piercing projectile weighed as much as 7.1 tons. It was almost as heavy as his own car. He was hit by this thing. It can't withstand any armor. It can just GG. The Gustav in front of him is also a fierce man. He can actually get this kind of king of the artillery era, which is worthy of his name. At this time, Gustav's face was also filled with a ferocious expression. Very good. You are very good. You can actually force me to use this weapon. I didn't expect that I would need to waste a precious shell on you. However, if you can complete the task, the reward will definitely not be less. And it will not be a loss. Goodbye. Gustav put his hand on the launch button and waited for the automatic loading machine to load the propellant. As soon as the loading was completed, he would smash Zhang Tuohai into a meat pie. A 7.1 ton artillery shell can flatten a car. However, at this moment, he suddenly felt a sharp pain in his chest. He lowered his head and saw that there was a hole in his chest. The edges were full of burnt color, and all the internal organs inside were burned to a crisp. The wound penetrated the chest, and blood and broken internal organs were sprayed everywhere. This, this is, Gustav said nothing, and the body fell on the command chair. Ha, huh, it's really troublesome. You have to use the final weapon every time to kill the enemy. Zhang Tuohai wiped the cold sweat from his forehead. He didn't know how Moriarty understood his situation. So before he could use conventional methods to kill the enemy, he usually wouldn't use weapons like lasers. This was his last trump card. Reducing the use of lasers will reduce the risk of exposure. In addition to guarding against Moriarty, it can also guard against those players to avoid being targeted and restrained. After all, it is very easy to prevent lasers. Just find an environment with heavy haze or fog. After solving Gustav, Zhang Tuohai did not relax. Instead, he controlled the drone to track the players who ran away. When he and Gustav were confronting just now, four players ran away. At this time, they had arrived five kilometers away. It's so far away. So you won't be caught up. Right. A player looked at the rearview mirror with some fear and let out a sigh of relief when he saw that no one was chasing him. A car was unscathed by a salvo of artillery fire, which really challenged his imagination. He decided that after leaving this time, he would never participate in the hunting activities again. Players who could be on the hunting list were indeed not something that a bastard like him could care about. However, at this moment, he suddenly heard a whistling sound above his head. He looked up and saw an Adaz missile roaring down from the sky. Chapter 542 Depleted Uranium Armor The Possibility of Breaking the Situation The Adaz missile has a range of 10 kilometers, so it is not a problem to deal with several escaping vehicles. Basically, one car and one salvo will resolve the battle. After the enemies were eliminated, it was time to reap the rewards. Zhang Tuohai released a large number of self-propelled machines such as 001 and began to dismantle the vehicles. The luckiest 001 was sent to dismantle Gustav's main battle tank. What if the Gustav cannon can be dismantled? Zhang Tuohai thought to himself. Although he keeps saying that the future world is a world of missiles. If there is a cannon of Gustav's level, who would refuse it? Such a thick tube looks domineering just by looking at it. And it also has a card when you take it out. Zhang Tuohai rubbed his hands and waited aside. Although Gustav's vehicle had depleted uranium armor, it still couldn't stop 001's chainsaw. It took about an hour to dismantle the entire tank into metal ingots. Among them, Zhang Tuohai also obtained more than 100 units of depleted uranium. After Gustav's main battle tank was dismantled, 001 came to Zhang Tuohai holding a blueprint. Well done! I actually got the blueprints! Zhang Tuohai rubbed 001's head excitedly and unfolded the drawing. Zhang Tuohai took a look and was a little disappointed. It was not the Gustav Colossus paper he wanted most, but the manufacturing blueprint for depleted uranium armor. Depleted uranium armor, a special accessory for level 5 automobiles. It can only be equipped on armored vehicles, main battle tanks, and above heavy duty vehicles. It has good anti-penetration properties, and can withstand attacks from 125mm depleted uranium armor piercing projectiles. It can be integrated with any armor. 
long-term exposure to radiation in depleted uranium armor may lead to cancer, and radiation protection devices need to be added to the armor. Crafting materials, 100 units of depleted uranium, 100 units of high-grade metal ingots. Good stuff. Zhang Tuohai's eyes flashed with excitement when he saw this drawing. With the addition of this gadget, the protection level of his armored vehicle can once again be improved. Although the protection level of his armored vehicle is already very strong. Who would think that his protection level is too high? There is only one life. As for the risk of cancer caused by long-term exposure, it was not within his scope at all. To develop cancer requires long-term exposure. In this world of survival, he has no tomorrow. And it is very difficult to survive until he is diagnosed with cancer. How can he be selective? What's more, this thing can be used as a special accessory to increase the level of the car. The materials were all readily available. And Zhang Tuohai immediately made a depleted uranium armor and added it to the car. Because the depleted uranium armor is fused with the original titanium alloy armor. The outermost chameleon camouflage is not covered. Within a suitable distance, he is still a visually invisible hunter. But there is one problem, after killing these players. His red name level has reached LV1, 152-200, which is one step closer to being upgraded. Zhang Tuohai was both looking forward to and worried about the improvement of the red name level. The hope is that after upgrading, it will add some benefits to him. What I'm worried about is that after upgrading, don't increase the negative effects, such as coordinate broadcast every six hours. It would be a pain in the ass if it were changed to once an hour after the upgrade. After thinking for a while, Zhang Tuohai finally decided not to think about it anymore. It couldn't be changed anyway. So let's just look at it. If a player wants to kill him, he can't be afraid to increase his red name level and not resist. Right? It can only be said that it depends on the situation. In this torrent, he does not have the strength to decide his own destiny. After packing his things, Zhang Tuohai got into the car and prepared to leave. However, when he was about to leave, he discovered a problem. That is, he didn't know where to go. Since entering this world, he has followed others, then searched for a map, and followed the map to find the marked location. Now that the matter is done, he has nowhere to go. Forget it. Let's move forward. After finding the road, walk along the road and find a few players to explore the route. Zhang Tuohai drove forward and drove forward for a while. Zhang Tuohai drove to a highway. As soon as he reached the highway, the sky turned dark. It was already 1800 hours in the evening. Zhang Tuohai stopped the car and checked the regional channels. At this time, no one was talking in the regional channel. Players were probably discussing in their own small groups. So the regional channel became deserted. There was little news except obituary after obituary. I hate this world. Unable to peek at the screen, Zhang Tuohai felt that he was missing a lot of fun. So he asked his classmate Xiao Ai to play the song. Incarnation of the Sea of Stars while he went to the kitchen to cook. Because he was not very interested, he only made two large bowls of green onion pork ribs noodles and ate a hasty meal. After dinner, I went for a walk in the high-end ecological garden and found that all kinds of plants were growing well. Because there were so many fruits and vegetables, most of them were made into wine and pickles. And only a few were made fresh every day. Was left as a reserve. Various aquatic products such as loach and carp are also growing well. Seaweed is also growing in the saltwater lake. Scallops and sea cucumbers are crawling around the lake, which looks full of life. Zhang Tuohai feels that if it continues to develop on this scale, his high-end ecological park will develop into a small world sooner or later. After leaving the ecological park, Zhang Tuohai returned to Lilith's laboratory and took a look. The egg Lilith left behind was still the same as before, but it was much larger, seeming to have doubled in length. I don't know when it will hatch. Looking at this egg, Zhang Tuohai always felt a little strange. It more or less contained some of his essence, giving him a feeling of blood connection. This feels a bit weird. Zhang Tuohai scratched his head, feeling that something was not quite right. However, he stood there thinking for a long time and couldn't remember what was wrong. So he simply ignored it. In his eyes, as long as he couldn't remember it, it was definitely not an important thing. After wandering around and returning to the driver's seat, Zhang Tuohai received a private message from Song Xiaokong. The general content is that due to Zhang Tuohai's killing spree today, killing more than 150 people, many players have a sense of fear towards Zhang Tuohai, and some players in their small group want to give up. However, more people think that Zhang Tuohai should have done it by chance. As long as they work together and plan well, it may not be impossible. After all, the bounty is a wish, 
and they can even leave the game. Even if there is a slight possibility, they also want to give it a try. The two groups were quarreling in this small group. Is there still such a situation? Seeing what Song Shaokong said, Zhang Tuohai felt that he didn't need to kill all the players. As long as they scared them, no one would dare to take his own initiative. By then, Moriarty's plan fell apart. This is something we can take advantage of. We need to plan carefully. Zhang Tuohai thought while holding his chin. Chapter 543, Driving Players Away Zhang Tuohai stayed up most of the night and didn't fall asleep until 3 in the morning. The results of this night were not small. He made several plans. However, all the plans were not perfect and needed more data and information to correct them. Zhang Tuohai was going to take a look at the specific situation today. Because he slept too late, Zhang Tuohai didn't get up until 6 o'clock. At this time, the game system had already released today's information. Due to the influence of monsoons, ocean currents and other conditions, the virus concentration in most areas of the southeast is rapidly increasing. The infection rate increases to 100% in an unprotected outdoor state. The density of beta virus increases significantly. The fatality rate of beta virus doubles, and the mutation rate doubles. The density of gamma virus increases. The fatality rate increases by 30%, and the mutation rate increases by 30%. Players are advised to stay away from the southeast area. Huh? What is this? Expelling players? Or does it have an ulterior motive? Zhang Tuohai frowned and thought. He was sure that the game system was behind this. Or even Moriarty's direct hand. He doesn't believe in any natural reasons. The density of the virus is increasing in the southeast. Is it to drive players to the northwest? What is there? Zhang Tuohai fell into deep thought. However, because there were so few clues and information in his hand, Zhang Tuohai could not figure out the reason. So he had to give up in the end. Forget it. No matter what he wants to do. As long as I'm strong enough and careful. There won't be any big problems. Zhang Tuohai made a decision. Classmate Xiao Ai. Head northwest. However. This time we will walk along the road to see if we can pick up a few supply boxes. Zhang Tuohai said. Clear. Classmate Xiao Ai accelerated towards the front. Zhang Tuohai took the lead and drove forward. But the other small groups were much more lively. Damn! What the hell? Why did the virus concentration suddenly increase in the southeast? I just ran along the highway to the southeast for a day yesterday. And today I was told to turn around and run back? I suspect the game system is targeting me. Stop being funny upstairs. Who do you think you are? You are being targeted. The player who is being hunted with a bounty is really being targeted. I estimate that this time. The game system prevented him from running around and deliberately targeted a player. Direction. Let everyone chase. Otherwise it would be too easy for that guy to hide on such a big map. As long as he wants to hide. He can just take us in a circle. Even if there are ten times the number of us. It will not be easy to find him. Stop yelling. Who can give me an idea? The road I'm taking now goes from northeast to southwest. Should I continue walking along the road? Or go northwest through the wilderness? Who has birth control pills? I had too much fun last night. So I wasn't sure. Why do you need that thing? Can you live until the day you have a noticeable reaction? Someone messed with the color. And the building soon became crooked. Looking at the buzzing words in the channel. Song Shafong couldn't help showing a look of disdain. Just this group of rabble rousers still want to compete with the boss? Fortunately. I made the wisest choice. And didn't stand in the same boat as you idiots. Afterwards. She gathered her thoughts and reported the situation in the small group to Zhang Tuohai. I know. You did a good job. I'll give you something good tomorrow. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the screenshot of the small group message sent by Song Xiaokong, nodded, and prepared to give her the manufacturing drawing of the 32mm cannon in two days. That thing is no different from garbage to me. But it is a good thing to Song Xiaokong. Now, Song Xiaokong's vehicle only has two kinds of shells, spider web and smoke. The main firepower is steam machine guns and a few RPG-7S. In terms of firepower, it is a bit behind. Only the car's speed and ability to ignore terrain obstacles are still noticeable. Really? Thank you, boss. I will definitely do my job well and try to sneak into more groups and get back more information. When Song Shaokong saw Zhang Tuohai's words, he immediately became elated. Having worked with Zhang Tuohai for such a long time, she knew that the good things in Zhang Tuohai's hands were several grades higher than her equipment. As long as a little bit leaks out from Zhang Tuohai's fingers, it will be enough for her to enjoy endlessly. Therefore, after getting Zhang Tuohai's promise, she worked even harder. At the same time, 
at an intersection. More than a dozen cars were parked on both sides of the road. Most of these cars had the logo of United Pharmaceuticals painted on them. Nail boards and steel barriers were placed on the road, making it look like they were blocking the road. A large group of United Pharmaceuticals security guards, wearing black special combat uniforms, holding assault rifles in their hands, leaned behind the car door, acting as the second line of defense. Two players wearing black leather jackets were sneaking among these people. A player with dark circles under his eyes looked at the endless distance and said quietly to the player next to him, Brother Ching, do you think we can really wait for that guy named John to I hear? This guy is a bit evil. Ah, not only are we going to hunt him down, but these NPCs are also involved. What on earth did he do? Could it be that he found some bug and maliciously fixed it and was discovered by the game system? Who cares about him? Why do you care about what he does? Just take advantage of it, and it's over. Don't ask about messy things. If you know too much, you will die quickly. The man called Brother Ching said with an unhappy expression. As he spoke, he rubbed the corner of his mouth, where there was a cut, and there was still blood. What are you two mumbling about? If I find you mumbling again, it won't be as simple as a punch. A man in special combat uniform came over and scolded the two of them. Nothing. Nothing. Dark eyes nodded quickly and bowed. After the special suit turned around and left, he cursed in a low voice. Hey, isn't it just an NPC? What are you crazy about? I found an opportunity, and I have to restore you to data. Say a few words. And if she hears it again, I will give you a beating. Have you forgotten the beating you received yesterday? Brother Ching whispered from the side. Don't worry. Brother Ching, I know what's going on. And I definitely can't let her hear it. Dark eyes raised his head as he spoke. Suddenly, he saw a shining point of light flash across the sky. Brother Ching, look, there are shooting stars in broad daylight. The dark circles under his eyes pulled at Brother Ching's clothes and said, What nonsense are you talking about? Are you dreaming? Can a meteor with such brightness be seen in the daytime? Wait, shit, that's a missile. Get down. Brother Ching, who was well informed, pulled the black eye to the ground, then rolled it to the side and rolled under the roadbed. The surrounding special operations team members also saw the bright missile and ran to both sides to avoid it. Boom! And a Daz multi-purpose missile directly hit the fuel tank of a Humvee, causing a deafening explosion. Chapter 544 Skull and Bone Society Boom! The explosion sounded, and the broken car fragments swept across the surrounding area for dozens of meters, interrupting all living creatures that were still standing. Smoke and dust rose. Bah! Who is this? Where are you being me? Black eyes spit out the dust in his mouth. Crawled to Brother Ching and said, Brother Ching, did those grandsons sell us? I don't know, but it's no longer safe here. Let's run out first. Brother Ching hurriedly ran towards his car not far away. He didn't know who was attacking him, but he knew that if he stayed here any longer, he would have to be killed. However, as soon as he slipped to his car door, a burst of gunfire rang out from behind. A series of bullets swept into his back. Those who run away from battle will die, a United Pharmaceuticals employee said coldly. Maid, you idiots, have you been brainwashed? You are stupid to be bombed here. I am not in the mood to accompany you to death. The dark circles glared at those who worked in the joint pharmaceutical industry. However, those people from United Pharmaceuticals did not have to look at him at all, but occasionally aimed their guns at him. If he dared to run away without permission, 7.62 millimeters bullets would definitely be waiting for him with dark circles under his eyes. He didn't dare to run as boldly as Brother Ching. He stayed close to the ground and moved out bit by bit. He was afraid of attracting the attention of the United Pharmaceutical personnel. Before he was killed by the missile, he first jumped out. In fact, he now wants all the people at United Pharmaceutical to die more than anyone else, so that he can run away with impunity. The expectation of the dark circles did not last long, as three Moradaz missiles struck from a distance, hitting several Humvees, and several vehicles exploded one after another, knocking the surrounding United Pharmaceutical personnel off their feet. What a good opportunity! Dark Eyes looked at the tragic situation of the United Pharmaceutical personnel being bombed around them. Instead of panicking, their eyes were filled with excitement. Those United Pharmaceuticals people were badly bombed, and he had a chance to escape. Dark Eyes glanced around quietly and found that no one was paying attention to him, so he immediately ducked and ran towards his car. However, at this moment, a series of bullets passed in front of him, and the black eye stopped him abruptly, almost hitting him in the dense storm of bullets. Turning around with dark eyes, 
He saw an armored vehicle with a modern industrial aesthetic that was made of polyhedrons and painted with cement highway color camouflage. On top of the armored vehicle, a 1130 close and defense gun was pointed at him. The huge muzzle was already buzzing, and Black Eyes was sure that as long as he dared to move, the buzzing 1130 close and defense cannon would tear him into pieces, leaving not even a shard behind. Don't shoot. I surrender. I am also a player. We are all our own people. We can discuss anything. Dark Eyes quickly raised his hand. In his opinion, the people who come must be players. Players don't embarrass players. Whatever happens can be solved. At most, they just need to compensate for some supplies. Who are you, and what are you doing here? Zhang Tuohai did not go out, but picked up the loudspeaker and asked. I, I am Shigeru Miyamoto, from the Skull and Bones Society. I came here under the order of our boss to intercept Zhang Tuohai. You know, all the players are intercepting the guy now. Shigeru Miyamoto said honestly. Oh, how can you be sure that guy will take this road? Do you still have positioning tracking? Zhang Tuohai was shocked when he heard that these guys came specifically to block him. If the other party had mastered some technology that could locate him, he would have to be careful. How is it possible? Shigeru Miyamoto said quickly. If we had that kind of technology, we would have received the bounty long ago. However, our boss got on the line of a large indigenous company and started a fight with this big company. With some cooperation, we are cooperating with these people to conduct blockade searches in the areas that are still under control and passively wait for the guy to come to the door. So that's it. Zhang Tuohai breathed a sigh of relief when he heard Miyamoto Shigeru say this. As long as it wasn't just to block him. Then how did you get connected with United Pharmaceuticals? Have you been to this world in advance? Zhang Tuohai asked. No, we have never been here. However, our leader is very capable. He seems to have obtained the token from other channels and gained the trust of United Pharmaceutical. So United Pharmaceutical is willing to cooperate with us. Shigeru Miyamoto said quickly, Can you elaborate on other channels? Zhang Tuohai showed an interested look. He remembered that when he went up the mountain, he bought out everything in the vending machine, and the president of the Skull and Bone Society did not enter the light gate to explore the world in advance. So how did he obtain the token of United Pharmaceuticals? If he mastered a new channel, it would be a big gain for him. This, I only know part of the information. This is a secret in our team. If I tell you, can you let me go? Miyamoto Shigeru blinked and asked cautiously, If your answer satisfies me, it won't be difficult to let you go. John Tuohai thought for a while and felt that it would be better to give the other party some thoughts. In contrast, collecting information is the most important thing now. After receiving Zhang Tuohai's assurance, Miyamoto Shigeru's face was filled with joy. And he said cautiously, I also heard what Brother Ching said. Brother Ching said that the reason why our president was able to get that token was actually... Boom! Before Shigeru Miyamoto finished speaking, his head exploded like a watermelon. All kinds of red and white things were scattered all over the floor. The death of Shigeru Miyamoto made Zhang Tuohai stunned for a moment. He had no intention of killing Shigeru Miyamoto. So who killed this guy? Zhang Tuohai glanced around nervously. Commander. Heaven. Classmate Xiaoyai said changing the perspective of the spherical screen to the sky. At this time, in the sky, a small drone was hovering in the sky. It was similar to Zhang Tuohai's hand-thrown drone, except that this one also carried a small caliber firearm. A black skull logo was spray-painted on the underside of the drone's wing. Skull and bones drones? Are they nearby? Zhang Tuohai recognized the logo under the wing. Humph. You actually dare to disturb me to inquire about information. Then just let me stay. As Zhang Tuohai spoke, he controlled the 1130 close and defense gun, pointed it at the drone, and pulled the trigger. Ta 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 ta. A series of bullets swept towards the drone like a violent storm, and the drone was instantly shattered into pieces. Boss, what should we do? Our drone was smashed. Not far away, in a luxuriously decorated RV, a player holding a remote control spoke cautiously to the tall man next to him. Humph. If he dares to shoot down my drone, I want to see if he can shoot down a real plane. As the man spoke, he took out a mobile phone from his pocket, called up the information page, and filled in the target column, everyone within one kilometer of Miyamoto Shigeru's body. Then select send. Chapter 545A10 Attack Aircraft. Zhang Tuohai controlled his hand-thrown drone to explore the surroundings, trying to find the hidden drone controller. The size of that drone was about the same as his own, 
and it also had a gun hanging on it. It obviously had a shorter battery life. Zhang Tuohai believed that as long as he searched carefully within the combat radius of the drone, he would definitely be able to find the opponent. At this moment, bursts of thunder sounded in the sky. It's thundering? Zhang Tuohai raised his head and looked up into the sky. When he saw it, he was shocked. In the sky in the distance, there was an A-10 attack aircraft flying from a distance. There were four MK missiles hanging under its wings. Minus 82 type aerial bomb. This kind of bomb weighs more than 200 kilograms. If it is thrown on Zong Tuohai's head, I don't know if the roof of the armored vehicle can withstand it. Moreover, looking at the posture of this A-10 attack plane, it is diving towards itself. It seems that it is about to attack itself. Grass. Zhang Tuohai saw the swooping A-10 attack aircraft and quickly controlled the multi-purpose armored vehicle to move around, trying to avoid the attack of the A-10 attack aircraft. However, the A-10 attack plane did not seem to be busy attacking. After realizing that there was no good opportunity to attack, it swooped directly over, then pulled up high and continued to hover in the sky, trying to attack again. This guy is really persistent. So he's looking for me. Right? Zhang Tuohai looked at the A-10 attack plane hovering in the sky with a bad expression. Ha ha. Since you are so haunted, don't blame me for being rude. At this time, the small hand-thrown drone also discovered the group of people who controlled the drone to kill Shigeru Miyamoto. They were 12 kilometers northwest of Zhang Tuohai, just walking along the road. Ha ha. It turns out to be here. Zhang Tuohai stepped on the accelerator and rushed towards the northwest, 12 kilometers away. In a super luxurious RV, a tall man was holding a mobile phone and staring at the huge 100-inch display screen with a gloomy expression. He is a doula, the leader of the Skull and Bone Society, and he was naturally the one who ordered the A-10 attack plane to attack Zhang Tuohai just now. What is displayed on the monitor is exactly the picture sent back by the A-10 attack aircraft. At this time, Zhang Tuohai's multi-purpose armored vehicle was rushing towards them quickly. According to Zhang Tuohai's speed, if nothing unexpected happened, Zhang Tuohai would rush in front of them in a few minutes. Boss, he came towards us. Did he find us? A subordinate standing nearby asked tremblingly. It must be a coincidence. Abdullah slowly blew out a smoke ring, shook his head and said, He is more than 10 kilometers away from us. How could he find us? He probably planned to escape along the road. And it happened to be just in time. Boss, we can't let him rush over. This guy's close-range defense cannon is so powerful that he actually shot down my remote-controlled drone. The subordinate said cautiously. Don't worry. He can't rush over. Abdullah stared at Zhang Tuohai on the screen, and then issued an order to attack the A-10 attack aircraft. After the order was issued, the A-10 attack aircraft would attack at all costs, and would never return unless the target was destroyed. When it's done, it will launch a kamikaze attack. The price is that there will be one less aircraft that Abdullah can summon in the future. After entering the order for the attack, even Abdullah felt extremely distressed. However, in order to kill Zhang Tuohai in time, he could not care so much. As long as he could kill Zhang Tuohai, everything would be worth it. By then, he would be able to get out of this damn game directly, and the supplies in it would be nothing. Thinking of this, Abdullah's heart was filled with excitement and joy. Hurry up! Go faster! Hit him like this! Kill him! I don't believe it! For negative 82 Malawi and Quach's aerial bombs can't kill you. Abdullah's eyes were filled with excitement. However, a scene that shocked him occurred. A missile launcher suddenly flipped out from the top of the armored vehicle. The missile launcher made a 180 degree turn and aimed at the diving A-10 attack aircraft. The round cover of a launcher flew out. And in a DAS multi-purpose missile it roared out and shot towards the A-10 attack aircraft. No! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Abdullah desperately pressed the phone in his hand and entered emergency escape orders. However, he was surprised to find that the signal could not be sent. And the words, Signal disconnected, Reconnecting, appeared on the screen. Not only that, even the screen suddenly turned into a blur. The signal disappears. What happened? Abdullah stood up suddenly, kicked over the coffee table in front of him, and shouted loudly. The men next to him didn't know what happened. They huddled aside not daring to make a sound, and remained silent. A bunch of trash. Abdullah kicked the nearest man to the side, and then shouted loudly, Activate all the weapons in the car. Since the plane can't kill him, then I will go meet him in person and take a look at him. What's so great about it? After hearing this, the subordinates immediately ran to their jobs, 
activated the weapons in the car, and pretended to be busy, for fear of being angered by Abdullah. At this time, Zhang Tuohai used Adaz missiles and electronic warfare systems to kill the A-10 attack aircraft, and then accelerated towards the front. He was sure that this A-10 attack aircraft was definitely related to the group of people in front. They must be dealt with as soon as possible. Otherwise, they may cause some trouble for themselves. Zhang Tuohai rushed forward at lightning speed. It's a distance of 12 kilometers, and we arrived in just a few minutes. From a distance, Zhang Tuohai saw four cars lined up on the highway, looking at him from a distance, as if they were waiting for him. However, the shapes of these cars are somewhat unique, making it difficult for Zhang Tuohai to forget them once he takes a look at them. These four cars look like floats in an amusement park, each wearing the appearance of an animal. The first car looks like a huge elephant. The second looks like a swift rhinoceros. The third looks like a huge lizard. And the last looks like a venomous snake. The appearance looks vivid, and the workmanship is very sophisticated. What kind of car is this? What modification method was used? Seeing these cars from a distance, Zhang Tuohai involuntarily lowered his speed. He knew very well that those strange-looking vehicles must have some unique abilities to survive in this world. Otherwise, they would not be able to survive here. Seeing Zhang Tuohai appear, several animal-shaped cars suddenly accelerated and rushed towards Zhang Tuohai. The elephant raised its trunk high and sprayed a stream of green acid at Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle. Chapter 546 RV Battleship The acid sprayed at an unusually far distance. Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle was more than 300 meters away from them and the acid sprayed onto the front armor. The front armor made a squeaking and corroding sound, and there was a risk of corrosion. There were bursts of white smoke. The lizard-shaped car next to him also opened his mouth when he saw this, and a burning fireball the size of a basketball hit Zhang to a high. However, the fireball had just reached halfway when it was exploded by the 1130 close-range anti-cannon control by Xiao Yai. Boom! A fireball the size of a basketball exploded in the air and a large number of blue flames emerged from the ball. They were scattered everywhere. The temperature of these flames was unusually high. Zhang Tuohai saw with his own eyes a cluster of small flames falling on a big tree. Above, the big tree instantly burned and turned into a huge torch. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai quickly retreated, trying to distance the two sides. At this time, the rhinoceros-shaped car rushed towards the direction of Zhang Tuohai. The huge rhinoceros horn was like a sharp horn, and hit the armored vehicle. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai quickly retreated while thinking about a solution. When the driver of the rhino car saw this, he had a mocking look on his face. After completing the overall modification of his car, he has been increasing the speed. Now the normal maximum speed of his car can reach 500 miles. He doesn't believe it. Period. Who else can compete with him in terms of speed? He pressed a button, and the rear of the car opened, revealing a small rocket engine. As long as he pressed the accelerator button, his car could accelerate to 800 miles in an instant. This speed was already comparable to that of some airplanes. He believed that in the next second, he could smash Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle into pieces. As for the opponent's missile attack, he didn't care much. The front armor plate of his car was specially strengthened. It was comparable to a 2-meter thick homogeneous steel plate and could block most missiles. The leader assigned this armor plate to him to cooperate with his acceleration and collision tactics. After this tactic took shape, it was implemented a total of nine times without any mistakes. Let you become the tenth life in my hands. The driver's eyes sparkled with excitement as he touched the accelerator button. However, just when he was about to press the button, a large hole as thick as an arm suddenly appeared in his chest, and there was a burning smell around the hole. He raised his head with difficulty, and was shocked to find that a large hole had appeared in the front armor plate that he was proud of. It penetrated the entire front of the car and the edges of the hole were full of traces of scorch and melting. How is this going? The pilot fell down with confusion in his eyes. Even until his death, he did not understand how his proud front armor plate was penetrated. He did not even hear the explosion. However, his question was destined to go unanswered. He fell down without fear, and the car lost its balance, rolled over the road, and fell into a ditch on the side of the road. After dealing with the rhinoceros-shaped vehicle, Zhang Tuohai quickly launched two Adaz missiles, targeting the elephant vehicle and the lizard vehicle respectively. Both of these vehicles have sharp attacks and use their weird attack methods to deal a wave of output when people are unprepared. It strengthens a certain aspect to the extreme, so it looks more powerful. However, when facing an organized counterattack by the enemy, it does not have sufficient counterattack means 
like a regular tank. When faced with incoming missiles, they didn't even have anti-aircraft machine guns. He was unable to fight back and was smashed into pieces by the Adaz missile. Where's the rest of the car? After taking care of the three vehicles, Zhang Tuohai began to scan the surroundings, looking for the last python-shaped vehicle. However, he was shocked to find that the python car was missing. Where have you gone? Zhang Tuohai glanced around. Up there, Xiaoyai said, driving the car back quickly, and at the same time control the close and defense cannon to attack quickly. Bang! A python-shaped car crashed into the place where Zhang Tuohai was originally. At this time, huge wings spread out on both sides of the python-shaped car body, looking like the mythical Quetzalcoatl. Same. Seeing that his attack failed, the python-shaped car accelerated again. The car rose into the air again and crashed towards Zhang Tuohai. Seeing the attack method of the python-shaped car, Zhang Tuohai felt relieved. Although the opponent's attack method was a bit weird, it was not beyond his understanding. Use all the hellfire for me, and kill it for me! Zhang Tuohai said coldly. Clear! Classmate Xiao Ai immediately launched three missiles. Two Adaz missiles attacked the seven-inch position of the python. One on the left and one on the right. While the hellfire missile shot towards the python's big mouth. When the python saw this, it wanted to dodge. However, the three missiles were laser-guided. So how could they avoid them by moving? Boom! 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 Three missiles hit the python-shaped car one after another. The Adaz missile that hit the seven-inch position almost broke the snake's head and body. And the snake's head was directly blown to pieces by a stupid, black and thick hellfire missile. Fancy! Looking at the burning python-shaped vehicle, John Tuohai snorted coldly. These cars think that they can win by surprise if they take the wrong path but they don't know that their shortcomings are the obstacle to their survival. If these vehicles could be equipped with a close-in defense system, even automatic machine gun towers would not be able to be eliminated so easily. Unfortunately, they are too confident in their side-by-side -side abilities and fail to see the danger. Zhang Tuohai shook his head and snorted coldly. Careful! Classmate Xiao Ai suddenly shouted, and the car rushed to the side. Zhang Tuohai was caught off guard and hit the spherical screen. What's going on? Zhang Tuohai asked loudly. Boom! Boom! Bursts of artillery sounds rang out not far away. The sound was so loud that even Zhang Tuohai in the car was shot and his ears were ringing. What artillery? Is it so loud? Zhang Tuohai raised his head in confusion and looked forward. At this time, he was stunned by the scene in front of him. At this time, the luxurious giant RV had pointed its side at him. A dense number of gun muzzles protruded from the side of the RV and white gunpowder smoke was rising from each muzzle. Is this an RV converted into a sailing battleship? Zhang Tuohai counted the number of cannon muzzles in astonishment. A total of 36. There are 36 guns on one side, and 72 guns on both sides. Not counting other artillery pieces. Even in the era of sailing battleships dominated by the number of artillery pieces. This scale was enough to be called a second-class battleship. How on earth did this guy modify his car? so that he's not afraid of being torn apart by such a level of artillery fire. Zhang Tuohai was shocked. However, he didn't know whether the car would fall apart. He only knew that at this time. The RV had completed its steering and the 36 artillery pieces were aimed at him again. Chapter 547 Aircraft Summoner Again? Zhang Tuohai stepped on the accelerator and the car rushed to the side. Boom! A burst of smoke filled the air. And the 36 artillery guns on the RV fired at once blasting Zhang Tuohai's original location into a huge crater with a radius of more than 10 meters and a depth of 5 to 6 meters. After missing a hit, the huge RV turned again and aimed its body full of artillery guns at Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai had already adjusted the parameters at this time. Seeing that the huge RV had not completely turned around, he immediately pressed the launch button. In order to ensure that the RV was killed, Zhang Tuohai directly launched four Adaz missiles, plus a Hellfire. Boom! Several missiles hit the huge RV without any deviation. A huge explosion sounded, and a mushroom cloud rose from the ground. The violent shock wave blew Zhang Tuohai's multi-purpose armored vehicle two meters horizontally. Just like Zhang Tuohai, what Takumi hit wasn't a car but a huge arsenal. Various broken metal fragments hit Zhang Tuohai's armor like a gust of wind, making a ping pong pong sound. How many arms does this guy have stored in the car? How can he actually cause an explosion of this level? Zhang Tuohai looked at the mushroom cloud in front of him in astonishment. The enemy has escaped and is fleeing northwest. A prompt pops up from the system. Can you still run away? 
Zhang Tuahai was startled and quickly stepped on the accelerator to rush past the explosion area and looked forward. A few hundred meters away, the cab of a RV was racing forward rapidly, with a huge rocket engine installed at the back. In the blink of an eye, it had already traveled a kilometer or two and was about to escape his sight. You run really fast! Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuahai immediately fired an Adaz missile at the cab of the RV that was escaping far away. Boom! The Adaz missile accurately hit the cab of the RV. And the cab exploded. In the midst of the fire, a seat bounced up. And two turbofans protruded from both sides of the seat, floating steadily in the air. And then continued to fly rapidly forward. Can this be resolved? You can really run away! Zhang Tuahai raised his eyebrows. Stepped on the accelerator to the bottom and at the same time set up the 1130 close-range anti-cannon, firing continuously at the seat flying in the air. Da-da-da. A series of bullets were fired towards the flight seat. Boom. A turbofan was blown up by Zhang to a high in the air, and the flight seat instantly lost its balance and fell to the road. Upon seeing this, Zhang to a high immediately accelerated and drove over. Arriving at the crash site, Zhang to a high looked outside and inside. This guy landed on his head like a coconut shell that had been smashed open. Look! If I tell you not to wear a helmet! Look at the consequences! Zhang Tuohai said somewhat speechlessly. In fact, when he was aiming, he deliberately avoided the opponent's vital points in order to catch him alive and ask about the specific situation. As a result, he was beaten to death by the other party for being so careful. Where does this make sense? Forget it. Let's search it first and then talk about it. Zhang Tuohai helplessly began to search for the corpses. From the corpse, Zhang Tuohai found something that looked like a mobile phone. Aircraft Summoner, a special device that can summon an aircraft from the inventory to attack. The aircraft's attack mode can be determined through the summoner. Can store abundant aircraft inventory. Current inventory, one Fokker DR triplane, one Stuka Ju-87 dive bomber, and one D-3A Type 99 carrier-based bomber. Looking at the airplane summoner that looked like a mobile phone in his hand. Zhang Tuohai didn't know whether to cry or laugh. This aircraft summoner is a good piece of equipment. But the aircraft in stock are too stretched. The Stuka and Jiojo Shippo are both dive bomber aircraft from World War II. They were pretty good in the environment at that time. But that was only in the era at that time. Compared with the failed A-10 attack aircraft, it was just garbage that could be thrown into the museum. As for the Fokker triplane, it was an aircraft from the First World War. And its armament only had a machine gun. If you wanted to carry out ground bombing, you could only throw grenades. What other use could this thing have besides being a collectible? Zhang Tuohai looked helpless at the poor three planes. Now it seemed that he had another task, which was to collect a few planes to expand his inventory when the time was right. However, the only good thing is that after the aircraft is recalled, the consumed ammunition will be automatically restored. However, there is a cooling time during which the aircraft cannot be summoned again which can be understood as the time for maintenance and adding bombs. The cooling time varies depending on the flight duration. However, the further behind the aircraft, the shorter the cooling time. For example, the Fokker triplane has a cooling time of only half an hour. It is more flexible to deploy. John Tuohai played with the aircraft summoner for a while, then put it in his pocket. This thing's current strength is limited, but its potential is very high. It would be great if he could find a few F-35S even if he could get a few Tages to be used as kamikaze attack aircraft. After getting a piece of useful equipment, Zhang Tuohai was extremely excited and continued to dig through Abdullah's body. On the body, Zhang Tuohai found a small tablet computer. After opening it, he found that it was actually an electronic map with a navigation function. In the center of the map, a blue light spot is flashing continuously. In other locations on the map, there are some markers marking the surrounding terrain, facilities, etc. This guy is really a money-giving boy. He can get such good things. Zhang Tuohai happily studied the electronic map. With the map, many things became much easier. He could choose routes purposefully and look for supplies instead of running around like a headless fly. Zhang Tuohai carefully checked the electronic map, preparing to see where to go next. After searching around on the electronic map, Zhang Tuohai discovered that there was an ammunition depot 50 kilometers away from him, which was a weapons transfer hub for nearby United Pharmaceuticals. If this place is blown up, will it severely damage their vitality? Zhang Tuohai thought secretly in his heart. It's not far anyway, so it's good to go and have a look. Zhang Tuohai put away the electronic map and prepared to go to the ammunition depot. At this moment, 
John Tuohai felt someone pulling on his clothes. John Tuohai lowered his head and saw that it was actually 001, holding two drawings in its hand. It turned out that when it looked at the cars that were blown up by Jean Tuohai, it felt a little pity. So it dismantled them all. However, because many of the cars were too broken, it basically couldn't be said to be dismantled. It could only be said to be assembled. Hong Ming the special effects were not triggered. So I only got two drawings. He is really a good boy who is diligent and thrifty and does a good job. Zhang Tuohai took the drawing and rubbed 001's head. Chapter 548 Rainbow Drone Zhang Tuohai slowly unfolded the drawings. Lizard Vehicle Modification Drawing Special Modification Drawing The vehicle is modified into a lizard shape. The outer scale armor can withstand 75mm caliber mortar fire. It can shoot incendiary bombs with a range of 1,500 meters. The incendiary bombs are mixed with napalm and magnesium aluminum. The burning agent is so hot that it can melt steel. From the data point of view, it can be said that it is quite satisfactory. The incendiary bombs are a highlight. The ability to withstand 75mm caliber mortars is considered a good defense. It is a good choice for players who are not good at mixing. The premise is that you don't encounter players like Zhang Tuohai who use missiles for long distance combat. It's useless stuff. You can find an opportunity to sell it. Zhang Tuohai opened the second drawing. Tandem 12 pound artillery manufacturing drawings. Special accessories for level 4 RVs. After installation, you can get 72 12 pound muzzle loading cannons. With automatic loading and remote control attack. Crafting materials. High grade metal ingots. 216 units. Intermediate metal ingots. 720 units. Intermediate grade wood. 288 units. Advanced Electronic Components Asterisk 72 It turns out to be a front-loaded artillery piece. After seeing the artillery explanation, Zhang Tuohai lost interest. No wonder there is so much smoke after the RV is fired. It is really because of the front-loaded cannon. Moreover, the range of the front-loading cannon is really limited. And the power is also a problem. In this era when rifle cannons are outdated, let alone this kind of front-loading cannon, Zhang Tuohai doesn't even bother to look at it. What's more? This is a drawing specifically for RVs, so he wouldn't be able to use it even if he wanted to. It is also something that can only be sold. For these two blueprints, Zhang Tuohai didn't feel any pressure when selling them. They were all defeated by his subordinates. Even if they were taught by Adaz a few times, even if they were sold to the enemy, they would not be afraid of them using them against him. After returning to the car, Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and threw the lizard car modification drawings to Tsang Xiaokong and asked her to help sell them. As for the tandem 12-pound artillery manufacturing drawing, Zhang Tuohai sent a screenshot of the effect of Vladimir. Zhang Tuohai remembered that his wife Natasha drove a super luxurious RV. They should like this drawing. Sure enough, within 10 seconds, Vladimir replied, How much did it cost? I bought it. Exchange it for blueprints of the same level. You know, I'm not too short of those basic supplies. Zhang Tuohai replied, This, let me discuss it. The finances are not under my control now. Vladimir said hesitantly. It's okay. I can keep it for you. You can discuss it slowly. Zhang Tuohai started the car and drove towards the arsenal marked on the electronic map. After a while, Vladimir replied with a message. What do you think of this? When Zhang Tuohai saw the message from Vladimir, his expression suddenly became excited. Because what Vladimir sent was a Rainbow 4 drone. Rainbow 4 UAV a medium-range surveillance and attack integrated UAV with a maximum range of 3,500 kilometers, a battery life of 35 hours, a cruising speed of 150 kilometers slash hour, and a cruising altitude of 5,000 meters, reconnaissance equipment, high-altitude cameras, SAR radar, communication equipment, armament, four precision guided bombs. When sending the picture, Vladimir was still a little embarrassed. Although the performance of this drone is good, it is not a drawing and cannot be mass-produced. Moreover, there are only four precision-guided bombs, and they are gone after they have been used. The most troublesome thing is that this is a big guy with a wingspan of 18 meters. It cannot be loaded in the car, and how to transport it has become a big problem. Vladimir has lost an unknown amount of hair due to how this thing was taken away. If Zhang Tuohai hadn't sent the message, he would have just dismantled the precision-guided bomb. This thing is disposable. You should consider whether you want to change it. Vladimir doesn't really want to trick Zhang Tuohai. After all, Zhang Tuohai is the only supplier of his wine. If this relationship is broken, he will have no place to buy wine in the future. It doesn't matter. I've changed it. 
I happen to have something that I need to investigate now. Having this drone will make it a lot more convenient. Zhang Tuohai said excitedly. This huge drone is a burden to Vladimir. But it is not to Zhang Tuohai. He can put it in the hangar of the aircraft summoner. As long as it is not shot down. He can you can use the recovery function of the aircraft summoner to have a steady stream of precision guided bombs. Moreover, the cruising altitude of 5,000 meters is enough to put it beyond the reach of most current players. As long as you use it carefully, it can be used for a long time. Really? That would be great. Vladimir was very excited. He was very coveted for the tandem 12-pounder cannon and wanted to equip it now. With this thing, the defense of the RV is greatly increased. And there is no need to worry about the weak points on both sides being attacked. Moreover, this thing is also a special accessory for Class 4 RVs. After adding it, it will be one step closer to Class 5 RVs. It can be said that it kills two birds with one stone. After the two people completed the exchange, they both felt that they had made a lot of money. Zhang Tuohai parked the car on the side of the road. And a huge drone appeared on the road. Zhang Tuohai took out the aircraft summoner that looked like a mobile phone. Opened the screen and pressed the storage button facing the aircraft. A white light was emitted from the aircraft summoner. Covering the Rainbow 4 drone. After about 5 minutes, the white light gradually dissipated. And the Rainbow 4 disappeared in place. On the screen of Zhang Tuohai's aircraft summoner. There is an option to summon the Rainbow 4 drone. Success! Zhang Tuohai's face was full of excitement. With this gadget, he has more ways to deal with the enemy. However, daily reconnaissance still relies on hand-thrown drones, which are simple, cheap, and have no cooling time. After successfully harvesting a drone, Zhang Tuohai showed a look of joy on his face. He felt that his overall strength had reached a new level, and he had more confidence in dealing with the arsenal. Zhang Tuohai hummed and drove towards the arsenal. The arsenal is not on the road where Zhang Tuohai is located, but on an adjacent parallel road with 50 kilometers of wilderness in between. You can see the arsenal just by walking through the wilderness. Zhang Tuohai drove the car off the road and prepared to cross the wilderness to find the arsenal. However, he just took two steps and suddenly stopped. Wait a minute. I have Rainbow 4 now. The maximum range of this thing is 3,500 kilometers. Wouldn't it be over if I just let it fly over and blow it up? Why do I have to go there in person? Zhang Tuohai had an idea in his mind and took out the aircraft summoner. Ready to test the power of Rainbow 4. Chapter 549, Bombing the Arsenal, Update. Zhang Tuohai took out the mobile phone-sized aircraft summoner, entered the hangar, clicked on the Rainbow 4 drone on the selection page, and checked the status. All statuses were full and in good condition. Zhang Tuohai carefully clicked to attack. There was a flash of white light, and the Rainbow drone disappeared from the screen. Where have you gone? Zhang Tuohai controlled the spherical screen and looked around. Commander, it's in the sky, about 1,000 meters above the ground. Xiao Yai uploaded the image of the rainbow drone onto the spherical screen. The screen on the aircraft summoner in Zhang Tuohai's hand is also divided into two. The left side is the various data and status of the aircraft. And the right side is the picture captured by the high-altitude camera on the aircraft. Yes, yes, the cruising altitude will be increased to 2,000 meters and we will cruise westward at normal cruising speed. Zhang Tuohai issued the order. The Rainbow UAV faithfully executed Zhang Tuohai's order and began to increase its flight altitude and speed. The cruising speed of Rainbow 4 is 150 km slash h. Therefore, it took about 20 minutes to find the arsenal. At this time, hundreds of cars gathered around the arsenal, and many players were queuing up to receive supplies. A player said while queuing, Hey, our boss is really capable. He was able to establish a relationship with United Pharmaceuticals and get free weapons. It's not free. These are supplies for combat. You have to work after you take them. Do you think those capitalists will let you take advantage of them? Another player corrected. It's almost the same. Anyway, we have to go after that guy named Zhang Tuohai. We just took the weapons to do our own work. When the time comes, we will leave the game world directly after the mission is handed over. They can go after whoever they like. If you have the ability, Go to me in the real world, the player said disdainfully. I don't think it's that easy. Look, the weapons include machine guns, recoilless rifles, and phoenix rockets. Each person has one set. This firepower exceeds that of a normal armored battalion. This level of firepower is needed to I always feel that the completed tasks are not easy. Moreover, look at it. The supplies actually include six cans and two bottles of red wine for each person. I always feel like this is a deprivation meal. Another player interjected. 
Whatever. Let's be careful anyway. Stay back when fighting. And run if it's not possible. The possibility of survival is very high, said the player who spoke first. Several people also nodded, agreeing very much with what the player said, and lined up quietly. At this time, Zhang Tuai had already controlled the drone to circle above the arsenal several times. This arsenal was converted from a bastion, and some modern facilities were added to it. A high-level and flat dual-purpose automatic machine gun was set up on the ancient city wall. There were six infantry fighting vehicles parked in the yard, and there were several more around the city wall, guarded by tanks and armored vehicles. It looked heavily guarded. Groups of people wearing joint pharmaceutical special combat uniforms continued to move boxes of weapons from the bastion and distributed them to the players in line. The players who had received the supplies did not leave. They all stopped next to the bastion, as if waiting for something. What's the big deal? Zhang Tuahai looked at the situation on the ground with a smile on his face. Ha uh ha. -huh. Since I discovered your big move, I can't help but express it. Zhang Tuahai controlled the drone and chose the angle of attack. United Pharmaceuticals released the Alpha Virus and created a biochemical crisis in the world. It owes the world justice. Zhang Tuohai has no burden at all in dealing with these people. As for those players, they are hunters. As long as they don't give up the idea of hunting for a moment, their killing pace will not stop for a moment. The entrance to the arsenal. Hey, it's finally my turn. A player drove the car over excitedly, jumped out of the car, and prepared to carry his own arms. This is an important military area. Smoking is not allowed. Did everyone teach you? Put out the cigarette for me. A quartermaster from United Pharmaceuticals frowned when he saw the cigarette on the player's mouth. Isn't it just a cigarette? What's the big deal? Give me the supplies quickly. I'm still waiting to eat canned food. I haven't eaten meat for several days. I didn't even eat food this morning. I'm starving to death. The player said impatiently. Put out the cigarette. The quartermaster slapped the table and stood up. Several armed guards also came over and pointed their assault rifles at the player. Hey, don't do it. It's not enough if I throw it away. Really, those chicken feathers are like arrows. You deserve to be unable to climb up. The player muttered and threw out the cigarette but in his hand. However, his hands were shaking a little. And the position of the cigarette but was off center. And it fell on an ammunition box filled with Phoenix rockets. The quartermaster's face turned green when he saw it. If this detonated the rocket... All of them would be finished. He walked over quickly, tried to throw away the cigarette but, however, at this moment, a violent explosion sounded. The huge shock wave directly tore him into pieces, and those standing near him suffered the same fate. Whether they were the Special Forces members of United Pharmaceuticals or the players waiting to receive weapons, they were all torn into pieces by the violent shock wave. Fragments. The player who threw the cigarette but was full of doubts before he died. How could the Phoenix rocket be ignited by the cigarette but isn't this insurance policy too bad? However, what they didn't know was that it was not the Phoenix that was set off by a cigarette but at all, but a precision guided bomb that hit a pile of stacked shell boxes, directly triggering the explosion. An orange red mushroom cloud rose. The entire door of the military depot was blown off, and even an armored vehicle patrolling nearby was blown over by the violent shock wave. Many soldiers on patrol came over to check the situation. It's not enough. The explosion is still too small. We need to find a big target. John Tuahai patrolled the arsenal, looking for targets worth attacking. He only had three precision-guided bombs left, so he had to use them carefully. At this moment, he discovered several huge oil tanks in the arsenal, which seemed to be seven or eight meters high. It's all gasoline, right? The protection of this thing is definitely not high. Let's take a look. Zhang Tuahai dropped a precision-guided bomb on the oil tank. Boom! The precision-guided bomb penetrated the tank directly, detonating the fuel inside. The oil tank was instantly blown to pieces, and the ignited fuel splashed violently around. The huge shock wave flattened everything around it, and a black mushroom cloud rose into the sky. I will make up for the lack of updates in the past few days. There will be more in the next few days, so I will slowly make up for them. Chapter 550 Obituary hits the screen. The explosion of an oil storage tank is no joke. The explosion of an oil storage tank is equivalent to a small Tomahawk missile. Enough to level a building to the ground. The worst part is that there is not just one oil storage tank in the arsenal, but five or six tanks side by side. The explosion of an oil storage tank caused a violent shock wave, which directly detonated several surrounding oil storage tanks. The oil storage tanks exploded one after another, 
and shock waves continued to sweep through the surrounding buildings. The vehicles and people parked nearby had long been torn to pieces by the explosion. The few lucky ones who survived were also shaken to their cores by the violent vibrations, and most of them had their eardrums and senses damaged, making them unable to move normally for a short period of time. That's not the worst. The worst thing was that an oil storage tank leaked, and the fuel flowed all over the ground, engulfed in flames. The flames were carried into the arsenal's yard, as mentioned before, in order to facilitate the distribution of supplies. United Pharmaceutical Personnel piled weapons and ammunition in the yard of the arsenal. At this time, the gasoline mixed with flames ignited the ammunition piles, followed by a horrific explosion. Boom! Boom! A series of explosions sounded. Explosions were everywhere in the arsenal yard. Flames were everywhere. And thick smoke billowed into the sky. This is trouble! Looking at the thick smoke billowing below, Zhang Tuohai frowned. At this time, the thick black smoke directly blocked the arsenal. Even if he wanted to attack, he lacked sufficient vision. You can't see anything. So why attack? He had no choice but to go home. However, Zhang Tuohai casually threw down the remaining two precision guided bombs. Anyway, the aircraft summoning opportunity will replenish it completely. So it won't be wasted if you don't use it. After dropping the precision guided bomb, Zhang Tuohai controlled the rainbow UAV and began to return. At this moment, a violent explosion sounded, and an even bigger mushroom cloud broke through the black smoke and rose up. A series of red obituaries filled the regional channels, and the number was still increasing rapidly. What did it blow up? Zhang Tuohai looked at the waterfall like obituary in surprise, and didn't know what to say. However, the entire arsenal was surrounded by black smoke, and nothing could be seen clearly. Zhang Tuohai controlled the drone and circled around, but found no valuable information and finally had no choice but to control the drone to return. In fact, the real situation is this. As mentioned earlier, this arsenal was renovated by United Pharmaceuticals using an old era fortress. The walls of bastions in the old era were generally very strong, but the roofs and so on were average, mainly because at that time, there was nothing that could attack the roof. Ordinary roofs are enough to withstand attacks such as bows and arrows. The people from United Pharmaceuticals just made it moisture-proof, and then pile the ammunition in the bastion. In their view, this is just a transit station, and that's about it. There is no need to build a bomb-proof dome at the level of a military base. It was precisely because of this omission that Zhang Tuohai's two precision-guided bombs accidentally penetrated the top of the bastion and detonated the munitions inside, which caused this huge explosion. The violent explosion directly flattened the bastion to the ground, and the surrounding high walls were also flattened by the shock wave. Those tanks and armored vehicles also suffered the explosion and were smashed into seas by the rubble, not to mention the players' cars, which had already been turned into pieces in the explosion. The deaths of these players were naturally blamed on Zhang Tuohai, and Zhang Tuohai's red name was directly upgraded to LV-2-375-2000. The effect of the LV-2 red name mark is, the marked person will report the coordinates every three hours. The attack power will be increased by 100% and the explosion rate of the player killed will be increased by 200%. After being killed, there is a 100% probability that two learned drawings will be randomly exploded. Level LV3 is unlocked after killing 2,000 players. The disadvantage of increasing the red name level is that the time interval for reporting coordinates is doubled. The benefits are, the attack power has been increased, and the explosion rate has also been increased. As for the explosion rate after death, Zhang Tuohai simply ignored it. When this condition is triggered, he is already dead anyway. And more explosions and fewer explosions have no effect on him at all. The hiding place has been reduced. And the frequency of reporting coordinates has increased. It seems that the frequency of attacks will increase again. Annoying. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the effect of the red name inside. At the same time, the game prompt system also popped up a line of information. Due to your attack on United Pharmaceuticals Arsenal, United Pharmaceutical was furious. Now. United Pharmaceutical has launched a wanted search for you and joined in the encirclement and suppression of you. TCH, it seems like I didn't participate before. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help curling his lips when he saw the prompt. Before he attacked the arsenal, United Pharmaceuticals had already sent people to set up roadblocks to intercept him. The two sides had already been at odds with each other. This only made United Pharmaceuticals more angry. There was no real difference. After glancing at the prompt, Zhang Tuohai began to guide the drone back. According to the prompts, the drone will be automatically stored back in the hangar only after it flies over the area where the aircraft summoner is located. 
Zhang Tuohai was concentrating on guiding the drone back. But there was an explosion in the small group. Just now, Zhang Tuohai killed more than 200 players in an instant, scaring everyone. Gone! How did this guy manage to kill so many players at once? Is this the god of killing? He actually killed more than 300 people. Almost 400. If he comes here a few more times, will there be enough people in our district for him to kill? The difference in strength is too big. 1v200 is enough to win. The strength is unbalanced. Is there an administrator here? Let's reduce this guy's strength. How can we play without it? Is it too late to give up the mission and side with the boss? There was a lot of noise in this small group. And many players were thinking of quitting. They were all shocked by Zhang Tuohai's record of killing more than 200 players. You are just a bunch of trash who still want to fight the boss? It seems that the players in this group have lost their fighting spirit and can move their focus to the next group. Song Xiaokong took a screenshot of the message in the group and sent it to Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai took one look, smiled and closed the private message. As long as those players don't block his way, he doesn't bother to care what those players think. At this time, the drone had returned to Zhang Tuohai's head. A white light flashed, and the drone disappeared. Zhang Tuohai looked at the situation on the aircraft summoner. At this time, the drone entered the maintenance state. It was in good condition and needed ammunition replenishment. The cooling time was two hours. Two hours is still acceptable. Zhang Tuohai looked at the cooling time and knew it well. At this moment, classmate Xiao Yai suddenly made a voice. Commander, there is a car catching up from behind. Chapter 551 The 40 Meter Long Sword Is there a car coming from behind? Zhang Tuohai was surprised. Only then did he remember that he had parked the car directly on the road in order to control the drone. And it was possible for a player to catch up behind him. What vehicle? Zhang Tuohai asked immediately. At this moment, classmate Xiao Ai suddenly shouted. Commander, we found a large number of rockets attacking us. The number is 60, with a caliber of 100 millimeters. It is initially determined that they are infrared seeker rockets. Activate the infrared shield. Speed up the evacuation. Use the 1130 close-range anti-aircraft gun to shoot down the approaching rockets. Prepare the ADAS missiles and Hellfire missiles for launch. And counterattack when the target is found. As Zhang Tuohai spoke, he handed over the control to Xiao Yai. And he released a hand-thrown drone for aerial guidance and monitoring. Xiao Yai immediately activated the infrared shield. And the car evacuated forward in an S-shape. Various weapons on the roof popped out one by one. Ready for launch. Boom. Boom. A series of rockets landed at Zhang Tuohai's original position and exploded. A large crater with a diameter of more than 10 meters and a depth of 5 to 6 meters was directly blasted out of Zhang Tuohai's original position. The air is full of burnt smell. Who is this? How can he be so generous? Zhang Tuohai frowned. In the past, he used rockets to cover others. But now, someone actually used the same technique to hit him, which made him a little unhappy. I want to see what you are. As Zhang Tuohai retreated, he looked at the information sent back by the hand-thrown drone, wanting to see who it was that actually had such a level of attack power. Soon, the attacker's appearance was transmitted back to the spherical screen through the drone. Zhang Tuohai's jaw almost dropped when he saw the images sent back by the drone. What the hell is this? Zhang Tuohai looked at the thing on the screen with a dumbfounded expression. The thing on the screen looks very strange. There are two wide tracks at the bottom. It is traveling rapidly. It seems that the speed is definitely not less than 100 miles. Above the tracks are four thick brackets. And at least four external rocket launchers are hung on each bracket. Above the bracket is a square box filled with various gears and steam pipes. On the front of the box is a twin-mounted 203mm turret. With two twin-mounted coaxial steam machine guns on each side. There are also two 105mm secondary guns on each side of the box. As well as coaxial steam machine guns. There is a thick mechanical arm on each outside of the box. One of the mechanical arms has a huge drill bit, and the other has a huge ship-killing knife. The blade was 40 meters long, stretching straight forward like a horn. At the top of the box is a 325 millimeters main gun, plus two four-unit coaxial four-unit steam machine guns. A tall chimney spits out black smoke. There is no paint on the outside of the car. There are huge rivets everywhere, connecting the steel plates of different colors together. Under the sunlight, the entire machine exudes a bronze luster. What the hell is this a car? Zhang Tuohai felt Spartan when he saw the appearance of the car. In his mind, this thing was no longer a car. Apart from the two tracks, what else did it look like? He believed that this thing 
was a steampunk-style combat robot. How did this thing get on the airship in the first place? Or did he come from another district? Zhang Tuohai carefully checked his memory and found that he had never seen such a person before. The suspected steam-powered combat robot behind had already arrived at the location where Zhang Tuohai was attacked. The driver inside looked at the big hole on the ground and frowned. He didn't expect that the blow he was determined to win actually failed. He is worthy of being wanted by the game system. He is quite capable. I am already getting excited. I hope my opponent this time will not be too weak, and I can show my true strength. The driver curled his lips, turned the turret, and fired in the direction of Zhang Tuohai. Boom! Boom! Artillery of various calibers fired at the same time. And the parallel machine guns also fired bullets. Cannonballs and bullets of various calibers gathered into a metal storm and swept towards Zhang Tuohai. You're a bitch. You don't have martial ethics. Zhang Tuohai's car suddenly accelerated towards the side, avoiding its original location. The location where he was previously was hit by artillery shells of various calibers, creating large craters, like the surface of the moon. A small number of steam machine gun bullets hit Zhang Tuohai's car body, making a clanging sound. You attack twice in a row. It's my turn. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the screen. At this time, the missile had locked onto the target. Zhang Tuohai immediately launched four Adaz missiles and one Hellfire missile. The remaining four Adaz missiles were also prepared and ready to be launched at any time. Missile? The pilot of the steam-powered combat machine frowned and reluctantly pressed a button. A fully electric machine started up. All channels were blocked. Various signals were disrupted. And several Adaz missiles and Hellfire missiles all deviated from the track and shot into the air. This guy also has an electronic warfare system. Aren't you steam-powered? How can you use something purely electronic? Isn't this unreasonable? John Tuai's face became a little ugly. He also quickly activated the electronic warfare system to counter the opponent's electronic signals. Unexpectedly, you forced me to use electronic devices. And you successfully angered me. I will tear you into pieces. The driver of the steam-powered combat machine wielded a 40-meter-long ship-cutting knife and slashed at John Tuai's multi-purpose armored vehicle. If the knife hits... Even if Zhang Tuohai wears depleted uranium armor and titanium alloy armor, he probably won't be able to withstand it. Zhang Tuohai quickly drove to the side and rushed out. Boom! The 40-meter-long machete struck the cement floor and actually cut a crack of more than 10 meters. The fine crack spread like a spider web to the surrounding area. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai stepped on the accelerator, and the armored vehicle suddenly accelerated forward and left. Boy! Don't run away if you can! Are you on the wanted list? How can you be so timid and have the ability to come over and have a battle between men with me? The man was waving a 40 meter long sword and kept chasing after him. He slashed left and right with the sword, cutting cracks in the ground. Do you think I'm stupid? Fighting with you? Okay. If you have the skills, stop and let me fight. Zhang Tuohai turned on the loudspeaker and shouted. Humph. Stop. This is what you asked for. Watch out. The huge steam powered combat machine suddenly stopped and the 40-meter-long sword suddenly came out of his hand, like a hill, and smashed towards Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle. Chapter 552 Max's Saturated Artillery Coverage Amarilla is stuffed. Zhang Tuohai's face turned green with fright when he saw the 40-meter-long knife being thrown at him. Even if this thing doesn't have a warhead, its weight alone is enough to make a big impact if it hits a car. Moreover, this knife is 40 meters long, comparable to an average 10-story building. The visual impact is absolutely full. Zhang Tuohai stepped on the accelerator, and a jet of acceleration popped up from behind the car. The speed instantly exceeded 300 miles per hour, and he traveled more than 200 meters in the blink of an eye. The huge ship-cutting knife grazed the rear of the car and cut off the two jet accelerators. Zhang Tuohai's multi-purpose armored vehicle also rushed out with this force, without causing more damage. Bang! The huge ship-cutting knife fell to the ground and rushed out creating a trench tens of meters long on the ground. The cement pavement collapsed and fine cracks spread hundreds of meters away, looking at the huge destructive power caused by this ship-cutting knife. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but click his tongue. The destructive power of this knife can be regarded as a martial arts in a fantasy novel. Right? Just when Zhang Tuohai was horrified, a prompt suddenly popped up in front of him. Be careful. Max is launching his killing move. The drill on his left hand is the real attack. Be careful to avoid it. Is this just a cover-up? Zhang Tuohai was shocked when he saw the prompt and quickly looked towards the steam-powered combat machinery in the distance. I saw that the huge combat machine raised its left arm at some point 
and the huge drill began to rotate rapidly. In the chimney behind it, the black smoke became thicker, and the black air lingered behind the combat machine, which was a bit ancient. The devil's intention. Suddenly, the drill bit made a sharp nang sound. The drill bit was shot out from the mechanical arm, and flames were sprayed from behind, shooting towards Zhang Tuohai's multi-purpose armored vehicle. Zhang Tuohai could see clearly that the huge drill bit was at least three meters in diameter, with layers of fine inverted teeth on it. If it hit his car, no armor would be able to withstand it. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai immediately reversed the car quickly and evaded to the side. At the same time, classmate Xiao Ai controlled the 1130 close-range anti-cannon and fired desperately at the drill bit, knocking the huge drill bit slightly off the track. At this moment, Max also seized the opportunity and launched a covering artillery bombardment near Zhang Tuohai. Artillery of various calibers and steam machine guns all opened fire, trying to kill Zhang Tuohai in one fell swoop. Boom! Boom! Artillery shells of various calibers exploded around Zhang Tuohai, and large and small shock waves continued to shake the armored vehicle, trying to tear it apart. Metal fragments composed of artillery shell fragments and machine gun bullets continued to sweep through the armored vehicle, trying to penetrate the armored vehicle. However, fortunately, the armored vehicle has been modified many times by Zhang Tuohai, and the armor has been upgraded several times, which has increased the strength of the armor to an extremely strong level. The most noticeable injury is the deep groove left when the drill bit grazed it, and the rest is at most however. Two 203 mm artillery rounds shattered two armor plates after direct hits, and the overall damage to the armored vehicle was under control. After a round of blows, Max and the steam-powered combat machine let out a sigh of relief, lit a cigar, and took a nice puff. You are pretty good if you can force out all my means, but that's it. The future direction will always be giant swords and cannons. Missiles are all heretics. This is the fate of heretics. After Max finished speaking, he controlled the steam-powered combat machine to pick up the drill bit. This is a drill bit that he forged from alloy and installed a jet engine, which cost him a lot of resources. If possible, he still doesn't want to throw it away. At this time, the smoke dispersed, revealing John to a high's multi-purpose armored vehicle. The armored vehicle was lying sideways in a crater. The outer armor was shattered, and there was a trench on the side. A missile launcher was shattered and fell to the ground. It looked miserable and abnormal but overall, it was basically intact. Why is it still so complete? What kind of steel is used for this car? Max was shocked. In his expectation, Zhang Tuohai's armored car should have been reduced to pieces at this time, and it should not be so complete. Seeing that the armored vehicle was still so complete, Max couldn't help but hesitate, stopped the vehicle, and began to load the shells, preparing to fire another round at Zhang Tuohai. Although he did not believe that Zhang Tuohai could survive in this state, he still felt that it was better to be cautious. Another round of strikes would just be a waste of more shells. And it was not worth it for the reward that could be obtained. Mention it. The reason why he can survive until now is all due to his own caution. However, at this moment, he suddenly saw what looked like a large camera popping up from the armored vehicle. That thing was a glass lens. And it adjusted its direction slightly and pointed it at him. You're really not dead? Is life so hard? Max frowned. And at the same time, he looked at the camera-like thing with some confusion. If he were Zhang Tuohai, he would definitely fight back at this time. Even if the missile cannot be used due to electronic countermeasures, the 1130 close and defense gun must be used to fight to the death. What is the purpose of popping up a camera? Take photos? Max thought it was Zhang Tuohai who was insane after being blown up by a cannonball. He pressed the wrong button and continued to load the cannonball. No matter what Zhang Tuohai wants to do, as long as he continues the bombardment of saturated discussions, the problem can be completely solved. However, at this moment, he suddenly caught a glimpse of a dazzling light coming from the inconspicuous camera. Then, a blazing ray as thick as an arm directly penetrated the thick armor he was proud of, penetrated his core cab, and penetrated his chest wearing a steam-powered exoskeleton. How can this be? Max's eyes were full of confusion. How could his thick steam-powered war machine be penetrated by a single blow? How could the giant sword and cannon lose? However, his mind could no longer think anymore, and the cold body fell on the driver's seat. At this time, Zhang Tuohai was not feeling well either. Although the attack of the saturation artillery shell did not cause any structural damage to the main body of the armored vehicle, the violent shock waves and sound waves still caused him to suffer a lot. Although the solid shell isolates shock waves, it cannot isolate sound waves. 
although the armored vehicle itself has a certain amount of noise reduction function. The remaining sound waves still made Zhang to a high dizzy, and even suffered a temporary behavioral disorder. The whole person collapsed on the seat. The final blow was still he dictated the order, and Xiao Ai assisted in the operation. It seems that in addition to firepower and protection, soft power such as earthquake resistance and noise reduction should also be put on the agenda. Otherwise, it would be too funny to be killed by infrasound waves instead of being penetrated by artillery shells. Zhang Tuahai thought to himself. Chapter 553 Three Drawings Updated After lying in the cockpit for a while, Zhang Tuahai regained his ability to move. He first repaired the damaged part with a car repair kit, then built another Adaz missile launcher and replaced the damaged launcher. Then he said 001 to start dismantling the huge steam-powered war machine. After beating him so badly just now, there's no way he can be justified if he doesn't leave something behind. Of course, Zhang Tuahai also didn't let go of the drill bit and the 40-meter-long ship-cutting knife. And they were all dismantled and taken away. Soon, 001 dismantled the huge steam-powered combat machine and brought back three drawings in addition to a large amount of metal chromium. Well done! I'm even more lucky! Zhang Tuahai rubbed 001's head excitedly. He didn't know whether it was a matter of 001's good luck or whether it was a matter of the increased level of the red name and the increased explosion rate. He actually got three blueprints on one car at one time, which had never happened before. Now it seems that this Max is a pretty generous boy who gives money, but it hurts a little when he hits someone. Zhang Tuohai opened the drawing while thinking. Chrome-plated armor, a common accessory for level 4 vehicles. When equipped, it increases the metal hardness and improves the defense level. The specific defense effect is related to the original armor defense capability. Crafting material, metal chromium, 200 units. Super electronic countermeasure system version 2.0. Level 7 automotive accessories. Consisting of radio frequency jammers. Radar warnings. Universal missile warnings. Chaff infrared interference diffusers. Fiber optic decoy diffusers. Electromagnetic wave jammers. Laser countermeasure systems etc. of optoelectronic and electronic countermeasure systems. Note, it is detected that the player already owns a similar product and can choose to fuse it for performance improvement. Do you want to perform fusion improvement? Promote! Zhang Tuahai did not expect that this kind of electronic countermeasure system could be integrated and improved. This was something he did not expect. And he thought it would be a waste of a blueprint. After the selection was completed, a white light flashed, and the drawing in Zhang Tuahai's hand disappeared and merged into the car. Zhang Tuohai checked the new super electronic countermeasure system. The specific instructions were similar to the original instructions, except that the power was more powerful and the effect was better. If he met another player with the same equipment, he could use a larger frequency, suppress the opponent, and cause the opponent to lose its electronic countermeasure's performance. It can even reach the point where one's own electronic signals can flow unimpeded, while the other party cannot use any electronic signals. The effect is good, Zhang Tuohai nodded with satisfaction, then casually made the chrome-plated armor and loaded it into the car. A thick layer of metallic chromium was integrated into Zhang Tuohai's armor, and the armor's performance increased by about 30%. Zhang Tuohai estimated that if he was hit by Max's 203mm cannon again this time, the armor would not be broken, and at most it would only create a deep crater. This means that Zhang Tuohai's survivability has once again been improved. The results of the first two drawings were not bad which made Zhang Tuohai so confident that he immediately opened the third drawing. Twin-mounted 203mm main gun turret, two 203mm rifled guns, equipped with two twin-mounted high-level dual-purpose coaxial steam machine guns, equipped with an automatic loading system, and equipped with an auxiliary sighting system. Materials, high-grade metal ingots, 100 units, intermediate metal ingots, 50 units, metal parts, 300 units, high-grade glass, 20 units, High-grade electronic components asterisk 4. Remarks, matching armor-piercing bombs, high-explosive bombs, and three-phase bombs. Seeing the last drawing, Zhang Tuohai smacked his lips, not knowing what to say. The statistics of this thing are indeed good, but he no longer plays artillery. They are all done with missiles from a long distance. And there are also close-in-defense artillery when approaching. This kind of main gun takes up a weapon position, takes up space, and destroys the stealth effect. The disadvantages far outweigh the benefits. Zhang Tuohai looked at it for a long time and finally decided to bear the pain and give up the idea of installation. However, this thing can be sold to a few familiar friends. To whom? Zhang Tuohai started to count his fingers. 
The Sioux sisters? Their car has been modified into a beetle. The main gun is longer than their car and cannot be installed at all. San Shao Kong? Her car was a spider car, which was famous for its light speed. It was smaller than a beetle and even more inappropriate. As for Vladimir, his car is a RV and it is already equipped with a tandem 12-pounder gun. There may not be anything good in a short time, so it is not a good choice. After much deliberation, Zhang Tuohai finally chose Hagrid. This guy bought his own steel train, and his specialty is heavy artillery, which perfectly complements this twin-mounted main gun. The most important thing is that Zhang Tuohai has not contacted the other party for several days, so he should have saved a lot of good things. After making up his mind, Zhang Tuohai sent Hagrid a private message. I have a drawing. Are you interested? Drawings? Oh, God of Steam. I didn't expect that you still have such a thing. You must sell it to me. Wait. Equal exchange. Right. I understand. Wait for me. Let me see what is waiting for you. Something of value. Zhang Tuohai was very pleased to see Hagrid's private message. He took the initiative to offer the price without asking for it himself. He was like a qualified leak. How great would it be if everyone were as self-conscious as Hagrid? Soon, Hagrid sent over a screenshot of the drawing. Helicopter modification diagram. A manned helicopter can be converted into an unmanned helicopter. Controlled by remote control equipment. Equipped with basic monitoring equipment. And equipped with four sets of suspended honeycomb rockets and two steam machine guns. Modification materials. Helicopter asterisk 1. Honeycomb rocket asterisk 4. Steam machine gun asterisk 2. High-grade metal ingot. 20 units. High-grade glass. 25 units. High-grade plastic, 15 units. High-grade rubber, 10 units. High-grade electronic components, asterisk 5. After sending the picture, Hagrid felt a little embarrassed. He felt that no one could get a helicopter at this time. So he added, I can help you get all the materials. And you can also build a helicopter. But the performance may be it won't be too good. If you think it won't work, I can do something else. I recently modified several anti-aircraft machine guns. Do you want to take a look? No. This is fine. Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up with excitement when he saw this drawing. No one else had a helicopter. But he did. When he was still in the wasteland world, he raided the steam tank factory in Black Rock City and got a newly developed helicopter. Unfortunately, no one knew how to drive it. And it was not equipped with weapons. So it was used as a car accessory. The conditions for upgrading have been met. The helicopter's hangar has also been thrown into the corner of the car and left there to collect dust. Now, with this transformation drawing, Zhang Tuohai can make use of that helicopter. Is that really okay? You don't have to take care of me. You've given me enough care during this period. Hagrid rubbed his hands in embarrassment. I don't mean to take care of you. I really like this drawing, but you have to help me change some of the parameters on it. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. Chapter 554 Waste Utilization Zhang Tuohai sent the data he needed to Hagrid. I can change it but I don't have the corresponding weapons. Hagrid looked embarrassed. Don't worry. I have it. Just change it as I say and leave the rest to me. You don't need to provide the materials. I can do it myself. John Tuohai said. Okay then. Hagrid had no choice but to change it according to the data given by Zhang Tuohai. The four honeycomb rockets were converted into two Adaz missile pylons, plus two Hellfire missile pylons. Two steam machine guns were converted into Gatling guns. The firepower intensity increased several times. If you don't count the laser, the firepower intensity alone is almost the same as Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle. Hagrid modified the drawings according to Zhang Tuohai's needs. In order to cope with the overweight problem, the size of the helicopter had to be enlarged, which also led to a significant increase in manufacturing materials. However, Zhang Tuohai didn't care, as long as he could achieve his expected tactical ability. What's the point of using more materials? The most indispensable thing in his hand is all kinds of materials. At most, he can dismantle a few cars and get it out. The two exchange drawings, and Zhang Tuohai eagerly built the helicopter. The original steam-powered helicopter was instantly transformed into an armed helicopter. It looks like an Apache, but is smaller. Zhang Tuohai thought about this armed helicopter and decided to temporarily park it in his own helicopter maintenance workshop instead of storing it in the hangar of the aircraft summoner. The advantage of parking in the hangar of the aircraft summoner is that you can buy missiles and Gatling bullets for free. But the disadvantage is that you need to compete with other aircraft for playing time. The aircraft summoner can only summon one aircraft at a time. If you want to forcefully summon the next one, 
the previous one will have to automatically crash into a road, and there will be no other option. Zhang Tuohai can make the missiles he has now by himself. There is no need to be greedy for the money for the missiles for the time being. It is better to keep them in his own hangar, which can also increase the attack methods. After finding the second helicopter, Zhang Tuohai will consider putting it in a hangar. By utilizing a useless facility that was gathering dust, Zhang Tuohai was in a good mood and even felt motivated to drive. He stepped on the accelerator and accelerated towards the sun. Zhang Tuohai drove until evening, when a huge city appeared in front of him. Zhang Tuohai took out the electronic map again and compared it, confirming that the city in front of him was the target of this trip, Kumquat City. Kumquat City is the largest city in this area and the economic center of this area. It has all kinds of facilities. If you want to find supplies, this is a good place. Of course, what attracted Zhang Tuohai the most was that there was a joint pharmaceutical laboratory and a small air force base here, especially that air force base. When Zhang Tuohai saw that sign on the electronic map, he could hardly contain his excitement. He was worried about not being able to get planes to expand his hangar. But he didn't expect to encounter an Air Force base on the way forward. Although it is small, it is better than nothing. Right? Even a few train planes filled with aviation gasoline can still serve as kamikazes. When it comes to airplanes, Zhang Tuohai doesn't pick and choose, as long as they have one. However, this Air Force base is in the northwest of the city. If you want to get there, you have to go through the city. Otherwise, we have to go through an unusually large circle. Not only that, if you take a detour, you will have to pass through dense forests, canyons, and rivers. The terrain is extremely complex, and there may be some unknown dangers hidden in it. It may not be as easy as just walking through the city. What's more, there is a joint pharmaceutical laboratory to the west of the city center. The prompt system specifically reminded him that there were some things he needed in this laboratory. In this way, Zhang Tuohai cannot take any detours. Going to the city became the only option. Because the alpha virus released by United Pharmaceuticals is a progressive virus. The initial symptoms of infection are colds and fevers. Rather than direct zombie transformation. Therefore, people have plenty of time to sort out their affairs and then lie in bed or go to a private clinic to fill some prescription drugs. It doesn't create resident evil type street congestion. At this time, the streets in Kumquat City were very clean. With almost no vehicles visible. Zhang Tuohai walked on the street with satisfaction, looking at the buildings on both sides from time to time. Many buildings on the street had their windows broken. Many goods were scattered on the sidewalk. And many shops showed signs of being burned by fire. Obviously, these shops had experienced a zero-dollar shopping spree. Zhang Tuohai scanned the buildings on both sides vigilantly, fearing that an anti-tank gun would stick out from a dilapidated window. Fortunately, that didn't happen. Zhang Tuohai kept driving forward. And when he was about to reach the laboratory, he turned an intersection and suddenly found several buses blocking the road. Those buses were also loaded with rocks, iron plates and other debris. And their tires were deflated. They were obviously used as obstacles blocking the road. Seeing Zhang Tuohai approaching, two people holding Remingtons and AR-15S stood on the roof of the car. Get away quickly! This is the territory that belongs to our Buffalo gang! Get away! The two men pointed their guns at Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle unceremoniously, and they were ready to shoot if they disagreed. Zhang Tuohai glanced around. On a two-story building not far away, there was another person who had set up a Dao anti-tank missile. It was already aimed at him, and he was ready to try. The defenses are really tight. Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly. From the perspective of force, he doesn't even need to use missiles to deal with these people. He can directly use close and defense artillery to deal with them. However, he came here to look for supplies this time and did not want to cause any trouble. Moreover, if he fired here, it would be bad if it aroused alertness in the laboratory. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and chose a detour. Anyway, the city is so big. As long as we bypass the neighborhood's control by these people, there will be no problem. Zhang Tuohai began to find a way to the laboratory according to the electronic map. As a result, after driving around, Zhang Tuohai was shocked to find that all the surrounding roads were blocked by the Buffalo Gang. The laboratory was completely within the Buffalo Gang's sphere of influence. If he wanted to enter, he could only rush in. Just when Zhang Tuohai was about to take action, suddenly, a little boy gently knocked on the door of the armored vehicle. Sir! Sir! Do you need help? The boy's voice was very low, as if he was afraid that others would hear him. So Zhang Tuohai didn't even hear him. If classmate Xiao Ai hadn't reminded him, he wouldn't have noticed. 
Zhang Tuohai glanced at the little boy outside the car door. He was wearing a raincoat, a mask and a windproof cap on his face, and even swimming goggles. Although the equipment was very poor, it could be seen that this little guy had exhausted his energy. I tried my best to protect myself, much better than the two Buffalo gang members, who didn't even wear masks. This made Zhang Tuohai feel good in his heart, which at least showed that this little boy was smart. What's the matter with you? Zhang Tuohai asked as he opened the car door. Sir, do you want to go inside? I see you have circled around this area. I know a way to get inside. However, you have to do me a favor. Is that okay? The little boy said with bright eyes. Chapter 555 Away Are you sure that the road you mentioned can pass through the blockade silently? Zhang Tuohai asked, staring at the little boy. Of course. I'm sure, the little boy said firmly. I grew up in this neighborhood, and I know every inch of the land and every pipeline here. Okay, then tell me about your conditions. If it's not too much, I can agree to it. Zhang Tuohai saw that the little boy didn't look like he was faking. So he nodded and said, I want you to give me a ride, and I want to go inside. The little boy said immediately, while looking at Zhang Tuohai expectantly. Going there? Do you know where I'm going? Zhang Tuohai asked with a smile. There are many valuable targets there, but most of them have been looted by the Buffalo Gang after they came over. It can be seen from the equipment on their bodies. Since I can see it, I can't hide it from you. Moreover, from your car can tell that those ordinary supplies will probably not attract your attention. After excluding these ordinary targets, there is only one answer left, and that is the laboratory of United Pharmaceuticals. What I said right. The little boy raised his head slightly as he spoke, with an expression like, I'm awesome. Come and praise me. It looks like a student who answered the question correctly, and is waiting for praise. However, he is indeed just a student at his age. Your analytical skills are pretty good. But what are you going to do inside? That's not a place to play hide and seek. Zhang Tuohai asked with interest. I went to look for special medicine. My sister was contaminated and is now lying in bed. She needs medicine for treatment. However, the medicine in the pharmacy has been sold out. I heard a friend of mine say that these are all joint medicine. There must be a specific solution to the conspiracy in the United Pharmacy Laboratory. But that area is controlled by the Buffalo Gang, and we can't get through, said the little boy. Don't you have a secret passage? Why don't you go there? Zhang Tuohai asked. It's occupied by a Bengal tiger that escaped from the zoo. I can't get through by myself. I think your armored vehicle should be able to ignore it, said the little boy. Okay, I can allow you to come with me. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and agreed to the little boy's request. Anyway, it was just some special medicines. He already had the prescriptions, and the raw materials had been grown in the high-end ecological park. They could be mass-produced directly. You can get as much as you want. It's not a problem if there are only little boys in the laboratory. When two people cooperate, they each get what they need. That is great. I'll show you the way, the little boy said. What's your name? Zhang Tuohai took the little boy to disinfect, and then got into the car. Away! Just call me away! The little boy said shyly. Away! This name is not very auspicious! Zhang Tuohai muttered softly. At this time, Away was already dazzled by the dazzling array of technological products in the armored vehicle. He could not see enough and did not hear Zhang Tuohai's words. Come sit here and help me show you the way! Zhang Tuohai greeted Away and said, Oh! Okay! Go this way! Away heard Zhang Tuohai's greeting and immediately ran to the spherical screen to give directions. As expected, Alway grew up in this area and knew the surrounding terrain very well. Under his guidance, the armored vehicle quickly drove into an underground parking lot. This underground parking lot was originally a dead end, but one day construction on the opposite side dug through the underground parking lot. Only then did we find that the underground parking lot was connected to another parking lot. Although it was blocked, there was only a single road. A brick wall can be broken open with a hammer, Alway said while giving directions. By the way, that Bengal tiger is around here, so you better be careful, Alway reminded. Ha ha, you have to be careful when you encounter me, Zhang Tuohai said nonchalantly. In other worlds, he hunted many beasts, including mutant creatures. A mere beast was nothing in his eyes. Sure enough, after Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle entered the underground parking lot, he didn't see the shadow of the Bengal tiger. Where is that wall? Zhang Tuohai asked. Over there. Hey, why is there a hole? It was clearly sealed before. How could it be opened? Could it be that someone got there early? 
The little boy looked at the wall in astonishment. At this time, at the end of the underground parking lot, a single brick wall was broken, revealing a round hole more than 40 centimeters above the ground and more than half a meter in diameter. Maybe, let's go over and have a look. Zhang Tuai sped up and drove the armored vehicle into the wall. The wall was just a single brick dividing wall, which acted as a barrier. When Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle hit it, a large piece collapsed. The armored vehicle rushed into another underground parking lot with a burst of smoke and dust. Just as the armored vehicle rushed past, Zhang Tuohai felt as if he had hit something. The front armor plate made a harsh friction sound, like someone scratching a blackboard with nails. However, there was dust floating everywhere, and nothing could be seen clearly. What? Zhang Tuohai asked classmate Xiao Yai. Yes, it's a big cat. Xiao Yai projected the infrared detected image onto the spherical screen. What appeared on the spherical screen was a cat-shaped creature with a strong body and a slender tail. But it was a bit huge. The head alone was more than half a meter wide. Not counting the tail. It was over six meters long. It was about to catch up with a small car. Goods. Looking at the infrared image. Zhang Tuohai touched his chin and asked Ah Wei. Is this the Bengal tiger you mentioned? I don't know much about education. So don't lie to me. Is the Bengal tiger so big? You said this is I believe in elephants. I don't know. The last time I saw a Bengal tiger, it was of normal size. Not this big. When Awe saw the huge infrared image of the reminder on the screen, he was so frightened that he almost sat down on the ground. I heard that an adult tiger can smash car window glass with one slap. This mutated Bengal tiger can smash the door of an armored car with one slap. Is it not a problem? If this was really the Bengal tiger, the two of them wouldn't even be able to fill each other's teeth. At this time, he regretted coming over in Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle. If he had known this, he would have tried to drive over the King Tiger tank in the museum and give it a try. At least the protection is a little higher. However, at this moment, the huge Bengal tiger pounced up and slapped its two claws towards the front armor of the armored vehicle. Seeing the Bengal tiger charging towards him, Zhang Tuohai sneered. Let it taste the power of modern firearms. Duh duh duh. Upon hearing this, Classmate Xiao Yai immediately activated the 1130 close range anti cannon and fired a series of 30 mm caliber shells at the Bengal Tiger. Chapter 556 Getting Rich. Da da da. A series of close in defense gun shells hit the Bengal Tiger's body. The maximum rate of fire of the 1130 close in defense gun is more than 10,000 rounds per minute, with an average of more than 160 rounds per second. Steel plates can be broken into pieces, let alone flesh and blood. In the blink of an eye, the elephant-sized Bengal tiger was torn into pieces by the shells of the close-in defense gun. Large swaths of flesh and blood covered the underground parking lot. The kind that couldn't even be put together. I thought it was so awesome. But it turns out it's just a showpiece. Boring. Zhang Tuohai looked at the mince meat on the ground with a look of disdain on his face. And drove the armored vehicle forward. The heavy tracks ran over the bloody parking lot. Completely crushing the bones of the Bengal tiger. Physical variation as long as it doesn't break through the boundaries. We'll never be able to compete with technology. Where should we go next? Zhang Tuohai turned to ask Ah Wei. Ah Wei was already stunned by the intensity of Zhang Tuohai's firepower. He only came to his senses after Zhang Tuohai shouted several times. Ah! This way! Go this way! Ah Wei pointed in the direction, his voice trembling. He is just a teenager. Even though he can see and even come into contact with some civilian firearms. This is the first time he has come into contact with real military weapons. Facing such a real murderous weapon, he has an instinct, a sense of fear. Zhang Tuohai is quite used to such scenes, and he has experienced many cruel ones. This is a completely small scene for him, so much so that Zhang Tuohai himself doubted whether he would be able to adapt to the peaceful life after returning to his original world, and whether he would suffer from post-war traumatic syndrome. Ah Wei is indeed the living map of this area guiding Zhang Tuohai to turn left and right in the underground area. When the two came out, Zhang Tuohai was shocked to find that there was a three-story building diagonally opposite. The style of that small building it looked familiar. Outside the small building was a high wall with a spiral barbed wire hanging on it. It looked very well defended. That's the laboratory of United Pharmaceuticals. This is the back door of United Pharmaceuticals. I know a sewer can enter the high wall. Awe pointed at the three-story building and said, As expected, Zhang Tuohai nodded. But there is no need to drill into the sewer. Just go in. Zhang Tuohai said, driving the armored vehicle to the back door. The back door of this yard is an electric iron gate. 
made of steel bars as thick as an arm and extremely strong. However, this level of defense is no different to Zhang Tuohai. The armored vehicle crashed into it, breaking even the door shaft. The huge iron door hit the concrete floor with a clang, making a dull sound. Walk! Zhang Tuohai drove into the yard. This! Ah Wei looked at the big iron door that fell to the ground and was a little distracted. This was a little different from what he imagined entering the laboratory and stealing the special medicine. According to the plot in the movie, the two of them should be transformed into thieves, using various advanced equipment and various defensive quarters to sneak in quietly, steal what they need, and then leave quietly without disturbing anyone until work the next day. The theft was discovered only when the personnel checked, and by that time, they had already moved away. However, the reality was somewhat different from what he expected. Zhang Tuohai actually barged in directly. This was not just a matter of breaking a door. It also directly shattered his childhood fantasy. Zhang Tuohai didn't think much about it, but looked around to see if there was anything valuable. This laboratory doesn't look too big from the outside. But once you enter, you find that it's really quite big inside. In addition to the small building in the yard, there is also a large factory building, which looks like a decoration workshop. The workshop door is right opposite the back door. Zhang Tuohai directly opened the door and rushed in. Zhang Tuohai's original plan was to enter the workshop to see if there was anything missing that could be picked up. Even if nothing was missing, he could just dismantle some machines. However, when Zhang Tuohai saw the things in the workshop, he was stunned, and then he instantly became ecstatic. Get rich. Get rich. Zhang Tuohai's eyes were filled with excitement. It turned out that there were rows of tanks neatly arranged in the workshop. Two M1130 armored command vehicles. 18 M1126 armored transport vehicles. 4 M1129A1 120mm self-propelled mortars. 2 M1133 armored ambulances. 4 M1131 fire support vehicles. M1134 anti-tank missile launchers 2 vehicles. 2 M1132 armored engineering vehicles. 4 M1127 armored reconnaissance vehicles. 2 M1135 3 defense reconnaissance vehicles. And 2 M1128 mobile artillery vehicles. Zhang Tuohai counted 42 vehicles in total all of which were light armored vehicles. They could be regarded as an all-round version of the Striker Assault Battalion. At the end of the team, Zhang Tuohai even spotted four Apache helicopter gunships. These Apaches are all modified versions, and they are all equipped with Hellfire anti-tank missiles. The ground strike capability is extremely powerful. Get rich. Zhang Tuohai rubbed his hands and jumped out of the car, looking at the vehicles excitedly. He didn't know why United Pharmaceuticals left so many combat vehicles here. But no matter what they plan to do, these vehicles now belong to him. 001. Dismantle all these cars for me. Bring the drawings back. And I'll take a look at them. Zhang Tuohai recruited 001 and started working. As for himself, he walked over to the four Apache armed helicopters, modified two of them into Hagrid designed armed helicopters, and kept the remaining two as they were. Then, he included all four helicopters in the aircraft call. In the container. As a result, the number of aircraft in his hangar increased to eight, doubling the number. Now, if the situation is urgent, he can summon two armed helicopters at the same time to assist. The intensity of conventional firepower has been increased by more than three times, and his strength has been greatly improved. Cool! Zhang Tuohai was in a good mood after harvesting such a thing, with a look of joy on his face. Ah Wei, on the other hand, was dumbfounded, looking at the busy self-propelled machines everywhere. He felt as if he had entered a science fiction world. What are these? Robots? Are you the man behind a super technology company? Or a superhero who has mastered high technology? Are you here to save the world? Awe asked Zhang Tuohai with excitement in his eyes. It's a pity that I'm not a superhero or a warrior who saves the world. I have my purpose here. Okay, let's go to the main building now. Don't you still want to find special medicine? Zhang Tuohai said, as he walked out wearing United Pharmaceuticals third generation protective suit, carrying a Gatling gun in his hand. The ammunition box contained enhanced armor piercing bullets, the kind that can penetrate armored vehicles, in order to prevent dangerous creatures from appearing. Zhang Tuohai also deliberately carried two RPG 7S on his back. If the space in the building was not too small, he was even prepared to bring individual cloud explosive bombs. At first, he was going to give Awe a set of protective clothing, but Awe was too small to put it on. Zhang Tuohai had no choice but to take a protective mask and put it on Ah Wei's head, and at the same time put a protective mask on Ah Wei's head, putting the Glock into Ah Wei's hand. 
Take this weapon. It will save your life at the critical moment. Okay. Follow me. We are about to set off. Jean Tuai said, striding towards the laboratory building. Chapter 557 Mutants Update Ah Wei followed Zhang Tuohai stupidly, as if he was in a dream. He felt that ever since he met Zhang Tuohai, the world style had become strange. The mutated Bengal tiger, the strange robot, and the plane that suddenly disappeared. Everything is so magical, as if it is just like what is depicted in the story. Ah Wei did not feel afraid, but instead felt a trace of desire in his heart. I want to join this fantastic and magnificent world. Zhang Tuohai didn't know what Ah Wei was thinking. He was searching for supplies from room to room. The first floor is the office. But it seems that everyone here has evacuated. And they evacuated in an extremely orderly manner. There were more than 20 offices on the entire floor. But not even a piece of paper with writing on it was left. Not a single one. All that was left were office supplies such as desks and chairs. Which were of no value at all. Zhang Tuohai gained nothing from the whole floor. Zhang Tuohai did not believe in evil and went up to the second floor. The second floor is also an office and nothing of value is left behind. Zhang Tuohai frowned. He sensed something wasn't right. He is now certain that the people here evacuated in an orderly manner. Otherwise, they would not have left anything of value behind. However, now that they have evacuated, what happened to those armored vehicles in the workshop? Did you stay on purpose? Leave it to whom? Zhang Tuohai immediately walked towards the third floor. Upon seeing this, Ah Wei quickly followed up holding the Glock in his hand. He is also secretly worried now. He came here to find special medicine to treat his sister's illness. If he can't bring back the medicine, his sister will die. If he can't find special medicine here, he really doesn't know what to do. Zhang Tuohai quickly rushed to the third floor. The third floor is a small laboratory with many instruments that Zhang Tuohai doesn't recognize. In a corner full of shadows, a figure was squatting there, making a chewing sound. What? Zhang Tuohai's heart moved, and he instinctively felt that something was not good. The figure clearly heard the movement behind him and turned around. It was a guy with tentacles on his head. To be precise, it was no longer a human head, but the position of the head became a giant octopus. The tentacles were covered with blood, and there were two pieces of meat wrapped around them, which he kept filling into his mouth. Food. Clean food. The octopus-headed monster had a big mouth and eyes full of greedy light. It suddenly picked up a huge scythe beside it and rushed towards Zhang Tuohai's direction. Da da da. Zhang Tuohai directly pulled the trigger. The bullet splashed towards the octopus headed monster like water. Puff puff. There was a dull sound. And the monster was directly beaten into a sieve by the roaring Gatlin. The octopus headed monster's vitality is very tenacious. Even if it is interrupted by lazy yell, it does not die, but wriggles on the ground with difficulty. There are tentacles squirming around the wounds on the body. Seemingly repairing the body? Ha! You can't kill me! I am the god of the new era! You humble humans are destined to be eliminated! Only we, the outstanding new humans, are the masters of the future! We! Da da da! Zhang Tuohai pulled the trigger again and swept towards the octopus headed monster. After more than 10 seconds, the octopus headed monster's entire body was shattered into pieces, leaving not even a piece of tissue larger than the size of a thumb. The tentacles no longer squirm. God? That's it? Zhang Tuohai's eyes were full of disdain and disgust. A guy who can't even stand up to Gatlin dares to call himself a god. Zhang Tuohai turned to Awei and said, Have you seen this guy? Remember, don't follow their example. Otherwise, it will become like this. Judging from the current situation, no matter how much human beings mutate, they can't resist guns. Cannon. So this is the best thing to use. Zhang Tuohai raised the Gatling in his hand and said, Awe looked at the broken corpses on the ground and was speechless. After a while, he raised his head and said, If there was no special medicine, would my sister be like this? After hearing Awe's words, Zhang Tuohai was silent for a moment, and then said, Be open-minded. The mutation is random. What if your sister is lucky enough to become a mermaid? Besides, your sister hasn't mutated yet. Maybe she'll be fine after taking the special medicine. Zhang Tuohai said, However, we searched from the first floor to the third floor and couldn't find even a single pill. Awe squatted on the ground. His eyes filled with disappointment. He murmured, Am I useless? My sister is lying on the bed. But I can't do anything. I can only watch her turn into a monster little by little. Don't worry. I have some special medicines there. But I haven't tested them yet. So I can't guarantee they will be effective. You can try them. 
Zhang Tuohai looked at Ah Wei and felt as if he had seen his old self. He couldn't help but sigh secretly, patted his shoulder and said, Do you have special medicine there? Didn't you lie to me? Ah Wei's eyes were full of disbelief. I got it in the last laboratory of United Pharmaceuticals. I don't know if it has any effect. Zhang Tuohai said, Can you give me two boxes? I can pay any price. As long as I can cure my sister. I can do anything for you. Even die. Away held his hand and said excitedly, No, it's just two boxes of medicine. However, let me state in advance that I only provide the medicine and am not responsible for the effect. If something goes wrong, I will not be responsible. Zhang Tuohai interrupted Ah Wei and made a disclaimer first. Who knows what kind of virus Ah Wei's sister is suffering from? It's still unclear how effective United Pharma's special medicine is. Everything is unknown, so it's better to prepare for the worst first to avoid getting into trouble. It's too late to thank you. How can I blame you? Ah Wei said quickly. Okay, then you wait for me for a while. I will check to see if there is anything valuable, and then leave here. As Zhang Tuohai spoke, he walked near the smashed body and rummaged around to see if there was any fallen equipment. However, there was nothing. Zhang Tuohai was a little disappointed and came to the corner where Octopus' head had been before. In a dark corner, there was a broken corpse piled up. The body was so mutilated that it could hardly be seen as a human being. Only the rag-like clothes barely proved that it was once a human being. Zhang Tuohai felt a little nauseous and was about to leave when he suddenly saw a corner of parchment exposed from the pocket of the other party's clothes. Are there any drawings? Zhang Tuohai pulled out the parchment out of curiosity. Chapter 558 Vehicle Radar What's this? Zhang Tuohai slowly unfolded the parchment. Special Armored Vehicle Interior Level 5 Universal Vehicle Accessories Vehicle interiors made of special materials which can effectively isolate damage caused by sound waves. Infrasound waves Vibrations Overfrequency resonance Nuclear radiation And ultra-high temperatures Crafting material Alpha grade alloy, 200 units. Good stuff. Zhang Tuohai's eyes instantly lit up when he saw this drawing. This interior is simply amazing. Instantly isolating sound waves, vibrations, nuclear radiation, ultra high temperatures, and other special damages. With this thing, things like dizziness and disordered movement caused by the shock wave will no longer happen. In addition, the depleted uranium armor on the outside will not cause harm to itself. The most valuable thing is that this thing is actually a universal accessory for level 5 vehicles. Which brings him one step closer to becoming a level 6 vehicle. The only question is, what exactly is this alpha grade alloy and where can it be found? Zhang Tuohai guessed that this might be a special alloy developed by United Pharmaceuticals. Otherwise, it would not be named with Greek letters. It seems that I have to go to United Pharmaceuticals laboratory in the future. Maybe I can get some good things. Zhang Tuohai made up his mind put the drawings away, and then said to Ah Wei, Let's go. The things here have been dealt with. We should leave quickly. Okay. Ah Wei couldn't wait for a long time. When he heard Zhang Tuohai say this, he quickly followed Zhang Tuohai downstairs. At this time, 001 had brought many self-propelled machines to dismantle the entire assault battalion's vehicles and transported a large amount of materials into the vehicle. 001 also held a large stack of sheepskin scrolls in his hand. So many drawings? That's great. Zhang Tuohai rubbed 001's head with satisfaction. His face almost burst into laughter. 001, on the other hand, was a little dissatisfied. Zhang Tuohai always touches the top of its head with sweat-stained hands, which almost wears off the protective paint. It will have to be resprayed after a while, which is very troublesome. Zhang Tuohai didn't know what 001 was thinking in his heart. He was turning over the parchment in his hand excitedly. Looking through the drawings in his hand, he found that most of them were transformation drawings, directly transforming the vehicle into the corresponding armored ambulance, self-propelled mortar vehicle, etc., and the remaining few were some weapon parts, such as the coaxial machine gun of a fire support vehicle, the hoist of an engineering vehicle, and the like. Among these drawings, one of Zhang Tuohai's favorites was a drawing of a vehicle-mounted radar, United Pharmaceuticals Type 2 Vehicle Radar, Level 5 Universal Automotive Accessory With a detection range of 80 kilometers Medium ability to withstand electromagnetic interference And an item manufactured with compressed performance for vehicle use Materials High-grade metal ingot 50 units Intermediate metal ingot 20 units High-grade plastic 100 units High-grade glass 50 units High-grade rubber 10 units 
high-grade electronic components asterisk 10. Radar. After Zhang Tuohai saw the blueprint, he hugged 001 and kissed him. This guy was his lucky star. And he actually produced the radar blueprint. 001 was speechless. The saliva contained more corrosive substances. And it also caused damage to his camera. It took out a small soft cloth and gently wiped its camera. Zhang Tuohai happily made the radar. A small radar antenna popped up on the roof of the car. And then a display appeared on the spherical screen. A radar wave was constantly scanning the surrounding situation. Zhang Tuohai looked at the radar and suddenly remembered the matter of alpha metal. He turned to 001 and said, By the way, if any special metal ingots are released in the future, remember to show it to me. I need a lot of alpha metal. After hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, 001 quickly walked into the warehouse. After a while, he walked out of the warehouse holding a metal ingot and raised it in front of Zhang Tuohai. Congratulations on discovering Alpha Metal Ingot Asterisk 1. The game system popped up a prompt. Did you really get it? Where did it come from? Zhang Tuohai jumped up excitedly. 001 took two alert steps back and then typed a line on the screen. Disassembled from vehicles in the warehouse. A total of 460 units were obtained. There are actually so many. Zhang Tuohai feels that today is his lucky day and he can give whatever he wants. Now that there are enough materials, he can directly make the interior. Zhang Tuohai took out the parchment and clicked on make. A flash of white light flashed. The parchment disappeared. And an additional layer of interior appeared inside the armored vehicle. Zhang Tuohai touched it and found it was very smooth and a bit soft. A bit like plastic and a bit like fiberglass. Ah Wei looked at everything around him blankly, feeling that everything was so science fiction and not real at all. No, this is no longer science fiction. It is just like a game. It can be assembled with just one click of a button. It's incredible. At this moment, classmate Xiao Ai suddenly said, Commander, a large number of people and vehicles have been detected outside the laboratory and are approaching again. Do you want to conduct an investigation? Is someone coming? Upon hearing this, Zhang Tuohai immediately rushed to the spherical screen. On the radar screen, there were dense red dots gathered in front of him. These red dots were still moving which made him almost suffer from trypophobia. How much is this? Zhang Tuohai asked with a frown. Preliminary judgment is that there are 70 vehicles and 182 people. Classmate Xiaoyai said. So many? Put the drone out and check the situation. Zhang Tuohai said as he launched a hand-thrown drone to check the situation outside. At this time, 70 cars had gathered outside the main entrance of the laboratory. And hundreds of people were standing outside. Bustling. However, these people were clearly divided into two teams. A group of people carry AR-15S or Remingtons, have buffalo tattoos on their bodies, and have no protective measures on their bodies. They are all members of the Buffalo Gang. The other team is a diverse group of people, wearing all kinds of clothes, including leather jackets, camouflage uniforms, robes, and even plate armor. There are even more types of weapons, ranging from shotguns to machine guns, and you can even see a player wearing an exoskeleton carrying a recoilless rifle as the main weapon. What is different from the previous group of people is that these people have more or less protective measures on their faces. The better ones have professional gas masks. Some even wear oxygen bottles directly on their backs. And the worst ones also have masks for protection. Needless to say, the following group of people are all players who have received prompts from the game system. At this moment, a predator drove slowly from behind. A man wearing professional protective clothing jumped out of the car and said to the leader of the Buffalo Gang, Are you the leader of the Chris Gang? I, it's Barbara who came to dock this time and was ordered to receive the equipment. Please ask your people to help make it easier. Chapter 559 The firepower intensity is still not enough. Sorry. This is the territory of our Buffalo Gang. If you want to take away the supplies, you must give us a share of the Buffalo Gang. Chris said nonchalantly, holding a thick cigar in his mouth. This is United Pharmaceuticals Industry. We have an agreement with United Pharmaceutical. Everything here will be handed over to us intact. Everything here belongs to us. What right do you have to interfere? Barbara was very dissatisfied with Chris's attitude and asked angrily. Oh, the agreement with United Pharmaceutical is your own business and I have no control over it. However, this is our territory now and we have a share of everything here. If you don't give us the share we deserve, you don't even think about taking a step into it. Following Chris's words, the Buffalo gang members behind him raised their Remingtons and AR-15S one after another. The players behind Barbara also raised their weapons. 
for a moment. The two sides were at war with each other, and a fierce battle was about to happen. Fight! Fight! Zhang Tuohai saw the scene outside clearly through the drone. He wished that the two sides would start fighting immediately, so that he would save trouble. However, both parties in the field were not fools, and naturally knew that fighting on this occasion would be of no benefit to anyone. The two sides were in a stalemate for a while, but in the end, Barbara was the first to take a step back and agreed to share a portion of Chris' profit, and Chris also declined, reducing his previous one-third share to one-fourth. The two sides reached an agreement and the dispute was resolved. Chris's deputy was a little dissatisfied with Chris's decision and asked in a low voice, Boss, if you reduce the share like this, the brothers will be dissatisfied. If you ask me, just kill them all. Smash the door. And everything inside aren't they all ours? You know what the heck. This is the laboratory of United Pharmaceuticals. Who knows what kind of ghosts are in it? Let them help us clear out the mines first. When we see the supplies, we will start and kill them all. This is it's the best idea. You can inform me and let the brothers below be alert and ready to take action. Understood. Some players on Barbara's side also raised objections. Barbara, we are an alliance. We have already negotiated the shares of each team before. If you directly divide a quarter of the interests, whose cake will you take? Cut. This is what you agreed to. If you want to profit from it, you will cut it from your own share. Don't expect us to share it for you. Uh-huh. You are too short-sighted. What I just said was just to stabilize them. Who said that I really have to implement go? Wait a while. When you see the supplies, those bumpkin will be dumbfounded. Pounce directly on the pile of supplies? At that time, can't we just shoot behind the scenes? By then, we can minimize the losses. So why not? Barbara said proudly. Both sides have secretly made arrangements and are ready to attack each other. At the same time, Barbara came to the electronic door and took out a card to open the door. Seeing this situation, Zhang Tuohai couldn't sit still. If these two teams enter the laboratory and see the supplies disappear, why should they search the whole city? Although he could escape through the back door, something might happen. Now, the easiest way is to kill these people while they are unprepared. Zhang Tuohai took a look at the situation outside through the drone. Now, the two teams were focused on each other and completely ignored the direction of the laboratory. It was a good opportunity to take action. Having made up his mind, Zhang Tuohai immediately opened the platform of the armed helicopter, released the armed helicopter in the car, and at the same time used the aircraft summoner to summon an armed helicopter. And all his own weapon systems were turned on, aiming at the vehicles outside. What sound? Barbara, who was about to open the door, heard a loud engine sound, felt something was wrong, and looked up hurriedly. She was shocked to find that in the laboratory, two armed helicopters actually rose up. The pylons of the two helicopters were filled with the DAS missiles and Hellfire missiles. They were densely packed and looked extremely ferocious and terrifying. What? What's going on? United Pharmaceuticals didn't say there would be someone on duty here? Where did this helicopter come from? Just when Barbara was confused, the two armed helicopters opened fire. Whoosh whoosh. Missiles roared towards those vehicles. These vehicles were parked in place. They had no idea that there would be an attack by an armed helicopter. They were completely unprepared. They were caught off guard and were targeted by missiles one after another. Orange fireballs immediately rose up. At this time, Zhang Tuohai's missile also hit over the high wall, smashing the cars to pieces. After the missiles were fired, Zhang Tuohai did not recall the helicopters, but ordered them to use their own Gatling guns to shoot at the crowd. Anyway, the Gatling guns they carry are specially made armor-piercing bullets, which are not a problem against thin-skinned armored vehicles, let alone people with ordinary protection. Under the intense fire from two armed helicopters, the people outside the door were cut down in pieces like wheat. Some people even wanted to resist with guns. However, before he could take aim, he was already sifted by the Gatling gun. In the blink of an eye, the outside of the laboratory became a sure field. Various body parts and fragments filled the streets. After the two armed helicopters fired all their bullets, there were almost no living people in the entire venue. They were all stumps of various kinds. Zhang Tuohai was still a little worried and prepared to shoot again. After all, there are biochemical viruses in this world. What if these people are controlled by the virus and come back to life? However, in such a large area, it would be a waste of time to replenish the guns one by one. In order to improve efficiency, Zhang Tuohai directly threw two heavy aerial bombs over, set the delayed detonation, and then summoned the helicopter. 
He ran away as fast as he could toward the back door. As soon as Zhang Tuohai walked out of the back door, a huge explosion sounded. A mushroom cloud rose. Two obituaries popped up again on Zhang Tuohai's regional channel. Good guy. There really is something that has slipped through the net. After seeing the obituary, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but feel speechless. There were actually people who could survive such a level of attack. It seemed that his firepower density was still not high enough. It seemed that the firepower intensity still needed to be strengthened. By the way, wherever your home is, I'll send it back to you directly. Zhang Tuohai turned to Awei, who was already dumbfounded and said, Oh, okay, go this way. Awei pointed to the road in confusion. He had seen everything Zhang Tuohai did just now. And at this time, he was scared and excited in his heart. Zhang Tuohai had just openly used various heavy weapons to kill people in the neighborhood. But he was killing gang members, who had committed many evil deeds. He felt that Zhang Tuohai was that kind of dark hero, walking in the shadows and upholding justice in his own way. This is exactly what he dreamed of. Which teenager doesn't have a dream of becoming a second grader? And what Zhang Tuohai did just touched the deepest yearning in Alwei's heart. Can I join you? Alwei asked cautiously with excitement in his heart. Chapter 560 Aya Join me? Zhang Tuohai looked back at Alwei in surprise, then patted him on the head and said, What are you thinking about? How old are you? What's the point of learning how to fight and kill with me? I have no choice but to. If possible, I still hope to drive in the early morning to deliver freshly braised soy products to customers. At your age, the most important thing you should do is study hard. At this point, Zhang Tuohai suddenly paused. He suddenly thought that the world had been contaminated by the alpha virus used by United Pharmaceuticals. And social order had collapsed. Even if Awei wanted to study, he would have no chance. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but sigh. The city is too dangerous. If you find a chance, you and your sister should move out. Find an empty farm. Grow some vegetables. And maybe you can survive. The dangers in the city are very important to you. It's too much for you. Hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, Alwei couldn't help but lower his head. He knew that Zhang Tuohai was not familiar with him. And there was no reason to take him with him. It was reasonable to refuse him. His previous inquiry was just with reluctance. The two of them fell silent. Apart from giving directions, Alway rarely spoke. The car turned a few corners, and the two people came to a dilapidated building. Two motorcycles were parked in front of the building. Alway raised his head and looked toward the window, with a look of panic on his face. Why are the lights in my house turned on? I clearly told Aya to turn off the lights, and she wouldn't stop talking to me. Zhang Tuohai knew something was wrong as soon as he heard this. He immediately picked up the gun and asked, which floor is your home on? Fourth floor. Alway quickly ran upstairs. Zhang Tuohai followed closely behind. And the two of them arrived at the door of Away's house. At this time, the shabby wooden door had been kicked open. Two strong men wearing leather jackets, bald heads and tattoos were standing in the living room. A little girl in a dress was blocked by them in the corner. Hey, I didn't expect to get an unexpected reward. It just so happens that the women at the Moulin Rouge are tired of playing so I can change my taste. A strong man said, stretched out his tongue more than a foot long, and licked his dagger. Let me go first. In the past, I only read the tentacle books. Today, let me practice it myself and see if those comics are true. The clothes of the other strong man were torn, and several tentacles stretched out from behind, reaching towards the little girl. Don't do anything to my sister. Upon seeing this, Alway quickly raised the glock in his hand and pulled the trigger at the two men. However, in his panic, he actually forgot to turn on the safety when using a gun for the first time. After holding on for a long time, he could not pull the trigger. Where did you come from, little brat? Just stand aside for me. I'll settle the score with you later. The strong man with a foot-long tongue quickly walked over and slapped Alway on the face, sending Alway flying away. At the same time, he snatched the Glock from Alway's hand. Oh, Glock 17. Brand new. I didn't expect you to have such a good product in your hand. It belongs to me. The strong man said and inserted the Glock into his waist. Come on, little sister. Don't be afraid. Uncle will take you to play a fun game. The bald man with tentacles on his body just glanced at it and saw that his companion was under control of the situation. He stopped caring about it and continued to press towards the little girl. Don't come here. Don't come here. I can't control it anymore. She's coming out. I hid in the corner struggling desperately. Come out? Wouldn't it be better to come out? The tentacle man seemed to have thought of something evil. 
and some more evil pictures flashed through his mind. He couldn't bear it anymore and rushed over quickly. Ah! The little girl closed her eyes and shouted. She stretched out her hands, and a ball of ice appeared in front of her. The ball of ice grew rapidly and spread to the surroundings. When the tentacle man saw this, he looked horrified and immediately retreated. However, the ice spread too fast. Before he could make any move, Bing Ling completely froze it and turned it into an ice sculpture. After freezing the tentacle man, the little girl flew up out of thin air. At this time, the air flow around her surged, and the morning glory nightgown rustled. Her black hair turned into silver white, and her originally black pupils turned into white. It turned red, and looked at the people present with empty eyes. The bald man with a foot-long tongue, when he saw the little girl's appearance, and then looked at his companion, who was frozen into an ice sculpture. He was so frightened that he dropped the knife in his hand to the ground. His legs weakened, and he knelt on the ground. No, don't kill me. I am also helpless. My credit card bill is due. My house has been taken away by the bank, and I have lost my job. I came out to rob because I had no choice. Please let me go. The man with the long tongue clasped his hands together and nodded repeatedly. The little girl's eyes flashed and her body became swaying. After a few seconds, her body softened and she suddenly fell from midair and fell to the floor. The long-tongued man didn't expect that this would happen. He originally thought it was a fatal situation, but he didn't expect that things would take a turn for the better. He immediately rushed over, preparing to control the little girl. At this time, Zhang Tuohai rushed to the door with Gatling in hand, raised his gun, and said to the man with the long tongue, Stop. Put the gun down. No. You are the one who should put down the gun. I have a hostage in my hands. The long-tongued man pointed the Glock in his hand at the little girl's head. Don't tell me that you don't care what she says. The fact that you can rush over means that she must be an important person to you. Right? Put the gun down immediately. Otherwise I will shoot. The man with the long tongue shouted loudly. Obviously, his mental state was very tense at this time. And he would shoot at the slightest sign of trouble. Although the little girl was not very important to Zhang Tuohai. He didn't want to let anyone die because of him. Okay, tell me what you want to do. Zhang Tuohai lowered the muzzle of his gun and asked calmly. He was wearing a protective suit from United Pharmaceuticals, and he didn't even care about machine gun bullets and rocket launcher fragments. Not to mention the small Glock in the opponent's hand. No matter what tricks the long-tongued man could play, he couldn't be hurt. This was the reason why he dared to put down his weapon. Otherwise, he would have shot him immediately and would not talk nonsense to him at all. Seeing Zhang Tuohai lowering his gun, the long-tongued man's eyes were full of excitement. He originally just gave it a try. But he didn't expect that he actually got the bet right. This little girl is really important to Zhang Tuohai. Consciously knowing Zhang Tuohai's fate, the long-tongued man became even more unscrupulous, shaking the Glock in his hand and saying, Throw the gun in your hand over. Slow down. Remember to throw it slowly. If I see anything out of the ordinary, make a move, and I'll shoot. Chapter 561 Killing the Man with a Long Tongue Monthly Ticket Adds More Updates That's it. Is there anything else? Zhang Tuohai asked calmly. Stop talking nonsense. Hurry up and throw the gun over. Otherwise, I will shoot. The man with the long tongue yelled crazily. Don't give him the gun. If you give it to him, we are all doomed. We must kill him. Ah Wei suddenly shouted from the side. Zhang Tuohai glanced at Ah Wei in surprise. He didn't expect that this little boy could see so clearly. He thought Ah Wei would try his best to save his sister. But he didn't expect that he would save this. Little bastard, what are you talking about? Do you believe I will beat you to death right now? The man with the long tongue roared loudly, looking extremely excited. Now in his eyes, his only chance to survive is to let Zhang Tuohai put down the gun in his hand. Otherwise, he will definitely die even if he kills the little girl. This is not what he wants to see. As a result, when the opportunity presented itself to him, he was about to be disturbed by Ah Wei. He immediately became furious and seemed ready to shoot at any moment. Don't get excited. Don't get excited. It's just a child's words. Don't take it seriously. I will throw the gun to you. Don't hurt anyone. Zhang Tuohai said and threw Gatlin over. With a muffled thud, Gatlin hit the floor. The man with the long tongue did not expect that Zhang Tuohai actually threw Gatlin to the ground. He was stunned immediately. The huge surprise made his heart pause. Then a look of ecstasy appeared on his face. He bent down sharply to pick up the Gatling. This gun was much stronger than the Glock in his hand. If he had this gun in his hand, 
he could kill everyone in the room directly. As for releasing people, he never thought about it. Killing everyone who threatened him, and taking away the little girl was his ultimate goal. He heard some news that United Pharmaceuticals was recruiting some people with magical abilities. Those who provided clues would receive huge rewards. Whether it was money or various materials, you could choose. He is certain that this little girl is a person with superpowers. As long as he hands over this little girl, he will immediately gain huge wealth and become a master. In an instant, countless thoughts flashed through the long-tongued man's mind. And he even thought about how to spend the reward money. His hand came into contact with the Gatling gun. And he suddenly lifted it up. Gatling lay motionless on the ground. A Gatling gun can weigh hundreds of kilograms. The reason why Zhang Tuohai can lift the gun with ease is because the protective suit he wears has exoskeleton assistance. However, the man with the long tongue did not have such a thing. When he saw Zhang Tuohai even carrying it with one hand, he thought it was very light. And he almost ducked. So heavy! The long tongued man didn't believe in evil and grabbed Gatlin with both hands and prepared to use force. At this time, a blue electric light shot out from Zhang Tuohai's gloves and hit the long tongued man. Stab! The man with the long tongue twitched and fell to the floor. I haven't used it for a long time. And the effect is pretty good. Zhang Tuohai shook the electric shock glove in his hand. He had not used this glove a few times since he obtained it. Since then, they had been fighting at long distances. And he almost forgot about it. If the prompt system hadn't prompted him to bring this thing with him, he almost forgot that he still had such a piece of equipment. In order to prevent hurting Aya next to him, Zhang Tuohai also deliberately lowered the current to a level that would cause paralysis but not death. Seeing the long-tongued man fall to the ground, Zhang Tuohai walked up to him calmly, picked up the Gatling gun, and put it on the long-tongued man's head. It seems that you like this gun very much. So let me feel it up close. After saying that, Zhang Tuohai pulled the trigger. Ta-ta-ta-ta. A series of blue flames emerged from the muzzle of the gun, and the long-tongued man's head was beaten to pieces on the spot. After dealing with the man with the long tongue, Zhang Tuohai came to the little girl Aya. At this time, Awei had already rushed in front of Aya, shook Aya's body and shouted, Aya! Aya! How are you? Wake up! Wake up quickly! I found medicine for you! Wake up quickly! Zhang Tuohai took a serious look at Aya's condition. At this time, Aya's eyes were closed tightly, and her hair was still silver white and had not returned to black. A prompt pops up from the system. I awakened her superpower because the alpha virus in her body combined with the cells in her body, causing some DNA mutations. She fell into a coma because she was not used to it and overused her superpower. She needed to replenish a lot of energy and rest. In addition, due to Aya's poor mental state, her awakening state is incomplete and she needs to take a large amount of special medicine to increase her awakening level. Otherwise, the dark side emotions will take over the body and become a monster that only knows how to kill. Looking at the long system prompt, Zhang Tuohai held his chin and began to think. It seems that being infected with the alpha virus is not all bad. There is still a chance to awaken superpowers. Looking at the ice sculpture next to him, Zhang Tuohai had an impulse for a moment. That is, to take off his protective mask and be infected with the alpha virus. However, as soon as this thought arose, he killed it. The probability of acquiring superpowers by being infected with the alpha virus is too low lower than winning the lottery. After being infected with the alpha virus, the greatest possibility is not to gain superpowers, but to become someone who has lost his mind and only knows how to spread. Viral monster. Only a few lucky people will get the opportunity to change their DNA and gain superpowers. Even for these lucky people, a large part of them will get garbage mutations like long tongues and tentacles, which are worse than the genetic medicines of the previous world. Only a very few lucky ones will acquire useful abilities. Such as this Aya. If you are a desperate player, you may be able to try your luck. However, Zhang Tuohai doesn't need it. He has the original strain of the virus in his hand, as well as the formula and special medicine. He can even collect some genes from Aya. He could wait for Lilith to be reincarnated, study all these thoroughly, and make finished potions. Wouldn't that be beautiful? At least it's much better than trying to get lucky like this. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai squatted down and said to Awei, Stop shaking. Your sister needs to rest now. And her current condition is not stable. She needs to take a lot of special medicine. Otherwise she will lose control. Like just like that. Hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, Awei thought of Aya's silver-haired red eyes floating in the air. And suddenly became excited. Although Aya looked very similar to Aya in that way. 
Her temperament was unusually cold, completely different from his usual gentle and kind sister. He would never let his sister become like that. Look, Awei immediately said. Okay, take the medicine. How much should you take? You wouldn't want your sister to be treated here, would you? Zhang Tuohai suddenly asked with a smile. Chapter 562 Zombies Come Out of the Cage What's going on here? As soon as he finished speaking, Awei paused. He glanced around and saw an ice sculpture and a broken corpse. This was indeed not a place for treatment. I didn't think well. Awei patted his head, picked up the mop, and prepared to clean up the surrounding environment. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but laugh and cry. He said to Awei, Stop cleaning! Since someone has come to visit here, it means that it is no longer safe here. Let's move to another place. Take your sister to the car first. I will provide basic medical treatment in the car. Equipment. Control the situation first. And then find a suitable place to rest. What do you think? Sean Tuohai asked. This? Okay. Awei also knew that this neighborhood was already very chaotic and was originally home to gangs. After the virus spread, this area became even more chaotic and it might become even more chaotic in the future. Especially today. Someone actually found his home. He couldn't imagine what would happen if he didn't come back in time. If he hadn't really had no money, he wouldn't have lived in a place like this with his sister. Now it seems that it's time to leave. Away first entered the room, took out an iron box from a hidden corner, and then carefully put away a group photo placed on the table, and then got out with Zhang Tuohai behind his sister's back. Building. The two got back into the car. Zhang Tuohai opened the advanced medical bay and said to Away, Put your sister in. Seeing the coffin-shaped high-end medical cabin, Awei hesitated for a rare moment. Seeing Awei's appearance, he couldn't help but hold his forehead. In this situation, it really took a certain amount of courage to put the patient into a coffin-shaped medical cabin. Don't hesitate. This is really a medical cabin, not a coffin. There is something wrong with the designer's aesthetic of this thing. Although the shape is a bit unfavorable, the effect is real. Zhang Tuohai persuaded from the side. Okay, I trust you. Awei also knew that there was really no need for Jean Tuohai to lie to him at this time. If Jean Tuohai wanted to harm him, he would have died hundreds of times. Awei carefully put Aya into the medical cabin. The lid of the medical cabin slowly closed. Jean Tuohai put the special medicine into the medicine container and then pressed automatic treatment. The medical cabin began to work independently and the monitor on the medical cabin showed Aya's physical condition. It can be known from the status that Aya fell into a coma due to malnutrition and excessive mental exertion at this time. However, these are minor problems. After treatment in the medical cabin, the various data of the body are slowly recovering. The originally pale his face also became rosy. However, these were minor problems. The bottom line made Zhang to a high frown. After examination, the patient suffered from congenital leukemia due to the lack of allogenic hematopoietic stem cells and the patient was too weak to be treated temporarily. Your sister has leukemia? Zhang Tuohai turned to look at Ah Wei. I? I really don't know. She used to get tired easily. I just thought she was malnourished. But I didn't expect. Ah Wei knelt down and covered his face with his hands. Even if he was not very knowledgeable, he knew that leukemia was almost a terminal disease and difficult to cure. It's not a big deal. It's not 100% incurable. As long as there are matching hematopoietic stem cells there is still hope for a cure. Besides, there is United Pharmaceuticals. They have been standing for so many years, so they can't all create viruses. Come on. There will definitely be some medical results. If there is a suitable medicine, won't your sister's disease be cured? John Tuohai patted Ah Wei on the shoulder and said, But, on my own? Ah Wei was a little desperate. To him, United Medicine was a behemoth that could crush him with just a slight movement. It doesn't matter. I'll help you. Anyway, I have a problem with United Medicine. And I plan to loot the warehouse of United Medicine along the way. If I find it, I will give it to you. Zhang Tuohai patted Ah Wei on the shoulder and said, Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah Wei didn't know what to say. So he kept saying thank you. No need to thank me. If you really want to express your gratitude, then show me the way to the military airport. Zhang Tuohai said, Airport? I'm familiar with this. Go this way. There's a shortcut here. Ah Wei didn't know why Zhang Tuohai was looking for the airport. But since Zhang Tuohai was looking for it, he dared to show him the way. This was the only way he could repay Zhang Tuohai. Ah Wei is worthy of being the leader of this area. 
he can easily find a suitable road among the chaotic buildings. Most of these small alleys are deserted, allowing Zhang Tuohai to pass through them quickly. However, when turning a corner, a shaky figure suddenly appeared in front of him. Zhang Tuohai turned on the headlights and saw the other party's appearance clearly. A woman in a white dress was walking barefoot on the road. The clothes on her body were almost soaked with blood, and blood was still dripping down. A series of bloody footprints spread under the woman's feet, and her face was covered with blood. It was full of blood, and the nails on his hands were as long as black hooks. He was limping forward. The sudden headlights blinded the woman instantly. She instinctively covered her eyes with her arms. Then she let out a hoarse roar and rushed towards the car. She pressed the front armor of the armored car with both hands and scratched frantically, wanting to tear open the outer shell of the armored vehicle and spread the virus inside. John Tuohai snorted coldly, stepped on the accelerator, and directly crushed the woman under the wheel. The woman was crushed by the wheel and half of her body was broken off. An ordinary person would be dead at this time, or at least in a coma. However, the woman's vitality was extremely tenacious, and she kept crawling towards Jean Tuohai's armored vehicle, leaving a pool of blood behind her. Jean Tuohai frowned, controlled the 1130 close-range anti-cannon, and fired two shots at the woman. The woman's head was blown open. Until then, the woman didn't move. Is that a person controlled by the virus? I originally thought it was just a legend. Alway was beside him, and was so shocked that he couldn't speak. They are all real, but they are not that evil. They are all mortal bodies. That is, if their vitality is stronger, they will still die if their heads are blown. Moreover, they are not as strong as the zombies in the movie, so they can be regarded as perpetual motion machines, as long as they are hungry for a period of time without food. These things will starve to death, as long as they stay away from the city. They are not terrible. The most troublesome thing is the virus circulating in the air. Once infected, there is no specific medicine, just try your luck. John Tuohai said calmly. At the same time, he also accelerated his speed. Now, these virus-controlled virus carriers have begun to take to the streets. Although Zhang Tuohai is not afraid of them, it will still be quite troublesome once they are surrounded. He wanted to loot the airport before these things took over the streets. And then leave here immediately. Chapter 563 The Electronic Warfare System Takes Shape John Tuohai's judgment was correct. The appearance of the female virus carrier was a signal. More and more carriers controlled by the virus began to appear on the streets, wandering around, looking for all uninfected people, hoping to infect the virus. Gunfire from time to time can already be heard in the city, and it became more and more rapid, and even explosions could be heard occasionally. The whole city seemed to have become a battlefield, a battlefield between healthy people and virus carriers. Zhang Tuohai accelerated his speed and rushed all the way. Whenever he encountered a virus carrier, he would directly hit him and crush him into pieces. Alway also went from being frightened and worried at the beginning, to finally becoming accustomed and numb, to the point where he was able to turn a blind eye to it all. It can be seen that the environment had a great impact on him. Under Alway's guidance, Zhang Tuohai soon came to one barbed wire fence after another. This is the airport. When I passed by once, I saw several large planes painted in black. The wheels of those planes were taller than me, but I didn't recognize what models they were. Alway gestured at the side. Zhang Tuohai looked in the direction Alway pointed. There were two huge planes parked on the airport runway. However, the distance was too far and the airport was pitch dark, so it was difficult to see what kind of planes they were. There are several hangars in the distance, all with locked doors. Go in and take a look. You can't come here in vain. Zhang Tuohai used the old method to force open the three barbed wire fences and rushed into the airport. There was no one at the airport and it was quiet. Zhang Tuohai walked all the way to the runway and checked the two planes. One is a Boeing 777 passenger plane and the other is a Gulfstream business jet. They are both parked on the runway. From the appearance, there seems to be no damage. No matter. Let's put it away first. Zhang Tuohai took out the aircraft summoner and pressed the collect button on the two aircraft. A white light appeared and enveloped the two planes. After a few seconds, the two planes disappeared from the spot. There are two more aircraft icons on Zhang Tuohai's aircraft summoner. Judging from the data on the aircraft summoner, both aircraft have no faults and can fly normally. However, because they are passenger planes, they have no attack power. Looking at the information on the aircraft summoner, Zhang Tuohai sighed, the passenger plane was indeed of no use. At most, it was just a cameo as a kamikaze fighter, which was of little use. In desperation, he aimed his gaze at the hangar in the distance. 
Zhang Tuohai drove the armored vehicle over. Of course, ordinary airport hangars are not the kind that can be protected against missiles. Zhang Tuohai didn't even use missiles. He just used an armored vehicle to ram the door open. The first hangar was empty. Nothing. Why should the door of an empty hangar be locked? It's a waste of my feelings. Zhang Tuohai cursed and backed out, crashing into the second hangar. Still nothing. If it's all empty, I'll blow up your crappy airport. Zhang Tuohai crashed into the third hangar without belief. This time, there was an airplane in the hangar, but most of it was dismantled and the engine was removed. This thing was of little use to Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai's aircraft summoner only accepts intact aircraft that can take off and does not accept assembly of parts. When Zhang Tuohai opened the fourth hangar door, he saw a huge aircraft parked in front of him as soon as he entered the door. B-29, Super Flying Fortress. It is a behemoth with a wingspan of 43 meters, a height of 8.5 meters, and a full load of 54 tons. This thing has two bomb bays, each of which can hold 900 kilograms of bombs, and five turrets, all equipped with 12.7 millimeters machine guns. It is a veritable hedgehog. This thing is an expert in carpet bombing. And it was the same thing that launched the air raid on Tokyo. It's also the one that put the little boy and the fat man in there. Zhang Tuohai didn't expect that there would be one of these things in an airport, which was beyond his expectation. Looking at the brand new skin and the shiny propeller, it must be a collection of some big boss. Otherwise, it would not be so completely preserved. Zhang Tuohai immediately put the B-29 into the aircraft summoner. What surprised him was that the B-29's magazine was actually filled with napalm bombs. There's no need to carry napalm for the collection. Right. Zhang Tuohai felt that things that were originally clear became confusing again. If you want to destroy the city and clean it up, just use nuclear bombs. Why use napalm bombs? AB-29 can't clear out a city? Zhang Tuohai was puzzled. Unable to figure it out. Zhang Tuohai simply gave up thinking. It doesn't matter what those people want to do. As long as he gets the benefits. Zhang Tuohai was in a good mood after having gained something and immediately open the last door. There is also an airplane parked in this gate, but it has also been dismantled in pieces. The engines have been disassembled, and the parts are spread all over the ground. Zhang Tuohai subconsciously wanted to leave, but a prompt message suddenly popped up in front of him. The electronic warfare pod is intact, and can be used as a car accessory. Huh? Zhang Tuohai was shocked when he saw the prompt. He walked over suddenly, and came to an oval-shaped missile-like thing. A line of game information pops up above. Growler Electronic Warfare Pod. It can be used as a universal accessory for level 5 automobiles. It can effectively interfere with, measure, and attack enemy information with an effective range of 160 kilometers. Specific functions. Precisely interfere with enemy electronic equipment. Interfere with all channels. Monitor enemy wireless communications. Cut off command links. Interfere with and deceive enemy early warning radars. And deploy false targets on enemy radars. This is good. With this thing, I can interfere with the enemy's radar, making them think that I am in a place that does not exist, interfering with their tracking and deployment, and even making a trap to lure them in. After seeing the instructions, Zhang Tuohai became more and more excited as he thought about it. He immediately dragged the roaring electronic warfare pod to the armored vehicle and loaded it into the vehicle with the electronic warfare system. He already has a great advantage in electromagnetic countermeasures. He believes that at this stage, no one should have this level of electronic warfare capabilities. Gone are the days when the enemy used electronic warfare capabilities to destroy its own missile capabilities. From now on, he can easily use electronic warfare to suppress the surrounding players, making them unable to use electronic equipment and missiles, while he can use missiles to kill them out of sight. Moreover, the more they rely on electronic devices and the more electronic and informatized players are, the greater the impact will be. In this regard, Players are often the best among players. Zhang Tuohai has a crushing first mover advantage over these players. Looking at the weapon configuration in his hands. Missiles. Positioning drones. Aerial strike drones. Armed helicopters. Radars. Electronic countermeasure systems. And even electronic warfare pods. Zhang Tuohai felt that from this moment on. He had a complete information warfare and electronic warfare link. And the electronic warfare system had truly taken shape. Only when facing those players can one truly crush them. Although they cannot kill the enemy thousands of miles away. Fighting outside visual range is no problem. Chapter 564 A Strange Deep Pit Zhang Tuohai was very happy to have obtained a complete electronic warfare combat link. At this time, 
he couldn't wait to find a few targets to try his hand at. However, there were no targets nearby on the radar. Not even a car with a flashing red dot. There was no target. Zhang Tuohai launched a small hand-thrown drone and began exploring the surroundings. However, there was nothing around. What's going on? Why are there no virus carriers around? This is not normal. Zhang Tuohai instinctively felt that something was not right and immediately sent a drone to fly into the distance to check the situation. He was shocked by the search results. There was not a single virus carrier within 5 kilometers around him. After searching for an hour, Zhang Tuohai finally found a virus carrier 6 kilometers away from here, moving staggeringly toward the southeast of the city, turning a blind eye to a healthy person hiding in a corner and shivering next to him. Isn't the primary goal of virus carriers to spread the virus and make all healthy people become virus carriers? Why doesn't it spread? But rushes in other directions? What is it doing? Zhang Tuohai felt that something was not right and immediately sent a drone to chase in that direction. The drone flew to the southeast corner of the city. And he saw a strange scene at an abandoned construction site. Dozens of cars were parked near a deep pit. And there were people holding various weapons standing in the cars. Their weapons were in a mess. And some even held steam machine guns made by Zhang Tuohai. They looked like players at first glance. At this time, they are driving those virus carriers into the deep pit. Those virus carriers were like puppets at the mercy of others. They had no desire to attack the players around them. So they were driven to the edge of the pit by these players. And then fell into the pit. What are they doing? Zhang Tuohai was full of curiosity and controlled the drone to fly over the pit, preparing to see what happened. However, at this time, the power of the hand-thrown drone was exhausted and it fell straight into the pit. The power is out at such a critical moment. Zhang Tuohai secretly said disappointed, and immediately summoned the Rainbow 4 drone and flew towards the pit. Commander, a new electronic signal has been discovered. Based on the signal strength, it is judged to be an electronic reconnaissance vehicle. Do you want to activate the camouflage mode to hide your presence? Shall I asked. Start. Don't let me appear on the radar. By the way, the Rainbow 4 drone must also be taken care of so that I don't get discovered. Zhang Tuohai said. Don't worry. Commander, their radar is already under my control. From now on, they can only see what I want them to see. Classmate Xiao Yai said confidently. At this time, near the pit, a player wearing a helmet said, I seem to have seen something fall just now. Did you do too much eye rolling yesterday? A player wearing a gas mask next to him rolled his eyes at him. It's so dark. What can you see? There are also things falling. Why didn't you say there was a drone coming from the sky? Are you attacking us? Really? I actually saw something fall. The helmeted player defended loudly. Okay. Okay. You're right. Something really fell. Will you go down and check it out? The player wearing a gas mask asked with a sneer. Forget it then. The player wearing the helmet couldn't help but change his face when he heard this. Does he know what is under the deep pit? If he dares to go down, he won't even be able to squeeze the opponent's teeth. Then it's over. Since you don't dare to go down, what are you talking about? You and I both know what's down there. If you report that something has fallen, those sons of bitches above will definitely let us go down to check the situation. Aren't we ourselves the ones who suffer? Even if there are benefits, they belong to those guys above. When we come here, there will be no soup left. So, just stay here honestly, pretend that nothing happened, and complete the task and that's it. The player wearing a gas mask patted his shoulder and said, But, what if something really falls? The player wearing the helmet was still a little worried. Don't worry. It's not like you don't know what that guy is. Even if something does fall, it's nothing. Besides, isn't there an electronic detection vehicle over there? Can anything escape its eyes? Just stay here with peace of mind. You still lack exercise. You know why I can wear a gas mask now. But you can only can you wear a disposable mask? Follow me and learn how to do it. The player wearing a gas mask patted the player wearing a helmet on the shoulder and said, the player wearing the helmet was still not at ease. He wandered to the vicinity of the electronic detection vehicle and handed him a cigarette out of habit. But the other party waved his hand regretfully. There is a virus in the air. So I can't smoke it. Yes. I forgot. The player wearing the helmet put the cigarette back and asked the player who was looking at the radar. Did you gain anything? There are no enemies. Right. There is nothing. We are surrounded by our own people. There are no abnormal targets. The player said nonchalantly. That's good. When the player in charge of the radar said this, the player wearing the helmet felt relieved. However, at this moment, 
he suddenly heard a whistling sound above his head. He looked up and saw a precision-guided bomb falling on the edge of the pit. The huge shock wave rushed more than 20 players standing on the edge of the pit into the pit. Ah! Uh, a series of screams sounded in the pit and then disappeared. Enemy attack! The player wearing the helmet shouted loudly, lowering his body and looking around for the target. At this time, another explosion sounded nearby. More than a dozen players were pushed into the pit by the shock wave. Retreat quickly! Retreat quickly! The remaining players quickly ran in the direction of where they parked, preparing to drive away. At this time, two heavy precision guided bombs fell into the area with the highest concentration of vehicles. Boom! Boom! Dozens of vehicles were blown up, and nearly a hundred vehicles suffered varying degrees of damage. You're being attacked! Run as fast as you can and gather at the predetermined location! Many players got into their cars and drove crazily outside the city. At this time, Zhang Tuohai felt extremely regretful. He felt that the bombs carried by Rainbow 4 were really too few. There were only four precision-guided bombs, and many people escaped in vain. If he was given an AC-130, he would be sure to kill all these players. Are you afraid of howitzers falling from the sky? At this time, classmate Xiao Ai suddenly said, Commander, don't worry. I have hacked into their electronic map. The same place is marked on their map. I guess that should be their meeting point. As long as we heading to that location will surely stop them. Chapter 565 Long Range Strike Really? Hearing what classmate Xiao Ai said, Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up. Okay, record the coordinates and go over there later to take a look. The main task now is to check what is in the pit. Zhang Tuohai said, as he controlled a drone to hover above the pit. Rainbow 4 is an integrated reconnaissance and combat aircraft, and is also very good at reconnaissance. Soon, the picture at the bottom of the pit was revealed. It turned out that there was a huge worm at the bottom of the pit. The worm was constantly devouring the virus carriers who jumped down, and its body was getting bigger and bigger. From the enlarged picture, you can see that some parts of its body have begun to rot and green mucus is flowing out. What is this? Zhang Tuohai looked at the huge white worm and felt a sense of nausea rising from his heart, although he didn't know what this thing was. It was certainly not something simple that could drive so many players away from virus carriers to feed. Since players want to tame it, Takumi only needs to destroy it. As long as you do the opposite, there is absolutely nothing wrong. Zhang Tuohai immediately summoned Rainbow 4 back and replaced B-29. Buzz? The four-engine heavy bomber B-29 passed by at low altitude and flew towards the vicinity of the deep crater. Countless virus carriers heard the sound and chased in the direction of B-29. Gradually, more and more virus carriers gathered around the pit. Whoosh! The B-29 opened its magazine. And napalm bombs fell one after another. The yellow viscous liquid sprayed everywhere. And then the white phosphorus incendiary bombs ignited everything around them. In an instant, the entire pit turned into a sea of fire. As the center, the entire pit was given special attention. And a full 500 kilograms of incendiary bombs were thrown into it. The flames rose in the pit. And the flames rose more than 3 meters high from the pit. The white worm was burned to ashes in the flames. In order to ensure safety, Zhang Tuohai sent a stuka over after the B-29 returned and threw all six aerial bombs with a total weight of 1.8 tons into the deep pit. Although there was no reward, Zhang Tuohai was still very happy. As long as the players cannot do what they want to do, it is his victory. Seeing that the flames near the pit were somewhat extinguished, Zhang Tuohai drove out of the city and drove towards the gathering point of the players. At this time, nearly a hundred vehicles gathered next to a river beach. A player wearing a beret came to the side of the electronic detection vehicle and asked, Have you confirmed it? There are indeed no enemies around? Don't worry. Boss, I have detected it several times. There are indeed no enemies around. I guarantee it with my head. The player in charge of electronic detection quickly assured. I hope your technology is as effective as your guarantee. If I find even one enemy around again, just wait and feed the viruses and worms. The beret said coldly. Boss, I'm afraid the virus worm has been killed. When I evacuated, I found that the area was ablaze. You know that virus worms are most afraid of flames. I'm worried. One player said cautiously. Forget it. Just die if you die. It's United Pharmaceutical stuff anyway. It's their business to feel sorry for it. It's not our turn to worry about it. The beret waved his hand and said impatiently. But we signed an agreement with United Pharmaceuticals. Now that we have eliminated the virus and worm. Will they sanction us for breach of contract? The player reminded. What are you afraid of after signing the agreement? 
The worst thing is that I don't need the final payment. Anyway, I have already received the advance payment. Avoid them during this period. When the seven days are up, we will go to other worlds. If you want to sanction us first, let's wait until we catch up. Beret said disdainfully. Boss, although we are not afraid of United Pharmaceuticals, when we signed a contract with United Pharmaceuticals, that person was the witness of the contract. If we breach the contract and make that person unhappy, he can just move his fingers. Kill us. You know his energy. I know what you're saying. But we can't protect ourselves now. We don't even know where the attacks are coming from. The beret sighed. Okay. Let's count the strength we have now. When daybreak. Let's go back and take a look. Beret said. After a while, the statistics were compiled. Boss. We lost 42 brothers in this attack. And 32 vehicles were completely damaged and unusable. Including the four armored transport vehicles we newly took over. Three self-propelled artillery vehicles. And most importantly. The two core anti-attack vehicles, the tanks and missile launchers were all scrapped. One person said tremblingly. Hearing this news. Beret's eyes darkened. This loss included not only the advance payment from United Pharmaceuticals. But also the wealth he had worked so hard to accumulate. This almost completely destroyed the core essence of the team. Now, the core of his fleet are two modified T-90S and an electronic detection vehicle. The rest are Hummers and off-road vehicles, which are of no use. By the way, where is Barbara? Didn't she go to take over the commando camp? Where are the people? Beret asked. Boss, Barbara was killed in battle. Not only her, but also the people she brought with her are all dead. I just saw the news on the regional channel. A player said cautiously. Upon hearing this, Beret's blood surged and he almost fainted. Who is it? Who is targeting me? The beret clenched his hands into fists, raised his head and shouted. At this moment, he saw several missiles streaking across the sky, flying towards his direction. Enemy attack. Get down. Beret shouted. However, before he could finish shouting, a violent explosion sounded near the river beach. Two armed helicopters also flew over from a distance, bombarding them with Adaz missiles and firing with Gatling guns. Players on the river beach fell in droves. Soon, the area near the river beach was covered with dead bodies. And even the river water was dyed red. The two armed helicopters circled in the sky and left. After a while, a player climbed out of the pile of corpses and came to the parking area in embarrassment, trying to find a still intact car to leave. However, most of the cars were destroyed by missiles and almost none could be driven out. Just as the player was checking them one by one, an armored vehicle slowly drove over in the distance. When the player saw this, he quickly lay down on the ground and pretended to be a corpse, trying to get over. Can't see me. Can't see me. The player thought silently in his heart. The sound of leather boots stepping on gravel sounded. The footsteps got closer and closer and finally stopped in front of him. A joking voice rang out. Get up. Stop pretending. Any corpse you see will scare you. Are your legs shaking? Chapter 566 Inquire for information. The player knew that he had been discovered by Zhang Tuohai. So he got up timidly and raised his hands. Don't kill me. As long as you don't kill me. You can do whatever you want me to do. You can do whatever you want. Really? Zhang Tuohai asked with a playful smile. Really? If you don't believe it. I can prove it to you right now. The player said and started to take off his pants. Hack. Zhang Tuohai was stunned. He just asked casually but he didn't expect that the other party would actually mean it. Moreover, this guy was extremely fast, and Zhang Tuohai had already seen the SpongeBob Squarepants he was wearing underneath. Okay, okay. I'm not interested in you. As long as you can answer my question seriously and satisfy me, I will let you go. Zhang Tuohai quickly stopped this guy. There were children in the car, and it would be bad if he taught the children badly. Is it really unnecessary? The man asked in confusion. It's really not necessary. As long as you can answer the questions honestly. Zhang Tuohai said helplessly. He really wasn't interested in dryland paddling. Oh. Okay. The man pulled up his pants. Maybe it was an illusion. But Zhang Tuohai felt as if he was a little disappointed. Damn it. Zhang Tuohai calmed down and then asked. Can you explain what you are doing in the city? Did you attack us? The man looked at Zhang Tuohai in shock. You are alone. How did you attack us? How did you evade our electronic reconnaissance vehicle? It seems that you don't quite understand your current situation. Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly, pulled out a pistol from his waist, and shot the man in the arm. Boom! There was a gunshot, 
and a 9mm bullet entered the man's arm. Ah! The man screamed and covered his arm. I'm asking you now, not asking you to ask questions. Zhang Tuohai put the pistol back into his waist and raised the Gatling in his hand. Remember this is your last chance. If you can't see the situation clearly again, the next time you have to face Gatling instead of Glock. Do you understand? Zhang Tuohai asked coldly. I understand. I understand. The man nodded repeatedly. We are there to cultivate virus worms. This virus worm can eat the fusion virus and purify and smelt the alpha virus into a more powerful virus that is more suitable for biological transmission. We the task is to feed a large number of virus carriers to virus worms to cultivate more powerful viruses. What's the use of cultivating this? What's the purpose? To destroy the world? Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but frown after hearing this. In the past, he had only seen this kind of world-destroying lunatic in movies. But he didn't expect that there was such a lunatic here. It is simply crazy to think that the alpha virus is not powerful enough and try to use worms to accelerate its evolution. How could we have that idea? We left after seven days anyway. It has nothing to do with us whether the world will be destroyed or not. We just accepted the commission from United Pharmaceuticals. We helped them breed worms. And they gave us arms and various materials are used as payment. The man said quickly. It's United Pharmaceuticals again. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but frown when he heard the name. He found that as long as something bad happened, it always seemed to be related to this company. Moreover, it seems that many players are connected with United Pharmaceuticals. How do they do it? Zhang Tuohai didn't remember that many players entered the light gate and entered the new world in advance. What is the origin of United Pharmaceuticals, and how did you hook up with it? Zhang Tuohai asked. United Pharmaceutical is an indigenous company. It is said to be a company, but it is very powerful and has great hands and eyes. It has branches all over the world. Moreover, its business scope is not just pharmaceuticals, but the entire industry layout. As long as it is a certain industry, there is no one that doesn't play a part in it, and it is a well-deserved giant. Actually, we didn't know about this company originally. It was Moriarty who contacted us and helped us connect with United Pharmaceuticals for cooperation. It's indeed Moriarty's fault. Hearing the words Moriarty, Zhang Tuohai had a look on his face. Except for Moriarty, no one has such great ability to get the player group and the largest local company together so quickly. In other words, for an existence at the level of United Pharmaceuticals, it is no longer appropriate to describe it as a company. An underground kingdom may be more suitable. Zhang Tuohai also understood that the purpose of bringing the two together was to let United Pharmaceuticals arm the players to better execute the plan to hunt him. However, since this is the case, several of Moriarty's weaknesses are exposed from the side. First, Moriarty cannot directly intervene in the game. At least, he cannot directly do something. It must be done through players or local strength. The second is that the equipment Moriarty can provide in the game is limited. Otherwise, it would be just to directly issue a set of magical equipment to all players. There is no need to go through the hands of United Pharmaceuticals. The third is that even natives, like United Pharmaceuticals, do not completely obey Moriarty's instructions. They will bargain with purpose and require players to work hard to complete the transaction. From this, we can see that this Moriarty is not that scary. As long as his tentacles extending into the game are cut off, Moriarty can't do anything to him. Even if he does it right, he can contact the indigenous forces and cheat Moriarty together. However, this requires careful research. Who knows about this Moriarty thing? Shouldn't everyone know what he did? Zhang Tuohai suddenly asked. No, this matter is still very secret. Only our leader and a few close associates know about it. Lord Moriarty doesn't like to be known to too many people. The man said quickly. Last question. As far as you know, which players have had contact with Moriarty? Your leader should know something about it. Right. Zhang Tuohai asked. I answered the question. Can you let me go? The man asked. If the answer satisfies me, I can let you go. Zhang Tuohai said calmly. The man struggled for a while and then said, Actually, our leader's tone is quite strict. But I have been homeless for a while before and have good personal relationships with many people in the team. And then use private channels to obtain some information. It seems that many people after receiving help from Moriarty, we reached an agreement with United Pharmaceuticals. Some only received the most basic assistance. Most of them wanted more. So they accepted some tasks. For example, our task was to cultivate viruses. Worm. I've finished answering the questions. Can you let me go? After the man finished speaking, 
He looked at Zhang Tuohai with earnest eyes. Or, I can compensate you with something else. The man said and started to unbutton his pants again. Chapter 567 New Virus Get out of here! Zhang Tuohai shouted angrily. He looked at the guy in front of him speechlessly. Why did he like to take off his pants when he had nothing to do? He was so skillful. Could it be path dependence? Got used to? Once you encounter a problem, you can get rid of all the worries? You really let me go? The man couldn't believe it. I always keep my word, Zhang Tuohai said. The man turned around and ran away. Da da da. The sound of clothes and defense artillery sounded. And most of the man's body was beaten to pieces. Looking at his legs lying on the river beach, Zhang Tuohai put down the gatling in his hand. Originally, he planned to wait for the man to run far away before taking action. But unexpectedly, classmate Xiao Yai took the lead and took action. Which saved him a lot of trouble. After judgment, this person has a high probability of spreading the commander's information. In order to eliminate hidden dangers, he erased the issue without asking for permission. Please punish the commander. Classmate Xiao Yai said cautiously. Punishment? It should be punished. Zhang Tuohai touched his chin and thought for a while and said, You have been using your avatar for a long time. Let's change it. But instead of the pixel one, change it to a high definition one. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and said, However, this takes up a lot of computing power and is not cost effective. Xiao Yai said in a low voice, It doesn't matter. A desktop image doesn't take up much computing power. Moreover, a good-looking image will make me feel happy and improve command efficiency. This is a major matter of strategic significance and is not a waste. Zhang Tuohai said righteously. Is that so? Xiao Yai was a little confused. It instinctively felt that Zhang Tuohai was talking nonsense. But the core command made it trust Zhang Tuohai unconditionally. This feeling was quite strange. Of course. When did I lie to you? Go get quickly. Zhang Tuohai said. So what type of new image does the commander need? Are there any elements? Classmate Xiao Yai took out a small notebook and looked serious. This is your own image. Just make the decision yourself. Zhang Tuohai said casually. In fact, the main reason is that he doesn't have a good idea. Call 001 out to clean up the battlefield. And check to see if there is anyone pretending to be dead. More than a dozen self-propelled machines were thoroughly cleaned in the field to confirm that there was no one left alive. After cleaning up the entire battlefield, Zhang Tuohai found a map outside, which marked a secret base of United Pharmaceuticals. This base was not mentioned in Zhang Tuohai's drawings. According to the label, this is a breeding base for virus worms. Once the virus worms are cultivated, they can be sent here. I didn't expect such a harvest. Zhang Tuohai's eyes sparkled as he looked at the map. It can be said that he has an irreconcilable conflict with United Pharmaceuticals since he dares to cooperate with those players to hunt him down. He doesn't mind causing some trouble for those people if conditions permit. Now that he discovered this secret base, and it happened to be on his way forward, he didn't mind raising the base to the ground along the way. It's a little, little gift for United Pharmaceuticals. After marking the location, Zhang Tuohai returned to the car. Ren Xiaoi drove the car back onto the road and continued to move forward. He himself came to the side of the medical cabin and glanced at Ai inside. At this time, Aya's vital signs have gradually recovered, but she is still in a coma. According to the speculation given by the medical cabin, it should be that the body is too consumed and the body is in protective dormancy. She will naturally wake up after her physical and mental recovery reaches a certain level. Come over. Zhang Tuohai told Ah Wei, who had been watching over him. The news. Okay. There should be no big problem. You should go and rest. No. I'm just here to guard her. It's because I'm not by her side that she becomes like this. I won't leave until she wakes up. Ah Wei shook his head decisively. Zhang Tuohai knew that Ah Wei felt guilty. So he let him go. Anyway, there was classmate Xiao Yai in the car to help watch. So nothing serious would happen. Zhang Tuohai went back to his room to rest. He hadn't had a good rest for several days and fell asleep as soon as he lay on the bed. He slept until dawn the next day. When Zhang Tuohai woke up, after waking up, Zhang Tuohai went to the laboratory to take a look. He found that the egg was indeed much larger than before. How much time does it take to hatch? Zhang Tuohai asked classmate Xiao Yai. According to Miss Lilith's deduction, it will take at least a few days to fully hatch. Classmate Xiao Yai said, I really want her to be hatched earlier. There are a lot of researchers waiting for her to take charge. Zhang Tuohai said with some regret, If Lilith's reincarnation is completed now, the prepared experiments should be able to begin. Unfortunately, 
It will have to wait for a while. After leaving the laboratory, Zhang Tuohai came to the side of the medical cabin again. At this time, Awei was sleeping on the medical cabin, and I inside had her eyes closed. Zhang Tuohai took a look at Aya's condition. Various vital signs had recovered a little, and the physical indicators had gradually returned to above the safe value. He estimated that he would be fully recovered in about a day and a half. By then, maybe Aya will wake up. Zhang Tuohai returned to his seat and saw Zhang Tuohai coming over. Xiao Ai, who was wearing a maid outfit, immediately opened the car's overall status panel to let Zhang Tuohai know the overall status of the car. This is a daily routine. Is this a new image? Zhang Tuohai looked at the silver hair, red pupils, and black and white maid uniform. Seeing Zhang Tuohai looking at her, she spot around on one foot and said, How's it going? Commander, is the new look okay? Maid outfit? Why did you think of changing into this outfit? Zhang Tuohai was curious. I read some of the books that the commander has been reading all night long. And I found that this set of clothes appeared the most frequently. And the commander stayed on this set of clothes the longest. Isn't it the commander's favorite? Isn't it big data analysis? Is there something wrong with the algorithm? A question mark floated over classmate Xiao Ai's head. Zhang Tuohai, although he also likes it, he still feels a little ashamed when his hobby is exposed so directly. Fortunately, the game system updated today's game prompts in time, which alleviated Zhang Tuohai's embarrassment. Congratulations to all players, and welcome to the third day of the sun in this world. Let me tell you some bad news. Due to the lack of personnel on duty, a large number of nuclear power plants in the northern region leaked. Nuclear leaks promoted the evolution of the alpha virus and gave rise to new types. Strain, Ypsilon virus. Please check the specific characteristics of the virus yourself. Chapter 568 Intercepting the Transport Plane This, seeing the prompt from the game system, Zhang Tuohai instinctively felt that this was definitely something caused by the game system. Why did a nuclear power plant leak when it was left unattended for three days? Can a modern nuclear power plant survive for at least a week if it is completely unmanned? It was only leaked on the third day. Moreover, nuclear radiation can actually promote the evolution of viruses? Zhang Tuohai doesn't know where to start with his complaints. However, the game system here is the largest. And what the game system says is what it says. Zhang Tuohai can only honestly check the virus characteristics description. Epsilon virus, a mutated version of alpha virus, which is extremely contagious and has the characteristics of being airborne, waterborne, birdborne, insectborne, etc. After infection, symptoms such as high fever, difficulty breathing, and diarrhea will occur. Ordinary drugs are effective against this virus. The effect of the disease is greatly reduced. And specific drugs must be used to control and treat it. The probability of death is 45%. And the probability of mutation is 50%. If you are infected with the original strain of alpha virus or other derivative viruses before being infected with epsilon virus, the fatality rate will increase by 10%. And the mutation rate will increase by 10%. If special medicine cannot be used to cure the disease in time, the probability of this mutation will continue to increase until it reaches 100%. Gone! Zhang Tuohai looked at the viruses listed on the regional channel with the expression of an old man on the subway looking at his mobile phone. This new virus is more contagious than the previous alpha virus and even other derivative viruses. It even has drug resistance, making it common medications have almost lost their effect. The fatality rate and mutation rate have also increased significantly. The former is a huge threat to other players, because they have limited special medicines. And the latter is a trouble for Zhang Tuohai. Because if the mutation rate increases, the combat effectiveness of those infected with the virus and the natives will be improved to a certain extent, which will be a threat to him. Moreover, due to the nuclear leakage and the Epsilon virus, the northern region has become a forbidden area. The virus concentration in the east and southeast is also extremely high. The direction Zhang Tuohai can travel has been further compressed. And he can only think west-northwest direction. This also greatly increases the probability of him encountering other players. Forcing everyone to meet together. Right. Zhang Tuohai showed a sneer on his lips. Very good. Let's see who is the unlucky one to meet. Zhang Tuohai went to the regional channel, looked at the map, and drove towards the secret stronghold of United Pharmaceutical. While driving on the highway, Zhang Tuohai looked at the scenery on both sides of the road. He felt that this world seemed to be very quiet although there were many trees and flowers on both sides of the road. It was much quieter than the normal world, even comparable to the wasteland world. It seemed that most of the creatures had been infected and died by the virus. There are only a handful left, 
hiding in the corner, waiting to mutate. At this moment, a huge transport plane flew through the sky and flew into the distance. The style of that transport plane looked familiar to Zhang Tuohai. He had seen it in more than one world. It was a transport plane used by the game system to drop supply boxes or airdrops. As long as you run after this thing, you will get a supply box with a high probability. By the way, I haven't opened the supply box for a long time. Let's go and have a look. If there is a chance, I can get two. Zhang Tuohai stepped on the accelerator and followed. Less than 15 minutes after driving, there was another roar in the sky. Zhang Tuohai looked up and saw another huge transport plane flying over. Still in the same direction just now. Why another one? There are actually two consecutive planes flying in that direction. Could it be that something big is about to happen? Zhang Tuohai speeded up as he thought of this. After driving for more than 10 minutes, there was another huge roar in the sky. And another transport plane flew over. This is the third one. There must be something special over there. Zhang Tuohai was sure that something big was going to happen in the direction of the plane. Just when he was about to speed up, suddenly, an idea flashed through his mind. This plane doesn't fly very high, and it doesn't have any weapons. So, can I use an Adaz missile to shoot it down? There is no rule in the game system that states that players are not allowed to attack transport aircraft. The rules don't prohibit it. They allow it. Zhang Tuohai is very familiar with this method of skirting the ball. Anyway, the game system didn't say anything about it. So it's okay to try it out casually. If it is really allowed, it will be developed. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai's heart felt like a little rabbit. Itching. Try it and give up if the game system intervenes. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai controlled the fire control radar to aim at the transport aircraft and then launched an Adaz missile. Whoosh boom. The Adaz missile hit the wing, knocking out a third of the wing and an engine. This was Zhang Tuohai's intention. He wanted the supplies inside the plane, not pure destruction. In this position, the transport aircraft is fully capable of making an emergency landing on the spot instead of crashing. He could also take advantage of the situation and take away the materials in the transport plane. Sure enough, after the plane was attacked, it began to look for flat land for an emergency landing. Zhang Tuohai immediately followed quietly. Twenty minutes later, Zhang Tuohai found the hit transport plane on a grassy field. At this time, the transport plane was emitting white smoke. Its wings were broken into several sections, and various parts were scattered everywhere. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai quickly drove up and checked around the aircraft. There were no corpses or human tissues around the plane. He went to the cockpit and took a look around, but there were no traces of humans inside. Unmanned? Zhang Tuohai looked curious, got out of the car with 001 and many self-propelled machines, and began to dismantle the aircraft. He didn't try to rush in stupidly, just in case someone set an ambush inside. Zhang Tuohai started to demolish it directly from the outside. In this way, no matter what ambush the people inside had, they would be completely exposed and useless. After the self-propelled machinery was dismantled, the skin of the transport aircraft was peeled off, revealing the metal frame and the contents inside. The transport plane has a large interior space and carries a large number of supply boxes. But there is no one inside. Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up with excitement when he looked at the mountain-like supply box. He roughly counted more than 200. Since entering this world, the total supply boxes he has opened are not as many as the ones in front of him, although most of them are white or blue. And there is only one purple one. There are so many of them. With so many supply boxes, there can always be something good. Right? Zhang Tuohai rubbed his hands and prepared for an unboxing review. Chapter 569 Strange Supplies Box Zhang Tuohai took a crowbar and opened the first white supply box. With a crash, a large number of 12.7mm machine gun bullet belts rolled out from inside. Huang Qingqing's bullet instantly rolled down like an avalanche, submerging all the way to Zhang Tuohai's calf. If he hadn't been wearing protective clothing, it would have caused at least a soft tissue contusion. So many bullets? Zhang Tuohai took his feet out of the pile of bullets with difficulty and took a rough inventory. This is a 12.7mm special armor-piercing bullet, specially used for hitting tanks. It comes with a fully loaded bullet chain. Each chain contains 1,000 rounds, and there are 20 bullet chains in a box. So many bullets? When did the white supply boxes become so plentiful? Zhang Tuohai was confused as he looked at the bullets falling out of the supply box. He remembered that in the past, the white supply box usually contained only one or two pieces of bread and one or two bottles of water. Now he was given 20 bullet chains. 
which made him a little confused. Although, he doesn't need these things much anymore. Is it because I haven't opened it for several days that my luck has gotten better? Zhang Tuohai pondered and opened the second white supply box. Crash. Another 20 bullet chains of 12.7mm armor-piercing bullets. Zhang Tuohai took the crowbar and continued driving. Blah blah blah. Blah blah. Zhang Tuohai opened more than 10 boxes in a row. All containing 12.7mm bullet belts and no other supplies. Zhang Tuohai opened several more blue supply boxes. There are all RPG-7S inside. There are four in one supply box. No more. No less. Finally, Zhang Tuohai took a crowbar and opened the purple supply box. Inside is a Dao anti-tank missile launcher. Equipped with six anti-tank missiles. Zhang Tuohai looked at the supplies on the ground. Touched his chin and began to think deeply. Looking at the supplies all over the floor. He discovered a problem. These items seem to be used for anti-tank purposes. What is a transport plane doing to transport so many uniformly standardized anti-tank weapons to one place? And the quantity is so huge. There are 20 armor-piercing bullet chains in a white supply box. Which already exceeds the normal value of a white supply box. The most important thing is that two planes have already flown in front of us. What was in those two planes? Is it the same as this aircraft? Or is it something more valuable? Zhang Tuohai instinctively felt that something big was going to happen. Got to see it. Zhang Tuohai immediately asked 001 to take the self-propelled machine to carry all these things into the car. At this time, 001 had dismantled the transport aircraft and obtained the drawings of a large turbofan engine. Zhang Tuohai looked at the drawings and saw that they were used on transport planes. He couldn't use them for the time being. So he put them away. What if there was a chance to use them in the future? After packing his things, Zhang Tuohai drove in the direction of the plane. After driving for more than half an hour, a large forest appeared ahead. The woods were densely wooded, but there were still many gaps that could barely allow vehicles to pass through. Zhang Tuohai looked to the left and right and found that the woods were very wide and could not see the edge at a glance. He was worried that the detour would take a long time. So he immediately planned to go directly through the woods. The drone has conducted reconnaissance before. The depth of the forest is not very wide. Only about 10 kilometers. And it can be passed through quickly. It's only about 10 kilometers. So just go there. Zhang Tuohai didn't bother to take a detour and plunge directly into the woods. After walking into the woods, Zhang Tuohai discovered some strange places. Such as the unusual silence in the woods. In a normal forest, there should be a lot of mosquitoes and birds chirping. But this forest was quiet and there was no sound at all. Moreover, in this forest, you can still see hanging spider webs from time to time. Some are broken. Some are still brand new. And many of them still have cocoons hanging on them. It looks like the harvest is okay. However, Zhang Tuohai didn't see any spiders. Zhang Tuohai is not too worried about this. Anyway, there is a statue of Okian on his car. Anyone whose strength is lower than Okian will be frightened away and dare not approach Zhang Tuohai's car. Zhang Tuohai is not worried that any spiders will dare to attack him. He just kept walking forward leisurely. When Zhang Tuohai was halfway there, the drone that flew to the edge of the woods suddenly sent back a picture. Swarms of spiders rushed out of the woods and ran towards the front. The exit of the forest is a canyon with extremely steep sides and rugged rocks. Although spiders can move forward on this kind of ground, they are not as fast as on the ground. A large number of spiders are like a black torrent, moving along the canyon towards the canyon. Rush into the distance. The scene was extremely spectacular. There are so many spiders in this forest? Seeing this swarm of spiders like a torrent, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but be a little stunned. At the same time, he was glad that he had a statue of a coin. Otherwise, it would be difficult to deal with so many spiders. Even using a flamethrower would consume an unknown amount of gasoline. Even he would be in danger if a forest fire started. Now, it is a blessing to drive away these spiders without any effort. Zhang Tuohai became happy and continued to move forward while humming a song. At the same time, at the other end of the canyon, a group of people gathered at the mouth of the canyon. They were wearing uniform camouflage uniforms and body armor. Each of them held a heavy machine gun in his hand and an RPG-7 on his back. In front of them, a complete position was built, with three wide anti-tank trenches. And in the middle of the trenches there were dragon teeth roadblocks and steel horses. Behind him are two anti-tank missile launchers, two Arjun heavy tanks, four assault guns, two self-propelled howitzers, and a Kadusha rocket launcher. It can be called powerful firepower. In this way, there are still a large number of players holding engineer shovels 
and digging the fourth anti-tank trench. Several players gathered around a player wearing a red beret and asked, Boss Timo, this level of defense is enough. Right. Just deal with an armored vehicle. Even if it's more advanced, it won't be so troublesome. Right. A player asked curiously. Hey, you don't understand. Timo looked at the player and said calmly, I have been traveling around the world for so many years, and I have never overturned. What I rely on is stability. As long as he doesn't come, the construction of various fortifications cannot stop. Maybe the last fortification can save your lives. What if he doesn't come? Won't all these fortifications be in vain? A player asked. No. I have contacted the senior management of United Pharmaceutical. They have allocated a satellite for special monitoring. The guy is heading this way. There will be no problems. Just now. The satellite sent the latest according to the information. The man has entered the woods and is expected to arrive in about an hour. You must make all preparations and kill him here. When the time comes, hand over the task and find Moria Lordi. If you make a wish, everyone can enjoy spicy food. I guarantee that everyone will have a share, Timo said loudly. Long live the boss. The surrounding players became excited and became more motivated to dig fortifications. At this moment, they suddenly heard a burst of rustling noises from the other end of the canyon. Chapter 570 Spider Torrent What's that sound? Boss? Some players asked curiously. Could it be the wind? Some players asked. How is it possible? The wind is not moving like this. I feel like there are a lot of things running around. Another player said. If there are a lot of animals running, shouldn't it make a roar? I went to Africa to see animal migrations, and the scene was so spectacular. How could it be this kind of sound? One player immediately retorted. Send two smart people to see what's going on. Timo picked up the telescope and looked at it. The canyon ahead was rugged and winding, and there were many huge rocks in the middle. It blocked his sight, and he couldn't see clearly what was going on. What? I understand. Several players with quick hands and feet immediately ran over. As a result, as soon as they reached the boulder, they ran back quickly, as if they had been bitten by a dog. You two bastards! What are you doing here? Seeing the two out-of-breath players, Timo cursed angrily. Spider! Spider! A player said breathlessly. You're so scared of spiders. It's not like we haven't killed them before. Have you forgotten how many spiders we killed in the rainforest in the last world? We've killed all the spiders bigger than a wash basin. Timo said dissatisfied. It's bigger than that. And it takes more hits. Another player said. What if we fight again? Is it as big as a house? Or is it as big as a car? If we fight again, what can we do with a gun? Timo said, pulling the bolt of the gun in his hand. There are too many. We can't kill them all. Boss, let's retreat. The previous player's breath became much calmer, and he said quickly, Wang Ergu, they say you are cowardly. I usually don't believe it. But today I saw that you are not cowardly. You have no courage. How can a few spiders scare you like this? I will stand today, come on. I want to see how many spiders can scare you like this. Damn it! Before Timo finished speaking, he saw a huge spider spinning out from behind the boulder. The spider was as big as a small family car, with eight sharp limbs one and a half meters long. Its eight pairs of compound eyes were constantly rotating, and it looked extremely ferocious. What a piece of shit! Timo was startled, and immediately picked up the machine gun and started shooting at the spider. The surrounding players were also greatly shocked, and they followed Timo and pulled the trigger. There was a burst of gunfire. One player even directly set up an RPG-7 and fired directly at the spider. Boom! RPG-7 accurately hit the giant spider and directly vaporized the spider. The gunfire gradually stopped. You two cowards! Have you seen that this thing looks scary? It evaporates when you hit it with an RPG? Why are you running away? Timo turned around and prepared to teach the two players who had escaped back a lesson. But when he turned around, he found that several players had run away with the two players. And the faces of the remaining players were not very good looking either. A close confidant came over and said, Boss, let's withdraw first. It's a bit too much. What's more? Nani? When Timo turned around, his face suddenly turned green. Swarms of black spiders emerged from behind the boulder like a tide, rushing towards them like a black torrent. These spiders are so densely packed. Each one is as big as the spider just now. And they are very difficult to deal with at first sight. Boss Timo, let's withdraw. One player said. Get out of here. Timo immediately rejected the player's suggestion. He had done so much preparation work before. 
and it would all be in vain if he pulled out. Moreover, these spiders are very fast. If he leads his people to retreat, they will be chased away by the spiders. It will be difficult to gather people to fight back. The convoy may even get separated. The most important thing is that his car is the slowest in pursuit of firepower. If he retreats, doesn't he want to stay behind? This was something he absolutely couldn't stand. We can't withdraw. If we withdraw now, the team will be in chaos. Keep the notification going. We have firepower superiority and solid defenses. I don't believe they can rush over. Listen to my order and fire all weapons at the same time. Da da da. Boom boom. After hearing Timo's order, many players returned to their cars and controlled various heavy weapons to fire. Tanks, assault guns, and self-propelled artillery roared one after another, and shells blasted into the spiders, blowing the spiders into pieces. Anti-tank missile launch vehicles and Katyusha rocket launchers launched missiles and rockets for free. One missile can directly kill a large area. After one round of strikes, an area was cleared directly. But those spiders seemed to be endless. After killing a group, a large number appeared again. It seems like there is no way to kill them all. Even if all the players tried their best and increased the firepower of all weapons to the maximum, they still could not contain the spider. And the black torrent was getting closer and closer to them. At this time, a few smarter spiders detoured from the cliff and quietly climbed to the top of their line. Several spiders jumped off the cliff and fell directly into the crowd. After a spider fell into the crowd, it immediately raised its sharp limbs and stabbed a player. Puff! The sharp limbs pierced the player's chest. The player's eyes widened. Blood gushed out of his mouth, and the gun in his hand fell to the ground. He grabbed the limbs with both hands. He didn't know how the spider rushed in. You dare to kill my brother! I will kill you! Upon seeing this, the other player immediately turned his gun and pulled the trigger at the spider's head. Ta-ta-ta-ta. The spider's head was blown off on the spot. However, more and more spiders jumped into the crowd. Players in the crowd began to dodge and kill the spiders that jumped into the crowd first. A few players, who were too nervous even accidentally hit their teammates when attacking spiders. One of the most violent players threw a defensive grenade directly at the spider in the crowd. The spider was killed. And three players within 10 meters of the surrounding area also died. Two were seriously injured. And eight were slightly injured. It was a heavy loss. When disturbed by these spiders, the player's firepower is interrupted. In addition to the previous round of salvo fire, although the firepower was very fierce, because the echelon distribution was not done well, the heavy firepower was now reloading ammunition, and there was a vacuum period of heavy firepower. Taking advantage of this window period, the spider swarm rushed over unstoppably. Retreat! Retreat quickly! Seeing that the situation was bad, Timo immediately got into his Arjun tank and ran away as fast as he could. The players around them were faster, and got into their cars one after another and ran around. Chapter 571 Sun Prison The appearance of the players on the other side of the canyon was clearly captured by Zhang to a high's drone. He never expected that he would cause such a big fight just by walking through the woods. He accidentally drove out so many spiders that he dispersed a team of players who were preparing to ambush him. It can't be said that they were scattered. These people were running in a direction away from the canyon. But they were only running at a certain speed. Huh? Suddenly, Zhang Tuohai discovered something different. At the very back of the entire team, there was actually a tank that was driving slowly. While driving, it kept firing back. The parallel machine gun on the turret also kept clicking. It looked like it was blocking the way. The spider swarm helps other players cut off the rear. Who is this? He is so fierce and can still stay after seeing so many spiders. How can there be such a loyal and brave player in this team? It is really rare. Zhang Tuohai looked at the Archeong tank on the screen and couldn't help but sigh to himself. He didn't expect that there would be such a respectable person among the players. Although the two sides were hostile, it did not prevent Zhang Tuohai from expressing his admiration. At least he it can't be done. In fact, Zhang Tuohai didn't know that the person sitting in the Archeong car was the team captain Timo. At this time, Timo was constantly cursing in his heart. It had obviously just been overhauled. But something was wrong with the engine of his Arjun tank. It just couldn't run fast. He had obviously stepped on the accelerator to the bottom. But the Arjun tank was still swaying slowly. Like an old cow in the field. Timo looked back and saw that the spiders had reached behind his butt and were about to catch up. He immediately panicked and shouted on the regional channel. Hack! Come back quickly to protect me! Come back quickly! Boss! Thank you for helping us block these spiders. 
the life-saving grace will never be forgotten. I will help you lead the team. The person who replied was Hudi, the vice captain of the team. I'll save your shit. Woody, you ungrateful thing. Come back and save me quickly. Whoever can save me, I will promote him to the position of vice captain. And the resources in the team can also be prioritized. Timo shouted loudly in the team channel. Everyone, hurry up and run. Don't let down the opportunity created by the captain. Those spiders run too fast. Leaving us not much time. Woody said loudly. At this time, for the surrounding players, escaping is the most important thing. What are the deputy captains and resources? If their lives are gone, what do they need? Many players stepped on the accelerator to the bottom and ran faster. You bastards. I curse you all to be caught up and go to hell together. Timo cursed angrily and stepped on the accelerator, hoping to increase the speed of the car. Boom! The engine made a muffled sound and a column of white smoke rose. The engine actually exploded. The car stalled completely. Nima. Timo's face was livid, praying that the spiders would let him go. Arjun is a 60-ton main battle tank after all. So its protection shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be a problem to block these spiders. Right? Timo thought secretly in his heart. However, two sharp limbs pierced in from the outside and continued to stir. Swish. 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 The same situation appeared in all directions. And even several sharp joints protruded from the roof of the car. It's over. Timo silently took out a mushroom from his arms. This was something he got in the first world. It was originally a backup he left behind. But unexpectedly, it was actually used here. Boom! A mushroom cloud rose from the spot. And Arjun turned into a pile of scrap metal. Soon, many spiders flooded the area. And then formed a rolling tide and ran away into the distance. By the time Zong Tuohai drove the car over, there was nothing left. Looking at the messy canyon, Zhang Tuohai suddenly had an idea in his mind. Since these spiders can be used to attack players, can they also be used to attack United Pharmaceutical Stronghold? Even if they can't be captured, it's still good to waste some of their ammunition. If it really happens, he will make a fortune. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai drove the spiders, corrected the direction, and drove towards the stronghold of United Pharmaceutical. At this time, everyone in Timo's motorcade was discussing what to do. Captain Woody, what should we do? Those spiders are still chasing us. If this continues, we will be caught up and killed sooner or later. We have to find a way. A player said in panic as he looked at the group of spiders chasing after him. Even former Captain Timo was forced to self-destruct. Their little power was not enough to fill the teeth of these spiders. It doesn't matter. Although we can't defeat these spider swarms. Some people can, Woody said proudly. Who is it? The player in the team asked. United Pharmaceuticals, Woody said proudly. I have some secret intelligence sources. I know that United Pharmaceuticals has a secret stronghold near here. It is fully armed. We can't deal with the spider swarm. However, they are different. As long as they have a complete with our positions and armaments, we can completely rely on the favorable location to eliminate the spider swarms and we can also replenish them on the spot. By then, everyone will benefit. Really? Boss Woody has a way. So he knows that following Boss Woody is the right thing to do. Many players heard this and cheered. Everyone in the convoy rekindled hope and drove towards the secret stronghold of United Pharmaceuticals. After everyone drove for more than an hour, a prison-like place suddenly appeared in front of them. At the outermost edge was a trench 8 meters deep and 5 meters wide, with barbed wire in front and behind the trench. Behind the trench is a 12-meter high wall. Above the wall is an electric grid. And there are a large number of surveillance cameras on the wall. Behind the wall are four towers, each patrolled by armed guards. A big sign hangs on the outside of the wall, Prison of the Sun. Captain, didn't you say you were going to take us to United Pharmaceutical Secret Stronghold? Why is it a prison? Someone in the convoy asked. This is a secret stronghold, just disguised as a prison. Of course. In fact, this prison is also real, and some prisoners are really detained inside. However, the real subject is underneath the prison, and that is where the secret of United Pharmaceuticals lies. The laboratory and this prison above are just a cover to hide it from others. Woody seems to be very familiar with this place and talks eloquently. Hee <laughs> hee, this place is really nice. Look at this defense. It can definitely block those spiders. As long as you give me a chance to replenish my ammunition. I can blow up those damn spiders. Everyone in the motorcade cheered. 
who do seem to have been in contact with the Sun Prison a long time ago. Before the convoy arrived, a suspension bridge fell down, and everyone's cars filed into the Sun Prison. However, after watching those people enter the Sun Prison, Zhang Tuohai held his chin in his hand and showed a playful expression. He had just activated the electronic warfare system, monitored the call between Woody and Sun Prison, and heard some interesting inside stories. I didn't expect it to be like this. The water in this survival game is so deep. Zhang Tuohai thought secretly. Chapter 572 Breakthrough Inside the Sun Prison, Woody led many players into the prison. After many players entered the gate of the prison, they found that it was actually an urn-like thing with a gate inside. At this time, a group of people wearing white protective clothing walked out from the side door, each with a holding something like a sprayer. They stood in a row. Hudi jumped out of the car first and waved everyone down. Everyone, come down and disinfect. We all know that there are too many toxins outside, and we need to disinfect them before we can enter the core area inside. Why is it so troublesome? You still have to disinfect them. Some players muttered. Obviously not happy. Houdi's expression changed slightly. And then he said with a smile. This is the rule here. We have to abide by the local rules when we come in. Moreover, the owner here is very hospitable and has prepared wine. Meat and bath water. Everyone can have a good rest here. When they heard that there was meat and wine and bath water, the dissatisfaction in the hearts of those players immediately dissipated. They live in cars all the time. And not all of them are equipped with showers or bathtubs. Even if there is, water consumption must be considered. Even taking a bath is not enough fun. Now that I have a place to take a good rest, I naturally become excited. Everyone jumped out of the car one after another and stood in a loose row. People in protective clothing holding spray cans came over and raised the spray cans to everyone. A stream of white smoke spurted out and enveloped everyone. The smell of this disinfectant is really choking. What does it smell like? Why is it different from the disinfectant I usually use? A group of players couldn't help but cover their noses. Suddenly, they felt that their minds were dizzy. The sky was spinning in front of their eyes. And stars were rising. What's going on? Why do I feel dizzy? Me too. Captain Woody. Someone wanted to remind Captain Woody. But saw Woody looking at everyone with a half smile. No. There's something wrong. Several excited players instinctively sensed something was wrong and immediately reached out to touch the weapons at their waists. However, their bodies no longer obeyed. And they fell softly. Plop. Plop. A large group of players fell to the ground. Warden. What to do with these people? A man in protective clothing ran up to Woody and asked. Give them all the equipment of a serious criminal. Cover their eyes with black cloth. Seal their mouths. And don't give them a chance to communicate. Everyone must be locked in a single room. And everyone must have a special guard. Guard alone. If anyone wants to resist, kill on the spot. Woody said coldly. Clear. The man immediately ran to prepare for execution. By the way, I will send people to park these cars in the core area. In addition, notify the helicopter squadron and the guard team to kill the group of spiders outside. Woody said. Woody didn't care much about the spiders outside. His prison is impregnable. Even if a large group of spiders wants to break through the defense line, it will be very difficult, and it will take a lot of time. This time was enough for him to mobilize a helicopter formation to kill those spiders. Yes! Just as the man in protective clothing was about to make arrangements, he heard violent explosions coming from the direction of the inner courtyard. Boom! Boom! A cloud of black smoke rose. What happened? Where did it explode? Woody asked coldly, frowning. Warden! There was an explosion on the tarmac, and all the helicopters were blown up inexplicably. A security guard said with a trembling voice, How could something so good explode? What's going on? Is there an outsider sneaking in? Check it out. If we can't find it out, we'll all die. Woody said with a livid face. At the critical moment, the helicopter squadron is decommissioned, and there are a large number of spiders outside attacking the prison defenses, and there are enemies inside looking at them. If not handled well, the entire prison is in danger of falling. Damn it! Houdi cursed and was about to go to the lookout post to see what was going on outside. Suddenly, a series of explosions rang out. The prison door was blasted open. And the defense outside was cleared by missiles. A large group of spiders followed the gap like the black torrent poured in like crazy. Seeing the black spiders swarming in, Woody did not dare to neglect and hurriedly ran towards the core underground base. He has seen with his own eyes how powerful these black spiders are. 
They can even pierce the armor of main battle tanks. Their attack power is truly extraordinary. In this way, he only served the other party as extra food. Woody ran towards the secret experiment in a panic. In Zhang Tuohai's multi-purpose armored vehicle, the spherical screen showed Woody running away in a panic. Commander, we have locked the target. Do you want to kill it? Classmate Xiaoyai asked. No. Keep him first. Zhang Tuohai stretched out his hand to stop Xiaoyai. Let him help us take him to the secret base. In addition, there are still some questions that need him to answer. Zhang Tuohai was very interested in this Woody. He wanted to know why this Woody suddenly jumped back, stunned these players, and had to be held in solitary confinement. Moreover, the people in these prisons actually called him the Warden, and they looked very familiar to him. It was only the third day since they came into this world. If Woody came here like them, this would not happen. Does Woody have any cards that can give him the identity of this world? Or has he been in this world before and inherited his identity? What is his purpose of stunning these players? These questions in Zong Tuohai's mind made him puzzled. And he wanted to catch him and interrogate him properly. The drone in the sky kept monitoring Woody's whereabouts. And Woody finally hid in a room and disappeared. Zhang Tuohai saw the room and secretly wrote it down in a small notebook. At this time, the black spiders had already rushed into the prison and were running rampant in the prison. The guards in the prison were no match for those black spiders. Although their weapons are very advanced. There are simply too many spiders. The guards parried for a few times before being swallowed up by the huge wave of spiders. Zhang Tuohai waited outside for more than an hour, guessing that the spider had almost cleaned up the inside, and then continued to move forward. The spiders felt Zhang Tuohai approaching, and immediately rushed out of the Sun Prison and evacuated into the distance. Zhang Tuohai slowly drove into the Sun Prison. At this time, the Sun Prison was in a mess, with broken limbs and broken arms everywhere. The security personnel and the players who had not had time to be resettled all died at the hands of the spiders. However, this account was placed on Zong Tuohai by the game system, causing his number of kills to increase again, which made him a little unhappy. Zhang Tuohai felt that his reputation was even stronger. Chapter 573 Underground Passage Damn! The reputation is on the rise again! Zhang Tuohai looked at his red name level and found that it had reached LV2 for 13-2000. Originally, he thought that this world might not be able to advance to the next level. But now it seems that he really can't say for sure. If I go to the next world with the reputation of killing 2,000 people, I wonder what those players will think of me. Zhang Tuohai thought to himself. However, he quickly shook this thought out of his mind. It's useless to think about things that don't have a shadow yet. It's better to resolve the matter in front of you first. Zhang Tuohai drove the car into the prison. At this time, the entire prison was swept by black spiders. Everyone inside was cleaned up. And there was a mess everywhere. Zhang Tuohai went straight to the room that Woody entered before. After arriving in that room, Zhang Tuohai found that it was a warehouse with some cans and other sundries piled next to it. There is an entrance to the underground laboratory under the front floor. But do not try to use the switch to enter normally. When the door is opened, the defense system will be triggered and you will be shot by Gatling. The system prompts a message to pop up. There is also a defense system which is quite professional. Zhang Tuohai raised his eyebrows and then said to classmate Xiaoyai, Since the normal method will trigger the defense mechanism, there is no need to enter through the normal method. Aim at the floor and open the passage. I explode! Whizzing. Two Adaz missiles hit the floor directly. Boom! Boom! Two explosions sounded. The door disguised as the floor was blown to pieces, and several alloy plates embedded in the wall were blown down revealing the pipelines and Gatling guns hidden behind. Get rid of all the weapons you find, Zhang Tuai said. The 11.30 close in defense artillery began to fire. Duh duh duh. The close in defense artillery fired at the exposed Gatling, directly knocking those Gatling machine guns to pieces. The armored vehicle moved forward, firing at the surrounding walls from time to time, shattering the Gatling guns hidden inside one by one. At this time, in the underground laboratory, Woody looked at the picture on the monitor, his expression became very ugly. This defensive passage was designed by him. When it was first built, he swore with all his heart that it could withstand attacks by regular troops no larger than a regular assault brigade. However, the other party relied on only one armored vehicle and almost completely demolished his defensive channel. The opponent has already passed halfway, and all the defense systems along the way have suffered devastating blows. Even some defense systems behind have been paralyzed due to damage to some pipelines. 
More than 80% of the defense systems in the entire defense channel have completely failed. Activate the final defense system for me. Woody gritted his teeth and said to the assistant next to him. But, Warden, the final defense system has not been fully tested yet. If it is activated rashly. Boom. Before the assistant could finish speaking, there was a bloody hole on his head. Woody had a smoking gun in his hand. I will only say this once. Activate the final defense system. Immediately. Immediately. Woody raised the pistol in his hand and glanced at the people around him coldly. When the people around him saw this, they remained silent and immediately took action. Dee dee dee. The red indicator light came on and an alarm sounded over the radio. The door on the inside of the passage slowly closed and several hidden doors around it were slowly opened. With a rustling sound, a group of worms crawled out of the passage. These worms come in all kinds. Some are covered with spots. Some are covered with stripes. Some have evolved arms and tentacles. And there are all kinds of weird things. These worms are all experimental products produced during the development of virus worms. Their abilities are all kinds of strange. Some are extremely poisonous. Some have a large amount of corrosive acid in their bodies. And some will decompose into thousands of small pieces after being killed. Worm. Although these worms move very slowly, this narrow passage is their natural home. And they can exert power far beyond their own bodies. There is also an extremely special worm here. These worms will devour the corpses of other worms in large quantities. After devouring them, they will inherit the abilities of other worms. Moreover, they are extremely resistant to bullets and fragmentation weapons. When doing experiments, I fired two machine guns continuously for 10 minutes without killing him. Therefore, Woody uses these worms as his last resort weapon. However, these worms are extremely unstable. And many of them do not obey their control and are prone to problems. So the assistants are reluctant to start these worms. However, under Woody's insistence, these worms were released. A large number of mutated worms are found ahead. It is recommended to use individual cloud bombs. A large number of mutant worms? How many? John Tuahai looked curiously, and his face turned pale instantly. In the passage not far away, a large number of mutated worms were densely packed with worms, layer upon layer, like maggots in a manure pit. Not only that, there are still a large number of maggots in the tunnel next to it, spreading towards the passage. They are densely packed and look extremely scary. Seeing so many worms, John Tuahai instinctively wanted to use missiles and close-range defense guns. However, before taking action, he still remembered the prompt system's prompt. Zhang Tuohai took two individual cloud explosive bombs, placed them on the robotic arm, and used the robotic arm to launch them. Boom! Boom! Two cloud bombs shot out and exploded in the passage, quickly consuming all the oxygen. The worms also dehydrated rapidly due to the rapidly rising temperature, and even a lot of oil leaked out of the body. The oxygen in the channels was consumed, and the worms were unable to breathe and gradually stopped crawling. When the air started to flow again, Zhang Tuahai took out a flamethrower and sprayed it at the worms. The worms covered in grease became the best fuel. The fire burned fiercely and quickly spread to both sides. Quick! Close the passage and activate the fire extinguishing device. Otherwise, my worms will be burned to death. Woody shouted. As the creator of the worm, he is most aware of the worm's weakness. It is very afraid of flames and can even be said to be susceptible to fire. Master Warden, the fire extinguishing device was damaged just now. An assistant said cautiously. Then think of other ways. I just want my worm to survive. No matter what method you use. Woody shouted loudly. No more. All the facilities in the passage have been destroyed. We have completely lost control of the passage. The assistant said carefully. Waste. Woody pulled out the pistol from his waist and prepared to kill the assistant. At this moment, the door of the laboratory exploded and an armored vehicle rushed in from the outside. Chapter 574 Invading the Laboratory Hurry up and organize a counterattack to kill this guy. Where is the security guard? Woody shouted loudly, turning and running towards a small door. Several security guards, wearing second-generation protective suits, rushed out of the security room with electromagnetic guns, looking for bunkers to prepare for a counterattack against the armored vehicles. However, before they could make any move, the armored vehicle's closed and defense gun fired. Duh duh duh. The power of the closed and defense cannon can even penetrate ordinary armor plates let alone these machines that do not require strong strength. With just one sweep, the machines in the room and the security personnel hiding behind the machines were all torn to pieces. Those researchers who had no time to escape suffered the same fate and were torn into pieces together. 
in addition to killing these people. The clothes and defense artillery also damaged many petri dishes. And those petri dishes were full of worms. The worms were awakened, crawled out one by one, and began to eat human corpses. While eating, their bodies began to change. Some grew hair, some differentiated into limbs, and some even transformed into human faces. Looking at the appearance of these worms, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but have goosebumps all over his body. These worms are changing too fast. They are just eating ordinary humans. If they eat something powerful, they might turn into something different. Burn them with a flamethrower! Zhang Tuohai said immediately. These worms have a very strong recovery ability. If you hit them with bullets, unless they are directly broken into pieces, as long as they are not seriously damaged and have enough food, they will be able to recover quickly, and even their strength will be further improved, and they will be able to treat the injured. Corresponding enhancements are made to the parts. If they cannot be killed in time, they will quickly transform into a terrifying state. Huhu! <laughs> Xiao Yai popped out the robotic arms. Each robotic arm held a flamethrower and sprayed the worms continuously. The biggest weakness of those worms is the flame. Under the ablation of the flame, they quickly turn into ashes. Zhang Tuohai walked around the laboratory hall, collecting these worms. When he burned the last worm to ashes, he found that Woody had already escaped through the back door. But Zhang Tuohai is not worried. He has left a rainbow drone outside. If Woody dares to escape from the escape tunnel, the rainbow drone's precision guided missile will teach him how to behave. Zhang Tuohai opened the back door and walked towards the back of the laboratory. At the back door of the laboratory is the warehouse and storage room, used to store experimental materials and mature test products. Inside the warehouse are rows of cabinets, with petri dishes placed inside the cabinets, and each petri dish contains a worm. These worms are of different species, and if they were all released, they would probably cause unimaginable disasters to the world. At this time, Woody was hiding in the deepest part of the warehouse, holding an injection potion in his hand. He wanted to inject it into his arm. But he didn't have the courage. After seeing Zhang Tuohai's attack, he was so frightened that he almost dropped the syringe in his hand to the ground. At this time, there was no trace of high spirits on his face anymore. But instead, it was full of fear. You forced me to do this! I... Before Woody could finish speaking, a crisp gunshot rang out. Boom! The syringe in his hand was shattered into pieces. And the fluid and fragments were scattered on the ground. Woody's face was filled with a dull look. He never expected that things would eventually develop like this. The potion in his hand is the latest potion developed in the laboratory. After injection, a person's physical fitness can be greatly enhanced. His recovery ability can be greatly enhanced. And through devouring, he can gain part of the abilities of the devoured person, similar to a human version of a worm. However, these are research directions and expected data. Even this potion is an experimental potion in the first phase, and no effective tests have been conducted. If something goes wrong, he is likely to disintegrate, fester, or even become an irrational monster due to genetic collapse. If it weren't for the impending disaster, he would never inject himself with this medicine. You know, if the laboratory made such a big mistake in his hands, United Pharmaceuticals will never let him go. Death is the best outcome, and he may even be used as the next experimental subject. When he thought of the miserable conditions of those experimental subjects, his body shivered involuntarily. As the top person in charge of this laboratory, he is very proficient in those techniques. It is precisely because of his understanding that he does not want those techniques to be used on himself. Not even death. As things stand now, this potion is the only hope for him to make a comeback. However, just when he finally made up his mind to inject a medicine that had not yet been tested, Zhang Tuohai rushed in and smashed the medicine in his hand. Looking at the broken potion in his hand, Woody had a look of relief on his face. At this point, he no longer needs to make a choice. He threw the pistol aside and raised his hands. I surrender. I own all the experimental data of this laboratory and all the sample production methods. I demand treatment that is consistent with my status. He believed that Zhang Tuohai was probably sent by another company or organization. But no matter which organization it is or what its purpose is, the leaders of the experiment will not be blamed and will even be promoted and rewarded. This is the advantage of technicians. It's just a matter of working for a different boss. No big deal. Presumably, those who can raid United Pharmaceutical are not incompetent. And there is no problem in protecting themselves for a period of time. What's more, he still has that trump card. As long as he can survive, and survive for a few days, he will naturally have a way to escape. After thinking about this, Woody felt a lot calmer, and regained his confidence on his face. 
He walked out carelessly, looking calm and composed. I have all the data and test materials of this laboratory. It will be useless even if you move here, because there is a lot of data and research feasibility that have not been recorded. And they are all here, what he said, pointing to his head. As long as you give me the treatment I deserve, we can cooperate. I will tell you all the information you need and even help you continue these studies, what he said loudly. It seems that you are very confident. Zhang Tuohai walked down wearing United Pharmaceuticals third generation protective suit and slowly came to Hu Di. Of course. Can we talk about treatment? Woody he asked calmly. No. Before that, I need to ask another question first. Zhang Tuohai said. Why did you want to arrest those guys? Or in other words, how much do you know about the word player? Chapter 575. The NPC that blends into the player. Player. Hearing these two words, Hudi's expression was shocked, and his expression became uncertain. Seeing Hudi's appearance, Zhang Tuohai confirmed his suspicion. He had previously doubted why Woody, a player, would become the warden of United Pharmaceuticals' secret stronghold and a researcher in the laboratory. He has also mastered a full set of research techniques, which is not something a player can accomplish in a day or two. Moreover, after entering the secret stronghold, Woody immediately arrested all his previous teammates. This puzzled Zhang Tuohai even more. Even if he really has a conflict with his former teammates, he can be killed directly without any need to strictly guard him, because players can communicate with each other using regional channels and team channels, which will expose his identity and actions and make it inconvenient for his future actions. Zhang Tuohai racked his brains and couldn't figure out why Woody did this. Later, Zhang Tuohai had an idea. What he had thought about before was all based on Woody's identity as a player. However, what if Woody was not originally a player? but a warden of United Pharmaceuticals. An out-and-out -out aborigine? Everything is explained. He may have been the warden of United Pharmaceuticals. By chance, he entered this convoy and became a key member. During this period, he saw all kinds of magic in the players, and then brought them to his territory and prepared to seriously interrogate them. Interrogation? This is why he did not kill those players. It makes sense in theory. But this is just Zhang Tuohai's speculation, and there is no conclusive evidence. Just now, Zhang Tuohai said the word, player, to deceive Hu Di. As a result, Woody's performance proved that he was right. There is indeed something wrong with Woody. Otherwise, he would not have this reaction after hearing the word, player. Hu Di's face changed several times. And then he showed a clear look. It turns out you are a player. No wonder. No wonder there are so many strange methods to break into the defense line I have worked so hard to build. So that's it. I should have thought of it a long time ago but luckily I thought some big group was here to take advantage of it. After saying that, Woody couldn't help but shook his head. Tell me, what are you going to do when you arrest those players? Zhang Tuohai asked calmly. Of course, it's for experiments. Hu Di sneered. You are just pretending to be players and acting recklessly in my world. You don't treat us aborigines as human beings at all. I will let them feel it. For a moment, let them feel the anger of the indigenous people and let them feel what it feels like to be oppressed. I don't think it's just for revenge. Do you want to gain the identity of a player? Zhang Tuohai said suddenly. That's right. Who wouldn't want this kind of transcendent power? Woody asked with a sneer. Of course I want it too. As long as I study you and understand it, I can also obtain this power. No. I'm afraid it's not that you want this power, but that you have already obtained this power. Zhang Tuohai said. He remembered that this Woody had been with those people in the team before, and his status was not low he might have obtained the status of a player long ago. Moreover, it is very simple to verify. Zhang Tuohai shot Woody in the head. Boom! There are bloody holes in Woody's head. Hoodie's eyes were full of disbelief. He couldn't believe that Zhang Tuohai killed him like this. Don't you need him to plunder the laboratory's wealth? Zhang Tuohai opened the regional channel and took a look. And an obituary floated by. Player Woody dies. After confirming Woody's death, Zhang Tuohai took a picture of Xiao Ai's excerpted list of players who had just entered the world to check. I searched three times in a row, but couldn't find Woody's name. After comparison, Zhang Tuohai discovered that a player named Shigeru Hashimoto disappeared and was replaced by Woody. Sure enough, it has replaced the player's identity. Zhang Tuohai put down the list in his hand and felt a chill in his heart. He discovered that the natives and NPCs could actually replace players. This discovery is a bit scary. If this kind of news spreads, then players will become the public enemy of all NPCs. 
constantly changing worlds to survive is a hard job for players. But it is a huge temptation for many NPCs. Many NPCs who are not doing well in the original world will be very interested in this. Those big financial groups and big forces will also be extremely interested in traveling to other worlds. When the time comes, players like them will become prey in the eyes of those big forces. At that time, they will not only face natural crises, but also the pursuit of local forces. Thinking of this, John Tuohai suddenly thought of a question. Since Houdi was originally from United Pharmaceuticals and successfully became a player, how many people know this information? Does anyone at United Pharma know about this? What measures will they take? Is Woody just an isolated case? Or the tip of the iceberg? Are there any hidden clues left by United Pharmaceuticals or other forces among the players? You must know that the enemy on the surface is not scary. But the enemy hiding around you is the most terrifying. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai quickly asked Xiao Yai to compare the initial list with the current player list. Not only names, but also photos must be compared one by one. After some comparisons, Zhang Tuohai discovered that besides Hu Di, one other person's name had indeed changed. The man's name is Alfonso. Zhang Tuohai took a look at the photo of this person. He was a typical Latin American mixed race man with curly chestnut hair and a few freckles on his face. He looked like he was in his early 20s and had a sunny smile. If you only looked at the photos, you would never have imagined that such a sunny-looking boy could actually be an NPC hidden among the players. I just don't know whether this guy is a lucky guy by chance, or an informant specially planted by a big force using specific means. Classmate Xiao Yai, keep an eye on this guy and tell me as soon as you have any news about him. Zhang Tuohai is sure that if this guy is a secret agent of a certain force, he will definitely not be unknown and will definitely cause something. As long as he dares to cause trouble, he can follow the clues and find out the force behind him. Otherwise, if such a huge strength is allowed to be hidden in the darkness, he will not be able to sleep well. Understood. Shall I immediately put Alfonso on the list of key people to pay attention to, and allocated a part of his computing power to monitor this person's activities, including regional channels and trading platforms. Zhang Tuohai originally wanted Song Shaokong to help coordinate the investigation, but he gave up this idea just as he was about to take action. If Song Shaokong accidentally alerts the enemy and puts the opponent on guard, it will not be easy to catch him. Zhang Tuohai believes that if this guy has power behind him, he will definitely not be lonely and will get news soon. Chapter 576 Laboratory Harvest After dealing with Alfonso's matter, Zhang Tuohai asked 001 to come in with a self-propelled machine and began to dismantle the machines in the laboratory. At the same time, he took away all the worms in the petri dish. Lilith may be able to use these things during her research. Even if it's useless, it can be made into a genetic potion in the end. Anyway, it's all for free. So you won't lose anything. A large group of self-propelled machines are running around in the laboratory. In addition to reducing and use machines into metal parts, they are also responsible for finding all the hidden spaces in the entire base and looking for valuable items. The entire base was almost turned upside down by these self-propelled machines and many panels on the walls were removed by them. After a carpet-like search by these self-propelled machines, they successfully uncovered two ordinary warehouses and a secret warehouse. An ordinary warehouse contains all kinds of conventional weapons, such as armor-piercing artillery shells, rockets, anti-tank grenades, and the like. Zhang Tuohai looked through it and found nothing special. So he threw these things into the warehouse, preparing to find an opportunity to sell them. The second warehouse contains some laboratory spare parts, such as some mechanical spare parts. Zhang Tuohai walked around the warehouse and saw a box covered with a huge canvas at the end of the warehouse. Out of curiosity, Zhang Tuohai pulled off the canvas, and he was shocked to find that these were actually three sets of spare servers, all of which were brand new and had not even been unpacked. Moreover, what makes Zhang Tuohai most happy is that this is an accessory that can be installed. It can increase the computing power of the vehicle system. Zhang Tuohai was overjoyed when he saw this, and immediately installed all the servers in the car. How do you feel? Zhang Tuohai asked classmate Xiao Yai. It feels great. The computing power has improved a lot. And the computing power has increased by 30%. Classmate Xiao Yai showed an excited look. As long as it's useful. By the way, this server will allocate 3% of its computing power specifically to support your avatar. In the future, change your clothes more and don't always wear the same set. Zhang Tuohai said to Xiao Yai the classmates said. Classmate Xiao Yai. She didn't quite understand why Zhang Tuohai did this. But the core directive made her accept Zhang Tuohai's order. 
Isn't it just some color blocks? Why is Commander so interested in these? Go back and find some clothes from Commander's favorite games to wear. Xiao Ai thought to himself. Zhang Tuahai took this opportunity to enter the special warehouse. It's said to be a special warehouse. But in fact, it's more like a utility room with some strange gadgets scattered around. Zhang Tuahai looked through it and found that most of them were some unique experimental materials and some fantasy design drafts. Most of them were ordinary papers and could only be used as reference materials for Lilith's research. Zhang Tuohai went through these materials and found two drawings that were recognized by the system as being directly manufactured. Advanced Biological Laboratory, Level 4 Automobile General Accessories, with a complete set of rooms and supporting facilities such as a breeding room, an incubation room, a constant temperature breeding room, a laboratory, a destruction room, and a sterilization room. It is an ideal testing site for biological experimenters. Manufacturing materials, high-grade metal ingots, 100 units, intermediate metal ingots, 50 units, high-grade plastics, 200 units, intermediate plastics, 100 units, high-grade glass, 200 units, high-grade rubber, 150 units, high-grade electronic components, asterisk 10. Zhang Tuahai took one look at the description of the drawing and the required materials and immediately produced it. Although this is only a level 4 general car accessory, which does not help Zhang to a high upgrade. And it also costs a lot of materials. Zhang to a high still feels that this thing is worth it. With this thing, Lilith's biochemical research speed will be greatly improved. And it may be able to speed up the development of new genetic medicines. As long as the new genetic potion is developed, it will be a gold mine that will continuously produce gold coins. All investments will receive generous returns. He can even use this genetic potion to control players in the entire regional channel. For example, Mix some other gadgets into the genetic potion. If it can really develop to this point, this thing has changed from a simple money-making tool to a weapon with strategic significance. So, whatever the cost, make it. As for the second drawing, it's even more interesting. New hand-thrown drone, made of plastic. The speed is 150% higher than the original drone. The airborne time is extended to 3 hours. The transmission efficiency is increased by 200%. Equipped with ultra miniature infrared observation system, ultra miniature radar scanning system, and can carry a 10 kilogram explosive or ultra miniature missile. Note, equipped with design drawings of fried micro missiles. Note 2, this was originally a birthday gift from a father to his son who loves drones. As a result, the engineer died in an accident during the experiment, and the design drawings were sealed as company assets. This drone is really good, John Tuhai said, very satisfied with this drone. It is better than the original drone, with higher transmission efficiency, longer stay in the air, and can even launch an ultra-miniature missile, giving it instant strike capability. This means that after discovering the target, he does not need to send other aircraft to perform the killing mission. He can directly launch missiles to attack, which greatly enhances the timeliness. In addition, the radar scanning function also increases the detection efficiency of the drone. Zhang Tuohai was very satisfied and put it away. At this time, 001 walked over from the side and pulled Zhang Tuohai towards a passage. Zhang Tuohai walked over and took a look and was immediately happy. It turned out that in a well-hidden passage, 001 discovered a vertical escape passage. At the bottom of the passage, a Harrier fighter plane was parked with four Sidewinder air-to-air missiles hung on the weapon racks. Zhang Tuohai guessed that this might be Woody's escape plane. Unfortunately, as luck would have it, the manhole cover above the shaft was damaged by Rainbow's precision-guided bomb and could not be opened. As a result, the Harrier fighter jet with vertical takeoff and landing function could only stay in place and became a display. And Woody's escape path was completely cut off. Well done! Zhang Tuohai rubbed 001's head with satisfaction, then took out the aircraft summoner and put away the Harrier fighter. He already has many ground attack aircraft in his hands, such as the B-29 Super Sky Fortress, Stuka, Rainbow, and even the 99 ship explosion against the sea. But there has never been an air to air one. The addition of Harrier fighter jets just fills this gap. For air to air missiles plus his ADES missile support are enough to deal with most air enemies. Chapter 577 Aya wakes up. John Tuahai gained a lot from this raid on the secret stronghold of United Pharmaceuticals and felt very happy. John Tuahai couldn't help but think to himself. It would be great if he could gain something of this level every day in the future. However, he also knew that this was impossible. Of course, in addition to the tangible benefits, 
Zhang Tuohai feels that the biggest gain from this trip is knowing that NPCs can also obtain player identities. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but think of a way, an eye in the car. It would definitely be very difficult for these two people to live in this world full of viruses. If they could become players and escape from this world, it would be very difficult for them. Maybe that's a good thing. Although players face various risks every day, there is always hope of survival. It's better than them staying in this virus-filled world waiting to die. Moreover, these two people were brought out by themselves and have a close relationship with themselves. They are natural allies and are more trustworthy than ordinary players. However, these two people need to be consulted for their opinions. If they don't agree, Zhang Tuohai forcibly pulling them into the chariot may have the opposite effect and even turn them into enemies. Looking at the almost empty secret laboratory, Zhang Tuohai returned to the car with satisfaction. Driving the armored vehicle, we headed outside. The armored vehicle had just driven out of the underground passage. Suddenly, Zhang Tuohai felt a majestic energy coming from the direction of the medical room. The energy was very huge and invisible. However, Zhang Tuohai could feel it. A very strange feeling. What happened? Zhang Tuohai asked quickly. What he fears most is a nuclear leak. If the small nuclear reactor in the car leaks, then he is basically not far away from death. It's Miss Aya who has woken up, said Xiao Ai, a classmate with long black hair and wearing a lace made outfit. Huh? Aya wakes up? Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up when he heard the news. He remembered that Aya was not weak and could freeze people into ice sculptures. If she woke up, then at least the plan would be feasible in terms of strength. Go and have a look. Zhang Tuohai handed over the driving authority to Xiao Ai and walked quickly to the medical room. At this time, the door of the medical cabin had slowly opened. I was sitting in the medical cabin, looking at everything around her with a confused look on her face. Aya, it's great that you finally woke up. Awei hugged Aya and shouted excitedly. Brother, where is this? I asked in confusion, turning her orange pupils. Zhang Tuohai keenly discovered that today's Aya seemed different from the previous Aya. Although they both had silver hair, the Aya's red pupils that day turned into orange today. What's going on? Is it a change caused by the virus? Zhang Tuohai held his chin and thought. Great. You finally woke up. I thought you would never wake up again. Alway rambled on and recounted what he had seen. Really? How come I have no impression at all? How can I be so powerful? Hearing Away say that he turned a person into an ice sculpture and levitated. Aya looked at his own hands in disbelief. Completely disbelieving that he could do this. Moreover, there was no such episode in her memory. Why is this happening? Could it be that he has lost his memory? Alway asked worriedly. Just let the medical cabin check what the specific situation is. Zhang Tuohai asked Aya to lie down in the medical cabin again and press the check button. Aya lay carefully in the medical cabin, looking around anxiously, her hands turning white from nervousness. A blue light scanned Aya several times from head to toe, and then an electronic report was generated. The densely packed long list of data in the report dazzled everyone who looked at it. Zhang Tuohai glanced at it and went directly to the conclusion and treatment opinions. How is my sister? Alway came closer, his eyes filled with nervousness. It should be a stress trauma. This scene stimulated her too much, causing her brain to react to stress and seal this memory. The problem is not big, and the physical data is generally normal. However, due to illness and long-term malnutrition, she is relatively weak and needs to rest more and recuperate. Also, the hematopoietic stem cell transplant needs to wait until her body has recovered a little before it can be performed. Otherwise, with her current physical condition, it may be difficult for her to get off the operating table. Even if it is done forcefully, surgery may also leave sequelae that are difficult to cure. Zhang Tuohai briefly summarized the report and said, This. Hearing what Zhang Tuohai said, Awei couldn't help but feel a little embarrassed. In normal society, the brothers and sisters lived a tight life relying on various relief services to barely survive. Malnutrition was a legacy from that time. In peacetime, they live such a difficult life. Now that the social order has collapsed, they can't even survive. He couldn't live a normal life, let alone recuperate. What's more, they have lost their place to stay and may have no fixed place to live in the future. Thinking of this, Awe couldn't help but feel sad on his face. Don't be so gloomy. Just leave these things to me. Although I'm not a good person. I will never watch your sister die in front of your eyes without being indifferent. So, you can stay here for the moment. In the car. Treat your sister first and wait until the treatment is completed. Zhang Tuohai said generously. This, 
How embarrassing is it? We have nothing. But you were helping us like this. Alway didn't know what to say. After losing his parents, he had been walking in the market since he was a child and was used to all kinds of intrigues. Now, seeing John to a high, a person who wholeheartedly helps them and thinks about them, he doesn't know how to deal with it. It doesn't matter. In fact, it's not completely free. Although we will help your sister with treatment. At the same time, I will also collect some of your sister's data and genetic samples. Your sister's abilities are very special and may be very useful to our research. It's helpful. Don't worry. Even though you think I'm helping you, I didn't lose money, but made money. You can just live here with peace of mind. John Tuohai said openly that he felt it would be better to talk about these things face to face. If you do it secretly, you will be easily suspected of doing something shady. I don't object to collecting data. It won't hurt Aya. Right. Away asked worriedly after hearing this. Don't worry. I'm still different from those at United Pharmaceutical. And we won't do that kind of thing. John Tuohai said calmly. If he wanted to do experiments, there were countless worms available. And there was no need to use humans. John Tuohai said and called Wankai out. Wankai, go and do some statistics to see which hen lays your eggs. Let's make some chicken soup to replenish Aya's health. Chapter 578 Awei is dead. John Tuohai was dealing with Aya's problem. And two strangely dressed people appeared outside the prison. The two men were wearing leather jackets of different styles and sunglasses. But without any protective equipment. They were exposed to the virus-filled air without even wearing a mask. A man with a coxcomb head even took a deep breath of air. With a look of intoxication on his face. It is indeed a place where the virus spreads. The concentration of the virus here is different from other places. This is simply paradise. The broom head next to him frowned and said, Stop sucking. This place is under attack. Really? How could such a hidden stronghold be attacked? Moreover, the defense here is so strong. How could it be breached? Don't lie to me. Coxcomb head was full of disbelief. Why did I lie to you? You can see for yourself. Besides, the smell of blood in the air has not dissipated. Is your sense of smell gone? The broom head threw a telescope to the other party. It's true. There is still thick smoke. However, there are no signs of attack on the wall. I guess it was not someone who attacked from outside, but that there was a riot in the prison above. What did you say? Strong fortresses are breached from within. That must be it. Coxcomb put down the telescope and felt that he had guessed the truth. Prison riot? How is that possible? You know this is the highest security prison in the country. How could a riot happen? The broomhead obviously didn't believe it. The highest security level? Coxcomb head sneered. Don't forget where our boss escaped from. It's this prison with the highest security level. When everyone was an ordinary person. And someone could escape. Now that the virus is spreading. If there are a few new humans like us among the prisoners. Wouldn't it be a piece of cake to break into the prison from the inside? Wait a minute. I smell a smell. The smell of new humans. And it's very strong. The broomhead's eyes lit up. And he couldn't help but twitch his nose a few times. Look. My guess is right. Right. There must be a new human being awakened among the prisoners. How strong is it? Coxcomb asked. He knows that the broom head has a special ability. That is, it can smell a special smell. This kind of smell can only be possessed by people who have been infected by the virus and have not turned into monsters, but have awakened superpowers. The stronger the flavor, the stronger the potential. Very strong. At least on the same level as the boss. The broom head said with a solemn expression. So strong? Hearing Broomhead's words, Coxcomb Head became excited. Their organization has a rule that they can look for potential new humans to join, and will give recommenders a resource as a recommendation fee. Moreover, the stronger the potential of the newcomer, the more resources will be given. Where is he? I want to bring him back to the organization, Coxcomb Head said excitedly. It's in that armored vehicle. Broomstick pointed at the armored vehicle that was slowly driving out. Do you want to join us? I'll share half of the credit with you. Coxcomb asked excitedly. I think it's better to observe. We don't even know who the other party is or what his attitude is. If we just go up and invite him. The effect may not be good. The broom head hesitated. If you don't go, I will go. If you are so hesitant, when will it be possible? You have wasted the opportunity. After speaking, Coxcomb had rushed out on his motorcycle and stopped the armored vehicle with a sudden break. Before, friends in front of you. Stop. I have something to discuss with you. John Tuohai was a little stunned when he saw the rooster head 
who suddenly rushed out and blocked him. What does this guy do? Looking at the hippie look of the coxcomb head, John Tuohai instinctively didn't like it. However, since the other party didn't attack as soon as he came up, there was no need for him to beat the other party to death immediately. He is not a murderer. John Tuohai thought for a moment. Put on United Pharmaceuticals protective clothing and walk out. What are you going to do? Seeing Zhang Tuohai wearing a full set of protective clothing, the smile on Coxcomb Head's face suddenly disappeared by half. He took out something similar to a Geiger counter and pressed it on Zhang Tuohai. Then, his expression suddenly turned ugly. The Coxcomb waved his hand impatiently and said, I'm not looking for you. I'm looking for that new human being. Let him come out to talk to me. You are not qualified. New humanity? What is new humanity? Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up when he heard this new term. He instinctively felt that this was a group of local NPCs, because no one among the players would call him that. Maybe it could inspire a new mission plot. Hearing Zhang Tuohai's question, the look of disdain on Coxcomb Head's face became even brighter. Even the new humans don't know where you came from. A bumpkin? However, I am in a good mood today, so I will demonstrate it to you. Coxcomb Head said, stretching out his hands. Two blazing fireballs suddenly appeared in his hands. The fireball is bright and hot. Just by looking at it, you can tell that the temperature is definitely not low. Superpower? Someone like Aya? John Tuohai's heart moved when he saw Coxcomb Head's movements. What do you want to do with her? John Tuohai asked with a smile. Of course you are joining us to build a home for new humanity. How can new humanity mix with you? The losers abandoned by the times? This is a stain on our purity. The coxcomb head did not hide the look of disdain on his face. You? Are there many people like you? Zhang Tuohai didn't care at all and continued to talk. Of course, we have a lot of people. And, at this point, coxcomb head instinctively felt that something was wrong and stopped talking in time. There is nothing to say to a loser like you. Hurry up and let the new human come out. Let me take you away. Or I will burn you and the car to ashes. The coxcomb head said, waving his hand to the side. A fireball shot out of his hand and hit a car next to him. Boom! The car was blown to the ground and engulfed in flames. It's quite powerful. Comparable to a rocket. Seeing the appearance of the car, John Tuohai couldn't help but raise his eyebrows and secretly estimated the power of the fireball in his heart. If that group of so-called new humans had this strength, they would still be quite a force. Is there any way to use this power for my own use? John Tuohai's mind was spinning rapidly. At this moment, Alway ran out of the car. He said to the crested man, I won't follow you. Please leave quickly. Alway knew that he would still have to rely on Zhang Tuohai for a while in the future. Only with Zhang Tuohai could leukemia have hope of being cured. If he was taken away by these unknown people, who knew what would happen to him? Coxcomb Head is a person who has little patience. The conversation he had with Zhang Tuohai just now exhausted his little patience. Now that he saw another failure coming out to hinder him, he suddenly became confused. The nameless stock burst into flames. When did these failures dare to talk to him like this? He decided to give these people some color. You dare to talk to me like this. You really don't know what to say. As Coxcomb Head said, the fireball in his hand shot out and hit all way. Boom! A huge hole was carved out of all way's chest. With a pop, all way fell to the ground. All way, dead. Chapter 579 All Way is Alive Again. More updates with monthly ticket. Everything happened in a flash. John Tuohai didn't even have time to take action. And All Way was hit by the fireball. You dare to take action? John Tuohai was angry. Although his relationship with Ah Way is not very deep. And it is more through him to establish a relationship with his sister. But in any case, Ah Way is also under his protection at this time. Now, this coxcomb head actually killed Ah Way in front of him. Where would he put his face? So what if I kill you? Coxcomb Head said nonchalantly. Stop talking nonsense and hand over the new humans. Otherwise, I will kill you as well. As the Coxcomb Man spoke, two fireballs appeared in his hand again. The fireball was brighter than before. Zhang Tuohai was about to order classmate Xiao Ai to kill this guy with a close-range anti-aircraft gun. Suddenly, he felt a cold feeling coming from his back. As if he had fallen into an ice cave, a faint voice sounded from behind. How dare you kill my brother? Zhang Tuohai turned around and found that Aya was floating not far behind him, with a layer of crimson mist appearing on his orange pupils. Seeing Aya suspended in midair, the coxcomb head's eyes suddenly shone. He quickly dispersed the fireball in his hand. 
took out something similar to a Geiger counter, and pressed it on Aya. In an instant, the number above soared to more than 600. This number is comparable to their leader, fully twice as high as his value. Such a high potential. If he is lured into the organization, he will definitely take advantage of the resources. Coxcomb Head's eyes were bright, and Aya was like a moving knife in his eyes. Little girl, you have good potential. Come back to the organization with me. There are all new humans like us. Let us work together to create a world that belongs to our new humans. By then, we will become the masters of this world. No one can oppress us anymore. We will gain true freedom. We... Before Coxcomb too finished speaking, he felt a chill on his body. As if he had fallen into an ice cave, he looked down and saw that his legs had been wrapped in thick ice. And the ice was rapidly spreading upwards, reaching his waist in the blink of an eye. No! Coxcomb yelled, and flames emerged from his hands to melt the ice. However, as soon as the fireball appeared in his hand, it flickered a few times and then went out with a hiss. Impossible. My ability, Coxcomb yelled, trying to gather the flames again. But it was too late. His body was quickly frozen and turned into an ice sculpture. My condolences. Zhang Tuohai came to Aya's side. Can I ask you something? I asked faintly, floating in midair. Her pupils kept flashing between red and orange, which was unstable. It seemed that the pupils might completely transform into red at any time. Does the color of the pupils represent Aya's state? Orange represents problems, and red represents loss of control? Zhang Tuohai did not dare to test randomly and said quickly, Tell me about it. If it is within my capabilities, it will be no problem. Can you send us to the beach? Ah Wei's biggest injustice during his lifetime was that he wanted to see the sea. I want to bury him at the seaside, Aya said. Okay, keep going northwest and you'll find the ocean. Zhang Tuohai recalled the map and said, Well, I'll leave it to you for the next period of time. When you get to the place, you can make any requests. Aya said slowly. After saying that, she fell from the air. As soon as her feet landed on the ground, her body shook involuntarily, and she almost fell. Zhang Tuohai saw this, and quickly supported him. Zhang Tuohai took the opportunity to glance at Aya's eyes. The red in Aya's eyes disappeared and turned orange again. Zhang Tuohai felt that the air around him was getting warmer again. Sure enough, orange represents stability. Zhang Tuohai had an idea in his mind. He helped Aya back to the car and two self-propelled machines came out and carried away his body back. As for the frozen coxcomb head, they also took it away together and used it as research material. The armored vehicle slowly left. The broom head in the distance was excited and scared when he saw all this. The excitement was that a new human being with great potential had been discovered. But the fear was that they would discover him on the spot and be eliminated together with his accomplices. After the armored vehicle went away, coxcomb head quickly got on his motorcycle and left. He wanted to rush back to the base and report the news to his boss. They are determined to win this powerful new human race. In the armored car, Aya stood up after resting for a while and said to Zhang Tuohai, Please bring my brother's body. I want to freeze his body to prevent it from rotting. Can! Zhang Tuohai immediately asked the self-propelled machine to carry Ah Wei's body over. After being carried over, Zhang Tuohai felt that the wounds on Ah Wei's body seemed to be much smaller. Aya was about to freeze the body when Zhang Tuohai quickly stopped her. Wait! Don't move yet! Huh? Aya stared straight at Zhang Tuohai, not understanding why he stopped her. And there was a little bit of crimson in her eyes. When Zhang Tuohai saw it, he was afraid that Aya would lose control on the spot. So he quickly explained, The wounds on the corpse are decreasing. I suspect that your brother has some super recovery ability. He may be able to resurrect. Don't rush to freeze it first. Let's see first. It depends on the situation. If it is really impossible to resurrect, it will not be too late to freeze it. Zhang Tuohai said. Aya lowered her head and glanced at Awei's body. A hole the size of a bowl had been carved out of his chest by the fireball. Now! The hole is much smaller, and the burnt skin that was ablated has disappeared, turning into pink and tender new flesh. Can it really be resurrected? Aya didn't believe this at first. But when she thought of her own frozen ability... She wanted to believe that her brother really had the ability to be resurrected. So she squatted on Awei's body. Beside, waiting quietly. However, while Awei was recovering, his body was losing weight at a speed visible to the naked eye. Awei originally had a thin body shape. But once he became so thin, he soon became skinny and bones. When Zhang Tuohai saw it, he thought to himself, Does recovery consume the energy stored in the body? 
However, according to Alway's size, it is estimated that the energy stored in the body will be exhausted before he can be resurrected. He immediately greeted, Don't leave it here. Send it to the medical cabin. Get more nutritional injections. And see if it can speed up recovery. Two self-propelled machines came over and sent Alway into the treatment warehouse. By the way, for large bottles of glucose were connected, and there was an injection in each limb. After receiving four bottles of glucose, Alway's weight loss slowed down significantly. About half an hour later, the wound on Alway's chest was completely healed. After another half hour, Alway slowly opened his eyes. Chapter 580 Discovery of Drones Where am I? Alway slowly sat up. Brother, it's great that you're okay. Aya suddenly pounced on Alway. Why are other people's sisters so nice? Zhang Tuohai saw the two of them looking like brothers and sisters, and couldn't help but think of the little devil in his own family. Every time I call brother, it's when I need pocket money. So, I really have the ability to resurrect? Alway asked still in disbelief. Although I repeated the story to him, he still couldn't believe it. Isn't it the best proof that you can sit here and talk properly? Zhang Tuohai said. By the way, what are your thoughts now? Have you thought about what to do in the future? This. Always scratched his head in distress. He is just a minor who has been living on the streets since he was a child and has not even graduated from middle school. He was only very familiar with the rules and situations of the nearby neighborhoods. But leaving his sphere of influence was clearly beyond his field of vision, leaving him somewhat at a loss for what to do. Moreover, the experience of being killed just now made him realize that the outside world seemed to be worse than the city. He just said a word and was killed. If it weren't for the ability to be resurrected, he might have been able to eat by now. Otherwise, you can stay here for a while. Aya's treatment will take a while anyway. You can also use this time to think about what to do in the future and whether there is anywhere to go. Zhang Tuhai said, Is there anything I can do? Awei asked. He was not used to eating and drinking for free and wanted to do something as a reward. If you really want to, could you give me some of your blood and tissue samples? Zhang Tuhai said. Of course. It's just a small amount. I'm very interested in your abilities and would like to extract some of your tissue samples for research. If you're worried, you can refuse. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. This, isn't it a slice? Awei asked cautiously. He had always heard rumors in the past that some perverted scientists would capture people with extraordinary abilities and then slice them up like sausages for study. How is that possible? Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but shook his head after hearing this. Let alone slicing. If you just tear off a piece of dead skin, it might be too thick. You must know that the microscope requires a light-transmitting tissue sample, as thick as a sausage. Oh, what can you see? Besides, in the absence of a control experimental group, will the isolated samples be directly killed? No one with any scientific literacy would do this. If that's the case, then I can do it. Alway thought for a moment and nodded in agreement. Without Dong to a high, he might be dead now. And Zhang Tuohai also promised to help him treat Aya's leukemia. Therefore, there seems to be nothing wrong with asking Zhang Tuohai to take some tissue samples for research. Moreover, Zhang Tuohai negotiated with them openly. Even if Zhang Tuohai did not discuss with them and just drew blood and took samples from them in the name of treatment needs, they would not be able to refuse at all. With the help of the two of them, Zhang Tuohai successfully obtained some tissue samples of their blood, hair, nails, skin, etc all of which were stored in petri dishes, waiting to be studied after Lilith was reincarnated. As for Aya and Away, their main task during this period is to recuperate. Aya is preparing for hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, while Away is recovering from the deficit caused by resurrection. At the lunch table, Zhang Tuohai watched the dishes such as stir-fried kidney with leeks, beef whip stew, grilled oysters, etc. He silently took off his shoes and slapped one size, but with the soles of his shoes. I asked you to make a big meal. Not a meal. Which one is it for? Wong Kai asked innocently. Forget it. Just follow the confinement confinement recipe. Zhang Tuai said. I can't. Wong Kai said. Wait a minute. I'm going to borrow a book. Zhang Tuai sent a private message to Xiao Wan Wan. Do you have any recipes for confinement care? Send one over. Xiao Wan Wan. Is it so fast? I remember it was only a month ago when I entered this world. Right. Is this the confinement period? Or is my sister-in-law coming in? No. Just to replenish the health of the two children. Zhang Tuai said. It's illegal to drive a stroller. 
even if you are my savior. Zhang Tuoha. After some explanations, Zhao Wanwan finally understood what happened. Then you can't eat confinement rice. There is too little salt, and it will be unpalatable. Zhao Wanwan said. Have you eaten it? Zhang Tuohai was curious. No. My sister has eaten it. I tasted it out of curiosity. But it didn't taste at all. I don't want to eat it a second time in my life. Well, I have a recipe for post-operative recovery that should work. Zhao Wanwan said, and sent a recipe book to Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai flipped through the recipe, and threw it to Wang Kai. Here. Take it and learn from it. Prosperous wealth is like finding a treasure. And you are ready to learn how to replenish your body with reed catkins and lay eggs every day. It is too hard to sit down before confinement. Siblings all weigh, and Aya looked stupidly at Wang Kai, who was flipping through recipes. Am I right? This dog can actually read recipes? Awei asked in disbelief. You are the dog. Your whole family is a dog. I am a desert fox. A purebred desert fox. Have you ever seen a dog with such a beautiful tail? Wang Kai said wagging his big fluffy tail that was almost as big as his body. This is what he is most proud of. Read your book. Zhang Tuohai hit him with a ham sausage. Wang Kai jumped up, grabbed the ham sausage, and then quickly returned to the high-end ecological park with the recipe. Now even animals have mutated and become so powerful. Awei asked in disbelief. It's just an example. Don't worry about it. Forget it. Let's eat first. If you are curious, you can ask it yourself when you have time. Zhang Tuohai picked up his chopsticks and started eating. In the afternoon, the car continued to move west-northwest. There is a joint pharmaceutical factory over there. And Zhang Tuohai is going to see if there is anything good there. Armored vehicles were speeding down the road. Suddenly, classmate Xiao Yai reminded, Commander, a small drone was spotted in the sky, flying from behind. We suspect someone is chasing us from behind. Huh? Zhang Tuohai turned the perspective of the spherical screen to the top of his head. Sure enough, there was a small propeller-type drone hovering overhead. Commander, do you want to take it down? Shall I asked. No. Let's first follow its transmission signal to find out where its owner is. Since he dares to send a drone to spy on me, I can't help but give him some kind of gift in return. Zhang Tuohai said, while touching the missile launch button, Chapter 581 The Anti-Tank Missile Flew Back. On the road. A huge RV was chasing him at a high speed on the road. Sister, if we catch up like this, will it be in vain? That guy has killed three to four hundred people. He is simply a demon king. With just the four of us, I'm afraid we are no match for him. Otherwise, we should contact the captain and the others. Well, there is always a better chance of success when there are more people. A fat man wearing a hoodie with a rim pattern asked while driving. Shut up and drive your car. A woman wearing a bad shirt and sunglasses scolded him coldly. But, the fat man opened his mouth and wanted to say something. But the woman had already pulled out an M500 and put it on the fat man's head. If you dare to let me hear even a word from your mouth again, I will let you 50 caliber bullet. This time I said it. Feeling the barrel of the gun on his head, the fat man wisely shut up. Fat man, you have too little eyesight. No wonder the eldest sister always puts a gun to her head. What kind of car is our eldest sister's head? Can it be the same as those trash? Our car is equipped with onboard radar, and there are drones. Even an anti-tank missile launcher. And all the equipment. How can it still not be able to deal with one person? Don't always say depressing words. If the luck of the eldest sister is ruined, we will all be unlucky. No one can run away. A housekeeper wearing black rimmed glasses pushed up his glasses and said, You should stop talking nonsense. Have you found the target? The woman in sunglasses said impatiently, The target has been found. It is five kilometers ahead, and is driving normally. Ajai pushed up his glasses and continued. Really? He didn't notice us. Did he? The woman in sunglasses quickly came behind Ajai and looked at the rows of monitors. On the monitor, an armored vehicle with a color similar to that of the road, and made of multiple edges and corners appeared on the monitor. This guy's model is very special. The radar reflective surface is very small. It is almost difficult for radar to lock on it. Moreover, the paint is almost the same as the color of the road. If the drone does not use the most advanced camera, I am afraid it is really it's hard to spot it. Ajai pointed at the screen and said, Can anti-tank missiles hit it? The sunglasses goddess looked a little excited. If this plan succeeds, she can realize her long-cherished wish. Under normal circumstances, it would be a bit difficult. However, with our drone guiding us over the target, we should be able to guide it to hit the target. 
A Shai pushed up his glasses and said, Then launch it immediately. I want to kill this guy. I want the real cat-eared maid. The girl in sunglasses said excitedly, That's right. Her long-cherished wish is to get a real maid with cat ears, who will obey her every word. If you have a mouth fetish, that would be great. She had made up her mind to beg for her wish to come true once she killed her target. Got it. Let's start the launch. A shy adjusted the attack parameters and then activated the launch button. A missile launcher slowly rose from the top of the RV and an anti-tank missile roared out from the launcher and was launched towards Zhang to a high's multi-purpose armored vehicle. However, before the missile was even halfway out, it fell to the ground. Boom! A cloud of smoke and dust rose up, blasting a large crater into the road. Ajai looked at everything happening in front of him stupidly, not even noticing that his eyes slid down his nose. What's going on? Why didn't the missile hit the target? The woman in sunglasses hit Ajai on the head with a knife. I... I don't know. It may be that the missile has malfunctioned. You know, our missiles are all moved from United Pharmaceuticals Warehouse. It is understandable that some of them failed due to lack of maintenance. Beads of sweat broke out on Ajai's head, trying hard to shirk responsibility. Anyway, the eldest sister doesn't know much about technical matters, so he can do a lot of tricks here. Then fire another one. They can't all be bad. Right, the girl in sunglasses said coldly. If you fail again, prepare to say goodbye to this world, the girl in sunglasses said, putting the M500 in her hand on Ajai's head. No, we will definitely not fail this time, as Ajai said. He rechecked the set parameters. After making sure there were no problems, he pressed the launch button again. Whoosh! Anti-tank missiles roared out of the launch tube. You must hit it! You must hit it! Ajai kept praying in his heart. After being fired, the anti-tank missile became slower and slower, and its trajectory became lower and lower. Are you going to fall again? Don't do it! Ajai felt that the power of the gun barrel on his head was increasing, as if the gunshot was going to sound next moment as if hearing Ajai's prayer. The speed of the anti-tank missile increased again. However, what frightened the Shai even more was that the anti-tank missile actually turned in a circle and flew towards him rapidly. Why did it come back? Seeing the anti-tank missiles getting bigger and bigger on the monitor, the girl in sunglasses was shocked. I... I don't know either. A Shai was dumbfounded. He didn't know why. The anti-tank missile actually flew back. He had never seen such a situation before and even the manual did not mention such a situation. What to do? Find a solution quickly, or we will all die. The girl in sunglasses shouted in horror. I'll give it a try. Ajai was heartbroken and pressed the launch button directly, launching the third anti-tank missile. They don't have close and defense guns or close and defense machine guns on their vehicles. They can only try their luck with anti-tank missiles. If they are lucky, they will survive. If they are not lucky, everyone will die together. At least it can support the target. However, the anti-tank missile exploded just as it broke through the launch tube. Not only did the anti-tank missile explode on its own, it also detonated the last anti-tank missile on the launcher. Boom! Boom! Two violent explosions exploded, tearing the huge RV roof into pieces. And the violent shock wave destroyed everything within reach. At this moment, the anti-tank missile that turned back also hit the RV. The entire RV was completely smashed into pieces. Zhang Tuohai in the distance saw all this clearly through a drone. This electronic warfare pod is quite easy to use. It can actually modify the missile parameters and target coordinates. It just needs data accumulation. Otherwise, the first missile may still fail. Zhang Tuohai thought secretly in his heart. The abnormalities in the anti-tank missiles just now were caused by Zhang Tuohai using the electronic warfare pod and the enhanced electronic warfare system. He could directly modify the parameters of these simple missiles and even make them turn around and attack their launchers directly. However, when using it, you need to crack the defense and encryption system of this missile first, and the number cannot be too many. With Xiao AI's current computing power, he can probably handle three to five missiles at the same time with all his strength. Any more in errors may occur. It seems that we need to find some servers, or even a supercomputer or something. Chapter 582 Alfonso appears. After killing the pursuer behind him, Zhang Tuohai drove back to the scene of the incident. 001 was dispatched to dismantle the vehicle to see if any drawings could be produced. In addition, he also wanted to see if he could find some clues. Zhang Tuohai found that no matter where he went, there seemed to be some players who could find him. Although there are more than 4,000 players opposite him, 
facing such a huge world. These people are simply a drop in the ocean. If you encounter it once or twice, it can be said to be a coincidence. But if it happens more than once, it clearly indicates that there is a problem. However, he watched 001 dismantle the car and check the scattered materials, but found no clues. However, 001, who was very lucky, actually disassembled two drawings in the car, one for the renovation of a luxury RV and one for the manufacturing of a luxury waterbed. These two blueprints are of little use to Zhang Tuahai, so much so that they can be sold to someone with relatively abundant supplies. Gone! Gone! Zhang Tuahai saw that there was nothing worth searching for. So he drove on. An hour later, a man riding a motorcycle parked his motorcycle nearby, twitching his nose and sniffing. Behind him, off-road vehicles parked on the roadside and waited quietly. How's it going? Did you find anything? A man wearing a stand-up collared windbreaker stepped out of a car and asked towards the broom head. If Zhang Tuahai were here, he would definitely recognize that this man is the NPC who replaced the player. Alfonso. Sir Alfonso, I can confirm that they stayed here and went ahead. The broom head pointed forward and said, Very good. Keep chasing them. If we can find them, I will give you credit and promise you an additional 30% of the supplies. Alfonso put his hands in the pockets of his windbreaker and said calmly, Thank you, Lord Alfonso. I will definitely try my best to find them. Even if they are hidden in a mouse hole, I will dig them out. The broom head expressed his loyalty repeatedly. Everyone, keep going and make sure to capture the new human alive. The off-road vehicles started up one by one and continued to chase forward. Zhang Tuohai continued to drive forward. After a while, classmate Xiao Yai said, Commander, according to the radar, there is a convoy chasing us. The target is us. Moreover, the opponent's speed is very fast. At this speed, they will catch up with us in an hour. Is there someone else? Zhang Tuohai frowned. Are you sure that the other party's target is us? Zhang Tuohai asked. We passed two intersections. And they chose the same intersection as us without any hesitation. The probability of coincidence is extremely low. How many cars are there? Zhang Tuohai asked. About 20 vehicles. Considering that some vehicles have small reflective surfaces and cannot be scanned by radar. Should drones be sent for monitoring? Classmate Xiao Yai asked. If it's a small drone, I'm afraid it will be discovered. Just use Rainbow 4. It cruises at an altitude of 4,000 meters, and it shouldn't be easily discovered. Even if it is discovered, there is nothing they can do. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while, and took out the aircraft summoner, and sent out the Rainbow 4 drone. Also, try to monitor their radio communications. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while, and added, If you are a player, this item is definitely useless. Players use regional channels, and team channels to communicate with each other. This is a program belonging to the game system and cannot be monitored. However, if it is a local NPC, they still need to use radio to communicate so that they will have a chance to listen. Although the odds are not high, John Tuahai is still willing to give it a try. There is no need to pay anything anyway, just in case it succeeds. The detected radio waves enveloped the sky above Alfonso's motorcade. John Tuahai was right in his bet. The team behind them had no awareness of radio silence. They chatted with their radios from time to time, and the specific conditions of each car were reported every half hour. Based on the reports from these people, Zhang Tuohai estimated that these people had a total of 23 vehicles, and the photos returned by the Rainbow 4 drone also confirmed this. Should we kill these people directly? Zhang Tuohai was thinking in his mind. At this moment, a voice came from the monitor. Boss Alfonso, we have been chasing for so long and still haven't caught up. Are we pursuing the broom in the wrong direction? No. I believe in his ability, and he will make no mistakes. Keep pursuing. A cold voice came. As you command. Lord Alfonso. There was radio silence. Alfonso? Is there Alfonso in the convoy? The conversation on the radio shocked Zhang to a high. He remembered that Alfonso was the name of the NPC hidden in the player. Is it the same name? Or is it the same person? Zhang Tuohai felt that he could not deal with the team behind him hastily. What if it is the real Alfonso hidden among the players? Being able to hide among the players without being discovered must be something special. So you have to be careful. Moreover, if possible, Zhang Tuohai wanted to catch them alive and force them to find out how they replaced the players and infiltrated the player group. In the future, there will also be a means of prevention. Otherwise, it would be troublesome to check the list every day. But how do we catch all these people in one fell swoop? 
Zhang Tuahai was a little troubled. The Rainbow Yuvi has only four precision-guided bombs, and combined with the weapons on his vehicle, it can launch eight Adez missiles in one round, plus a Hellfire missile, and at most one Cornet missile. However, these combined can only destroy 14 vehicles. The other party has 22 cars. Who knows which car Alfonso was in? Moreover, who knows what methods Alfonso has? If he fails in the first round and lets him run away, it will be difficult to catch him again. If you want to annihilate them in one fell swoop, you can only choose a good place to ambush. In addition, Zhang Tuohai asked classmate Xiao Yai to increase the intensity of the interception, trying to find which car Alfonso was in. Zhang Tuohai himself threw out several hand-thrown drones in succession, exploring the surroundings to find a suitable ambush location. After a careful search, Zhang Tuohai finally found a canyon 10 kilometers ahead. The canyon has a large belly and a small mouth. Like a bag, it is surrounded by cliffs. Once you enter, it will be difficult to get out. It's a good place to be. Zhang Tuohai was overjoyed and immediately reduced his speed and drove towards the valley. Moreover, he also specially selected a ground full of mud, leaving two obvious marks on the ground, for fear that those behind him would lose them. After entering the valley, Zhang Tuohai quickly started the propeller, and the car slowly flew above the cliff and hid in the woods. At the same time, he used the rainbow drone to monitor the movements of Alfonso's motorcade. Chapter 583 Valley Ambush Sir Alfonso! That guy is heading over there! The broomstick stopped the car where Zhang Tuohai left the road and pointed towards the valley not far away. Are you sure? Alfonso asked. I swear on my nose. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. The broom head looked like he was swearing. Lord Alfonso! Is this possible? A person next to him looked suspicious. It's getting dark. You should go camping in the canyon. It's a good thing to be vigilant. But don't be suspicious, Alfonso said as he looked at the sun that was about to set below the horizon. That's right. No matter how strong that guy is, he can only have one person. However, there are so many of us, and we are all new humans. How can we still not be able to deal with him? A loser abandoned by the times? You? You are too much it's timid, the broomhead said with disdain. Then why did you come back in such a mess? You even lost one of your shoes, the man retorted. I was in a hurry to deliver a message to Mr. Alfonso, the broomhead said, scratching his neck. The two men were at each other's throats, and the smell of gunpowder became stronger and stronger. Okay, shut up. Prepare your weapons, and prepare to attack. Remember, don't use heavy weapons. The little girl must be captured alive, and the rest of the people must be captured alive or dead, Alfonso said coldly. Yes, everyone agreed with a loud voice immediately went back to prepare their weapons, and then drove towards the valley. The convoy drove quietly into the valley, and everyone was ready to fight. Looking at the narrow valley, the broomhead showed excitement on his face. Hey, you're lucky to have found such a good place. As long as I find a car to block the road. Let's see where you go. When the last car entered the valley, suddenly, a series of missiles struck from the sky. Three missiles were aimed at the three leading vehicles in front and the remaining missiles were all aimed at the vehicles behind. Enemy attack! The lead vehicle discovered the missile, and immediately took out the walkie-talkie and shouted. However, he was shocked to find that the originally clear walkie-talkie was full of rustling electric sounds, as if it had been interfered by something, and no signal could be sent out. Fight back quickly! Fight back quickly! The lead vehicle ignored the notification behind, and controlled the entire craft machine gun to counterattack the missile, hoping to knock the missile down. However, the missile speed is much faster than their reaction speed. Before a few bullets were fired, the Adaz missile hit their vehicle. Boom! A ball of orange-red fire rose up. The car burst into flames, and the people inside turned into charred corpses. Boom! Boom! A series of explosions went up in the convoy. Two of the three lead vehicles were killed, and one was just lucky enough to hit the missile's warhead with one shot and was not killed by the first round of strikes. However, the remaining vehicles were not so lucky. They were hit by Adaz missiles and turned into crematoriums. One of the most unlucky vehicles was directly hit by the ammunition depot and exploded. Not even the body was left. Everything turned into ashes. The exploded car stopped in the middle of the road, blocking the roads in front and behind. Zhang Tuohai, who was afraid that he would not be able to block the road, even deployed two missiles to attack the mountain wall. Boom! Along with the explosion, a lot of gravel fell from the top of the mountain forming a huge stone block. 
completely blocking the road. Quick! Get out of the car and get out of here first! Alfonso jumped out of the car and waved to the survivors to evacuate immediately. He already understood that he was ambushed. The plan was so thorough that the first round of strikes wiped out his own vanguard and rear guard convoys. This was to trap his own people here. In addition, the falling gravel made it impossible for the cars to move at all. Moreover, the opponent's attack was so intensive. So he was obviously well prepared. It was obviously not something that a single vehicle could do. It was very likely that an ambush had been set up in advance. If he was overwhelmed by the enemy's army, it would be too late for him to escape. For the current plan, we can only throw away the car and heavy equipment. Escape from the valley first. And then worry about it. People in the vehicles that were not attacked saw Alfonso's greeting and immediately got out of their cars to escape from the valley. At this time, two armed helicopters blocked both sides of the valley. They started firing Adaz missiles at the crowd and activated their Gatling guns. Da da da. Gatling's metal storm swept across the valley. And everyone in the valley fell to the ground. Damn guy! Seeing his men fall to the ground one after another, Alfonso was heartbroken. These people were all carefully selected by him from among thousands of subordinates. Each one had a special ability. They should have become the core fighting force for conquering a land. However, they died in this unknown place so obscurely. In the valley. I must find you and tear you into pieces. Alfonso's eyes became fierce. And he kept scanning the surroundings, trying to find the other party. Suddenly, he caught a glimpse of a strange-looking armored vehicle parked there on the cliff opposite, with a missile launcher on the roof. Got you! Two huge bat wings stretched out from Alfonso's back, and with a fierce blow, he rushed into the sky. He rushed in the direction of Zhang Tuohai. His hands turned into sharp claws more than a foot long. Alfonso has done experiments and found that these claws are so sharp that they can even directly scratch the front armor of an armored vehicle. He has full confidence that as long as he gets close to him, he can directly kill the culprit of all this, and even take the little girl away to improve his life level. By then, the world can be controlled at will he soars. However, just when he flew near the armored vehicle, he was about to pounce on it and tear open the opponent's front armor in one fell swoop. He suddenly saw something like a camera pointed at him. What is it? A monitor? Alfonso ignored it and was about to continue his actions. Unexpectedly, he saw a dazzling light and then felt a stinging pain in his body and his body fell downwards involuntarily. Ninja Alfonso looked back in pain and was shocked to find that there was a hole in his huge bat wing at some point and the edge of the hole was full of burnt marks. Alfonso flashed his bat wings desperately to maintain his balance and try his best to slow down his falling speed. Otherwise, he would probably fall to his death. Fortunately, the hole was not big. Alfonso managed to maintain his balance and slowly landed on the ground. However, it was impossible to fly. He looked angrily at the crash car on the cliff. His eyes filled with angry flames. At this time, an armed helicopter flew over hovering not far from him, and aimed Gatlin at him. Don't move unless you want to turn into meat paste. Chapter 584 News About Alfonso Okay, I surrender. Don't kill me. I'm willing to surrender. You can do whatever you want me to do. As long as you keep me alive. Alfonso put away his claws, showing a look of greed for life and fear of death. However, he was secretly prepared to kidnap the rightful owner as soon as he appeared and escort him out of here. After seeing Alfonso being controlled, Zhang Tuohai controlled the armored vehicle and flew down from the cliff, slowly landed in front of Alfonso, looking at the armored vehicle parked in front of him. Alfonso's eyes almost popped out. An armored vehicle could actually fly. If it hadn't actually appeared in front of him, he wouldn't have believed it even to death. However, this only increased the greed in his heart. If we grab this armored vehicle, wouldn't it be easier to escape from here? Alfonso wrote one more entry in the little notebook in his heart. Be careful. He is going to coerce you while you are out and steal a vehicle to escape from here. Just when Zhang Tuohai was about to go out to interrogate Alfonso, the prompt system suddenly popped up. Is this guy still unwilling to give up after being pointed at by Gatling? Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but raise his eyebrows when he saw this. However, since the prompt system has prompted it, it means that the other party has the strength to do it and has to guard against it. Zhang Tuohai sat back on the chair and picked up the loudspeaker. You are my prisoner now. Tell me your name. Seeing that Zhang Tuohai didn't come out, Alfonso felt a little disappointed. But he was not discouraged. He believed that as long as he behaved respectfully enough, he would definitely find an opportunity. He adjusted his expression, put one hand on his chest, 
bowed deeply to Zhang Tuohai, and said with a respectful expression, Alfonso pays tribute to you, and is willing to offer you my loyalty and greetings. Oh, I injured you and destroyed your convoy. Don't you hate me? Zhang Tuohai asked with a smile. Hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, Alfonso's heart felt as if someone had stabbed him with a knife. That was the family fortune he had worked so hard to accumulate. Most of it was destroyed in the blink of an eye. He wanted to tear Zhang Tuohai into pieces. The fragments relieved the hatred in his heart. However, the situation in front of him was stronger than the person. So he still smiled. How could it be? I believe that only the strong can get everything. If you can defeat me, you can get everything. Including my loyalty. Alfonso said calmly. Oh, really? In that case, I'll give you a chance to show your loyalty. If it satisfies me, I'll give you a chance to be loyal to me. Zhang Tuohai threw out the carrot. He knew that if he wanted to get information from Alfonso, he had to give him some hope. Please show me that your loyal servant Alfonso will do his best to do it. Alfonso said immediately and respectfully. First question. How did you find me? Zhang Tuohai asked. It's one of my subordinates. He saw you outside the United Pharmaceutical Base. And the little girl next to you. The little girl is very talented and is very important to us. His nose is very good. As long as he smells, he could be found by a scent. He returned to our camp and found me. And then I led my men here. Alfonso behaved like a loyal servant. Telling many relevant things directly without Zhang Tuohai asking. Looking very loyal. Are they actually coming for Aya? Zhang Tuohai was stunned. He thought these people were also following Moriarty's orders to hunt him down. What are you looking for her for? Zhang Tuohai asked. Her potential is very high. According to some experiments by United Pharmaceuticals, the potential genes in her body can be extracted and made into medicine. After we take it, our potential will be greatly improved. And our strength will be greatly improved. And we will eventually become a perfect new humanity. Alfonso said with a look of longing. It turns out to be making potions. After hearing what Alfonso said, Zhang Tuohai found a reason why United Pharmaceuticals released the virus globally. Find people with high potential through large-scale infection. Capture these people, study them, and make them into medicines. So that the top elites of United Pharmaceuticals can become new humans. So that's it. So if you catch her, where are you going to send her? Zhang Tuohai asked. He was sure that this was another clue to the Joint Pharmaceutical Laboratory. If he could find it, he might gain a lot. In a remote place? I don't remember that place. But it is recorded on the map. Alfonso said. Where's the map? I was put in the camp in a hurry when I came out. Alfonso said respectfully. If you don't mind, I can take you there and take out the map. There are more than 30 new humans in the camp. If you need them, I can let them work for you. In addition, I also store a large amount of supplies and various weapons there. If you need them, I can give them to you. You? Alfonso said respectfully. Where is your camp? By the way, why did you set up the camp? Are you going to look for supplies on the road? Zhang Tuohai asked. It's 100 kilometers to the west. Not very far from here. As for setting up a camp, this was Mr. Moriarty's order. He just asked us to set up a camp. And he didn't say why. And we didn't dare ask. You know, after all, he is like that. Alfonso said, showing a look of fear. At the same time, he felt bursts of joy in his heart. And he felt that he was about to succeed. As long as Zhang Tuohai is greedy for the camp, he will have won half the battle. When he returns to the camp, there are countless ways to fight back. Or at worst, he can escape. Thinking of this, an imperceptible smile appeared on Alfonso's lips. It's Moriarty again. He's really lingering. Zhang Tuohai thought to himself. He felt that he had to find a way to cut off the other party's tentacles that extended into the game. Otherwise, it would not be an option to continue to entangle him like this. Last question. After asking it, we will go to receive your camp. John Tuohai said calmly, how to obtain the identity of a player. Of course I got their car. Alfonso suddenly froze in the middle of saying it. He felt that he was a little carried away and was actually tricked. What are you talking about? We are just players. How can we get an identity? Alfonso tried to argue. Duh, duh, duh. The sound of a Gatling gun rang out. Alfonso's body was instantly beaten into a sieve. Alfonso fell down with unwillingness in his eyes. It was obvious that he could succeed. He could escape from here immediately. He could even fight back. But suddenly his identity was revealed. And everything was in vain. Until his death. Alfonso did not understand where he was exposed. 
Chapter 585, Sneak Attack on the Camp Unidentified Aircraft Zhang Tuohai dispersed 001 and many self-propelled machines. In addition to dismantling the vehicles, they were also given another task, which was to collect the bodies. These people brought by Alfonso are all mutated and can maintain their consciousness and will not become monsters. They are what they call new humans. They all have more or less superpowers. Zhang Tuohai is very interested in this and wants to collect more as research materials for Lilith to study and understand. If Lilith can create a safe potion, maybe one day he can also have superpowers. Who doesn't want to gain supernatural energy? However, Zhang Tuohai did not dare to keep all of these people's bodies because he was afraid that these people would have resuscitation abilities similar to all ways. He just cut off a small part from each person, put it in a petri dish, and kept it for research. The rest was thrown into the medicine-making machine to make a genetic medicine. He didn't believe that these people could be resurrected after being modified by the pharmaceutical machine. Zhang Tuohai has dozens more cans of genetic medicine in his hand. According to the description, as long as he eats them, he can gain corresponding superpowers. However, Zhang Tuohai didn't dare. Lilith said that these medicines have some side effects, and the prompt system also reminded him not to use them. After persuasion from both parties, Zhang Tuohai gave up the idea of using these potions. He is now more and more anxiously looking forward to Lilith being reincarnated and coming back soon. While the self-propelled machinery was busy, Zhang Tuohai took the opportunity to check the situation of the regional channel. Still everyone talks. He expected this. But one thing that made him angry was that killing these new humans actually increased his reputation. Now his red name value has exceeded 500. Reaching red name LD2 516-2000 the progress bar is already a quarter of the way through. If this continues, I will be dragged down to LD3 by these damn guys sooner or later. Can you give me a few less lives? Zhang Tuohai looked helplessly at the rising red reputation. Zhang Tuohai was searching for things here. Zhang Tuohai took the time to ask a Gulfstream passenger plane to check a place a hundred kilometers away. There was indeed a camp. However, the imaging equipment of Gulfstream was not as good as the Rainbow UAV. So the specific situation could not be seen clearly. It seems that we have to get a few professional drones to use them in turn. Otherwise, it will be a bit uncomfortable to get stuck on the CD. Looking at the cooling time of the rainbow drone, Zhang Tuohai felt a little sore. After more than 20 minutes, 001 led many self-propelled machines to clean up the battlefield and also produce some drawings, including off-road vehicle modification drawings, anti-aircraft machine gun manufacturing drawings, vehicle-mounted howitzer manufacturing drawings and the like. Sean Takumi was of no use and was thrown into the pile of blueprints, waiting to be sold. After packing up, Zhang Tuohai decided to travel overnight to pick up the camp Alfonso left behind, lest those people catch up again and avenge Alfonso and cause trouble for himself. The journey of more than 100 kilometers only takes about an hour for Zhang Tuohai. We soon arrived at the camp location. Alfonso's camp was built on a hill, surrounded by walls built of stone and steel plates, with some machine gun towers on top. The defense was obviously much worse than that of the camp established by the White Bear Regiment. Inside the wall, there are some houses built along the hills, and some cars parked in a haphazard manner. On the top of the hill, a small fort was built, and there was actually a 304mm naval gun on the fort. The naval gun is mounted on a rotating base, and can support the camp in any direction at any time. The lights were still on in several houses, and the sound of drinking and playing cards could be heard faintly. Undefended? Great. Zhang Tuohai rubbed his hands and took out the individual cloud explosive bombs. He sent dozens of self-propelled machines, each carrying two bombs, to circle around the camp. Subsequently, under Zhang Tuohai's order, these cloud bombs were fired into the camp together. The entire camp's oxygen was instantly burned away. The temperature also rises rapidly, as long as people are not protected in advance and have oxygen bottles on their backs. They will suffocate. Coma and die within tens of seconds. The self-propelled machines carried Gatling and rushed into the camp. They don't need oxygen to breathe, nor do they need oxygen to support combustion. And they can walk freely in this hell on earth. From time to time, Gatling's gunshots were heard in the camp, which was the sound of self-propelled machines replenishing their guns. After a while, the self-propelled machines came out with corpses one after another. Under a calculated and unintentional sneak attack, these people had no room to resist, and turned into corpses on the ground. After making potions and test materials as usual, Zhang Tuohai also walked into the camp to search. 
Zhang Tuohai found several warehouses and rummaged through them, and found that they were full of canned food, bullets, and some rocket launchers. There were no extra guns. They were probably all carried. This level of harvest was almost nothing for Zhang Tuohai. He went directly to the largest house in the camp. This is a suite with a bedroom and a living room, as well as a separate bathroom and water tank. It can be called a luxury in such a simple camp. Zhang Tuohai entered the room. In the living room were a sofa, a coffee table, and an exquisite black tea set. There are several huge porcelain bottles placed in the corner as decorations. Quite particular. Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly and entered the bedroom inside. In the bedroom, there is a desk with several pieces of paper covering it, depicting some roots and some special symbols. Zhang Tuohai took out the electronic map for comparison and found that it was exactly the map of the nearby area. Zhang Tuohai matched the Peugeots on the electronic map one-to-one -one with the special symbols on the map and quickly grasped the meaning of these symbols. Then, he picked out the symbols representing United Pharmaceuticals and matched them one by one with the marks on the electronic map. Sure enough, he found a secret stronghold of United Pharmaceuticals on this map that was not marked on the electronic map. This is probably the place. Zhang Tuohai had some calculations in his mind. The value of a secret stronghold is usually much higher than that of an ordinary factory. Zhang Tuohai decided to go and have a look. Just when Zhang Tuohai was about to continue searching, the bracelet on his hand suddenly rang. Commander, the radar shows that a small convoy of five vehicles is approaching. The radar also captured a target. It is initially judged that it is an aircraft and will arrive at the camp soon. Is someone coming? And a flying transmitter? Zhang Tuohai's heart moved and he quickly asked. Can the type be determined based on electromagnetic signals? Can electromagnetic interference be carried out or even control be seized? Zhang Tuohai asked as he took out the aircraft hailer. He was ready to send a Harrier plane to kill the aircraft if he couldn't control it. Chapter 586 Driving Away Wolves and Devouring Tigers Identifying The target is an MQ-1 Predator UAV. Tried to interfere. The interference was successful. Tried to control. The control was successful. Successfully captured an MQ-1 Predator UAV. Carrying two Hellfire missiles. Query the original target of the attack was an armored vehicle. Classmate Xiao Ai quickly resumed the report. Did the capture really succeed? Zhang Tuohai was overjoyed when he heard classmate Xiao Ai's report. He originally planned to give it a try. But he didn't expect it to be successful. The target of the attack is an armored vehicle. So the target of this drone is my armored vehicle. It seems that these people are coming for me. Activate the concealment effect. Hack into their radar. Create false targets on their radar. And create the illusion that we are moving north at high speed. John Tuohai walked out as he spoke. Clear. Xiao Yai activated the electronic combat system. Activated all channel electromagnetic suppression. Invaded the opponent's radar. And simulated the light spot of an armored vehicle. Which was traveling rapidly northward. Boss. The drone lost contact and was probably shot down. The target is moving north at high speed and seems to have discovered us. Do you want to continue sending the drone swarm to attack? Five kilometers away. A man sitting in front of the radar in an anti-tank guided missile vehicle said. He is worthy of being wanted by all regional channels. With two brushes, the Predator drones I bought at a high price were actually shot down. Even when being attacked by a sneak attack, I was able to successfully shoot down the Predators. It seems that he has a complete air defense system. So don't send drones to kill him. We will directly use vehicle-mounted artillery to kill him. The leader said calmly while holding the teacup. However, our fire control system cannot reach targets that far away. The player controlling the radar felt helpless. Then send the Global Hawk out and let it guide the artillery. The leader said while holding the teacup. By the way, fly higher and don't let them shoot down again. I understand. The player controlling the radar began to fly the Global Hawk unmanned reconnaissance aircraft. Commander, they released the Global Hawk reconnaissance drone. Classmate Xiao Yai said. Can it be intercepted? Zhang Tuohai almost stood up. The Global Hawk can almost be said to be the top-notch unmanned reconnaissance aircraft. It has long endurance, large range, high ceiling, good camera imaging effect, and high transmission rate. It is a very complete unmanned reconnaissance aircraft. If you can get it if so, he can let Rainbow 4 and Global Hawk take turns, stagger the CDs, and ensure that there is always a drone monitoring in the sky. In this way, his monitoring range will be greatly improved, and his security will also skyrocket. I can try it. It's similar to the encryption method used by the MQ-1 Predator. The probability of success is high. The server buzzed, 
and Xiao AI devoted the remaining computing power to cracking the encrypted information. Although it only lasted a few dozen seconds, it felt like a century to Zhang Tuohai. How was it? Was it successful? Zhang Tuohai asked quickly when he heard the hum of the server disappear. Successful. Now I have secretly taken over the control of Global Hawk. What do I need to do? Classmate Xiao Yai asked. Zhang Tuohai looked at the electronic map, measured it, and suddenly had an idea. Don't let them discover that you control the Global Hawk first. First, control the light spots on the radar to escape from their artillery range. Guide them to the secret base of United Pharmaceuticals and use their artillery fire to clear the obstacles for us. Let them go their own way. Zhang Tuohai made a decision. Understood. Xiao Yai immediately accelerated the movement speed of the light spot on the opponent's radar, which represented Zhang Tuohai, and soon escaped the optimal range of the artillery. Boss, that guy suddenly accelerated and left our optimal shooting range. Do you want to forcefully shoot? The player controlling the radar asked. The leader moved the tea leaves with the lid, took a sip, and slowly shook his head. No. If you shoot by force, the power and accuracy will be unsatisfactory. It has no meaning except a waste of shells. His sudden acceleration will definitely not we will keep up. Follow him with the global hawk. See where he is going. And kill him in one fell swoop when he can no longer run. Boss is wise. The radar operator immediately conveyed the order. And at the same time, controlled the global hawk to follow the light spot. However, he didn't know that the control of Global Hawk had fallen into Zhang Tuohai's hands. What he saw was what Zhang Tuohai wanted him to see. How can I feel like I'm offending someone else when I control someone else's drone to do things for me? A strange idea suddenly came to Zhang Tuohai's mind. He shook his head to get rid of this thought. And quietly followed the opponent's convoy in an armored vehicle. When Alfonso established the camp, he considered the convenience of sending people in exchange for medicines. So he directly established the camp near the secret stronghold of United Pharmaceuticals. Under normal circumstances, it only takes more than half an hour to drive to get there. They accelerated their driving. And it only took them more than 20 minutes to arrive near the secret base of United Pharmaceuticals. This secret stronghold is an abandoned village. United Pharmaceuticals bulldozed the houses around the village, transformed the central church into a secret stronghold, and set up some defenses on the outside. At this time, Global Hawk had arrived over the secret stronghold and passed the information about the secret stronghold to Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai flipped through the layout of the secret stronghold and marked several firepower points and key points of fortifications. These are the places. Let them demolish them all. Clear. Xiao Yai moved the blip representing Zhang Tuohai's car on the radar to the inside of the stronghold and then stopped. Boss, the target has stopped moving. He is probably resting. The radar operator shouted. My guess was indeed good. I checked the coordinate information and asked the Global Hawk to guide the artillery to attack. The leader said slowly while holding the teacup. The radar operator immediately began to query Zhang to a high's coordinates. And Global Hawk immediately transmitted the coordinates of a firepower point back. Everyone listen to my instructions. Coordinates are 112.993. Fire two salvos. Prepare and fire. Boom. Boom. The various artillery in the convoy roared and the shells streaked across the sky like meteors, hitting the firepower point of the secret stronghold. Boom! Boom! Explosion sounded in the stronghold. A firepower point was directly blown to pieces, and even a section of the high wall collapsed. What happened? The commander in the secret stronghold asked. The stronghold was attacked by artillery. The area of suspicion has been demarcated. Do you want to launch a counterattack? Immediately carry out a comprehensive attack on the suspected area. The attacker must not be allowed to leave alive. I want to see who dares to attack the secret stronghold of United Pharmaceutical. The commander of the stronghold said coldly. Chapter 587 Thanks to Lao Tai for the rocket. Following the instructions from the commander of United Pharmaceutical's secret stronghold, all the defense facilities in the entire stronghold were activated, targeting the area where the target may exist. The elements were fired according to the pre-marked shots and began to cover the area. Boom! Boom! The artillery roared and missiles streaked across the sky. The secret stronghold was established with the issue of being attacked in mind. The setting of defensive firepower is also very particular. One or two rounds of firepower coverage can completely blow up a pre-mark area. Areas were plowed by artillery. With trees toppled and debris flying, the sneak attack convoy happened to be within the attack range. Listening to the explosions one after another around him, the leader of the convoy dropped the teacup in his hand. He pulled the radar operator's collar and asked, How did you do this? 
Why is the opponent's firepower so strong? Did you set the wrong target? It's definitely not wrong. I have indeed locked the target. There is no mistake at all. The radar operator was also puzzled. He followed the instructions step by step. He didn't understand what happened. Problem. However, at this time, I definitely cannot admit that it is my problem. Could it be that guy noticed that we started to fight back? After all, he is being rewarded by all regional channels. So it is understandable that the firepower is stronger. The radar operator tried to explain. That's understandable. The convoy leader scolded angrily. Listen to the sound of cannons outside. There are at least 30 of them. As well as missiles. Is this the scale of firepower that one vehicle can have? Our camp doesn't have this kind of firepower. Level of firepower. You must have set the wrong target. It's all your fault that the team fell into this dangerous situation. Boss, I think it's too early to discuss who is at fault. Let's retreat first. This firepower is too strong. If they come back again, we will probably be doomed, said the radar operator. No, this is the most likely opportunity to leave. I won't give up no matter what. Start all your firepower immediately and fight back. The leader of the convoy's eyes were red. And he was obviously in trouble. Madman! The radar operator cursed. Then turned around and ran out of the car. He knew that if he stayed any longer, he would definitely be blown up by the enemy's artillery. Even if he succeeded in killing the target, the only one who could leave the game was the leader himself, who had nothing to do with him. Why should I risk my life for the chance of the leader to escape? If you have to fight it yourself, I won't accompany you. The radar operator thought and ran towards the car door. Boom! A gunshot rang out. A bloody hole appeared in the back of the radar operator's head. And a Glock pistol appeared in the leader's hand. Traitors! They are all traitors! And they actually want to defect! Huh? They are all unreliable losers! In the end, I have to do it myself! The leader of the convoy turned on the switch and pressed the button for full fire. Boom! Boom! Various weapons on the RV were fired at extreme speeds. And United Pharmaceuticals' secret stronghold was also stunned by this intensive salvo. They never expected that under such a powerful blow, the enemy would still dare to fight and try to fight back. The most critical thing is that, caught off guard, they lost four gun positions and six howitzers were completely blown up. Even the stored ammunition on one of the gun emplacements was detonated, triggering a small explosion and an orange-red mushroom cloud rising up. For the secret stronghold, this loss can be said to be a serious injury. Counterattack! Use all your firepower! I will send all these insects to the sky. The commander of the secret stronghold roared angrily. Buzz, buzz, buzz. The red warning light flashed. A missile silo was slowly opened. And a Tomahawk cruise missile poked its head out. Target. E-28. Area N-133. Launch. Call. A Tomahawk cruise missile pierced the sky. The leader of the convoy was looking excitedly at the mushroom cloud rising from the secret stronghold. He glanced at the radar operator's body and snorted coldly. Humph! You coward! You still want to escape! How can I escape with such strong firepower? He walked over, pulled up the radar operator's body, opened the car door, and headed in the direction of the secret stronghold. Look! You should look at it! I seriously injured that guy with one shot! And you actually still running away? What a coward! Facts have proved that I was right! You are just a coward who can only run away! The leader of the convoy shouted excitedly. However, at this moment, he suddenly felt a bright light appear on his head. He raised his head suddenly and saw a huge cruise missile landing rapidly. The target is exactly where he is. Grass! The convoy leader threw the radar operator's body aside and prepared to drive away. However, it was too late. Boom! Before he could take a step, a Tomahawk cruise missile hit his car. The huge RV turned into ashes in an instant. Several cars gathered around him were also blown to pieces by violent explosions. The entire area formed a vacuum zone hundreds of square meters in diameter. All the trees were blown down by the shock wave. Cars were turned into pieces. And everything was burning. Bodies. Trees. Vehicles. The entire area was uprooted and completely leveled. An entire convoy. No one survived. It's finally quiet. The commander of the secret stronghold looked at the flames burning in the distance and nodded with satisfaction. He said to the people around him. Cancel the light blackout. Count the losses immediately. And redeploy defenses to prevent another sneak attack. However, before he could finish his words, a precision-guided bomb fell from the sky. Fell to his feet. Boom. 
the commander of the secret stronghold was blown to ashes. Subsequently, three more precision-guided bombs fell one after another. These precision-guided bombs are very accurate, and they all land on the core facilities of secret strongholds, anti-aircraft missile sites, anti-tank missile sites, and radars, especially the anti-tank missile positions. In order to counterattack, a large number of missiles were dragged out and placed near the launchers. After this precision-guided bomb went down, it directly detonated piles of missiles. Broken shrapnel flew across the secret stronghold, and the staff were harvested in pieces. There were violent explosions everywhere in the secret stronghold, and for a while the entire secret stronghold became a hell on earth. Zhang Tuohai saw all this clearly through Rainbow 4. Thank you Lao Tai for sending me the rocket, which helped me eliminate an enemy. To thank Lao Tai, I will give back two planes, Zhang Tuohai said as he retrieved the Rainbow drone and sent out two armed helicopters. Chapter 588 Potion At this time, the secret stronghold of United Pharmaceutical was already a sea of fire, and most of the personnel were killed on the spot by the previous explosion. Most of the remaining people were injured to varying degrees and lay on the ground wailing. A small number of survivors are picking up the pieces, trying to put out the fire and clean up the mess. However, while they were busy, two armed helicopters had quietly arrived over the area. Whoosh whoosh. A barrage of missiles fired towards the remaining targets. A series of explosions were triggered again in the secret stronghold. At this time, the fire inside the secret stronghold was soaring into the sky, with thick smoke and blazing flames everywhere, and the stronghold had turned into a sea of fire. Zhang Tuohai lay on the command chair, looking at the blazing flames outside, and at the same time threw twelve hand-thrown drones around for reconnaissance. After a thorough search, Zhang Tuohai could conclude that the drones sent to attack his convoy and the secret base of United Pharmaceutical were completely wiped out in this doggy -e dog battle. As the initiator, Zhang Tuohai only spent a little ammunition to finish it off. Definitely a huge win on all levels. Looking at this rich victory, Zhang Tuohai's mind became active. Can we expand this combat mode? Use the advantages of electronic countermeasures to guide the enemy to fight. And hide aside to reap the benefits? In this way, since it is safe, ammunition is saved. And there is no loss if it fails. It seems the prospects are good. Zhang Tuohai held his chin, thinking about the advantages of this fighting method, and wanted to carry it forward. After more than two hours, the flames inside the secret stronghold gradually extinguished. The fire was put out not because of the firefighting facilities in the stronghold, but because there was nothing left to burn. Zhang Tuohai drove into the secret stronghold. At this time, there were still many scattered embers of fire inside the secret stronghold, and the billowing smoke had not completely dissipated. The ground was burning hot, and the air was filled with a burnt smell. It's really tragic. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the surrounding situation, then drove his car and directly opened the door and rushed into the church. Bodies were everywhere inside the church. However, most of these people did not die directly from the explosion. Most of them were seriously injured and died without treatment after being transported here. Some of them died from suffocation by the thick smoke. Zhang Tuohai released dozens of self-propelled machines and ordered them to kill all remaining enemies. And he himself began to search the church. There is nothing in the church hall. Most of the things have been moved away. Several emergency fortifications have been built with sandbags and anti-blast shields. But there are no people on duty. In other words, everyone who could keep watch died outside. Zhang Tuohai bypassed the fortifications and came to the back of the hall, where there were two doors on the left and right. On the left is a simple kitchen, which stores some food and a large number of kitchen utensils. After entering the side hall on the right, there is a spiral downward staircase. Zhang Tuohai took the self-propelled machine down the stairs to the basement. The basement was unusually spacious and filled with various testing facilities. Several people in white coats were busy. One of them glanced at Zhang Tuohai and said impatiently, Wait a moment. The potion will be ready soon. At this time, the machine inside made a roaring sound. Zhang Tuohai looked inside and saw several metal cages sliding out from hidden compartments along the tracks. There are several people inside each metal cage, constantly beating the cage and shouting, Let us out. It can be seen through the cage that the appearance of those people is somewhat different from ordinary people. Some have scales attached to their bodies. Some have cat ears on their heads. Some drag lizard tails. And some have a pair of ears on their heads. Demonic horns. Suddenly, the bottom of a cage opened. The people inside were caught off guard and fell into an open box below. Then screams and shouts came from the box. And blood spattered out. A few seconds later, screams had stopped. 
and bottles of medicine were brought out from the conveyor belt and neatly packed into boxes and stacked. What are you doing standing there stupidly? Hurry up and help transport the medicine away. A man in a white coat yelled loudly when he saw Zhang Tuohai standing still. Kill them. Zhang Tuohai said to the self-propelled machine beside him. Zero Zero One raised his Gatling gun and started firing. Da da da. A series of bullets swept through. And many researchers in white coats fell to the ground. Go and throw their corpses into the machine. Don't you like to turn others into potions? Then make them into potions too. Zhang Tuohai said in a somewhat unkind tone. Although he would also throw corpses into the machine and extract genes to make potions. 99% of them were the corpses of mutated creatures or ordinary animals. And only a small part were the corpses of enemies. It turns out that these people are not good at all. It is really no bottom line to directly use living people. Zhang Tuohai feels that compared with these people. He is still conscientious. Buzz buzz. The machine roared and started running. After a while. Several boxes of medicine appeared on the conveyor belt. Zhang Tuohai picked up a bottle and a line of game prompts popped up. Failed mutation potion cannot produce any physical mutation after use. And there is a certain chance of being infected with prions. Rubbish! Zhang Tuohai threw away the potion casually. What's the use of this thing? At this time, he looked up at the cages still hanging above. The people in the cage looked at him with horrified eyes. After all, what he just did seemed no different from those in white coats. Zhang Tuohai didn't bother to pay attention to them and just threw a chainsaw into a cage. As for whether they can escape from the cage, that is their own business. Zhang Tuohai continued to rummage in the laboratory. In the laboratory, he found a cold storage, which contained many prepared mutation potions. Zhang Tuohai took a rough look and found that the ones that could be placed in the cold storage were considered high-quality products. Some can make muscles as hard as steel. Some can increase the body's reaction speed by 500%. And some can give people the ability to have infrared night vision. Zhang Tuohai even saw a bottle that can give people telekinesis and the ability to control objects from a distance. According to the instructions, a coin can be controlled to move within a range of 20 meters near the body. Zhang Tuohai was moved by the last bottle he saw. If there were no unknown side effects, Zhang Tuohai would have taken it on the spot. Zhang Tuohai immediately put away these potions properly and prepared to study them for Lilith to see if he could come up with a harmless version. At this moment, there was a clang and the cage was sawed open. Chapter 589 The Enemy of My Enemy is My Friend Zhang Tuohai looked back and saw that the metal cages hanging on the side rails had been sawed open. And the mutants inside got out. They are grateful to Zhang Tuohai, the savior who freed them. However, they looked at the corpses on the ground and the self-propelled machine with live ammunition next to Zhang Tuohai. They were very frightened and stood there cowering. Seeing these people, Zhang Tuohai's heart moved and he took two steps forward and asked, Where are you from? And why were you caught here by United Pharmaceuticals? Everyone looked at each other. And finally a relatively sturdy middle-aged man was pushed out as the representative. This middle-aged man's whole body was covered in muscles. At this moment, two long tentacles appeared on his head. I am Carpenter, the sheriff of Pineapple Town. Many of them are residents of surrounding towns. And they have been arrested one after another in the past few days. Regarding the reasons for being arrested, we have also analyzed the reasons for our residents. The places are different. The jobs are different. And the conditions are also different. After thinking about it, there seems to be only one thing in common. And that is that everyone has more or less special abilities. Said the tentacle juncture. When did you get your superpowers? And in the past few days? Zhang Tuohai asked. Well, that's true. Carpenter said. That's right. Zhang Tuohai nodded. He was sure that these people should be infected with the alpha virus. But the lucky ones who didn't lose control awakened some special abilities by accident. It is what Alfonso calls the new human being. Then, United Pharmaceutical found these uncontrolled new humans through a special method, captured them, and prepared to resmelt them into potions for use by their own people. It can also be seen from this aspect that United Pharmaceuticals is not too satisfied with the current alpha virus. It is trying to purify the fusion virus in various ways, develop new strains, and try to develop a real super virus and use countless people to life to verify the direction of human evolution. This is true for viruses and worms. And this is also true for medicines made with humans. Zhang Tuohai didn't bother to comment on United Pharmaceuticals' behavior. But these people in front of him could definitely be used. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Zhang Tuohai asked 001 to bring a large number of light weapons. Various captured individual weapons. 
RPGs and anti-tank grenades were piled up in front of everyone like a hill. What are you doing? Carpenter asked, looking at the mountain of small arms. Nothing. Of course, it's just a little gift for my friends, Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. It's very chaotic outside now, so it's better to bring some weapons for self-defense. I'll give these to you. After Zhang Tuohai finished speaking, he turned and walked outside. Halfway through, Zhang Tuohai turned to these people and said, By the way, the current situation is that most of the living resources have been snatched away by United Pharmaceuticals, and the remaining everything they do is in the hands of their affiliated forces. If you want to survive, you must snatch it from United Pharmaceuticals. After saying that, Zhang Tuohai strode away. A group of people looked at each other. Mr. Carpenter, what should we do? Seeing Zhang Tuohai leaving, someone asked Carpenter. Obviously, they have regarded Carpenter as the backbone of the group. Get a weapon first. No matter what, it's always safe to have a weapon, Carpenter said, grabbing an AR-15. And after thinking about it, he put on a Remington, two Glocks, an RPG-7, and two anti-tank grenades. When United Pharmaceutical captured them, he could clearly see the configuration of the team. Without such heavy weapons, they would not be able to compete with them. Others saw that Carpenter also had weapons, and they all followed suit and hung various weapons on themselves. Soon, a large number of weapons were divided up, and everyone was assigned at least two or three guns and RPGs. Mr. Carpenter, look, there's a map here. A man with sharp eyes found a piece of paper on the ground after taking the weapon clean. Carpenter grabbed the paper and found that it was a map of the nearby area, in addition to nearby towns and roads. It also marked the strongholds of several United Pharmaceuticals factories. We've even prepared the blueprints. Are you so sure that we will go to United Pharmaceutical? Carpenter was puzzled. At this time, Zhang Tuohai had already whistled and returned to the armored vehicle, drove the armored vehicle away from United Pharmaceutical's secret stronghold, and continued to drive northwest. He didn't care whether Carpenter attacked United's strongholds and factories. Anyway, it was just a random piece of chess. It would be best if it worked best. If it didn't work, there would be no loss. Anyway, the cost was just some weapons obtained from United Pharmaceuticals. He didn't like it either. Keeping it would take up space. Just leave it to these people. Even if they use these weapons to cause even a little trouble for United Pharmaceuticals, it will be a profit for Zhang Tuohai. Of course, the most important thing is that these are for Aya and Away. They are people of this world. And they are also the so-called new human beings. They can most empathize with the experiences of these people. Zhang Tuohai's kindness to these people can also make them more sympathetic to him. Whether they stay in the car or let them out in the future, it will be beneficial. After driving for more than an hour, Zhang Tuohai handed over the driving rights to Xiao Ai and went back to his room to sleep. It was another busy day, which made him very exhausted. As soon as he laid down on the bed, he snored loudly. In the wooden house in the high-end ecological park, Aya and Awei were lying on the bed. Brother, what should we do in the future? Are everything outside really controlled by United Pharmaceuticals? I asked worriedly. If everything outside is really controlled by United Pharmaceuticals, then their lives will be even more difficult in the future. Judging from United Pharmaceuticals' behavior in arresting new humans, once they are exposed, they will definitely encounter endless pursuit, especially all way, whose ability is similar to mortality, is definitely a powerful temptation for many elderly chables. If once we find out, we will definitely use all our strength to catch Ah Wei. We'll talk about tomorrow's matters tomorrow. Go to sleep first. Ah Wei pulled up the quilt. He had only one goal now. To cure Aya's leukemia first. As for being hunted, he had no time to worry about it. After listening to Ah Wei's words, Aya looked out the window. At this time, the scene mode in the high-end ecological park had switched to night. A full moon hung on the branches. And occasionally frogs could be heard from the speakers and the chirping of cicadas. All this made her feel as if she had returned to the peaceful times and the scene in the holiday cabin. I hope I wake up tomorrow and find that this has all been a nightmare. Aya prayed silently in her heart, and then entered her dream. Chapter 590 Shrinking the Poison Circle In the early morning of the next day, it was dark and bright, and Zhang Tuohai woke up. He washed his face casually, came to the laboratory first, and took a look at the eggs left by Lilith. When he came in, a robotic arm was holding a watering can to pour nutrient solution on the eggs. Zhang Tuohai looked at it and saw that the egg was more than twice as big as yesterday. The eggshell was more crystal clear, and it seemed that there was a human-shaped shadow inside. How is it going? 
Zhang Tuohai was lying next to the eggshell and didn't see the reason. So he had to ask Xiao Yai, the classmate who had been taking care of it. Yesterday went well. The nutrients were absorbed very well and there were no problems with development. According to the manual left by Miss Lilith, the reincarnation will be completed in about one or two days. Classmate Xiao Yai opened the manual and said, That's good. That's good. After hearing that the reincarnation could be completed within one or two days, Zhang Tuohai felt a big stone in his heart. Since Lilith was reincarnated, the direction of scientific research has stagnated. He has accumulated various materials. There are a lot of them. Just waiting for Lilith to take charge of the work. There is also Aya's hematopoietic stem cell transplantation work. Although there is a medical cabinet available, it is better to have Lilith watching over it to take precautions. After looking at the crystal clear eggs for a while, Zhang Tuohai returned to the command chair. He had just sat down when he suddenly heard a violent explosion in the distance. Then a plume of brown smoke rose straight into the sky. The detector inside the car buzzed, which meant that the toxin concentration outside was soaring. Zhang Tuohai immediately turned on the three defense system and turned on the in-car purification device. Just at this moment, a line of game prompts popped up. Congratulations to all the players for successfully surviving to the fourth day. Due to aging insurance measures, a large number of chemical plants in the West exploded. The leaked toxic gas merged with the Alpha virus and evolved into Lambda virus, which merged with the Epsilon virus and evolved into Sigma virus. Please click to view detailed information about the specific virus situation. If you don't want to be infected by the above two viruses or die from poisonous gas leaks, please stay away from the Western region. Zhang Tuohai opened the Sigma virus and checked its characteristics. Sigma virus based on a mutated and derived version of the Ypsilon virus. It is extremely contagious and has the characteristics of airborne, waterborne, birdborne, insectborne, etc. Increased resistance to drugs requires three times the amount of specific drugs to be effective. After infection, symptoms such as high fever, difficulty breathing, and diarrhea will occur. The probability of death is 65%, and the probability of mutation is 75%. If the person is infected with the alpha virus or a derivative virus before being infected with the sigma virus, the fatality rate will increase by 20%, and the mutation rate will increase 20%. If special medicine cannot be used to cure the disease in time, the probability of this mutation will continue to increase until 100%. In addition to being highly transmissible, it also has drug resistance. It requires three times the dose of specific drugs to have the original therapeutic effect. The mutation rate and death rate have also increased significantly. And the virus has been strengthened at a speed visible to the naked eye. Is this shrinking again? Looking at the game prompt that popped up, Zhang Tuohai knew what to say. Something went wrong every day except the first day. First there was a problem in the southeast. Then in the north. And now in the west. Will something happen in the northwest tomorrow? Zhang Tuohai suspected that the game system would eventually trap him and the remaining players in a small area to complete the finals. No. I have to find a way to get out of this circle. Zhang Tuohai looked at the map. Now, there are large high concentration virus areas in the southeast, north, and west. These areas retain a large number of high concentration viruses, forming a series of dead zones. Anyone who wants to forcefully pass through can't. What will happen? At this time, on the electronic map, only a gap remained in the northwest. Perhaps we can escape from the virus siege from here. Zhang Tuohai stared at the passage on the electronic map, his eyes flashing. Classmate Xiao Yai, set off immediately and head northwest. I hope we can escape before the virus closes the circle, Zhang Tuohai said. Clear. Upon hearing this, classmate Xiao Yai immediately accelerated towards the northwest. The car was driving rapidly northwest. Suddenly, Zhang Tuohai saw bursts of smoke and dust flying up from both sides of the road, rushing in his direction. What's the situation? Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai quickly threw the hand-thrown drone out and went to check it out. In fact, it would be more convenient and faster to send a global hawk to check. However, at this time, the global hawk was helping Zhang Tuohai explore the path ahead. Zhang Tuohai did not dare to turn it back easily and could only use a hand-thrown drone to check the situation. In order to be on guard, Zhang Tuohai turned on the electronic warfare system, started detection and monitoring of all channels, and turned on the radar to start scanning the surrounding area. If someone approached his detection boundary, he would definitely detect it. More than half an hour later, the hand-thrown drone carried the news back. The billowing smoke was indeed caused by the motorcade. However, 
The direction those convoys were heading was not Santuai. But the northwest corridor that had not been blocked by the virus. It seemed that these players were also heading towards that corridor. But they just didn't know what their purpose was. Are you planning to jump out of the poisonous circle through the corridor? Or are you guessing that Zong Tuahai may go there and prepare to wait and see in the virus corridor? Or perhaps both? Zhang Tuahai did not dare to be careless and activated all precautions to prevent unexpected situations from happening. At this time, Zhao Wanwan and Song Xiaokong also sent private messages to Zhang Tuahai. The content of the private message was very simple. Telling Zhang Tuahai that his team was going to the virus channel in the northwest. And that he planned to wait there after passing through waiting for Zhang Tuahai to fall into the trap. He also revealed several assembly coordinates to Zhang Tuahai. I didn't expect that I really guessed it right. Looking at the billowing smoke and dust on both sides, and looking at the image of the global hawk that had just returned, Zhang Tuahai slowly reduced the speed of the car, and at the same time wrote a reply to the two of them. Look for an opportunity to break away from the convoy. Even if it doesn't work, you should find an opportunity to fall to the back of the convoy, or other convenient position to escape. Don't rush to the front stupidly. You will die easily, Zhang Tuai said. Boss, have you set an ambush in front? Song Xiaokong asked in surprise. She remembered that Zhang Tuai's coordinates had just been broadcast an hour ago. They were far behind them. And it was impossible to overtake them all at once. Ha ha, you will know after a while. Remember, you must lean back and don't move too far forward. Zhang Tuai said with a smile. Why did the boss learn to be a Riddler? Song Shakong looked at the reply angrily, and at the same time said through the team channel, I'll go ahead and investigate the situation. Have a nice trip, the teammate said happily. Song Shakong accelerated and disappeared into the smoke. She did not continue to investigate forward, but instead made a large circle and went around to the back of the team. She had just completed the turn when she suddenly saw a huge black shadow emerging from the smoke ahead. Chapter 591 Godzilla What it is? Song Xiaokong looked at the huge shadow in the distance warily. The shadow was dozens of meters high, like a mountain, with a thick body, slightly shorter forelimbs, strong hind limbs, a thick tail, and long spines on its back that spread from the back of the neck to the tail. Roar. A huge roar resounded through the sky, louder than the explosion of a howitzer, and made people's eardrums buzz. Just standing in front of the other party, Song Shakong felt a fear spreading from his toes to the back of his head. At this time, she finally understood why Zhang Tuohai didn't let her rush ahead. It turns out that there is a huge mutated creature stationed at the entrance of the virus channel. This mutated creature looked very much like the monster in a science fiction movie she had seen Godzilla. The Godzilla-like creature suddenly raised its right foot and stepped on it. A striker infantry fighting vehicle that was running very fast was trampled to pieces. Spread out. Spread out quickly. The captain of the convoy was shocked when he saw this. Although the striker infantry fighting vehicle is famous for its thin skin and large stuffing, it is still an armored unit. The armor is only weaker than that of a regular main battle tank, and its protective capabilities are still acceptable. However, it was terrible to be trampled directly into a meat pie by this monster. If the team continues to gather together like this, they will be crushed. The players under him were even more quick to see the opportunity, and the team dispersed before he could even give the order. The originally dense marching formation suddenly became messy. Like a herd of sheep being chased by lions. Roar. The monster roared again. The huge tail swept across. More than a dozen cars were not in a hurry to avoid it. And they were just within the attack range of the tail. I saw the huge tail sweeping past like a long steel dragon. After the cars were touched. They were instantly crushed into pieces. Originally. Song Shakong was just within this range. But her spider car was very nimble and she jumped up quickly with quick hands and eyes to avoid this sweeping attack. Seeing the miserable condition of other teammates, Song Shakong felt his palms full of cold sweat. Fortunately, she followed Zhang Tuai's suggestion and modified the spider car. Otherwise, she would have been crushed into a meat pie today. After escaping the attack, Song Shakong controlled the spider car and turned around and ran away. The spider car was small in size and fast in speed. It hit in the smoke and dust in three leaps and two leaps and disappeared. And the huge monster like Godzilla continued to pursue those seemingly large vehicles, such as main battle tanks. Several players driving main battle tanks saw that Godzilla was chasing behind them, and knew that simple evasion was no longer possible. Their speed was too slow, and they would be killed by this guy sooner or later if they continued like this. No matter how hard I try, 
I don't believe this guy can withstand armor-piercing bullets. A player roared and quickly moved the turret, preparing to shoot this guy. However, the monster slapped him with one claw. The entire turret flew out directly. Then the huge feet stepped on it, and the entire tank was flattened like a can. Boom. Boom. Although the main battle tank had no chance to counterattack. Other surrounding vehicles took advantage of the monster's attack on the main battle tank and launched a counterattack. Various machine guns and artillery fired at the monster. However, due to the two tents relationship, many artillery pieces failed directly. Only some machine guns and small caliber artillery hit the monster. However, after those machine guns and small caliber artillery hit the monster, they left sparks on the hard scales and were unable to penetrate the opponent's scales. Roar. Their attack seemed to arouse the anger of the monster. The monster roared angrily, sped up and attacked the surrounding vehicles. For a moment, people in the convoy were on their backs. And from time to time, vehicles were swept to pieces by their tails or trampled into meat patties. A huge convoy was killed by a monster in the blink of an eye. It became completely defeated and fled for its life in a hurry. What a waste! So many people were frightened by a monster. Zhang Tuohai used Global Hawk to see all this clearly. Through observation, he discovered that those small caliber artillery were not without any lethality against this monster, where it was hit by the artillery. The scales collapsed and shattered. However, the monster's body was covered with dust. It was difficult to notice it without looking carefully. Moreover, this is only caused by small caliber artillery such as 75 mm. If it were replaced by a large caliber artillery of 100 mm or more, it would be able to cause huge damage. If it was replaced by missiles, it would probably be seriously injured if fired in one round. And it would not be chased by a monster. The ultimate reason is that they were scared out of their wits by the monster and did not dare to fight again. This led to such a one-sided appearance. Not only Zhang Tuohai saw the problem, but also another convoy that came nearby also saw the problem. Humph. The hyena convoy is really getting better and better. And it's actually being chased by such a stupid monster. A player said disdainfully while holding a telescope. They are just a bunch of barking wild dogs. When they brag, they dance more happily than anyone else. When they encounter a slightly more powerful enemy, they just run away with their tail between their legs. The players next to him echoed. His words caused laughter from the surrounding players. Okay, let them see how powerful our lion convoy is. All artillery is ready. Target the monster. And fire two covering volleys in three seconds. Prepare release. Boom. Boom. The sound of a series of artillery fire sounded. The monster surroundings were instantly covered in shells. The monster roared. And was hit by cannonballs in several places on its body. Many of its scales were shattered. And some even directly broke the scales leaving deep wounds on the skin. It really works. Load the ammunition. Prepare to fire. And try to kill it after a few rounds. The player holding the telescope looked confident. Are you here to join in the fun? Just in time. I was thinking about how to kill you all in one fell swoop. But just in time you showed up at my door. Zhang Tuohai looked at the actions of those players. And a cold light flashed in his eyes. Since they wanted to go to the virus channel to intercept them. They had to think of facing the consequences of their counterattack. Suddenly, he saw a familiar figure in the motorcade and immediately sent a private message to Zhao Wan Wan. Evacuate immediately! Zhao Wan Wan glanced at the private message, immediately shifted into reverse gear, and the car quickly moved backwards. Her actions caused some people to wonder, What are you going to do? Zhao Wan Wan did not answer, but instead sped up her movements. Several players saw this and wanted to chase him. Leave her alone for now! Deal with the monster first, and then capture her and ask about the situation. The player holding the telescope shouted loudly to stop them. Their top priority now is to kill the monster in front of them. As for Zhao Wan On, she is just me on the chopping board. Once they kill the monsters and secure the virus channel, no one can escape. They can even collect a toll from other players who want to pass. And the entire fleet will immediately become rich and become the strongest in the region. He would never allow anyone to do anything wrong at this time. However, at this moment, a roar came from the sky. Chapter 592 Demonic Ape A Tomahawk cruise missile roared from the sky and landed directly in the middle of the monster and the convoy. Boom! A huge explosion sounded, and an orange-red mushroom cloud rose. The violent explosion carried a shock wave and tore everything around it into pieces. The roars and roars of artillery disappeared. After the smoke dissipated, Zhang Tuohai discovered through the photos sent back by the Global Hawk that the roaring monsters 
and the powerful convoys had turned into wreckage all over the ground. It is indeed a Tomahawk cruise missile. It is really powerful. It clears the area in one shot. Looking at the battlefield full of debris, Zhang Tuai's face was filled with sadness. A group of people used various artillery to fight the monster that looked like Godzilla for several rounds, but finally relied on missiles to clear the area to eliminate the monster. It seems that the era of artillery has indeed passed. Looking at the yield, missiles are more powerful. Artillery can only gradually become a closed defense self-defense weapon. Not far away. Xiao Wan Wan was even more horrified. She never expected that Zhang Tuohai would become so powerful after being separated from her for more than 10 days. Originally, she wanted to use a helium balloon to take off and take advantage of the high-altitude artillery to help Zhang Tuohai on the flank. However, she never expected that a problem that the entire convoy had not solved would be solved by Zhang Tuohai's missile. This kind of strength is too terrifying. She looked at her car. She originally thought that she could catch up with the other party by using the modified car. But unexpectedly, the distance became wider and wider. She seemed a little unable to keep up with the other party's pace. Thinking of this, Zhao Wanwan felt a hint of frustration in her heart. She touched the self-loading cannons and couldn't help but shake her head and sigh, feeling full of disappointment. Zhang Tuohai drove his car to the edge of the battlefield. The entire battlefield was full of debris. If you search carefully, you might find some good things. However, Zhang Tuohai didn't have that much time to look for it. He just picked up a few pieces of Godzilla's meat, used them as research samples, and drove away directly. The virus channel will be closed at some point. His most important goal now is to pass through the virus channel and jump out of the virus circle. Otherwise, you may not know what trouble will happen in the future. After Zhang Tuohai picked up two pieces of Godzilla's meat, he dived into the virus tunnel. The so-called virus channel is nothing more than a gap more than 10 kilometers wide and more than 50 kilometers long. There are thick virus clouds on both sides, and only this small area has not been contaminated. However, the virus clouds on both sides of the passage are slowly advancing. It will be completely covered here by tonight at most. By then, the entire area will be blocked by the virus. By then, the people inside will feel like they are being held captive. In a cage, it is difficult to fly without wings. Zhang Tuohai didn't want to be like that. So he drove into the virus channel. There are no roads in this area. It is all rugged wasteland. However, Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle can be switched to track mode. So there is no problem. The armored vehicle drove rapidly over the rugged hills. Just when Zhang Tuohai was about to kick the accelerator and rush to the top of a hill, the prompt system suddenly popped up a prompt. Be careful. There is a huge demonic ape hiding behind the top of the hill. And it is about to attack you. Please be careful to avoid it. Huh? There are actually some fish that slip through the net? Zhang Tuohai was afraid that someone would sneak attack from the front. So he sent a global hawk to investigate ahead. However, the focus of global hawk reconnaissance is on heavy vehicles. Unexpectedly, a demon ape slipped through the net. How powerful can a demon ape be? Despite the system prompts, Zhang Tuohai still instinctively looked down upon it. He had just killed Godzilla, the overlord on the road. So why was he still afraid of a mere demon ape? Zhang Tuohai stepped on the brakes and called the global hawk back, ready to see what the devil ape ahead was about to attack him. After a while, the global hawk flew over Zhang Tuohai again. When global hawk sent the image of the target, Zhang Tuohai's mouth opened wide in surprise, and his jaw almost dropped. You call this a demon ape? Isn't this too big? Zhang Tuohai's eyes widened as he looked at the animal called the demon ape. This guy is at least 15 or 6 meters tall. His arms are thicker than a family car. His whole body is covered with gray-black hair, which is almost the same color as the nearby rocks. The heat source on his body is also relatively low. This is also the first time that the global hawk will one of the reasons it was ignored. This guy is definitely not a natural creature. It must be a monster made by those guys from United Pharmaceuticals. Anyone with such a high IQ will ambush him. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but sneer in his heart when he looked at the motionless demon ape lying behind the hill. If he didn't know better and rushed over rashly, he might be knocked over by this guy. At that time, if you can't use your skills to the best of your ability, it will really be easy for you to capsize in the gutter. However, now that I have seen through it, it is no longer a problem. The question is how to solve it. Taking a detour is definitely not possible. Not to mention that the path is so wide. It will be troublesome to take a detour and delay time. And you may even encounter other monsters. However, it is not possible to use Tomahawk missiles. This thing is too powerful. Since the distance is relatively close. 
It is better to be careful. Zhang Tuahai thought for a while. Use the Global Hawk as a guide. And launch two Adaz missiles directly at the magic ape. Whoosh! Missile soared into the sky. Unexpectedly, the moment the missile was launched, the demonic ape suddenly jumped up from behind the hill and rushed towards Zhang Tuahai. It turned out that the demon ape had been waiting behind the hill for a long time. He was restless and uneasy. He heard strange noises again. He was extremely irritable and couldn't hold himself back. He jumped out and prepared to kill Zhang Tuahai by force. The demon ape was tall and long, covering a distance of more than 10 meters with one stride. In the blink of an eye, he arrived in front of Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle. He grabbed the bottom of the armored vehicle with both hands and was about to overturn the armored vehicle in the next second. Zhang Tuohai had quick hands and eyes and immediately pressed the laser transmitter. A blazing laser shot out and penetrated directly through the demon ape's head. A bloody hole as thick as an arm appeared on the huge head. The demon ape swayed twice and then fell forward. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai quickly shifted into reverse gear and retreated rapidly. The armored car quickly broke free from the demon ape's hands and distanced itself to avoid being hit by the demon ape's corpse. Although it was just a corpse, it was still a big guy that was more than 10 meters tall. And its weight was measured in tons. It would be uncomfortable to be hit by it. At this time, the two Adaz missiles fell from the sky and hit the demon ape. Boom! Boom! Two violent explosions sounded, and the demon ape's body was blown into pieces. Chapter 593 Islands in the Sea There are really two brushes! Looking at the corpse of the demon ape, Zhang Tuohai broke out in cold sweat. Originally, he thought that after he upgraded his car to level 5, he would be able to use a variety of missiles, close-range anti-cannons, and laser weapons without fear of any carbon-based beasts. Unexpectedly, United Pharmaceutical gave him a solid lesson. If it weren't for his prompt system and laser weapons, he would have almost capsized just now. The thermal response of this animal is similar to that of ordinary animals. It is not as obvious as a chariot. Its coat color is similar to that of rocks. It is not easy to be detected by high-altitude reconnaissance. In addition, it is extremely powerful and has a certain degree of intelligence. In such a complex terrain area, it can really cause him a lot of trouble. It seems that we need to strengthen the investigation. In the future, even mammals will be included in the targets of key monitoring. Zhang Tuohai thought secretly in his heart. After cutting a few research samples from the demon ape's body, Zhang Tuohai drove the car and continued on the road. However, this time, Zhang Tuohai was obviously more careful and sent four hand-thrown drones to patrol the surrounding area, trying to ensure that there were no targets that could cause any harm to him within a radius of five kilometers with him as the center. Even if a thin wild boar is found, it will immediately launch its own 10 kilograms ultra miniature missile to kill it. In this way, although the speed has been reduced, the security has been greatly improved, allowing Zhang Tuohai to pass the virus channel safely. Just after breaking out of the virus channel, Zhang Tuohai suddenly had a vast space in front of him. In front of him was a blue ocean, with waves rolling over the beach. He arrived at the seaside. Arrived at the beach? Zhang Tuohai looked at the electronic map and found that he had reached the end of the map. There was no record on the electronic map ahead, and there was nothingness. Zhang Tuohai immediately sent Global Hawk to check the situation. After about half an hour, Global Hawk relayed back the situation in the surrounding area. To the left and right of the beach are towering cliffs, with virus fog behind them and no roads. There are only two ways left for Zhang Tuohai. One is to stay where he is and bet that the virus fog will not spread in this direction, or walk west along the beach. At the end of the west side of the beach, there is a long and narrow peninsula extending to the deep sea. According to the images returned by the Global Hawk, this peninsula is unusually long and narrow, with a length of 200 kilometers and a width of less than 30 kilometers. The narrowest point is only 5 or 6 kilometers, and it goes deep into the sea like a ribbon. Moreover, the terrain on this peninsula is rugged, full of mountains and canyons, with dense vegetation and rapid streams. It is the kind of terrain where a 600-meter road may take a day. If this was all, Zhang Tuohai also discovered several huge apes, like demon apes on the peninsula, hiding in the canyon. If Zhang Tuohai hadn't asked Global Hawk to conduct a targeted search, he might not have been able to find it. It can be said that this peninsula is full of crises. However, there is a huge building complex at the end of the peninsula. It has an airport, a dock, a warehouse, a laboratory, a power station, and a dormitory building. Zhang Tuohai even saw a small passenger plane and a transport plane at the airport. 
and people can be seen moving inside from time to time. A prominent sign for United Pharmaceuticals hangs on one of the main buildings. United Pharmaceuticals Laboratory? You have to go and see it! Zhang Tuohai wiped his palms and was about to go over when the prompt system suddenly popped up. There is an island 10 nautical miles away at 2 o'clock. There is a large amount of supplies and technical materials on it, which are very precious. There's actually a hidden map over there? Zhang Tuohai became energetic and immediately sent Global Hawk to search there. Sure enough, after careful searching with the Global Hawk, we finally found an island in the thick sea fog. This island is quite large, covering hundreds of square kilometers. In the middle of the island is a high mountain, surrounded by dense forests. Some traces of human activities can be vaguely seen on the island. The most surprising thing is that there are actually some dinosaurs living on the island. At first, Zhang Tuohai thought he had made a mistake. However, he asked Global Hawk to double-check that it was indeed a dinosaur. And, there's more than one kind of dinosaur. Brachiosaurus, Ankylosaurus, Spinosaurus, Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus rex. Almost all the dinosaurs Zhang Tuohai is familiar with can be found on the island. What kind of Jurassic Zoo is this? Zhang Tuohai was shocked. But this also made him more determined to visit the island. Apart from anything else, the genes of these dinosaurs alone are enough for Zhang Tuohai to visit the island. However, the island is not so easy to get to. In addition to the 10 nautical mile long sea surface and thick sea fog, there are also three destroyers patrolling around the island. Namely a Burr class guided missile destroyer and two Zumwalt guided missile destroyers. There is also an airport on the island where a Growler electronic warfare aircraft and two F-35CS are parked. At the top of the island, there is a huge radar that is rotating and constantly searching for surrounding signals. In the valley, you can also see two anti-aircraft missile launch sites, which can be said to be heavily guarded. Looking at the complex defense system, Zhang Tuohai's eyes shone with excitement. With such a complex defense system, there must be an extremely important goal in it. Otherwise, it would not be worth the effort of a defense system of this level. Moreover, what he wants in the end is the two F-35S. If he gets them, won't the combat effectiveness in his hand soar instantly? However, how to break through these layers of defense and get the F-35 requires careful consideration. Zhang Tuohai looked at the images sent back by the Global Hawk and analyzed them. First of all, it is certain that the specific prevention measures on this island are definitely not as strict as they seem. Otherwise, the Global Hawk would be beaten down by anti-aircraft missiles before it could even fly over the island. In addition, the Growler at the airport has not taken off and has no combat capabilities. What Zhang Tuohai needs to do is to destroy the opponent's airport runway as much as possible in the first round of strikes. As long as the runway is destroyed, the opponent's aircraft will unable to go to heaven. It becomes a fish in his net, waiting for him to harvest it. Comparatively speaking, the three destroyers are the most difficult to deal with. However, although the two Zumwalt destroyers look more stunning and give people a futuristic feel like a starship battleship, if you are a little familiar with the ship, you will know that this is a standard arsenal ship. In other words, a weapons platform specially designed to attack the enemy has only one main task, which is to project force to the ground as much as possible. Zumwalt has taken this concept to the extreme. In order to store more equipment, it does not even have independent detection and self-defense weapons. Even the command link needs to be provided by friendly ships. Once discovered, it can only rely on damage control and prey. The responsibility for providing guidance and communication links unsurprisingly fell on the Burke class destroyer. After sorting out the information at hand, Zhang Tuohai summarized the three points for attacking the island. The radar on the top of the mountain, the airport runway, and the Burke class destroyer in the sea. However, how to paralyze these things at the same time? Zhang Tuohai started thinking. Chapter 594 Missile Hits Destroyer Alcatraz Radar Station The two staff on duty were leaning on their workstations in boredom. One of them was holding the remote control and fiddling with it in boredom. But there was no program on the TV. Damn it! What's going on? There's no program. There's obviously a game for my favorite team today. A duty officer wearing a red hat threw away the remote control in his hand and said angrily, Ha ha! The maintenance department has already said that there have been signal problems recently. Don't you look at the work group? Another officer on duty said while eating pizza. I blocked it because I found it annoying. You didn't say when it would be repaired? Asked the duty officer wearing a red hat. I don't know. But at their speed, it's definitely at least a week or two. And it's possible in a month or two, said the watchman eating pizza. Damn it. Wouldn't it be boring to death? 
Just staring at the radar screen in a daze? The duty officer wearing a red hat was very angry. Don't worry. I've already prepared it. The duty officer who was eating pizza sucked his fingers and then took out a few discs from the tool bag he carried. On the discs was a girl in simple clothes with a very attractive name. Caribbean. Female pirates. Avatar and the Shadow Leopard. Orcs versus the female Knights of Gundor. I used two packs of cigarettes to buy new ones from old Tom. Do you want to see them? The watchman eating pizza showed off while shaking the disc in his hand. There is such a good product. Why didn't you take it out earlier? When the guard wearing a red hat saw the discs, his eyes gleamed, and he immediately rushed over and snatched the discs. Which one should I look at? Red Hat had a hard time making a choice. These were his favorite types. Just look at each one one by one. Anyway, there are still six hours until the shift ends. So that's enough. The watchman eating pizza glanced at his watch and said, Then it's up to you. Red Hat picked up a disc and put it in the DVD player. At the same time, he took a cup of coffee and a bag of popcorn, as if he was ready to watch a movie. At this moment, the distant radar buzzed. What's going on again? The person on duty who was eating pizza had just picked up a piece of pizza, his face full of displeasure. It's a large area. It should be a false alarm from a flock of birds. Red Hat glanced at it, then dismissed the alarm, returned to the TV, and pressed the play button. FBI warning? The iconic FBI warning immediately appeared on the screen. The two people were refreshed, took a comfortable position, and began to enjoy the video. However, at this moment, a large number of hand-thrown drones flew over the radar station. These hand-thrown drones were densely packed like migratory birds, circling over the radar station. Then, a large number of drones turned around and crashed into the huge radar. Boom! Boom! The sound of explosions was endless. The radar is not a sturdy piece of equipment. It is considered a damaged item. Although the 10 kilogram equivalent explosives on the drone were average in power, they were still very destructive in the face of radar. In addition, there were too many of them, and the huge radar antenna was overwhelmed and fell to the ground. He fell directly to the guard duty room next to him. The huge radar antenna directly smashed a hole in the ceiling of the guard duty room. The two people inside who were watching the movie were so frightened that they threw away the tissues in their hands. Enemy attack! The two people belatedly went to ring the alarm bell. However, when the radar antenna collapsed, the wires were damaged and the circuit in the duty room was cut off. It's over! The two people looked at the smoke-filled radar antenna and knew that this time it was definitely over. Why don't you run away? Otherwise, if you wait here, you will definitely be shot. The red hat said to the watchman eating pizza next to him. Let's go! Upon hearing this, the watchman immediately closed the lid of the pizza box in his hand and put it under his arm. The two took advantage of the chaos and slipped down the mountain. Although the watchman did not sound the siren, others in the base were not fools either. When he saw the radar antenna collapsed, he knew that someone was coming to attack. So he hurried back to his position to organize a counterattack. Just as the two entire craft missile sites were turned on, they were hit by precision-guided bombs falling from the sky and exploded directly into the sky. The ground crew at the airport hurriedly installed air-to-air -air missiles on the F-35C and prepared for counterattack. But just as he was taxiing on the runway, he was directly hit by a precision-guided bomb. Boom! A large ball of fire rose up, and a huge deep pit appeared on the flying runway. It seemed that even with quick-drying cement, it would not be reparable in a short while. Looking at the bombed F-35C, Zhang Tuahai's face was full of regret. He actually wanted to blow up the runway ahead and force the F-35 to stop. However, they misjudged the opponent's speed causing the precision-guided bomb to directly hit the aircraft, directly destroying an F-35. What a shame! Zhang Tuohai stamped his feet and beat his chest. Fortunately, the radar on the top of the mountain, the anti-aircraft missile site in the mountain call, and the airport runway were all destroyed. Most of the planned tactical targets had been completed. Now, the only target left was the Burke-class guided missile destroyer. The Burke-class guided missile destroyer was not stupid. After seeing Alcatraz Island being attacked, it immediately turned on its phased array radar to search for incoming aircraft. The target is found. The large drone is locked on the target and ready to attack. The Burke-class guided missile destroyer transmitted target information and strike coordinates to the arsenal ship Zumwalt using a data link. Zumwalt immediately launched a standard 2 anti-aircraft missile according to the established parameters. Whoosh! The standard 2 anti-aircraft missile rose into the sky and fired towards the Rainbow 4 drone in the sky. 
however. Just when Rainbow 4 was about to be hit, a white light suddenly enveloped Rainbow 4. And then the Rainbow 4 drone disappeared instantly. The standard 2 anti-aircraft missile lost its target and circled around for several times. The search was fruitless. Finally, it ran out of fuel and fell into the sea. What's going on? Why is the target missing? The captain of the Burke class guided missile destroyer frowned. Is it some new anti-missile method? At this moment, the radar soldier shouted. Captain, we found two ADAS missiles approaching rapidly. Activate the anti-missile system and search for the source at the same time. The captain smiled disdainfully. Air defense and anti-missile missiles are the specialty of the Burke class guided missile destroyer. Not to mention two ADAS missiles. Even a dozen more would not be a problem. Two standard two missiles shot out from the vertical launch system and hit the incoming ADAS missile. Two fireworks bloomed in the sky. The captain locked the source of the attack, which was an armored vehicle near the beach, said the radar soldier. How dare an armored vehicle attack me? Then kill him, the captain said calmly. The targeting data was passed over the data link to Zumwalt, who immediately launched a Tomahawk cruise missile. However, after the Tomahawk cruise missile drew a circle in the air, it flew back, targeting the Burke class guided missile destroyer. Chapter 595 Dismantling the Destroyer Seeing the approaching Tomahawk cruise missile, the captain of the Burke class guided missile destroyer turned pale. These damn bastards can even hit the wrong target. Shoot them down quickly. Whoosh. A standard Type 2 anti-aircraft missile fired towards the Tomahawk cruise missile. Unfortunately, the speed of the Tomahawk cruise missile was too fast. Even if the standard Type 2 anti-aircraft missile hit it, it was too close to the ship, and the huge explosion just covered the command platform. Modern guided missile destroyers do not have the heavy armor of the battleship era. They are all thin-skinned and bulky. Being affected by the explosion of a Tomahawk cruise missile at close range is almost the same as being hit directly. The shockwave tore the podium into pieces. And the people inside were even turned into pieces. The damage to the command podium caused the entire battleship's command system to malfunction. And even the active phased array radar board attached to the shell of the command podium was destroyed. Most of the entire battleship's force was abandoned. The remaining two Umwalt arsenal ships also became floating targets on the sea due to the lack of command and data links. The two warships were ready to escape when they saw that something was not going well. However, Zhang Tuohai immediately fired two Adaz missiles, hitting their propellers and paralyzing their ability to move. Ha! It's finally harvest time! Seeing that several battleships had become floating targets, Zhang Tuohai felt happy. He did not expect that the attack was so smooth and all the threatening resistance forces were killed in one go. Let's go and harvest our spoils. Zhang Tuahai drove a multi-purpose armored vehicle into the sea. There were two more propellers at the tail end of the armored vehicle, and it rushed towards the three warships at high speed. To be safe, Zhang Tuahai also sent two armed helicopters to monitor. If anyone dared to resist, Gatling would call him. Not long after the armored vehicle was launched into the water, classmate Xiao Ai suddenly said, Commander, we found that a large underwater creature was approaching. Huh? Is there anything else? Pass it over. Zhang Tuohai said immediately. Classmate Xiao Ai immediately sent the image over. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while that he had seen it wrong. A crocodile-like creature with a body length of more than 20 meters actually appeared on the spherical screen. Mosasaurus? Zhang Tuohai's face was full of astonishment. Didn't these things become fossils? Why are they still here? However, Zhang Tuohai still didn't care about just one or two Mosasaurs. As long as it wasn't a sudden close attack. Zhang Tuohai didn't care. If it was far away, he would use missiles. Da da da. The 30 mm thick close and defense gun shells swept towards the Mosasaur. This kind of overlord of the sea from ancient times was mortal after all. And could not withstand the metal storm like the close range anti-cannon. Before it even emerged, its head was smashed. And blood filled the air. John Tuohai immediately controlled the robotic arm to cut out some test materials, regardless of whether it can be used or not. It is always a good idea to collect some first. The Mosasaurus incident was just a small episode. But John Tuohai was murmuring in his heart. There seems to be some problems in this area. First I saw a creature that looked like Godzilla. Then a gorilla that looked like King Kong. I saw a Mosasaurus here again. It felt like I was back in the prehistoric era. Could it be that someone was playing with prehistoric creatures on the island or peninsula? Resuscitation test? Zhang Tuohai decided to take some time to check it out later. If this was really the case, he must collect more cells to enrich the experimental materials. However, the most important thing now is to harvest these three ships. 
Zhang Tuohai brought the armored vehicle close to the three ships, then opened the hatch and released the self-propelled machine. Go and dismantle these three ships and see if you can dismantle anything. Pieces of self-propelled machinery poured out of the armored vehicles, climbed onto the ship, and began to dismantle them. Some sailors on the ship tried to resist, but they were all killed by self-propelled machines and their bodies were thrown into the sea. Soon, the three hill-like destroyers were dismantled and prompts popped up in front of Zhang Tuohai. You dismantled the Zumwalt destroyer and obtained the 41 Malawang Quatch's vertical launch system, reduced version, which has 48 launch units and comes with standard two anti-aircraft missile manufacturing drawings and Tomahawk crews missile manufacturing drawings. Note, the 41 Malawang Quatch's vertical launch system is equipped for ships. The reduced version is regarded as a universal accessory for level 7 vehicles. However, killing it by force can ignore the level requirement and can be directly equipped. It requires two weapon slots. You dismantled the Zumwalt destroyer and obtained a new waterproof coating, a common accessory for level 5 vehicles. You dismantled the Zumwalt destroyer and obtained new anti-radar stealth paint, a common accessory for level 5 vehicles. You dismantled the Zumwalt destroyer and obtained the Hull Stealth Instructions. After using it, the armored vehicle shape was fine-tuned to greatly reduce the radar reflection surface. You dismantled the Burke-class guided missile destroyer and obtained Kevlar armor, a universal accessory for level 5 automobiles. The Burke-class destroyers are equipped with Kevlar armor on key parts. You dismantled the Burke-class guided missile destroyer and obtained the Link-16 data link system. SLQ-32A V-3 electronic warfare system. SRS-1 radio combat direction finding system and 3 times and slash SPG-62 fire control irradiation radar systems, Aegis combat systems, and integrated databases can be used to upgrade electronic warfare systems. Looking at the dense information, Zhang Tehail couldn't close his mouth. This is a huge gain. He originally wanted to try his luck and see if dismantling the ship would be effective. Unexpectedly, it actually worked, and he got so many weapons. What satisfied him the most was the 41 Malawang Quatch's vertical launch system although it was a reduced version with only 48 cells, which was almost half the original 90 cells. It was much better than what he had now. You know, he currently has a weapons position and a completed as missile launcher in a quadruple assembly. The 41 Malawang Quatch's vertical hair occupies two weapon slots and has 48 cells, with an average of 24 per launch slot. The launch density has increased by six times. Moreover, it has also acquired more powerful Tomahawk cruise missiles and specialized air defense of SM-2 anti-aircraft missiles. This greatly increases the combat capabilities of armored vehicles. Moreover, the combat radius of these two missiles is larger, especially the Tomahawk. This one is AGM-109L, attacks solid point targets at sea-slash-ground, with a range of more than 2,000 kilometers. And it also has a stealth coating, making it it is difficult to detect with radar. And combined with the Global Hawk drone, his combat radius is greatly expanded. As for waterproof coatings, radar wave coatings, and Kevlar armor, they all improve the strength of the car body and armor. Regarding this kind of life-saving accessory, Zhang Tuohai's idea is that the more the better, and if he can get materials with strong interaction force, that would be great. As for the last electronic warfare system, it can greatly enrich and upgrade Zhang Tuohai's electronic warfare system, taking Zhang Tuohai's fire control, electronic warfare, and air defense and anti-missile systems to a new level. It can be said that Zhang Tuohai has now accomplished what a 6,000-ton Burke-class destroyer can do in the form of an armored vehicle. Even better. Chapter 596, Dinosaurs with a Unique Painting Style Zhang Tuohai immediately installed these equipment on the armored vehicle. The 41 Malawang Quatch's vertical launch system needs to occupy two weapon slots. Zhang Tuohai's weapon slots are full and the existing weapons need to be replaced. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and chose to replace the Cornet missiles and Hellfire missiles. The performance of these two missiles basically overlaps with that of the Adaz missile. They are not as versatile as the Adaz missile. That is to say, the Hellfire missile is slightly more powerful. But no matter how large it is, it is not as powerful as the Tomahawk cruise missile. Moreover, a real anti-aircraft missile standard 2 has been added, which is much more professional than Adaz. Zhang Tuohai immediately chose to replace him. The launchers of Cornet and Hellfire missiles disappeared replaced by the 41 Malawang Quatch's vertical launch system, and the launch caps were buckled on the outside of the armored vehicle. Waterproof coating, radar wave-absorbing coating, and care of armor are directly installed on the vehicle. Although these cannot directly increase his lethality, 
they can increase his overall combat performance. His armored vehicle could stay in the shallow sea for a short period of time before. Over time, it would still be corroded by seawater and sea salt spray. However, after being coated with a special waterproof coating on the ship, it could be soaked in seawater like a normal ship. Inside, radar weight absorbing paint and the all stealth instructions slightly change the shape of the car body, making the radar reflective surface of the car body smaller and more difficult to be detected by radar. The Kylav armor has slightly improved the armor's toughness. However, because Zhang Tuohai's armor is already very strong, the improvement this time is limited, probably only about 10%. Of course, the most important thing is the Aegis system. After integration, the fire control system, electronic warfare system, radar detection system, and even electronic transmission will be greatly improved and the efficiency will be doubled. In particular, after integrating the Aegis system, his electronic warfare system has completely understood the Aegis system. If anyone uses the Aegis system again, it will be almost the same as without protection. This is amazing! The smile on Zhang Tuohai's face became more and more obvious as he looked at the brand new electronic warfare system. After several recent battles with players, Zhang Tuohai found that the electronic warfare system is really easy to use. Using the electronic system to deceive the radar in the player's hand to drive away wolves and devouring tigers. You can even control the missile in the player's hand to hit themselves. It's simply not too fun. And all he needs to do is hide in a safe place far away. Drink coffee and watch a show. At this moment, classmate Xiao Ai said to Zhang Tuohai, Commander, according to the news returned by the drone, the airport runway is being urgently repaired with quick drying cement. Huh? Haven't these people given up yet? Zhang Tuohai immediately turned the image over and found that the ground staff of those airports were smoothing the airport runways with quick drying cement. Growler Electronic Warfare Aircraft and F 35CS were already lined up in the takeoff position and ready to take off. Oh! You are really persevering! You haven't given up at this moment! In this case, then I will completely stop thinking about you! Zhang Tuohai said to classmate Xiao Yai. Fire a tomahawk to show them and raise the runway for him. Previously, the tomahawk missile was one of Zhang Tuohai's trump cards and would not be used unless necessary. However, this time he captured the destroyer and obtained the manufacturing blueprints for the Tomahawk missile. This trump card suddenly became conventional weapons. This change instantly made Zhang Tuohai feel proud, and he was ready to use Tomahawk missiles to raise the airport runway. This is simply overkill for Tomahawk missiles, but Zhang Tuohai doesn't care. With the blueprint, he is willful and doesn't care. After receiving the instruction, Classmate Xiao Ai directly issued the launch order. Whoosh! The cover of a launch tube was lifted off, and a Tomahawk missile rose into the sky, then turned at a right angle in the sky and shot away in the direction of the airport. Boom! The Tomahawk missile directly hit the airport runway without any accident. A huge pothole appeared on the airport runway, even bigger than the previous one. Not only that, the Tomahawk missile also blew up a road construction machine next to it. The machine parts were scattered everywhere. It seemed that if they didn't have any spare equipment, they wouldn't be able to repair the runway for a while. After seeing the runway being blown up and seeing the huge power of the Tomahawk cruise missile, the remaining ground crew at the airport did not dare to stay any longer and fled in all directions. Even the pilots jumped out after seeing that there was no hope of taking off. Cockpit chose to escape. After seeing people at the airport begin to flee, Zhang Tuohai was not busy landing at the airport to take over the plane. Instead, he used Tomahawk cruise missiles to kill buildings, suspected towers and bunkers one by one. For a time, explosions and flames were everywhere around the airport. The area around the airport was almost plowed by Tomahawk cruise missiles. Raging fires broke out, and there was a burning smell everywhere. After confirming that no one was in sight, Zhang Tuohai started the propeller, slowly flew out of the sea, and landed directly on the airport. Zhang Tuohai controlled his inner excitement, drove to the F-35C, and immediately activated the aircraft summoner. A flash of white light enveloped the F-35 and the growler. Half a minute later, the white light dissipated, and the three aircraft disappeared from the spot. Three more aircraft icons appeared on Zhang Tuohai's aircraft summoner. Only then did Zhang Tuohai let out a long sigh of relief. He finally got these two F-35CS. Although they were Navy models, and did not have as comprehensive performance as the Air Force version, they were still considered fifth-generation fighter jets, and could be said to be the best in air combat. Even if the enemy also had them. He also has the means to deal with airplanes. 
just when Zhang Tuohai was checking the F-35 data. Suddenly, there were bursts of neighing sounds in the distance, followed by bursts of roaring sounds, as if the earth was shaking. Earthquake? Zhang Tuohai quickly rushed to the spherical screen to check the situation. At this time, the alloy door of the distant factory opened, and huge dinosaurs rushed out in groups. Those dinosaurs were also wearing alloy armor, with electromagnetic headbands on their heads, and there were even large and small missiles hanging on those armors. Several lids on the ceiling of the factory were also opened, and a large number of pterosaurs flew out from inside. Those pterosaurs also wore electromagnetic rings on their heads, and carried small explosive bags on their bodies, and flew towards Zhang Tuohai. Seeing this unique painting style, Zhang Tuohai felt Spartan. He was really shocked by the brain circuits of these people at United Pharmaceuticals. After spending a long time, they copied the dinosaurs of the Jurassic era just for the purpose of making biological weapons? Wouldn't it be nice to make some remote control robots if you have the time? However, complaints are complaints. These guys still need to be dealt with early. Otherwise, if they are insulted, their armored vehicles will really be easily trampled by the Brachiosaurus. If this is the case, it will be really a joke. Zhang Tuohai immediately activated his weapon system and began to fight back. Chapter 597 Dinosaur Laboratory Whoosh whoosh. Rounds of Tomahawk cruise missiles were fired from the cell and towards the group of running dinosaurs. At the same time, one standard two missile also shot out and shot towards the flying pterosaur. Although those dinosaurs were covered in alloy armor and hung with various tactical missiles and had an overwhelming momentum like ancient charging knights. They just looked more powerful. Facing the covering bombardment of Tomahawk missiles, it seems to be no different from a lamb waiting to be slaughtered. After a round of carpet bombing by missiles, there were almost no dinosaurs left standing. As for the pterosaurs in the sky, it was even worse. After a standard two missile hit the pterosaur, it didn't even trigger the fuse and directly penetrated the pterosaur. If the formation is dense, one missile can even hit several pterosaurs in succession. Those pterosaurs were defeated before they could reach the vicinity. Even if some of them were lucky enough to rush to the armored vehicles, they were still unable to catch the 1130 close-range anti-aircraft guns that had been waiting for a long time and were beaten to pieces one after another. It feels best to use their own weapons to hit themselves. Zhang Tuohai looked at the battlefield littered with corpses and took a sip of the milk tea in his hand. This feeling of throwing missiles from a distance without having to fight for his life at close range made him very excited. As if he had found something to play at home again. The feel of a battle flag game. With a move of a finger, you can control the life and death of countless people. However, it's all true. After the missiles were cleared, the laboratory and factory area in the center of the island fell into a dead silence. Nothing came out anymore. Not even a sound. As if it was an empty island without people. If you can't beat me, just pretend to be dead. Right. Then I'll see how long you can pretend. Zhang Tuohai looked at the aircraft summoner and saw that the Rainbow 4 drone had finished cooling down. Zhang Tuohai summoned the Rainbow 4 integrated surveillance and combat drone and flew towards the laboratory to conduct armed reconnaissance. If any tactical targets worthy of attention were found, they would be destroyed directly. Rainbow 4 began conducting reconnaissance over laboratories and factories. However, the defense force on the island seems to have been exhausted by Zhang Tuo's altitude, except for a sentry tower found at the entrance of the factory and the laboratory. There is no other directional force. At first, Zhang Tuohai thought that his investigation was not detailed, and he missed some important targets. However, he later figured it out. The island's defense should be concentrated on the periphery. The main force is the three destroyers, plus a few aircraft at the airport. And combined with the radar on the island, it is enough to deal with any incoming enemy. There is no need to set up any defense facilities on the island. Moreover, since the people in the laboratory can release the armored dinosaurs, it means that they really have no means to deal with it. Otherwise, this method would not be used. However, Zhang Tuohai still turned on the electronic warfare system, blocking and monitoring all channels. Zhang Tuohai discovered that although there were no defense facilities on the island, there were many cameras installed. These cameras were connected to the monitoring room through wireless signals. Speaking of wireless signals, this is Zhang Tuohai's strength. Classmate Xiai, can you access their video surveillance system through unlimited signals and reversely control their surveillance? Zhang Tuohai asked. Theoretically, it should be fine. I'll give it a try. Classmate Xiao Yai said that he began to track the electromagnetic signal of the other party's camera and crack the other party's encrypted signal in front of a powerful server. The other party's encrypted information is as ridiculous as a child's toy lock. 
It is directly cracked by brute force and then invaded. In the blink of an eye, Xiao Ai is taking control of the other party's surveillance facilities and all the other party's cameras. After some inspections, classmate Xiao Ai said to Zhang Tuohai, Commander, you have taken control of the opponent's monitoring system. After inspection, we found that the opponent has lost most of its resistance capabilities. The most powerful resistance weapon currently is the pistol was hidden in a safe room underground in the laboratory. Classmate Xiao Ai said and passed the image over. I saw a large group of scientific researchers in white coats hiding in an all-metal house. Two men, obviously dressed as security guards, were holding pistols and blocking the door. In front of them was a bunker built with two sofas. Although their faces were calm, their trembling arms betrayed their true inner thoughts. Are they all hiding? Are you so cowardly? John Tuahai was a little surprised. He didn't expect that these people were so cowardly and hid directly in the safe house. Have other places been checked? Are there any guys hiding and trying to shoot someone illegally? Zhang Tuahai asked still a little worried. Commander, I have checked everything. Everyone is hidden in the safe house. No one is left outside. The cameras are installed completely and there is no blind spot. In addition, the distress signal they sent was also intercepted by me. Now the signal between the island and the outside world has been cut off. And the communication here has been cut off from the outside world. Becoming a truly isolated island. Xiao Ai's classmates made costume stood up and she patted her chest and said, Great. Go over immediately and collect our due harvest. Zhang Tuohai rubbed his hands. His most important goal on going to the island this time was to obtain an airplane. However, since he had the opportunity to make a fortune from the laboratory, Zhang Tuohai would not miss it. Based on his experience of entering United Pharmaceuticals base several times, each laboratory has more or less special information. He was looking forward to what good things he could get at this base. Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle quickly arrived at the area where the laboratory and factory were located. This is a conjoined building built on the mountainside. The laboratory is a huge five-story office building, connected to a factory-like existence next to it. The dinosaurs just ran out of this factory. At this time, the alloy door of the factory was closed tightly and a slogan was constantly playing on the electronic screen next to it. This is a forbidden area for United Pharmaceuticals, and trespassers will die. However, Zhang Tuohai had already seen it clearly through the surveillance videos arranged by those people. At this time, the factory and laboratory buildings were empty, and the most dedicated people were a few electronic locks. Zhang Tuohai was too lazy to stop and directly hit the accelerator. Boom! After a muffled sound, the metal door was knocked open and Zhang Tuohai rushed into the factory. There are several long production lines installed in the huge factory. One is for the production of various mounted missiles, and the other is for the production of special armor used by dinosaurs. Nearby, there are huge petri dishes containing it is full of various dinosaur embryos, many of which have already developed and formed. They have just been injected with sleeping potions and have been sleeping. As long as they are called, they will wake up and join the battle. Zhang Tuohai looked at everything around him his eyes shining with excitement. To others, so many dinosaurs are just a few more novel ingredients. But to him, they are countless fresh test samples. Perhaps, his harmless genetic medicine must be tested from these dinosaurs. Come out! Chapter 598 Setting a Trap Quickly, move the petri dish away. If you can't move it, cut off part of the tissue and place it in the petri dish separately. Get as many samples as possible. Zhang Tuohai released a large number of self-propelled machines and looted the factory. A large group of self-propelled machines came out of the armored vehicle and began to carry the petri dishes. One by one, the petri dishes were transported to the advanced biological laboratory in the vehicle. Zhang Tuohai himself was not idle either. He wandered over to the production lines and looked at the missiles and dinosaur armors on the production lines. However, this kind of missile is not very good. Its statistics are about the same as Hellfire, and its armor is at the level of Kairaf. It is of little use to John Tuohai. It seems that this laboratory is good at paleontology, especially the cloning and cultivation of dinosaurs. But it is not good at weapons and equipment. John Tuohai thought to himself, the self-propelled machines moved very quickly and quickly moved all the petri dishes. Not satisfied with just emptying the petri dishes, John Tuohai also dismantled the production line, reduced it to parts, and took them away. Although John Tuohai doesn't like the missiles and armor produced, they can be made into the Tomahawk missiles and standard two missiles that Zong Tuohai needs most after they are reduced to parts. The missiles are becoming more and more powerful. 
and the consumption of resources is also increasing. Even though Jean Tuohai's family has a great business, it makes me feel distressed to see it. If not, some time ago, several Red Fort warehouses were looted, and a large number of vehicles and machines were dismantled. Some time ago, an armored battalion of United Pharmaceuticals was directly dismantled, and a large number of metal ingots were dismantled. It seems that ordinary people really cannot be as bold as Zhang Tuohai and directly use cruise missiles as conventional weapons. Unfortunately, the terminal speed of the Tomahawk cruise missile is a bit slow, and there is still a possibility of being intercepted. It would be great if we could get the DF-17. Zhang Tuohai thought with some dissatisfaction. If he had that thing, he probably wouldn't be able to intercept it. If a person can defend himself, and coupled with DF-41 or Militia-3 or Bayong him, no one will dare to provoke him. If anyone dares to mess with him, just shoot Ivan down and solve all problems perfectly. Why is there a need to run around like this with a red name on your back? While Jean Tuohai was monitoring the dismantling factory, Zhao Wanwan sent Jean Tuohai a private message. The content of the private message was that many scattered players had gathered together and jointly rushed out of the virus channel. According to the coordinates reported by the game system, those people thought that Jean Tuohai was hiding somewhere on the peninsula and were preparing to launch an investigation, asking Jean Tuohai to deal with it carefully. Thought I was on that peninsula. Jean Tuohai couldn't help scratching his head when he saw the private message and immediately asked Xiao Ai to put together the surrounding terrain information collected by Global Hawk into a terrain map and study it. After some research, Jean Tuohai finally figured out the cause of the misunderstanding. After exiting the virus channel, there was only a winding peninsula as far as the eye could see. The island was shrouded in smoke and could not be seen clearly. In addition, there was a laboratory-like existence at the end of the peninsula. Those players speculated that they had gone deep into the peninsula. It is not difficult to understand why we raided that laboratory. This is good news for me. Do you want to add another fire to them? Zhang Tuohai thought to himself. He thought for a while. Took back the Rainbow 4 aircraft and sent out a Harrier fighter plane carrying two Sidewinder missiles. The route Zhang Tuohai chose was also very particular. He did not let the Harrier fighter jets depart directly from the island. Instead, he made a circle and appeared from the sea. It looked like it took off from the airport at the end of the peninsula. Then, he controlled the Harrier aircraft and swaggered around the peninsula for several times. Then dropped two Sidewinder missiles in a valley where three or four King Kong-level guerrillas survived. And then left. The appearance of the Harrier aircraft immediately attracted the attention of those players, who immediately started discussing it in the team channel. Damn it. Did I read that correctly? It's actually a Harrier fighter jet. A short-legged second generation and a half aircraft. What's all the fuss about? What's wrong with the second and a half generation aircraft? Not to mention the second and a half generation aircraft. You don't even have the first generation wooden aircraft. It would be great if I had a plane. Not to mention a second generation plane. Even a first generation plane. I could fly directly to the destination. And I wouldn't have to fight with you on the highway below. Don't talk about anything else. Why do you think that Harrier plane is here? No need to ask. They must be here to deal with Zhang Tuohai. Otherwise, why would they use the plane for nothing? Didn't you see that they fired two missiles? Two hack you. Why are those NPCs still competing with us for business? If Zhang Tuohai is beaten to death by those guys, won't we have nothing to do with him? It's a waste of an opportunity to make a wish and leave. What a waste. Teddy, don't be discouraged. Doesn't this indicate that the mission has failed? Maybe. That guy has a strong vitality and is not dead yet. Really? That's really great. Come on. Let's go in and take a look. If we get hit by two missiles, we'll probably be seriously injured even if we're not dead. I might not be able to defeat one-on-one -on -one before. But now? Hee <laughs> hee. It's hard to say. Several players got excited and started driving their cars in the direction of the Harrier fighter jet launching missiles. After being reminded like this, the remaining players all thought of this possibility and drove towards the depths of the peninsula one after another. The movements of the players have long been photographed by the Global Hawk hiding high in the sky and transmitted back to Zhang Tuohai. Looking at the players rushing into the peninsula excitedly, a sneer appeared on the corner of Zhang Tuohai's mouth. Ha ha, if you still want to get a bargain, go ahead, go ahead. When the time comes, let's see who is better. You or those gorillas who are comparable to King Kong. What Zhang Tuohai did just now was to deliberately pretend to be attacked by the island's defenders and then attract those greedy players to the peninsula. The terrain on the peninsula is rugged, with high mountains and deep valleys. 
rugged roads, and dense jungles. It is very likely that the straight line is only 500 meters away. But if you follow the path, it will take a full day. This kind of terrain is enough to hold those players back for several days. Even if those players find out halfway that they have been fooled, or simply want to give up, it will be too late and they will be trapped in the peninsula unable to move. When the time comes, whether to kill them with bombers or keep them, the initiative has returned to Zhang Tuohai's hands. After seeing the plane attack, Zhao Wanwan Wan deliberately slowed down her car and sent a private message to Zhang Tuohai. How are you? Are you injured? I also have two medical kits here. If you need them, take them over. Do you want any repair equipment? Zhao Wanwan Wan said and handed two medical kits and a box of painkillers to Zhang Tuohai. Chapter 599, Moving the Database, Update. After seeing Zhao Wanwan's Wan's private message, Zhang Tuohai was inexplicably moved because Zhao Wanwan Wan was one of the few players who showed concern for him. This kind of behavior is even more precious in this world where people can fight with each other for a piece of bread. Don't worry. I'm fine. I'm in a place that they can't find anyway. By the way, I'd like to remind you that the peninsula is extremely dangerous. If you can, you'd better not enter. Even if you enter, don't go deep. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and replied to a private message, giving Zhao Wan Wan a few words of advice. I understand. Don't worry. After I enter, I will find a corner to hide. When Zhao Wanwan saw that Zhang Tuohai was fine, she felt relieved and said with a smile. She didn't ask for details. She knew that if she could, Zhang Tuohai would naturally explain it to her in detail. Since Zhang Tuohai reminded her not to go deep in, she would just find a place to hide at the edge. Zhang Tuohai has never tricked her. And he won't do it this time either. Zhao Wanwan drove slowly into the peninsula, bypassing two intersections, and then found a remote corner to hide. Zhang Tuohai left Global Hawk behind to continue monitoring the actions of players on the peninsula, while he led a brigade of self-propelled machines into the main building of the laboratory. The researchers and security guards were all hiding in the underground safe house. The entire laboratory was deserted, allowing Zhang Tuohai to wander around without anyone coming to stop him. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the researchers in the safe house through the surveillance camera. At this time, they were already restless and running in circles in the safe house. A red-haired researcher was surrounded by many researchers in the center, looking like the leader of the crowd. Director Thomas, how long do we have before we can go out? I didn't even have time to sort out my test data, so I hid in a hurry. I was afraid that the data would be stolen. A blonde researcher asked worriedly, according to the regulations of United Pharmaceuticals, data loss requires a great responsibility. Don't worry, Thomas said with a smile. I have activated the emergency level of the base. Once activated, a distress message will be sent to the headquarters. In about 10 minutes, support personnel from nearby bases will arrive. At most in three hours, support from the headquarters will arrive. Under the attack of these forces, no matter who they are, there is no chance for them to stand up. Don't worry. Even if he gets the data, he won't be able to leave. Thomas said with a smile. I can rest assured that. The blonde researcher patted his chest, feeling a surge of emotion. The people around him couldn't help but swallow their saliva. How about, if you have nothing to do, you can come with me and discuss the data problem in detail, and I will help you with guidance alone. Thomas said pointedly to the blonde researcher. Okay, I happen to have some data that I don't quite understand, and I just want to ask you for advice. The blonde researcher also knew that if he wanted to get ahead in this laboratory, Joining Thomas as his supervisor was the most convenient and convenient way. The two of them went straight into a small suite. Dogs and men. Seeing the two of them looking like this, the other researchers looked both angry and envious. Humph. This bastard Linda. I originally thought she was a cold goddess. But I didn't expect she was a bitch. She just threw away the flowers I sent yesterday. And today she actually got together with this guy Thomas. A researcher said angrily. What? She threw away your flowers yesterday. She told me clearly the day before yesterday that she wanted to have dinner with you, and that's why she rejected me. What a coincidence. She told me the same thing the day before yesterday. Soon, the discussion among many researchers turned into a denunciation of Linda. Anyway, the soundproofing here is good, so I don't have to worry about anyone overhearing. They didn't know that the discussion they thought was private was captured by the installed camera and transmitted to the monitoring room. Zhang Tuohai was sitting on the boss's chair, looking at these researchers and sneering. I'm quite interested. Okay, then I'll give you a chance to discuss it slowly. 
Zhang Tuhai asked the self-propelled machine to seal the door of the safe house with steel bars. Since he wanted to hide inside, he should not come out to save himself trouble. Of course, the main reason for not killing them personally was that Zhang Tuhai didn't want to increase his reputation because of these insignificant people. Who knows what new troubles there may be if you move up a level. Zhang Tuhai himself took the self-propelled machine to search the laboratory. Except for some rare cultured tissues. Most of the laboratory is servers and various experimental data. Although the database is password protected, it is useless in the face of Xiao AI's violent cracking. Moreover, no one had ever thought that one day United Pharmaceuticals Laboratory would be attacked. Therefore, no data self-destruction program was set up. Only a simple password was designed to prevent insiders from seeing things beyond their authority. As things. As a result, Zhang Tuohai was all advantage this time. Seeing those huge databases, Zhang Tuohai's face was full of excitement. And he even whistled involuntarily. That's great. There's so much data. Download it into the database quickly. No. Move all these servers away. Don't miss any of them. Zhang Tuohai said, while commanding many servers, Numerous self-propelled machines immediately transported the servers one by one back to Zhang Tuohai's car. Classmate Xiao Ai is also checking the data in the server. After some combing, Zhang Tuohai discovered that the data in the server was divided into three major categories, namely the cultivation and reproduction of dinosaur cells, research on the warlike application of dinosaurs, and attempts at fusion of dinosaurs and alpha viruses. The last part is an attempt to implant dinosaur cells fused with alpha virus into the human body. However, this experiment has just begun, and research has not yet begun. These people are really capable of killing themselves. They actually want to fuse dinosaur genes with viruses and human genes. What do they want to do? Create a Power Rangers? Zhang Tuohai shook his head, feeling that the cranial temperatures of these United Pharmaceutical Researchers were too high, and they should make a hole in their heads to cool them down, because there were too many things in the laboratory. Zhang Tuohai needed to sort them out. So he decided to take a day off in the laboratory today to digest the newly acquired information. After everything was almost processed tomorrow, he decided to go where? The server relocation was not completed until the afternoon. And Zhang Tuohai finally took the time to take a look at the situation of the players on the peninsula. Chapter 600 The Fleet Attacks At this time, those players on the peninsula were still shuttling between the mountains and canyons. The complexity of the terrain on the peninsula far exceeded their imagination. The mountains are steep and the canyons are deep. Not only is the terrain rugged and difficult to navigate, but they often reach dead ends and need to take detours. From time to time, huge beasts appear in the surrounding dense forests to attack them. There are gorillas that are 5 to 6 meters tall. Tyrannosaurus rex that is 7 or 8 meters tall. Huge crocodiles that are more than 10 meters long. And even mosquitoes that are bigger than a palm. Although it seems that Zong Tuahai destroyed these things with little effort. Just like destroying the dead but that was under the premise that the weapons had an absolute advantage. However, if you encounter players who use machine guns, small caliber artillery and RPG as their main weapons, it will be really difficult to deal with them. Even if you want to win, it is very difficult. In addition, the high mountains and dense forests here are the natural home of these creatures, which further amplifies the disadvantages of the players. In just one hour, more than 20 players were killed and many more players suffered injuries of varying severity. This casualty rate is higher than the past few days combined. Normally, as long as they don't encounter Zhang Tuohai, the players will lose no more than five fingers. As long as it's just these animals, you can still deal with them if you're careful. Players discover that the plants in the jungle are the real killers. In this jungle with dense vegetation, there are too many strange and weird plants. Many mushrooms that look ugly will emit spores containing hallucinogenic ingredients causing many players to accidentally fall into the trap and fall in the jungle. Inside, there are also some big trees that actually secrete mucus. A car accidentally drove into a mud puddle full of mucus. The whole car seemed to be wrapped in bubble gum, unable to move at all, and was trapped alive in the car. There are countless unlucky guys like this among the players. A large number of players have discovered that things are not as simple as they imagined. Originally, their plan was to easily drive into the peninsula, then rely on luck to find the seriously injured and dying Zhang Tuohai, kill him with one shot, and then successfully make a wish to leave this damn survival world. However, they discovered that after entering this peninsula, it seemed that they had become prey and were being hunted by various mutant creatures. This discovery made players angry and helpless. No way. 
The terrain in this area is really suitable for these mutated creatures. Who would have thought that just by turning a corner, you could encounter a five or six meter tall gorilla head on. He had just crushed a tree root and was pulled into the air by a huge branch. The players were a little bit put off and they wanted to leave. But they were shocked to find that they had lost their way in this peninsula area. The roads in the peninsula area were rugged and there seemed to be a strange magnetic field that caused the compass and other direction guiding devices to malfunction. As a result, they were unable to find the correct road at all and could only wander around in the rugged terrain. Sometimes after running hard for more than an hour, I look up and am surprised to find that I have returned to the place where I started. This discovery made many players become irritated and began to attack everything they saw indiscriminately. Whether it was creatures or players, those players who were accidentally injured were also very angry and immediately fought back with stronger firepower. After going back and forth like this, the players themselves began to fight and the whole valley was filled with the sounds of gunshots, cannons, and explosions, as if they had entered a battlefield. No wonder I had to go deep inside. It turns out it's so dangerous inside. Xiao Wanan, who was hiding in the corner, looked at the death obituaries that kept passing by on the regional channel and felt frightened in her heart. If Zhang Tuohai hadn't reminded her, she might have also fallen into the trap of the players. In the midst of a civil war, Zhang Tuohai looked at the chaotic group of players in the valley and couldn't help but shook his head. As expected, they were a group of people who relied on common interests to stay together. When they encountered trouble, they started to attack each other without the need for outsiders to take care of them. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and temporarily gave up the idea of using rainbow drones to clear out players at targeted locations. Let them fight on their own first, and then wait and see tomorrow. In this situation, it is not cost effective to add less red name value if possible. Zhang Tuohai who had nothing to do, was in a much better mood. He came to the kitchen after a long absence and cooked a few dishes himself. A big meal of fish and meat made away in Aya, who didn't live a very wealthy life, had their mouths full of oil and almost chewed their bones. Before going to bed, Zhang Tuohai went to look at the egg left by Lilith and found that there were some fine cracks on the egg. It seemed that the egg was not far away from hatching. Away and Aya are also very happy. When Lilith is reincarnated successfully, it means that they will soon be able to perform hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. And Aya's leukemia will be able to be treated. The two were so excited that they stayed up all night. Zhang Tuohai slept very well. He was now somewhat accustomed to this kind of life. No matter what he experienced during the day, he could sleep peacefully late at night. In the middle of the night, Zhang Tuohai was suddenly woken up by a prompt system. A fleet appears 100 nautical miles away from the north, heading towards Alcatraz Island, and preparing to dock at Alcatraz Island. Please be prepared. Note, the flagship Doomsday Ark is carrying board members and some senior executives of United Pharmaceuticals. Zhang Tuohai sat up with excitement. When I saw the first prompt, I subconsciously wanted to run. During the day, he did kill three destroyers. But it was done by chance. And there was a certain amount of luck. This time it's a fleet. Who knows what kind of ships they have? What if it was an entire aircraft carrier strike group? and my small body met them. And I didn't know how they would die. However, when he saw the second prompt, his heart became hot again. Those are the top executives of United Pharmaceuticals. If you can capture a few of them as hostages, you will have more cards in your hand. At that time, if done properly, even the entire United Pharmaceuticals can be used for one's own use. Even if we take a step back, it would be pretty good to get a large amount of materials and technology from United Pharmaceuticals. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai's mind became heated. He got to where he is today only by seizing the opportunity and soaring into the sky. Another opportunity was placed in front of him, which made him feel itchy. However, if he fails, he is likely to face an abyss. Zhang Tuohai pondered for a moment and suddenly thought of Moriarty. This guy had been staring at him from the side. If we stop moving forward, it is very likely that the other party will seize the opportunity and use its huge power and various resources to crush things. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai finally slapped his thigh and decided to give it a try. If he succeeded, he would be able to obtain a large amount of supplies, which would further widen the gap between him and the players, forming a huge generational advantage. At that point, no matter what Moriarty wants to do through the players, it will be difficult to work. 